and welcome to episode 0 of Desert Ranger 2023. Why is there an episode 0? Well, since I've started adding mods to my playthroughs, in particular just whatever mods I want from across the internet, seems like the sections of my first video where I go over all the mods I have and all the settings I have just get a bit bloated and it's not the best to watch if you don't really care. So. I've separated this into episode 0 to give you a good idea of the settings and the mods that I'm using in the series and go into them in just a little bit more depth than I would have been able to in the main video. First of all, the zombie multiplier mods I was using in the last series are not going to be in this one. I didn't want this to be the swarm but in the desert, I wanted this to be its own series so I've got rid of that and we're going to be playing with some other stuff this time around. What I do still have is the Isaiah weapons pack, the 556 and the shotgun one, as well as the 9mm Isaiah weapons pack and the 762 Isaiah's weapons pack. So I have a full suite of Isaiah guns to play with because I hate the base game guns. Another mod I'm playing with is the, I'm going to go with Playbad Lever Action 44. This just adds a 44 caliber version of the lever action to the game. I don't actually remember if I chose the replacer or the standalone. So either my lever action rifles are all going to be 44 or there's going to be another gun called the cowboy rifle which will fire 44 which I just thought would be a cool little flavor thing for the series because why not. I have Trader Quest Addendum by Cautious Pancake. Cautious Pancake is another 7 Days to Die YouTuber, you should definitely check him out. He makes a lot of great 7 Days to Die tutorials, particularly on Horde bases, and all those really lovely technical things that people like to do, like AFK bases and stuff. If that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead and check him out. Drop him a subscribe if that's what you're into. But we're going to be playing with his Trader Quest mod, which adds a variety of new Trader Quest types to the Trader. I said Trader way too many times there. Uh, just as a quick example of a couple of them, you've got Defend the Safe House, where you will have to kill like a hundred zombies that attack a building that you have to defend, and Aid the Afflicted, which is you gather up a bunch of medicine, you clear out a low level POI and you dump the medicine and you get a reward for that. Just something to spice up that damn quest grind. On top of that I still have B-dubs vehicles, it is still my favourite 7 days to die mod of all time, so it is of course in the series. I'll try and get a dune buggy for this series I think, or possibly some of the desert themed vehicles, there's actually a few of them, I might go for that. We also have GNS's weather mod which just makes the weather a bit more predictable, uh, made by Guns, Nerds and Steel. Most of you probably know him but go ahead and check him out if you haven't already. And we've got Quick Stack. I forget who makes that, I do apologise but it's a very helpful mod that allows you to put things in inventories without opening them. You can just press a button on your inventory and it'll add to stacks nearby. I also have a mod called Research Skill Magazine Crafting A21. For this I was looking for something to replace or change the learn by reading system. Uh, I was kind of looking for something that restored the old one but I couldn't find one immediately but this did actually catch my eye while I was looking for something. And it's just a mod that adds a simple research bench workstation that allows you to scrap magazines, skill books and schematics into research data which you can then turn into the books that you actually want, of course at a cost. For example it might take 10 books you don't want to make a book you do want, but I like that because it means every single book you get is actually slowly contributing towards the learn by reading systems system. It's a lot less RNG based. You won't be looking in a mailbox and find, you know, Ranger's Guide to Archery 7, which you already know, and just be like, I guess I'll sell this then, because now it's worth something. Now the research crafting mod isn't something crazy, like there's a lot of systems very similar in a lot of overhaul mods already which would allow you to scrap 10 schematics to make a schematic for something you do want. It's just that applied to the base game's learn by reading system and honestly after seeing it I just think that should be in the base game. But we'll play with that in the series and hopefully it'll streamline the learn by reading system into something enjoyable, maybe not. If it doesn't, I'll keep looking for something else. And that's all the mods I'm going to be playing with. The settings are standard day length because having weird length days actually played havoc with my ability to make videos in the last series. <laughs> like it was really difficult to get enough content for a video, which meant that even though the days were shorter, I had to play more days to actually get a full video, which meant it actually took a lot longer to make a video rather than what I would have assumed would have been making the video process shorter. So that kind of bit me in the ass. So we're just playing on standard time. 
Uh, on top of that, insane difficulty, of course. I'm going to start out with zombies on jogging speed. I will turn that up. Absolutely. Without zombie multipliers, it's going to get boring quickly. But I'm just starting out with jogs so that it's not too chaotic on the first few days because people generally don't like that. Uh, I also have 64 max spawns. Feral Sense is off because that bloody swarm series has made me hate Feral Sense more than I ever did. And I have loot respawn and airdrops disabled. Pretty standard settings, but one other thing is of course it's Desert Rangers, so the entire map is desert, and that is good and it's bad. I will get loot bonuses for being in the desert at all times, but I will have a permanent game stage multiplier that is really gonna hurt around like day 35. I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up getting demos extremely early thanks to the new game stage modifiers. So it's going to be a lot harder than the original Desert Ranger series was because during the original Desert Ranger series there was no game stage multipliers for the desert. The challenge was just kind of like it's the desert there's unique things here but now it's actually harder than the forest and of course there's still snow wasteland but we're starting with the desert so that's all the mods that's all the settings i will do a brief overview of these in the actual video so if you hear me talking about that in episode one just just tap the tap the arrow keys a few times and keep watching and that should stop me from blowing that video with five ten minutes of talking about settings that most people don't care about so yeah if you're watching episode zero here on the day it comes out expect episode one in like an hour this should go up about an hour before my regular upload time just to give everybody an idea of what's coming so you're not completely confused when I completely skip over a lot of this in the actual video. I'll see you guys in the main series. Hello and welcome to a brand new 7 Days to Die series on the channel. This is Desert Ranger 2023 and if you haven't seen the original Desert Ranger, which I think was 2021, basically what's happening here is this entire map is desert and in Alpha 21 you get a huge game stage boost for being in the desert, which will make Horde Nights so, so hard in the late game. So that's going to be a late game challenge for me. You do also get a nice loot stage boost, but it's the weakest loot stage boost of them all, so it's kind of not that helpful. I am playing on insane difficulty with my kind of usual settings. I'm playing with a lot of mods. They are linked in the description and there is a video called Desert Ranger Episode Zero where I go in depth on all the mods I'm using, the things you should know, a lot of gun mods. I've still got B-dubs vehicles. I have a mod by Cautious Pancake who you should all go subscribe to, he makes really good videos, uh, which adds a lot of trader quests which are going to be kind of interesting because I'm very bored of clears and fetches. And I also have a mod called Research which allows you to make a research research bench which you can use to scrap books which turn into research data which you can use to craft whatever learn by reading books you want. It removes a lot of the RNG of the learn by reading system, which for me was really frustrating. So I think this should just be in the base game, assuming the mod all works. I've not tested it a crazy amount, but if it works, this should just be in the base game. It's so, so nice to be able to scrap schematics, books and magazines into like a tenth of a book you actually need. Oh, and one quick thing I forgot to actually put in episode zero, so I'll throw it in here. This is the world. This is what I generated. This is the seed. It is Yeehaw. Very, very unenthusiastically, that is important. So let's get on to playing challenge. It shouldn't be too hard for the first couple of days because it's not, oh, I've stood in a cactus game over. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard in the first couple of days because really the difficulty of the desert comes from game stage multipliers which aren't a thing really until at least the first horde night. But I think we can encounter ferals a lot sooner than you would probably want to so it could be very scary. We'll just have to see. One of the goals I have for this series by the way is I want to definitely find another ranger station, preferably one of the newer ones, and build a base there. I think that would be cool like I did in the original Desert Ranger, but in the original Desert Ranger I was next to one at the start, in this one I'm not. Boom. Now what I'm actually going to do for the start of this series is go strength, and that might be a little bit weird because I usually go for agility and perception for this build, but the reason I'm starting strength is because I'm going to need a good base if I'm going to survive the really hard hordes. So I'll go for strength, I'll get you know, clubs and stuff for a little while, and then I'll switch over to agility and stuff like that later on, just because having minor 69er and mother load is important, so I will forget an elixir out of clubs at a later date. There we go, where's Sneer's Trader? Oh yeah, it's just Hugh over there, let's go have a look. Oh, I stood in another damn cactus. Gotta watch out for those vultures though, they will rip me to shreds on this difficulty. Ooh, boots, nice. First forge ahead, I'll get me a do collector, which is gonna be pretty important. And I'll get a second one from the destroyed cement mixer. Nice. Oh, an extended magazine. Nice. I'm not sure what I'll be able to put that on anytime soon, but 
Nice. Okay, so he has two speed clears, one clear plus meds, one supply drops, and one buried supplies. A supply drop, you go out at night, you collect an airdrop, and you bring it back to him. Pretty self-explanatory. The clear plus meds, you have to gather up a bunch of meds and then clear a POI and leave the meds behind and you get rewarded for that. I won't be able to do that right now because the meds would just be too expensive for me to get. It's, it's day one. But speed clears, those I can do. Speed clears are just clears except you get rewarded for doing them faster. So let's take that passing gas store number 10. I'm going to use this car as a temporary storage. Don't try this at home. I don't know if it's safe, but uh, I don't really care, so it's fine. That's the passing gas I... Oh, hi, Coyote. I'm just going to try and, like, jump up here. Oh, there's a dog in this POI. Shit. But let me... Ow! How can he jump like that? <laughs> going to jump up here. There's a zombie dog, but whatever. Okay, you know what? Here's a handy land. I'm going to grab that. I think you actually need to have the research bench to do it. Otherwise, you'll just, like... Oh, hey, Coyote. Yeah, I think you need the research bench to actually scrap the materials to get research data. Otherwise, you just get paper. I need to run away from this. He does 25 damage. I can't kill it. I should go get some bow materials from out in the wilds. Well, not bow materials, but arrow materials. Oh, and I don't have the headshot mod from the last series either because it was just too annoying with vultures. Considering how many of them I'm going to have to deal with, I'll pass on that. I need to find some bird's nests. That vulture... Well, you are a bird's nest, I suppose. Come and attack me. But I hope I just... Kill it in one hit. Perfect. There are eight uh, feathers. That's pretty nice. Let me get some stones. Oh, I have stones. Never mind. Let's make some arrows. I'll let those craft and all. Hopefully the dog that I woke up inside the POI will just go back to sleep and will be reset by the quest. And the coyote might have just moved. So I won't have to worry about it too much. I see so many of them though. That's going to be a problem. I need to get a pipe machine gun now. Now on the plus side, the desert is covered in aloe. So you can gather for aloe, make an aloe cream, and get five health very easily. And once you've found, like, five medical journal books, you'll be able to make a lot of first aid bandages quite easily. So it does make up for how much more difficult it is to deal with all these, like, dog creature things. But also the extra food is nice, but it's they're still kind of very deadly, as I one-shot one of them. <laughs> They're quite light on health, but they will rip you to pieces, on insane difficulty at least. Ow. Now the thing about coyotes is, uh, they have slightly more sophisticated AI than most of the other things in the game, along with wolves, in that if you damage them a lot, they will just leave you alone for a little bit. They have some form of self-preservation, which is nice, because it means you don't have to kill them to get them off you, but they do so much damage. They're something so small. Right, so... I think I want to live in that radio station later, but let's deal with this place first. Let's reset it. Now, I don't know how the timer works. Oh, I see. I see. So I've got two minutes to clear this. Let's get in here and do it then. Now, I don't expect to do fantastically well on the timer when I'm still barely able to fight a zombie. But if I can get the bronze timer, at least I'll take it. The real issue is going to be the dog in the back. Like, I could see that fight dragging on. Shouldn't, shouldn't be looting. There's no reason to loot. <laughs> one of you wants to come through and the other one doesn't. That'd be helpful. My stamina regen. There goes the silver, I'm guessing. I think I have just the dogs. I no, I have more than the dogs, I remember now. <laughs> it's a pretty hard tier one, actually. I know a lot of tier ones I could do in two minutes with just a wooden club, but this isn't one of them. Still, I think I get a reward for doing it, just not as good. Hi, hello. Come and fight me, please. You come through the door. Oh, this is definitely not even going to be a bronze run. Killed him, cool. Now I think I just get shit rewards for doing it slowly, but what do you expect when you just start out as insane difficulty and I have a club? It would be boring if I came in here and just immediately got a gold medal, don't you think? Come through. There we go. Really? You're gonna go for that? Right, and the last one's the dog a bit. My timer is off anyway, so I might as well just see what we get in the end loot, if anything can help me with it. Uh, needle and thread six. I'll just... Oh, wait, is that the... Oh, no, it's puffer coat, so we'll keep that. Scrap it for stuff. By scrap it, I mean turn it into research data. I'll actually read the home cooking weekly one. That is just useful. All right, how do I want to fight this dog? Probably try and get a sneak attack on it. Try being the big word. I think stealth actually will help a lot with the uh, speed clears. Because on insane difficulty, if you're bonking everything, it will take a lot of hits. Oh, are you just not not gonna spawn in until I come down. Oh, fucking shit game. Oh, he's stuck. This is gonna take so many arrows to kill him. What is wrong with this damn dog? There we go. 
I'm interested to see if I'm like punished for not doing it quickly or if you just get rewarded for doing it fast if you can. Yeah, you still get a reward. That's not bad. I'll take 10 duct tape right off the bat. Uh, let's do another speed clear then. But before, oh, that's going to have a biker in it. That's going to take ages to clear. So I'm not getting it on that one either. Uh, but before I do anything, I kind of want to clear the radio station because I kind of just want to live there for now. It seems like a nice little almost ranger station type place, you know? It's a tier one. It'll have a bunch of books in it as well. So we'll do that first. So I have somewhere to sleep for tonight. And by sleep, I mean sit. There's no actual sleeping in this game for very obvious reasons. Swing that open. Let's have a look inside. I do like that speed clear though. I just I'm not particularly well equipped to do them yet. <laughs> oh, one zombie. Can I? There's one sneak attack. Where's the other guy? Hi. Vulture, do you want to attack me? You're a very good source of feathers if you do. Like, please just come and attack me. There we go. Nice not having to kill 75 zombies every time I want to get into a POI. Forge ahead. Farming. Yeah, I'll learn that. Same with the scrapping. Not everything's worth scrapping just yet. Some things you actually do want. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, bookshelves. Two hammers. Uh, sledgehammers. No, 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 no. Don't scrap them. Oh, wait. You can scrap them for research data. Ah, well, I'll just do that then. Yeah, there we go. Can't do much with the research data until I make one of the, the benches, though. That's good to know. Like, I don't need armored up. I don't need knife guy. Well, maybe I did need knife guy, but we'll find loads of those anyway. Hello. Oh, I should get behind the door. Oh, club broke. Ow. He dead? I think so. Let's go get the loot. Uh, batter up. Mm, yeah, I'll just, I'll read that. Even though I'm not sticking with clubs in the long run, I'll, I'll take it. Nice, got a, a medical journal. That's very important because first aid bandages are going to be very easy to get. So being able to make them is a top priority for me. Big hitters. For that, I care less, but I will just make sure I can make better clubs. Another forge ahead. Nice, I can make a forge. Fantastic. Not a bad time to be able to do that by. Yeah, I'm gonna live in here for a while. Anyway, till I find a uh, ranger station. I got enough stuff to make a bedroll? No. So yeah, if we look here, you can see that it takes about 10. This is on default version of the research mod. It takes about 10 research data and some paper to make forge ahead, for example. Uh, I think they're all the same. Yeah, so you can progress towards whatever you want. You just need to have one of those research stations, which I really like. Because it's not like I can just turn every book I get into something I want, but it does mean that I can turn you of what I don't want into something I do want, which massively trims down the RNG of that mechanic, which is like the most frustrating part of it, I'm sure most would agree. Make a quick bedroll and a quick storage thing. What was that? Isaiah, so is there like a poster where you can see the 762? I mean, let's see what it is. I have the ability to make it. What are you? Are you you're an Isaiah poster of some kind. Ah, it actually tells you the different tiers of the 762 weapons. Cool. You have to get very close to be able to read it at all, though. <laughs> but maybe, I mean, it's just, like, realistic. Uh, my eyesight's also that bad. And right, then, let's go see if we can complete this speed clear in any time that would be considered speedy. Right, well, let's try and speed clear it. 45 seconds for a golden clear. Let's see what I can do. Damn. Can I thread the needle? Can. There's one down. There's someone hiding over here. I can't get a shot of his head, though. Nope, stamina. Oh, vultures coming. You're going to slow me down. Go away. Or just attack me. One of the two. Come on. I'll skin that later. Right, so this is the last room. It should have a few zombies in it. But that biker's going to take so many shots to kill. Oh, hey there. Didn't realize he had a buddy. This is going to take a while. There goes my silver, anyway. I wouldn't imagine my bronze is very likely either. It's with how long it takes to kill a biker in these settings. What, are they seriously stuck on the other side or something? What? I actually want to fight them and then I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, there goes the bronze as well. Oh well. Yeah, that's right, just keep hitting the bus. I'm sure this will work in my favor. There's one dead at least. You just die. Yes, not. Right, I'll get some more arrows. Oh, is this bug still in the game? Switch back to the arrows. There we go. Oh, he's in nightmare speed mode. I am not going down there. I pissed him off that badly. He's gone nightmare. There we go. That was certainly not a fast clear, but still. You just seem to get clear rewards for doing it, so it's better than nothing. Uh, Spear Hunter, I'm going to be scrapping that. Two first aid bandages, at least elite one of those. Forge ahead and some repair kits and stuff. There's another container over here, though. Uh, electrical traps, scrap tools digest. Read that one. 
Let's head back to here. We got two jobs done at least. I would consider doing the nighttime job, but I think it's going to be pretty hard and I don't feel like dying on day one. So, no. <laughs> Knowing my luck, I'll get a feral biker and he'll just one-shot me legitimately. Bikers do a base damage of 50 on insane and if you double that with a feral, that's probably a one-hit kill. Big hitters and I'll scrap the machine gun one. Here's one glue at least have that pipe machine gun soon. <laughs> I think I forgot to fully loot the gas station, so I'll maybe do that with the rest of my day. Hi, you. Ah, 10 glue? Yeah, I'll take that. Unless that's a cigar. No, I'll take the 10 glue. Clear plus meds? Yeah, I don't want to do any of those. I don't even think I could do the meds one right now. I'm too poor. The, can I get a cooking pot and a cooking grill? And I will save for a water filter. Let's go and finish off looting the gas station. I kind of abandoned looting it because I was against the clock, you know? But then I forgot. I could have looted it. <laughs> Let's see what we get in here. I'm gonna stone axe this toilet so I get some pipes. Now, the big issue with making a pipe machine gun is I don't have any 7.62, but it's relatively easy to get, unless I might actually. I forgot, it looks different now, so I may have even picked some up earlier, but I don't have much of it. There we go, there's four pipes. I can probably just make the pipe machine gun, right? Yeah. Pipe machine gun, and do I have any food on me? No. Might find some in here though. Oh, thirsty as well, jeez. Oh, a cigar. Nice. All right, I accept any bullshit with bikers today. That was my payment for that. I got a cigar for it. Nice. Which is extra nice because it means I don't have to go for five strength now. I can just sit here with four and let the cigar carry me. I can get another rank of Pummel Pete. I can go minor 69 or in mother load and then I can go into like agility or something a bit more interesting than strength while still having the ability to mine at a reasonable speed. Speaking of which, there's a level. Let me get Pummel Pete 3. That'll help quite a bit. Vehicle adventures and... What does Handy Land give you? The first... Okay, you need five to get a claw hammer. I will read Handy Lands until I unlock a level one hammer. And then I just don't care at that point. <laughs> it's just not that important. I need some... Oh, hey. Feathers. I need some stone. Furious Fist. Scrap that. There we go. I can make a shovel now. <laughs> Vehicle adventures, cool. Now I'm gonna shovel up all this stuff. Because I could use some clay and stone and cobblestone. Also, the paper from these is very welcome for the books that I need to craft. And the scrap polymer from these for the do collector I will inevitably make tomorrow or the day after. These cardboard boxes are also paper and scrap polymer, but they're kind of shitty for both of them. So they're not top priority right now. Right, I have everything I need for a forge except leather. Uh, I do actually have the leather though back at my base. So I will go back and I will make my day one forge. I don't really need it, it's just nice to have one. Oh, and I need to consider the research bench as well. That's, ah, yeah, I'm going to be stuck for a while until I can get that fifth mechanical part, which is kind of just, right now I think it's just luck. Unless I can find a mailbox. I'll can, I could have a look around, but I don't want to be caught out at night. Unless I have one in this chest in here. I have 9 mil, not 7.62, okay. Grab the leather, make a forge, cool. That'll just allow me to do a lot of nice things. I could even make a wrench, uh, but I don't know how many mechanical parts you need for a wrench. You need four, so I could make 12 forged iron, and then I could get all the mechanical parts I need, which would then probably allow me to make a research bench as well, so that's good. It all depends on how much iron I can find in here and gather without dying. I can see a lot of iron things in here. Oh, hey, an ammo pile. Ah, 556. Five, so yeah, during the night, I'm going to just quietly scrap away at various things and I'll see if I can get a wrench and I'll see if I can then get the five mechanical parts I need. I don't know if I'll find them in here. There's clocks. That might work, actually. So I will do that during the night and I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay, my wrench is crafted. I just need five mechanical parts to make the research bench, so I'm going to try and do that. There's two from this, at least. Yep, two. There's another one of those in here, so I can probably get another couple from it. There's one more. There's a fourth one. There's a fifth one, and we can make the research bench. Craft that. It takes 28 seconds. I should have the materials to make four skill books, and I'm not sure what I want to do. I think... Maybe home cooking is a really good starting one. Maybe three of those because, what is it? You get grilled meat at what level? Okay, maybe getting four of those so that I can make grilled meat and not have to eat charred meat ever again is a really good start. I also know that the food quests that you get are 
somewhat oriented around grilled meat and stuff, so if I want to open up more quests I could possibly do for myself, that's definitely something I should consider. So maybe four home cooking weeklies? Oh, I need more paper, that's fine, we can do that. Or I could also go for medical journals, which would allow me to make first aid bandages. I think that's honestly more important, because first aid bandages are basically free in the desert. So getting medical journals really quickly is a smart choice. But you can see how this is going to be really helpful for getting like vehicle adventures and stuff. So let's get two of those. I'll have a look around this POI for more paper, but I doubt there is any. Yeah, I was able to get like five paper, but it's not enough. Now, the thing you need to know about medical journals is they're not that good of a book and they're very common. But being able to get first aid bandages that easily, that quickly in this series is a unique circumstance where I would want to somehow rush getting first aid bandages would read that we're up to three and i need i only need one more after this so i could make at least one home cooking once i've got those up to like five and six respectively i'll start going towards probably forge ahead i feel like that's the most important one right now because i can't do much with vehicle adventures or any of the advanced weapon things until i have a workbench so i'll probably focus my efforts on forge ahead then tools digest and vehicle adventures and i'll just let my weapon perks carry the looting of those. You usually get those at a decent enough pace early on. I just need one more, so I just need 14 paper. There's no real rush on it though. Despite there being no rush, I decided to come back over here really quickly and get some paper. There we go, there's 25 paper. Let me try and get back to my base. Let's make another medical journal. It's quite funny how medical journal is a book I've never cared about, but now that I have the ability to really quickly increase it, it feels really important to get first aid bandages quickly. Funny how that works. There we go. I can now make first aid bandages, and as long as I can keep first aid bandages on me, I can heal, and that means playing is way easier. So I'm gonna wait until morning. It's really quiet around here, I don't trust it. <laughs> My next skill point is going into living off the land so I can get twice as much aloe, meaning I can get twice as many first aid bandages. The limiting factor right now though is cloth, but that's just how it is. All right, it is morning. I still need some paper for another book I could make, but I'm not even sure what I would get. Probably still want to work towards home cooking weeklies so that I can make basic things like grilled meat and goldenrod tea. I did a quick test of the food jobs and the medical jobs before I started this series and I know that you definitely need like grilled meat and stuff to do the food jobs so that would open up quite a lot for me. Yeah, level 3 wooden club, not bad. Desert loot actually being quite helpful there. Oh, he's in sprint mode, run away! Okay, that wasn't too bad actually. <laughs> There's another first aid bandage if I can get like 10 more cloth, I can make another bandage, because I have another aloe cream coming. You can see how this is going to be very helpful to have now, because the desert is just an infinite supply. That's a lumberjack, I'm running away from him. This might give me a good amount of cloth. There we go. I lost a couple of bits there. Devastated. Right, that's enough for two bandages at least. Some more red tea, nice. Make two bandages, see if I can find a couple more cloth I suppose. Now, this thing's made of cloth, uh, but it's guarded by a million crawlers. That's not worth the fight. <laughs> now, one of the nasty things about the desert is you're not going to find any big patches of cotton, goldenrod, or red tea, which means getting those things is all a lot harder. Oh, I hear a vulture. Where are you? You just spawned there. Don't even pretend like you didn't. We're just waiting for the trader to open here, by the way. Oh, there's two of you. Great. Wonderful. Love that for me. More feathers. Can I make arrows? Can. Would you shits just attack me or not? This is unnecessary. And what if I stab myself with a cactus and take damage? Will that make them come after me? Yes, I'm weakened. You should attack me. I don't think they work like that. <laughs> if only I had a bicycle so I could bait them. Oh, the hot weather's starting to get to me. That's another issue with the desert. I'm gonna have to go through so much water. I'm gonna grab all my shit that I left here. Oh, I had food in here. Nice. That's something at least. Uh, I can put the extended mag on the pipe gun. I'll take all this stuff back to my base in a moment. Thank you. Fetch, clear plus food. Uh, I'll show you guys the clear plus food, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Crow residence. Gather two cornbread, two grilled meat, and two goldenrod tea. I could make two grilled meat, but two goldenrod teas? Nah, I don't have any goldenrod, and I don't have any corn meal. I have a corn meal. I might be able to do this. You know what, let's give it a try. God, I'm slow. Now wait, 
Do I even have the ability to make those yet? No, 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 I can't do them yet because I haven't done the books. Right, well, I'll cancel this for now. And once I do have, like, six, we know what we need to actually do those. Uh, fetch. Now, the nice thing about the food quest is you can kind of prepare for it before you do it. So you can, like, batch craft a bunch of uh, cornbread, some grilled meat, some goldenrod tea. And then once you've got a good amount of it, you can just go to the trader, take the quest, take it over. Boom, there you go. You've got a quest almost completely done for you. You just do a quick clear and then you get a nice extra reward for it. Now, it does scale by the tiers, so, like, you need a lot of food for, like, a tier 5, but it, I do think you do quite low-level POIs for the high-level feeding quests, so there is something to be said about that. But the resource cost is the main limitation of those. Don't mind me just moving at the speed of evolution here. Probably want to bring all this junk back, you know? Right, let's head out to this fetch quest. It's just a normal tier 1 fetch, nothing to be worried about, hopefully. <laughs> Oh, hey, a mailbox. Sledgehammer, scrap it. Tactical warfare. Gonna go ahead and scrap it. Probably not gonna use machine guns because I did that in the last series. Start the quest and loot this stuff again. Handgun magazine. Yeah, I'll learn that. I want to use handguns in this series, I think. Among other things. So, is the thing in here? No one's home. Uh, it's in the other room. Okay, we can go there. Oh, of course, this room's locked. I'm just gonna bash in. I'm not gonna go all the way around. Where's the zombie? Is he up there or is he down here? Oh, hi. Snatch this, and I'm out. No reason to stick around. Could get some loot out of there, but there's no rush on it. It only gets better as you wait. I've got my five first aid bandages, which is the most valuable loot to me right now anyway. Five first aid bandages means five fuck-ups that I get for free. Hey, you. I'll take the 762. Now I can load this. Hmm, nice. What else do you have? Uh, let's take the buried supplies then, I guess. i got nothing else to do. I hate these quests, but when there's nothing else to do, you'll do them. Potatoes, nice. Oh, hi, Snake. Of course, the really nice thing about my pipe machine gun, aside from having a panic weapon, is if that vulture gets a little bit closer, I can kill it very easily. I wouldn't want to waste shots on it now. Look at that accuracy, it's not the best. But if it gets a little close but keeps, you know, pulling away, I can kill it quite easily. And those coyotes as well. Let me try and kill this guy over here first. He's kind of looking at me. Let's start the quest now. Let me try and stay light, though. Uh... You can make more first aid bandages. Let me see. Aloe. Drop the one spare. Drink the water. There we go. I can move. Craft a bandage for that. And then we can make another first aid bandage. Let me start digging. I'm going to get mostly crushed sand. But at least it is easier to do this. Because it is lighter on the health. Compared to the 250. It's only 180. Oh really? The first shrink on the tier 1 and I get two zombies? This is an injustice. At least my club's decent. Ah there's a skill point. I'm going to put that in a one-off living off the land, so I will get twice as many aloe from aloe plants now, for example. Meaning I only need to kill two of these to get enough aloe to make an aloe cream, which is then turned into a first aid bandage. I can make three first aid bandages right now. I'm going to have a full hot bar of them in no time. Which just makes this challenge way easier than it would have otherwise been. That is me leveraging the power of the desert to my advantage. Oh, there's the thing. It's underneath me. It's been there the whole time. Ooh, a sham chowder and a bunch of food. Right. Grab that. Let's just run away. No reason to fight them. Although, let me grab these. See ya. Thank you. Hey, Hugh. Ooh, 1,500 wood. That's a pain in the ass to get in the desert, you know. Let me grab that. I'll take another buried supplies. Have I got time for it? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go put some stuff back at my base, though. Then I can make another bandage there, which will mean I'll have two stacks of first aid bandages. See why I wanted those books now? Why I focused on those instead of other things? It all makes sense now, doesn't it? Because now I can just outheal any problem, which was probably the most immediate benefit I was going to get. I need to remember to collect more paper. Then again, I'm doing buried supplies, so what exactly is it even going to do for me? I'm going to have to keep buying water from him. But I should save up for a do collector first, so I can at least alleviate some of the costs of living. It might even be worth, if I'm going to drink anything at all, just turn it into yucca juice. It does take longer, but once you learn the recipe, it just, you know, you get a little bit of extra hydration out of each bottle of water you drink. So if you're trying to min-max the use of your water, that's one way to do it. That is efficient in the desert, at least. There's probably better drinks you could make. Maybe coffee would be better, but you're going to find a lot more yucca in the desert than you are coffee, that's for sure. Practically free, aside from the 1 minute 20 it takes to craft. Jesus, fun pimps! I don't know if there's more chickens in the desert, or if it's just really easy to see them here, but I'm getting a lot of meat today. 
All right, I'm here at the next quest. Let me clear out the immediate area here. There's a couple of zombies running around. And this guy flying around. Three arrows, nice. Let's get started. Nice thing about buried supplies quests is they're usually going to give you medicine as a reward as well. You saw the last one had painkillers as an option, but I just saw the wood as more useful. Uh, but if it was the three first aid kit one, you'd bet I'm taking that. <laughs> no zombies that time? Nope. The amount of bloody water I've used because it's hot and I'm in the desert and I'm using stamina is ridiculous. And I need to get some... Oh, maybe I could make a leather poncho or do you need a recipe for that? Hmm. I'll put that on the list of shit I need to make then because that'll help with heat a lot. Same with like a cowboy hat. <laughs> ah, you need a book for those. Okay. <laughs> this is agonizing. You need to carry like 10 bottles of water if you want to do a buried supplies in the desert. <laughs> ah, hello. Got any water in here? Ah, murky water. I can't really use that. I've got chicken soup. That's 10 water and so is the miso soup. Drink these. And it is drinking because I'm doing it for hydration. That's that's how it is drinking. I'll read that one book and I'm just going to run away. I'll use so much stamina fighting them, it's not even worth it. <laughs> right, that's like half the day gone and all the quests are pretty much done. Because uh, I did that first like test quest. So I suppose I'll spend the rest of my day in the town gathering up paper for more books, particularly those home cooking books. Oh, and maybe getting the materials for a do collector as well. That would be massively helpful. An extra 60 water a day. Sounds like it's not that much, but it is something at least. Oh, and level two pipe machine gun. Nice. Also, that motel next to my house probably has a whole lot of toilets in it that I could get murky water from for extra water as well. Bow hunters. I almost never craft bows. Quests usually give you them anyway, so I'll just take the data. Vehicle adventures, nice. I will just keep working towards my goals with that. Let's see, I've got five water there, and I've got five water there. I'll hold on to the yucca there, and we'll make some yucca juice once I have level eight in food. So that's not going to be particularly soon. Oh, and have I got 20 leather still? Yeah. Oh, didn't grab it there. Leather poncho, which gives you good heat resistance for relatively cheap. Yeah, an extra 13 heat resist, I'll take that. I could probably make more plant fiber stuff to help with it as well. I'm just used to it not really mattering. Because in the forest, you're really not going to notice. Let's see, plant fiber hat. Do I have any gloves? Uh, no, I don't have gloves, so we can also make plant fiber gloves just until I find actual armor, which is probably more useful than heat resist, but in the meantime, I'll take it. So that gives me 30 points of heat resist. That's not bad. It's something. I've still got a little bit of environmental protection from the noob jacket anyway, so it should be good enough for now. Huh. Let's see, 500 cobblestone blocks. Ooh, less stamina when sprinting with a club I'm going to take because... If I use less stamina, I use less water because the way that stamina regens is by using points of food and water. Or I think it's just water. And your health regens by using points of food. Both go down passively as well. So I don't have any quests, but let's go have a look around for some paper and some water. Those are the two things I need the most right now. I got any lockpicks? Let's try this because you can get like 500 cash from these. And if you scrap that, you can definitely get all the paper you need for these books for a while. Uh, you can also sell it for dukes or use it in shotgun crafting if you like, but I'm just going to try and get it for books. Here we go. 375 or 372 paper. Here's, yeah, there's enough for 10 books. Still a little bit of uh, paper in here as well, so I can get some more there. Yeah, that'll get me up to like, this will probably get me up to like 300 paper, which is enough to make some amount of books for a while. I'm going to go have a look in the actual town, which is over here, for some mailboxes so that I can get just some more research data to craft any books I need. Night Stalker. Never encumbered at night. Don't really care. Scrap that. Isn't there usually a cement mixer around here? Oh, I've got to watch out for that coyote there. Oh, hey there. The mailbox. Just some paper. And... I guess this isn't the one with the cement mixer, but it is the one with the ammunition box, so that's something. Uh, pipe pistol. I mean, I've got 9mm ammo, I need a way to shoot people with it. And various kinds of ammo there as well. Ow, sudden sprint burst is the worst. Let me eat a first aid bandage though, because I can afford it now. No, I accidentally ate a second one, okay. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I needed it though, so it's fine. Hi. 
Ooh. First aid bandage and a cast. And some vitamins. Oh, hey, a skill point. Let me get some minor 69er because, oof, digging is a pain out here. This place got a cement mixer. That's definitely got... Ah, here we go. Forge ahead. Workbench might give me one. Nah, not this time. Vehicle adventures, and I'll scrap that. I'm not going to craft my own bicycle. It's a lot of effort, I think. You need a workbench to do it anyway, and I'm a little boys off of that. I'll just take the free quest reward. That was a profitable run down that street. I've got an extra 64 data, so six books worth. Could definitely get all the basic food recipes I need. Uh, let me waste a sham chowder. I don't care. I'm crazy. It is a lot of healing to waste, to be fair. But healing is no longer that big of a deal for me, is it? Hey, they have a kitchen here. Kitchens are a very good source of the Home Cooking Weekly books. And of course, if I get a bunch of Home Cooking Weeklies from kitchens, I don't need to waste the research data on Home Cooking Weeklies. But I do still want to progress it forward if I can. But these are very easily accessible kitchens, so I'm going to take advantage of that. It does feel wasteful to use data on Home Cooking Weeklies, because it is one of the easiest books to find. But it's also one of the most absolutely infuriating to deal with because it takes like one more book every time to unlock like two recipes. It's, you'll get like red tea and cornbread. Wow, thank you. Very cool game. Right, I'm gonna go home before I get caught out here in the streets. But I do have enough research data for seven more books. Would very easily be able to get enough for another book. But I think I'll save my data for the next episode i'll come around here again see all these caravans i feel like all of them probably have a food pile in them which would be a very easy source of the books because they're pretty much guaranteed to give you one home cooking weekly so before i waste you know eight books worth of data doing that just to get up to like yucca juice i will do those first and then if i decide I still want another eight books of Home Cooking Weekly, it'll get me a lot further. Otherwise, I can dump it into Forge Ahead and make workbenches. And cement mixers and stuff like that. But the research thing is very, very helpful, especially for books that don't have such easily guaranteed spawns as the Medical Journal and Home Cooking Weekly, because Medical Journals almost always spawn in either first aid cabinets or medical piles, like almost always. Even after you've finished the medical journal books, you will keep finding them. Same with Home Cooking Weekly, you'll almost always find them in food piles, shamway boxes, and usually at least one per kitchen. So you don't have to use the research on them, but at the same time, in this challenge they are arguably the most important books to have up to a decent level, so that you can exist. You need good drinks, and you need good food and water to do the food quests. And first aid bandages as well. But beyond those initial levels, I'm in no rush for those, I don't think. Uh, what time is it? I can probably run to the trader and buy the water filter if I sell him some random shit that I don't really need. Hopefully that'll do, just to get a water filter easier. I'll still need to go out and gather up enough scrap polymer for it, but it's not a hard thing to gather. There we go. Water filter. Oh, they're only 2,000. I didn't need to sell any of that then. That's fine. Uh, has he got any cobblestone? Because I do need it. No. That's okay. Right. Do the math. So tomorrow we'll keep doing the quest. We'll get tier 1 complete and get a bicycle. Hopefully I can get some better rewards for some of the unique quests we have. And I'll definitely go around that building there, gather up all the water. I will try and go through some of the food-related POIs and get as much food magazines as I think I need before I waste time making my own food magazines, because if I can get, like, 10 vehicle adventures rather than 10 food magazines, that's going to be very, very big. So we'll try and do that first. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Desert Ranger. During the night, I did construct a dew collector. It is sitting very, very safely on the roof, as you can see. That's just going to sit there and make me water passively. I had enough scrap polymers. The other stuff is all relatively easy to get. Today, we're going to be continuing with the trader quests, assuming I have any good ones, so that I can get the tier 1 complete and unlock the next tier of quests. Most importantly, for the bicycle as it's a very useful item to get around. So we're just going to wait for the trader to open, and then we'll get right into questing. Hello, Hugh. What quests do you have today? Oh, a defend mission, plus food 
and fetch. Well, I don't know about the defense missions, but I know the food missions aren't too hard to do. Let's take the fetch just to get it out of the way quickly, because it's a very easy quest to do, obviously. And then we'll do probably a defense quest. I'm quite interested to see how easy or difficult those are. Then for the rest of the day, my plan is to gather up as many home cooking weeklies as I can, because I have the ability to craft skill books with the mods that are linked in the description as part of the challenge. I don't want to waste the research data on home cooking weeklies when there's all of these food POIs and houses nearby that I can check first. I could then use that research data for things like vehicles, which is much more useful, I'm sure you'll agree. Or workstations, or even weapons of some kind. Okay, here is the fetch quest POI. The Richmond residence. Let's start the quest. Uh, this one's usually quite good for books. I did see that vulture, by the way. I'm going to be inside. So let's see if we can get some out here. Even though I don't need to clear the full POI, I might as well just do it. I have the time. It's one down. He's tripping up over that. Mm, he sped up. Ah, oh, there was a door back there. I should have used it. Now he's confused. The buffoon is flummoxed. Oh. Use this door. Oh, that will have reset the mailbox, wouldn't it? Big hitters. Ah, sure. I won't scrap them, but I also don't need them because I want to switch to other weapons later. Level 2 stone axe. Sure. I'll also take a painkiller. Those are always helpful. Head back inside. I did actually catch a glimpse of a zombie later in the POI that I can shoot from here, so might as well use that. Oh, I woke up the other one. What? Club needs repairs, I think. <laughs> I want to move this mattress. It's kind of getting in my way. Oh, hey there. I killed him. Nice. And she's dead too. Oh, hello. There's the bag. Let's have a look for any bookshelves though. Oh, I don't think I got lucky. Did I misremember how this POI works? I swear there was uh, bookshelves in the lower area here. That's fine though. Uh, let's open this. You usually get a cooking book from that. Nice. Up to five of those. Cupboards had nothing interesting for me. Let's go upstairs. There is usually a bookshelf in there as well. Sometimes it doesn't. Oh, there it is. Sniper. Craft high power 762. I'll just scrap that for research data. Some glue. Some more glue. Let's just get the end loot while I'm here. It's just one zombie, I think. Hello? The arrow didn't load. Oh no, I'm thinking of the old version of this POI. There's three up here. Damn. I'll be fighting them for years now. Downstairs I go. Okay, a couple of useful things, particularly that first aid kit. Another home cooking. Cool. We can make grilled meat and red tea. Grilled meat's one of the things you need to do the food clear quests, so that'll be helpful. Scrapping, sure. Right, let's head back. We got one more quest to do and then we'll have tier one complete and then I can spend the day gathering food magazines. Hi, here. Hmm, 10 glue or 10 duct tape. See, in an older version of Seven Days to Die, I would have taken the 10 glue because glue is used in things that duct tape isn't. But also duct tape is 100 cloth. 10 duct tape is 100 cloth, that is. Which is worth quite a bit more than just 10 glue. Even though glue is more versatile than duct tape, because you can turn glue into duct tape. So anything duct tape can do, glue can do. But now that cloth is a bit of a bitch, I think I'll just take the duct tape. I don't care about batter up, to be honest. Let's try a defense mission. A dollhouse. Spotted a small horde heading towards our safe house at the dollhouse. Go and stop them from trashing the place. I'll kill them. I don't know about stopping them from trashing the place, though. If you're new to the series and you don't know what all these custom quests are, they are linked in the description. You'll be able to play with the mod yourself. I got very bored of clear jobs. <laughs> I'm gonna go drop some stuff off at my base really quickly. And then we'll head out and try and do a defense quest. I swear the defense quest was supposed to be in the base game anyway. Maybe they just forgot about it. Okay, so it should be empty, right? There shouldn't be zombies on the inside. Because it's a safe, there's zombies on the inside. Hmm. So defend the warehouse. So, so defend, defend the, the warehouse. warehouse. Five minutes, stay within. So am I preparing to defend it or is there a horde coming that I don't see? I think I'm preparing to defend it. What if I just don't? What if I just stand here? Massive waste of time though. It's either going to be five zombies and it's going to be just a complete waste of time to have to stand here for five minutes, or it's going to be 150 zombies and five minutes was never going to be enough. Oh, I woke up some of the zombies in here. Hi there. What I will do is put some hatches in some various doorways to protect myself. Once that bloody that door just had to be there, didn't it? Can your body go away, please? Right, we'll just kill some zombies while I wait here. Ow. Rude. Didn't even hear that guy. Yeah, and I placed that wrong now. Fuck. 
Oh, I'm never taking that out. I'll just make a new one. There we go. There's a ladder upstairs, which is going to be useful to know about. There it is. Kill this guy as well. Right, so since zombies have such a priority towards attacking doors, they should see this as the main fighting area. Or not attacking doors, but attacking openings. So I should be able to fight a few here. If I get pushed back, I can come to here. Get pushed back again, I can come to this doorway. I will put another one of these here, like that, and then I can fight at this point. Hell, I can even put another one in here, fight at this point. And then if I need to get pushed up into here, then that's fine. Can I switch weapons, please? I have selected the club. Please stop delaying. That was annoying as fuck. I think that's all the zombies that spawn in here naturally. So the loot is mine. And then if I need to go anywhere from here, it's just going to be jumping off the side of the roof and dragging them around the corner of the base. Uh, two wirings. I should probably have scrapped those. I won't need those for a very long time. Right, they're coming in 30 seconds. I think there's a kitchen. Hey, cooking magazines for me at all? Ah, there's one. I'm going to start out here so that I can like see where they're coming from and so that they will be more likely to follow me into the defensive positions of the BOI. Some safe house that was. It was filled with zombies. Okay, kill 25 zombies. Oh, they just spawned there. Okay. <laughs> nope. Got through the hatch because this is Alpha 21. Oh, shit. Where did you come from? Did she spawn in here? You might have been just part of the PY. There's another one dead. Are they still stuck behind there? Yeah. Hey, you're definitely spawning in here or there's a hole behind that refrigerator. What's that? Where they... Yeah, they're just spawning in here, I think. Oh, I think it's because there's an open ceiling. So this might be an issue specific to this PY. Like, maybe they're supposed to spawn within a distance of the player if there's open sky. So maybe they're... Oh, no, no, it's not that. They just spawn inside just to fuck with you. <laughs> oh, they reliably spawn inside as well. I'm better off just taking this outside then. Because if they're just going to spawn inside the defenses with me, I might as well fight them just outside. Walk away. Ow. One more to go. Why the fuck did he speed up? I didn't even hit him. Absolute dickhead. Right, I'm out here. That was certainly interesting. I think I'll stick to other quests. The quest definitely needs a bit more work because you sit for five minutes and you prepare defenses and then the zombies just spawn inside the building with you. You might as well not give me prep time. But that mod is entirely optional. You can choose whichever ones you want out of it. I will take the magazines. Ah, and there's my end reward. I'll take the bike. There's a trader to the east. Trader Gen. Open up the thing. Tools Digest. Two tech planets and two whatever they're called. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go and look for more cooking books. That's what I really want to get right now. The good place to check would be the diner next to my house, of course. But I'm going to go dump some stuff. I have enough research data to make uh, 10 books, so that is nice. But like I said, if I'm going to make food for the food quests, then I should have my home cooking weeklies up. But I don't want to waste the data on the home cooking weeklies when there's so many potential books around. Let's have a look in here first. Hello. Anybody else in this first room? Doesn't look like it. Ah, hello. Hiding in the kitchen. Nurses? Question mark. I have two skill points. Um, probably just gonna go for a more minor 69er so that I can keep, uh, so that I can start mining for a good base because obviously my game stage is already 27 and it's only day three. Uh, that's, that's, you know, day seven game stage already. Oh, hey, a triple armor pocket mod, nice. Good pile, damn. Well, that was an unexpected place to not find the cooking books, but whatever. Hello there. Seems like it was a vulture horde. I know the desert's usually filled with vultures, but three at once. There we go. Right. Let me check this duffel bag first. Uh, bone. Singular. Some feathers. First aid bandage. And let me get all these feathers, because that is good stuff right there. Right, so I'm going to climb this radio tower. Or tel television tower? Whatever tower this is. Cell tower, of course. The one I forgot. Uh, and I'll get a good look at all the POIs around, and I'll be able to make some decisions about where I want to go to look for the books. Also, these have tech books that I don't need, but can turn into research data. Tech planet. Yeah, scrap the wiring. Fuck it. You can always put points in advanced engineering and find hundreds of them. Climb up here. Damn, nothing in that food pile. Hello. Ow. I'm expecting a vulture up here for some reason. Nope, it's a nurse and a guy. Am I even supposed to fight them here? Let's go down the ladder. Oh, there's a duffel bag. See yeah, how I can loot that in a moment. Can you fall, please?
Where is the stuffle bag? Ugh, can't put it through there. I gotta go all the way around the back. This doesn't seem worth it. Two bones. We're moving up in the world. Oh my god, there's more. No, there's a military chest though. Big hitters and I'll scrap the sniper one. Alright, so we can see the whole town from here basically. Uh, I have to turn down the FOV so I can see. So there's... These houses and stuff are obviously going to be decent enough sources of them. Uh, but the ones that I was looking for are like the trailer park stuff. I think that's over there in that little area there. Because that means I can go into like one tiny building and come out almost definitely with a cooking book. This is a shit town. Uh, we can see Trader Jen's away over there though so it's not too bad. Looks like there's water over there next to a ranger station or some kind of military base maybe. A lot of wilderness POIs. Oh, there's the... Uh, the trader for the B-Dubs vehicle pack. Good to know. I must be very far northwest. If I can see the water just there. Because this is an 8k map. Oh, there's another one of those towers. So that's probably another military base. Okay. Ooh, the FOV's weird. Let's head down and head over to that area of the town where I saw all the trailers. See if I can get a bunch of cooking books. Oh, there is the pub right there. It's like a tier 3 though, isn't it? Or a tier 2? I'll probably get a quest for that tomorrow. We can wait for that. Cruise through liquors. Hmm. Hang on, hang on. Liquors are vaguely food. I mean, they're more of a drink, obviously, but you might find a food pile. Nothing else, probably get a bunch of murky water, which is quite valuable. The moonshine, okay. I really see no practical reason why you would make people drive through your store. Like, they still have to pick the beer, and they still have to pay the cashier. It's not like this is very convenient at all. Why would you create this building? There's no food piles or anything in there. Let's head over. Got plenty of murky water though, at least. Speaking of food, I need to eat. I hear a vulture, where are you? Oh, there you are. Right in front of me. Free feathers. Bones are also very useful, of course. Oh, mailbox, hello. Grab that batter up. Let's keep cycling. That place has a dog or I would search its kitchen. Here we go, this is like the little, not quite a trailer park, but you know, very small homes. I forget what they're called. Oh, there could be a dog in here. Right, get the gun out. See that vulture up there, but I should be okay. Dog, hello, anybody? There it is. Right, I'm gonna get a sneak attack with my bow first. I'm gonna have so many feathers and rotten flesh in this series. Which is good, because archery and farming are things I probably want to do in this. Oh, that's locked. How do I get in then? Another bloody vulture, Jesus. I'm not gonna bother getting that one. Is there a ladder on the back? Ah, hello. So this wants me to jump down and die. How strong is the door? Ah, you know, I'll just go in with a gun and I'll probably survive. He's someone's head, I think, actually. Ah, not his head. There we go, he's dead. How do you get out of here? Is there a button? There must be a button. Whatever, we've got some containers to search. This is a mortician's drawer. I don't think that's supposed to be here. Oh, I'll take the red die, though. Fuck the lucky goggles. The loot stage does nothing for anybody. Oh, an acid, nice. Some boots, which are better than mine. There's seriously not a button to get out of here, that feels weird. I just have to bash my way out. Annoying, but okay. Let's see, there's another house here. This one sometimes has a dog as well, I think. Let me over with some frames. Oh no, this one has a dog in here if it's gonna have a dog at all. Oh yeah, they made it so you can't shoot that anymore. Any dogs? Not even, not even any zombies? That's just fucking weird. Ah, there's a dog. Bloody sneaky dogs. Okay, so for future reference for anybody who hasn't seen the new version of this, they hide it right there, the bastards. <laughs> Just to make sure you go and get bit at least once. Andyland, scrap, pills digest, yeah, I'll keep that. Handgun magazine, sure. I do want to use those later. Yeah, I came for food. I'm going to put stuff on my bicycle though, because I'm very chonky. Anyone home? Yes, yes, people are home. Ow. I actually saw a bookshelf there, which I wasn't expecting. Tactical Warfare, nah, I'll just scrap those. Check this kitchen really quickly. Lots of cornmeal, which is actually useful later on. I know it's blasphemous to say it, but unironically, fish tacos are a decent source of food later on. Sort of is a stopgap between grilled meat and, like, meat stew. Another Home Cooking Weekly, nice, we're up to nine of those. I shouldn't need to craft any then. What's, what's like, the next thing for food? I think I got all the important stuff for doing basic quests. If I get one more, I can get bacon and eggs and coffee, which is pretty important, actually. Those are two very good food items, so let's go try and hunt down at least one more. There's a small house over here, which is another easy, perfect kitchen to raid. And there's another one of these there, and another one over there if I need it. Might as well loot all these caravans, actually. Problem is nighttime. Oh, armoured up. Otherwise known as research data. Let's get in here really quickly. Pretty sure you can get a guaranteed cooking pot in here if you're looking to save 600 dukes. Or maybe I'm wrong. Is it not this place? Hmm. 
Maybe it's in another room. Nah, it's not this place with the cooking pot. Did they change that recently? Because I swear this is where I got my cooking pot from originally in Alpha 21. I don't see them updating POIs though in the middle of pickles. Clubs, I guess. There's another food pile hiding in here. These are the best for cooking magazines, as I don't get one from it, of course. That's the law. But they are usually very good. There's a lot of cornmeal. They have got an in-game hour, basically. Check. Oh, this place sometimes has a dog as well. Look at that mailbox. Now, have they got a dog in this field? Yeah, they do. The reason you can usually tell, by the way, is these kennels and those, um like carry case things are generally there to warn you about dogs if you're new to the game you didn't know that it can be quite helpful to avoid those if you don't have guns or good knowledge of how to fuck with their pathing hey bookshelves better up mm, fine fine if i'm not wasting a quest reward to get better up i will at least pick it up and read it but i don't plan on using clubs forever I'm sure my viewers are sick of seeing bonking. There's a guaranteed cooking pot. Boom cooking weekly. You make bacon and eggs and coffee now, which is like basically all the food you'll ever need. <laughs> what is the next thing? Is it like pumpkin bread? Yeah, pumpkin bread and blueberry pie. Blueberry pie is good, but getting the ingredients for that can be a pain this early. Yeah, I think I'll let the other 90 cooking books just come naturally. But getting those first 10 is basically like getting the first rank of Master Chef in the old version of the game. It's a good idea to make sure you at least have those. But another in-game hour until nightfall at least. I do have to consider my ability to run back to my bicycle though. Uh, there's another one of these here. This one has a dog. I'm just not gonna do that because I didn't get one last time. Let's take it over here. Great heist. Use no... Sp yeah, that's actually quite good. No sprint. Stamina sneak is good. Forge ahead. Obviously good. This is locked. Stop being locked. I see a weapon bag in the kitchen. Probably going to be a snake in this PY as well, because there's a little snake aquarium thing. I forget what they're actually called. Is it a snake tank? I don't think that's right. Today in the comment section, we will find out the surprising number of people who own snakes. Uh, big hitters. Fine. Fine, I'll take it. But it hurts every time. There's a cooking pot. Not guaranteed that one, but hey, it's still nice to get it. Any snakes for me? Nope, just a zombie. Big frame drop there. You can take that cowboy hat. I know it's Desert Ranger and I should wear a cowboy hat, but at the same time, I do need armor. So, I'll just hope for a cowboy hat mod. No cooking magazines in here? Whatever, I don't really need any more anyway. Let's, let's go back to my bicycle. Tomorrow we'll do some tier 2 jobs. See how we can do in those. I'm interested to see what the tier 2 version of the food one is like. Like, do I have to make better food? Or do I have to make more food? Because more food I can do, but I don't know if it's worth it. Yeah, an ammo pile. I have no idea what that is because the mod changes the icon and I've not learned what they mean yet. <laughs> I think it's 9 mil though. Right, so I'm just going to sit in my base overnight, do some stuff. Oh, now that I know I don't need cooking magazines, what kind of books should I make? Um, I've got 28 data there, that's enough. I can make 12 books. What could I use 12 books on? That would get me up to level 20 in workstations that would at least get me the workbench and probably up to the anvil as well and then i would be in a good position to get to the cement mixer quite quickly which is going to be important for the series because i'm going to need concrete way faster than you need it in the base game i think maybe day seven i'll be all right without concrete but day 14 concrete i think is going to be needed i think we might get demos as early as day 28 on this series so rushing workstations is going to be smart use is going to be a smart use of the mod i have here so I'm going to probably do that. So during the night, I'll make 12 forge aheads. Uh, we can guarantee one forge ahead from Trader Jen if I want to go out to her. Uh, no, I can guarantee two because you get one from the cement mixer guaranteed and one from the forge guaranteed. So that means the 12 books I'm going to make plus two more. So that's going to be good. It'll be very easy to get to cement mixers before day seven if I wanted to. But how much would I actually be able to produce with that, really? Not an incredible amount. It's the short answer. Right, there's 124 research data, a bunch of paper. I don't know if I've got enough paper to do this, actually, but let's get... Where are you, Forge Ahead? 12 Forge Aheads, I'll take 6 minutes. Night is like 20 minutes anyway, so that's fine. And you might think, hey, that's kind of OP, but it... you have to consider that I am taking books that did nothing for me and scrapping them into books that will. Yes, it is easier but it's also considerably more satisfying to play the game when it's like this and that's how i think it should be in the base game anyway is we should have some kind of scrapping system got a skill point there from 100 xp from crafting that um let's just get more mining 
It's going to be the main issue. That's why I've went strength at the start, despite not wanting to use strength. I think keeping ahead of the materials is going to be the biggest problem in this series, at the start at least. Once you're steel, you're steel. You don't have to worry about it. It doesn't get much harder than that. But getting to concrete quickly should be a priority. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for the night. Alright, it's the morning of day four. I decided to take a long cycle out to Trader Jen here because she does have those two extra Forge Ahead books guaranteed for me, at least two. Uh, I've also got the 12 that I made in the thing, so let's just eat those. That's quite satisfying. So, I'm up to 20 on that. We need five more to get anvils and then another five after that to get cement mixers. Not bad for day four. I honestly think I might have needed this mod to complete this challenge, thinking about how difficult to get all those forge ahead books would have been before like day 14. let's wait for trader gen to open really quickly here hmm, a treasure map in a random military chest sure there's the first forge ahead no luck on the workbench but there's another forge ahead in there we might get another one from the chemistry station ah no luck still not bad up to like 22 of those if i can find eight more before day 14 i'll be good <laughs> And the nice thing about it as well is I've not had to invest in intellect just to get lockpicking, just to find more Forge Ahead books. So that always felt really dumb. That means I'm not forced into intellect, which is really nice. Oh, there's books here. Equal Adventures, cool. You know, I can just focus my build on what I actually want to play. And then when I find loads of magazines I don't need for things like Forge Ahead and Vehicle Adventures, I can just make them with the research mod. Hey, Jen. Oh, she has a forge ahead. And there's something to be said for like buying these other books and turning them into research data, but I don't feel like I have that kind of money right now, but it's a thing I can do later. She doesn't have anything particularly useful for me, except, except for that one forge ahead and the aloe cream she gave me, which I bought very cheaply. Let's head back to Hugh and get some tier twos done then, because that'll give me some good progression stuff. Hey, you give me some jobs. Some tier two fetch, trade. probably a good idea. Also got a tier two clear. Let's take that fetch first, though. Ah, it's this place. Okay. Right, let's start this. And the fetch is on the bottom floor. Good. I kind of want to just get in and get out because this POI can be a bit scary. And there's not much good here. Oh, tools digest. Take that. Usually a lumberjack will spawn over there who I don't feel like bashing a million times. And... A dog will spawn in the other area. Is there a way I can sneak in here? This might work. I cop. I cop. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> Ignore the sky lock pick. Alpha 21 is perfectly polished. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, hey. Mailbox. One sec. I'm back already, Hugh. Hmm. A double barrel shotgun can win you a horde night if you use it right. So I'm going to take that until I find something better. And let's take the clear zombies at Grumpy's pub. I don't think I have any shotgun ammo, though. So I'll just hold on to the double barrel for now but if i can get like 60 shots from like a quest reward that could turn the tide of a bad horde night that's all i'll say there grumpy's pub start this now is this the one with a dog is this the one with a dog like there is one with a dog they all have dogs but is there a dog because those are a concern Ooh, forge ahead if i had known i would have double looted that good to know there's a cement mixer in the back of grumpy's pub which means double loot it if you want forge your heads hmm. doesn't seem like there's a dog let's get on with this any vultures up here? Hello. I got distracted by the sky thing. <laughs> Elop picks nice. There we go. I don't feel like getting trapped down there, honestly. There is a dog in here. I, I'm having flashbacks, but I don't know where it spawns. Is it in that little hut? Track thing? Hmm. Let's see if I can pick anybody off from up here anyway. Is that the dog there? There it is. Where's he going? Come here, you little shit. Hi, zombies. You guys I can just deal with. Cement mixer. Forge ahead. Nice, up to 24 of those. Perfect. Art of mining. Nice. Medical journal. Tools digest. Ooh, a much better stone axe. Another spare wrench and some duct tape. Let's check the little room back here. Probably get a cooking magazine in here. The ammo. Ergonomic grip on schematic. I'll actually read that. It's quite a useful mod. You. Um, first aid bandages are nice, but I can make a lot of them very easily. So I'll take the crafting skill magazines. Two bow hunters. Nah. Farming. 
Yeah, at least one explosive magazine, so I've got pipe bombs and then scrap the other one. Got another skill point there. Uh, mother load. Yeah, that'll do. Let's see, have we got any other good quests? We got an infested speed clear, but that isn't going to work. An infestation is just going to kill me. So clear plus food and see what it takes to make it. Oh, it does change what you need. You need red tea, bacon and eggs and coffee. I don't have that kind of infrastructure, man. But I am kind of interested to find out what the reward is for these kinds of things. I think I do have enough coffee for that, but I'm going to need eggs mainly. Uh, so let's have a look for some bird's nests. But if it's not worth doing, I won't do it again. I actually cannot find a bird's nest. My eyes aren't letting me see them. <laughs> They're too similar to the ground texture. Ah, too slow. Why can I not find any? I'm going to try and run instead because I, I can't find any on my bicycle. I wonder if there's like a render issue. Had to be eggs, didn't it? Had to be eggs. Oh, here's one. And no eggs. This is going to take a long time. You know what? I give up on this quest. I am not going to find enough eggs anytime soon. I might be able to do tier 1 feed jobs though because those don't require eggs. Eggs are just too much of a pain in the ass to get in the base game. Cannot find any bird's nest. I've probably scoured this area already though, but I only had two eggs back in my base to make one bacon and eggs. And I think I might have ate it. Let's see what other jobs he has. Well, he only has the tier 2 infested or the supply drop, which I can't really do because it's night time. So let's take a normal clear plus food and see how it does compared to just a regular tier 1 job. Let me go back to my base and get a drink and then I'll make that food and we'll go out and see if it's worth doing at all. Now let's have a look here. I need two golden rod teas. Oh, these are going to take forever. I need to make more campfires. Let's get the two grilled meat going. Get a golden rod tea. Another golden rod tea. Oh, does it take water to make cornbread? Oh, that sucks. Oh, and I need a cooking pot. You need water to make cornbread? Ugh. Right, well, I'll wait like four minutes for all that to craft and then we'll see if the quest was worth it. All right, I think that is it done. Let's go to the POI now, clear it out, and then leave the supplies behind. Now, the thing about the Feeding the Famished quest is don't think they're particularly difficult POIs regardless. I think the food is the main thing it makes you do and then it makes you clear like a tier one. So it's mostly just about is the time and resources it takes to make the food worth the reward because if it is then great but if it's not then i'm not gonna do them am i and it'll mostly just be the speed clears i end up doing <laughs> the speed clears are quite fun though is this even in the game i do not recognize this hello one hit nice this is suspicious any zombies up there hi there arlene you don't see me I'm cooking weekly, nice, I can make pumpkin bread and stuff now. Oh, the loot's right here. Great heist, are you worth reading? Uh, no, you're not. Medical journal. Right, who's still alive that I need to kill then? I mean, there's this random. Ow. Someone around here, I'm guessing? Ah, crawler, hi. Is this POI in the base game? It feels too spacious to be in the base game. Someone alive up there? Oh, hi. Can I eat these peas? Now we have a marker over here as well. Oh, I didn't even see this door. Everything's the same color. And then we need to find the supplies, which is... Are we stashing them up there? I see. So I take that. It takes the food and we go and talk to the trader. Now, I'm aware of like a, a bug or just an issue where it doesn't actually tell you which trader to talk to. So when you're doing these at home, if you're playing along with the mod, just remember who sent you. <laughs> I think it matters. I know it was Trader Hugh who's just over there. So, no issues. Let's go see what the reward is, if it's worth it at all. Um, just basic starting quest reward. So, I really don't feel like that was worth it, uh, in terms of rewards for at least a tier 1, but then the tier 2, you need, like, bacon and eggs, and eggs are just the worst. So, we'll need to check these out at a higher level and see if they're any more worthwhile to do. So, there's no more tier 2s I want to do today, uh, or tier 1s. So, I guess we'll just end the episode here, and tomorrow... We will go out and do more tier 2s and I will try and get the tier 2 complete and I'll get started on mining some resources during the night so that I can have cobblestone and stuff like that in time for the horde because I am scared of that first horde night. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today we are going to be completing tier 2 because I want to get onto tier 3 jobs as soon as possible because they give better rewards. So let's see what Hugh has. 
is a defend and a clear and a couple of interesting, interesting. Those aren't the best tier two jobs, but I will take a clear. Bart salvage. All right, all right. Tier two clear could give us a good weapon because clear jobs, of course, are pretty much guaranteed to give you some kind of weapon as a reward. Maybe a baseball bat, but I don't know if we'll get that at tier two. So let's head over to Bart salvage and clear this area out. All right, here we are. There's a bunch of vultures flying around, so I'm going to try and take those down before they become a problem. My aim is not warmed up today, clearly. Right, well, that took entirely too many shots. I usually two-shot these. Well, I hit him. There we go. They're both dead, at least. I'm out of 7.62 now, though. Let's loot the mailbox. Batter up. Sure. Uh, read that. Loot the mailbox again. And it's the... Oh, it's a different batter up. I can scrap that for research data with the mod we're playing with. Let's head inside. Now this place, I think, has a dog. Whenever I enter POIs, I sometimes have weird flashbacks that tell me there's a dog in them. And I don't have a gun. Hmm, you know what? I'm going to go around rather than going through that door. Uh, let's see. Can I get, like, up on the barbed wire? I already have some frames crafted. Cool. I just use the wooden blocks as, like, a cover for the barbed wire. I don't have to walk on it. It doesn't do too much damage anyway, but I'd rather take no damage. The real question is... Ah, yeah. I was going to say that the real question is if the zombies in here are even spawned in unless I go through that door, but they are. I can see a zombie there, so there's presumably more zombies spawned in. This is cheesy, but I don't want to get killed by a dog, so cry about it, to be honest. I mean, I may as well take advantage of this while I'm here. Ah, that'll give me the markers as well. It's useful to know. So the dog's probably on the other side... We should really pick these up. It's a lot of materials to leave behind. Oh, I didn't even see that bow there. Right, this was weird. I wonder if I can get up on the roof of that. Where are you hiding the dog from me? I know you have one. There's another zombie there. The marker indicates that the dog is probably hiding back there, so I need to get a view of that. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I see it. Let me just keep doing weird things like this. Yeah, there we go. Ow. I think I damaged him somehow. He made, like, a damage sound. How is he bleeding? Oh, he's getting hurt by the cactus. That would do it. Right, let's take a sneak attack on the dog. Maybe try and actually hit the shot. There we go. Let's see, where's he gonna go? Right head first into a cactus. Perfect. Right, dogs dealt with. Mostly problem solved then. Dogs are just very scary on insane difficulty. They will rip my health to pieces very quickly. So, if I can avoid having to get into a boxing match with them, I'm going to do it. I think the other zombie got stuck up there somehow. My bow softened them up quite a bit. Tactical warfare. Hmm, I'll scrap that. Some glue, nice. Is there anything up here? I don't even know if you can get up here without doing some weird jumping. Anything here? Nope. All right, that's this place looted. Let's see, is there anything in this? Oh yeah, there's loads of these lovely trash piles. Okay, that was a weird variety of useful things. Let's head into the underground section. God, there's more backs. Hmm, don't trust this. It makes you fall. <laughs> That'll do. This door locked, yep. All right, let's see, there's a key here. Hello. Didn't even get a sneak attack moving with my knife here. That should soft him up. Did the zombie just fall down? Hi. A rucksack up here. And I know, I have a cigar. I'm not going to use that. <laughs> uh, big hitters and something I can just scrap. A wooden club at quality value is just free damage, so I will make that. There we go. Nice. Nice little mini upgrade. Is it still a pain to get out of here? Oh no, they're 50 health. Okay, that's good. Let's go get the actual loot and kill the zombies though. Some more glue. Nice. Uh, oh yeah, you have to go into this little under underground area. Hello, crawler. Ooh, loot. Level 3 wooden club and food and meds. Hi. Can I get sneak attack on them somehow? Yes, I can. I can get a sneak kill. Uh, let's see, is there anything... Yeah, I probably just want more mother load, because I've explained this before in the challenge, but a lot of materials are going to be needed to keep up with the desert game stage. 34 already, oh my god. I don't think day seven's going to be that bad, but oh god, it's going to escalate from there. Uh, coffee and peas. I'll drink the coffee and I'll eat the peas, just because I don't have much inventory space. Anything in here? Not really, all right. Let's go check the other areas. Oh, I don't think I can get an easy view of anybody from here. Hello? Is there someone? Okay, I've got two red markers. That's helpful. Three red markers, actually. They were lined up, right? Let's bring them down into here, then. A way out is this way. Okay, there's one. I think they're going for the door because zombies are a bit silly. One more, I think. Ooh, books, nice. What do we have? Oh, just paper. And vehicle adventures and a bar brawler. I will just scrap that for data. Oh, a glue, nice. Big hitters, sure. Again, I don't want to stick with a baseball bat the entire playthrough, but I'll take it. Single armor pocket mod there. That's nice. I've got a slot for that. 
my boots. There we go. I didn't bring lock picks, did I? I have loads of them as well. I just didn't think I would need them in a tier two, and I am not going to set an axe that open. Oh, there's more zombies. Hang on, I've missed someone. Ah, I thought there was more than just two. Hello. Try and get a sneak attack on him. In fact, he has a little bit of armor, so let me use the slightly armor penetrating arrows. Can I get, like, a position where I can sneak here, please, game? Here we go. Let me try and take his head off like this. That works. Okay, that's everybody dead. Anything good in here? Some murky water in here, probably. Oh, just paper. Even the toilet won't give me the loot I want. Ah, meds, hello. No medical journal, but I'll take a first aid kit. Right, let's head back to Hugh. I can learn how to use the ladder. And we'll get some kind of good tier 2 reward for that, hopefully. I think I maybe have to do one more after this and we'll have tier 2 complete. Opening up the lovely, amazing, perfect, the best tier 3 jobs, of course. I'll take my luck at this engine here. No luck. Damn. That's some glue in the bin, though. Never say no to glue, because you need a million of it. Let's head back to Hugh. Hey, Hugh, what do you have for me? An iron fire axe. Hmm... The thing about Iron Fire Axes is, is, that's difficult to say, is in the past few playthroughs I've done, I've kind of abandoned the concept of using wood. Like, if I needed to build a lot of storage containers and stuff, yeah, I would need to chop down a few trees, but I pretty much just skip wood when it comes to building bases now. I'm confident enough in my placing that I can just use cobblestone blocks, and if I misplace one, 1500 health isn't that much to get through. So, an Iron Fire Axe isn't going to help me that much. 556 when I don't have something to fire it from isn't great, so I will just take the crafting skill magazines. And let's take the buried supplies. Now a tier 2 one's going to be slightly nightmarish, and I don't have a shovel for some reason, I'll go check my storage for that. Two big hitters, two scrapping, and two forger heads, nice. Forger heads up to 26. We will have cement mixers in no time. I'll go get a shovel, and then we'll head out and do that buried supplies. Shouldn't be too bad since I have four ranks of minor 69, or you would hope I could maybe like one or two shot the dirt by now. It's only sand after all, but we'll see. Uh, the spawns on a tier 2 buried supplies aren't absolutely nightmarish either, so I should be okay. Uh, since my SMG, or rather pipe machine gun, is dead, because it has no ammo, I'll take my pipe pistol out and... Why do I have two different kinds of 9mm? Oh, it's just two different stacks. They looked different to me, that was weird. I actually have a slightly better tier 2 pipe pistol, so I'll take that. Uh, there's a shovel. Let me repair that with some stone. I have some lying around, I'm sure. We can even put a grave digger on there, that should help a lot. Or can I make, like, high-level stone tools yet? I've not really thought about it. Oh, I can make level 4s, let's do that. Level 4 stone shovel. Take the grave digger off this. This can probably have two mods, can't it? Yeah, I'll take the structural brace mod off of that. Something just broke some glass somewhere. What's happening over there? I just hear, like, fighting and dogs barking. <laughs> Let's go take a cycle past. I'm not sure if I'm hearing zombie dogs or a coyote. Or, like, a wolf. Did a random dog inside this POI wake up? Oh, it looks like a zombie dog cord is running through that place. I'm just gonna leave now and hope for the best. <laughs> Yeah, did they break in, like, one side? That's weird. Anyway, let's go do the buried supplies, and hopefully they'll just despawn by the time I come back. Here we are. Right, let's get into a couple of fights with the locals, so that they don't annoy me during the digging. Actually, you know what? They're kind of far away. Let's just start it. Oh, that's a big radius. Let's get started. Okay, I can two-shot this the sand. That's good enough. Got some spawns. Let's deal with these. Nobody spawned that time, great. Oh, was that there? Hello, what do we have in here? A level 3 pipe pistol. Hey, it's an upgrade. <laughs> and a couple of useful pieces of armor and mods. Let's just leave. I have no interest in fighting these guys. Let's go get a quest reward. That might be tier 2 complete right there with a lot of spare time, actually. So that'll be good. Hello again, Hugh. Ooh, an actual pistol. All of it all. And also an actual iron pickaxe. Um... I don't mind mining stone with a stone axe for a while. Give me that pistol. That's a real gun. Kind of. Mostly. <laughs> right, that wasn't tier 2 complete. Let's see. Has he got anything else? He's got a tier 2 defend, which I really don't want to do. Oh, a speed clear tier 1. Let's do that. See if I'm any better at doing speed clear tier 1s. I completely failed the original ones. Let's see if 5 days of progress has helped at all, or if I need to be even better. Alright. Well, let's go. Oh, he's dead. Wasted time. Run ruined. Nobody's in here. Don't be a dog. Don't be a dog. Don't be a dog. Don't be a dog. There was no dog. No, I fell off the roof. Here goes my gold. But I'm probably going to get a silver. There we go. 
So, I completed that with a silver medal. I don't know what that means, uh, but my, my base reward will be 800 dukes. So if I get more than that, or if I get like some kind of special reward, we'll see how good the, the tiers are. I'm pretty sure I could just go watch Cautious Pancake's video on it, but I refuse. I want to experiment. I need something to learn in these games. Ooh, a triple armor pocket mod. Nice. Hack mule users are in shambles right now. Oh right, yeah, let's go back to here, see what reward we get, and if that gives me enough for tier 2 complete. Going from getting no medals to a silver medal has to be worth something. There's a clear sign of progress there. Those dogs are still here. <laughs> I'm just gonna drive past them. They'll despawn eventually. Thank you. Ooh, height bombs are tempting, and I should have mentioned this at the start of the episode. During the night, I made a workbench. I just completely forgot to tell you, so I can make my own pipe bombs now. But it is very convenient to just get them. So this is pipe bombs plus 800 dukes. Do I get any kind of special reward? Well, that sounded like it gave me something extra. So I got an extra 400 dukes for getting a silver medal, and I got extra XP there. It was an extra 50% XP, so maybe you get double the reward if you get a gold medal. Ooh, that's very tempting. Okay, those are good then. Those are really good. Okay, so my game just kind of slightly crashed because the last quest, as you can see, is technically incomplete. And if I click on that, my console will fill with stuff. That's pretty normal for the added quest mods. It's still a work in progress. These things happen. But I do actually get a small advantage from the fact that that failed. Also, I completely miscounted how much points I was going to need for... Uh, tier 2. I'm gonna need to do at least one more tier 2 and maybe a tier 1. But the advantage I got from my game crashing is actually, oh, I get the quest reward again. That was not what I was intending, but let me go ahead and take that and just, I'll just, you know, I'll just put that on the ground. Ooh, those are big pipe bombs. And that never happened, right? We're not trying to exploit anything that badly, but it does give me a bunch more quests and they're all absolutely nightmarish or really far away. I am not doing an infested tier two speed clear. Holy shit, I will die. Um, I think the best bet is going to be normal speed clears or the clear zombies. Let's take the normal one. Jerry's fill. Let's see if I can get that done before nightfall and then at the very least tomorrow I'll only have to do one more job to get the tier 2 complete. I would have loved to get it done today and I will still try and get it done today. Oh, there was a rock there. Uh, but it might mean that I don't get my tier 3 jobs until day 7 which is not the best but I can live with it. I just need to build a base for day 7. I don't need particularly good gear. Like a wooden club and some good skills will do. Especially with those spare pipe bombs. Ah, yes, Jerry's fill, I remember. Now, let's try and get it done quickly, even though it's not a speed clear. Let me take both of these off of that and put them on my club so I can kill easier. Small damage boost across the board is always good. Nobody in here. Ooh, passing gas containers. Okay, I'll take a moment out of my run here for this. Handy land, okay. Like I said, I do need a hammer. Two tools digest. Cool. Stone tools at quality five. I'll do that later. It's not top priority. Although I do have the stuff for it on me right now, don't I? I might as well. Here we go. Best stone tools available to me. See a guy up there. And I get a shot on them. Is that their head? I think it was. Yep, there's the biker that spawns here most of the time. I'll deal with him quickly. Ow. Oh, no stamina. Let me jump up here. Yeah, they're a little bit confused by that movement I just made. I'm not sure why, but they are. Ow. At least I have a sham chowder. Right, and then there's the one that hides in the little crate over there. Let's get my loot while I'm here, though. Night Stalker. Eh. I'll just take the research data. Farming. Some vitamins. Right, let's get the last zombie here and head back to Hugh. Might be able to get another job done. Or at least get the job done in such a way that I'll be able to hand in the reward in the morning. That would be acceptable. Who's hiding in here? Hi there. I will take a bunch of Sim 6 too, thank you. Let's take the speed clear 400 meters away, the Crow Residence. Might be able to get that done tonight, especially if I go in guns blazing. Let's head over there. Let's get in there. 45 seconds to complete gold. I'll take silver though. Ow, not ideal. Oh, bullshit. Not even sure how that works. It's not gonna be good for my time though. Hello? Yeah, I got silver, and that's not bad. See here, spear hunter, no thank you. All right, let's head outside. There is one thing I want to grab really quickly before I leave, and that is the ammo box here. 
Nice, 109 mil. Or was that... It was 100 something. I don't know what it was. I've got 10,000 dukes now, though. When did that happen? I guess I have done a lot of jobs. Let's head over. Hopefully I can get there before nightfall. Hopefully that's tier 2 complete now. Because that would mean I can get tier 3 star tomorrow, which would be really nice. Um, I'll take a club book. Why not? That's still not tier 2 complete. Did the quest reward bug again? It did. Interesting. Right, well, what I'll do is I'll exit the game. I don't know why it's bugging like this now, though. Because we did, you know, the special quest before and they worked fine. But now they're being a little bit weird. <laughs> oh, mods are fun. It might be because I'm actually getting a medal now and it kind of breaks the quest a little bit. Maybe you're supposed to get two rewards for it. Like, maybe you are actually supposed to do this. Still no tier two complete, though. Hmm. I wonder if they just don't count. Let's see. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 points should be enough to get you to tier two complete because it's basically a point system where tier ones are worth one point, tier twos are worth two points, and the amount of points you have to get is the tier times seven. So tier one is seven points, tier two is 14 points, tier three is 21 points, and what that basically translates to is seven of the highest level jobs available to you should get you the tier complete. But you can add other ones in, but I wonder if the mod has not made these somehow a part of it. But if we go back down to tier one complete, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that did get me tier 1 complete. My only assumption then is that the tier 1 expedited extractions where you get a silver, a gold, or bronze medal actually don't count towards the quest somehow, which would be weird. And if that is true, and I've only gotten rewards in the last two, that should mean 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, which means I should be doing one more tier 1. Let's see what they have. I had to leave the game to get that to do that anyway. Sparks place. Right, this is our last hope. Start that. Check this. Medical journal. Right. Right, let's get this done as fast as I physically can. Oh, they've barred up the windows. Of course they have. Where is it hiding? Right here. I'll take that. Gotta love tier one fetches. They're pure comedy. Let's head back and see if that's enough to get me tier two complete. If not, I probably give up. We'll take these shotgun shells. That's still not tier two complete. Okay, now I just don't know what's happening. <laughs> I, ju I don't know. I give up. I do not know why it's not working. Let's take another clear. Uh, I'm not going to have time to complete that tonight. We'll do that in the morning before the trader opens, though. And I'll just keep going through quests until I eventually get the tier 2 complete. Maybe the other speed clears didn't work for some reason, or maybe I did get a silver and didn't pay attention. Possible. Well, during the night I'm gonna gather up some materials because we will have to build a base in the next couple of days, but you guys don't have to see that, and in the morning we'll deal with that job and see if we can get tier 2 to fix itself. What's my do collector doing? Ha 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 ha. Right, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, it's about to be, oh, in fact it is morning of day 6, let's get out and do that clear job. And hopefully, it'll give me tier 2 complete. If the game feels like being nice to me. Alright, let's reset this. Let's loot the mailbox because they're amazing. Art of mining, perfect. And let's clear the POI. Preferably quickly. Leather duster, is that better than what I have? It is. Hello? Ah, it's one of those POIs, huh? I remember now. <laughs> Ooh, look, food and ammo. Did you? Come here. Hey, sports bag. Deep shotgun and a potato. What the fuck is going on? Hi. Bonk. Ooh, one hit kill. Nice. Give me a book. Yes, nice. Bookcase. Hello. Ah, I didn't mean to read that. I should have scrapped it. Oh, I'm thirsty. Um, kind of stock gives you some water. Let's drink that. Hi there. Ow. Ugh, my armor's damaged. Which one is it? Oh, it's probably the helmet. Do I have anything to repair that? No, what do you need to repair? Oh, you need repair kits. Well, that sucks. I'll find some. I think I have some. I just don't keep them on me. You stop doing that. Stand up. Ooh, burning shaft. Good for that on my club. Medical journal. I can make fort bites. More ammo. Uh, scrapping for fun and a lockpick. Nice. And just absolutely hope that he wants to give me tier 2 complete today. And oh, we actually got here before Trader Q even opened. I'll just stand here for 10 in-game minutes then. Hey, I will take some repair kits. Ah, there we go, tier 2 complete finally. So we can get mini bike parts bundle, 54 iron food bundle, which is like 10 pieces of decent food, or 5,000 dukes. Hmm. See, a motorcycle is just going to be much more worth my time, so I think I'm going to take the food bundle and hope that it's good food. It is 10 chili dogs and 2 mineral water. Chili dogs are good food. Those are 50 food and 30 health right there. And three home cooking books as well, I didn't think about that. Let me drink one of these mineral waters and eat one of these chili dogs then. Uh, I have two skill points, let me just continue dumping those into Motherload. 
next, I think I'm going to go for agility and start building sort of an agility character with archery, deep cuts, gunslinger, some parkour, some stealth and stuff. Now that my resource collection stuff is kind of covered. Got any special jobs? Trader Gen to the south. Is that the same one I already know? No, there's Trader Gen to the east, but there's another Trader Gen somewhere else. Where is she? Me on the map. That's... No idea where that is. Oh, I see. Yeah, we can go see her. You know, two trader gens. Now, I don't get tier 3 jobs today, so I'm not really wasting much time if I do do that. Uh, did you restock today? No, you restocked like yesterday. Let me buy that wood. And oh, damn, let's go see so trader gen. Hot. If she has anything good. See if her town's any good. Oh, and let me repair my helmet, because that will annoy people. Alright, here we are, other gen. Let's loot our compound first, because that's where all the good stuff is. Forge your head, nice. Up to 27 of those. And then this will have the 28th. We might get another one from Chemistry Station or the Workbench. No luck this time, that's fine. Some book piles here. Two big hitters, okay. And another book pile here with Forge your head and Tools Digest. Cool. Let's talk to Jen. Uh, a couple of very cheap first aid bandages, which I'll always take. Forge your head magazine, obviously. Give me that. A lot of water filters, but I don't need them that desperately. Uh, so not much to Remember sell me. me you... We can make cement mixers now, though. I think I should do quests for Jen, because there's two Jens on my map so far. And that would mean I could do higher level quests in lots of different locations. And Trader Hugh isn't giving me tier 3s today anyway. And it takes ages to go along that road on a bicycle. So I should take advantage of the fact that I will have multiple high level traders. And just level them where I can. I'll focus on Hugh though, because he's already further ahead. I'll need a temporary storage here for sure. Right, let's head out and do this fetch as quickly as possible. I will build my horde base on day 7. Just as a little bit of extra added challenge and also to keep the video nice and tight. Oh, battery, nice. Ah, this one takes me to a ranger station. I will keep note of its location because I am actually looking for a ranger station to move into later in the series. Probably not this one because it's kind of an inconvenient position, but I'll keep it in consideration. Let's start this. I didn't bring any 9mm ammo, so I can't kill the vultures that are flying around. I just have to keep an eye on them. <laughs> That's lucky. Right, speaking of vultures, this place usually has one on your way up here. Hi. Oh, just attack me, please. There we go. Also, bird's nest. I am still looking for eggs. There's one. There's another vulture there. I don't think it's part of the POI, though. Oh, hello, zombies. There's two of you. Oh, hardly please no. Nice. Some bandages. That's 20 cloth right there. What well, saves me 20 cloth? They can't scrap to 20 cloth, unfortunately. This is an absolute nightmare. I made my choice. I stand by it. It was either get hit by Arlene and maybe get an injury or get hit by the vulture and definitely get a worse injury than bleed. Anyone else? Oh yeah, there's like a downstairs area to this POI. I hate that. Who can pot them? That'll be a guaranteed one because it's spawned in the world. What the fuck? I have so many questions. Need another healing bandage first though. Hi. Wanna break glass? Here we are. Alright, let's get out here back to Trader Gen, see what we can get for this. I would like to get Tier 1 complete with Gen, although I doubt I'll get it today, uh, so that I can get a bunch of free water filters. Where's my bike? Ah, let's head back to her. I think she had at least two more fetch jobs, which means I can get them done quite quickly. Which is just free money and XP. Also, if I get sent actually into the town, that would be really nice, because there's a bunch of mailboxes there that I won't have looted yet, which is just free books. Ooh, 10 duct tape or a crafting magazine bundle. I'll take the bundle. Two tools digests. I'll take the knife guys because I do want to use knives later but I'll scrap those for research data. Uh, skill point, I'm going to just put that in agility while I wait for other things. This See, time. she's got a fetch 100 meters really away which is that feeling. bar, let's go do that. Probably should have started with the much closer ones. Here we are, the bobcat bar. I don't recognize this. Might be new. Start that, where's the fetch? Probably, there better not be an actual like mountain lion in here by the way. It's a tier one. Ooh, cooking pot, nice. Another probably guaranteed one of those. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a vulture up there. How can I... Hmm, if I just... Oh, that'll do it, whatever. And here's the bag. I'm probably right at the end of the POI, though, so I should probably just finish it. Yeah, there's the loot. That works. 
Art of Mining, nice. Best skill book. Medical journal. Let me open this food crate and we'll head back to gym. Southern farming and a hobo shoe, nice. So I can finally grow yucca in the desert. Thank you, magazines. Whoa, hi. Came out of nowhere. I will take the shotgun shells, because I do need some of those for that double barrel shotgun I got. Let's take Bob's cafe. I wonder, is there a cement mixer at this little PY here? It looks like there would be. Second, there's a yellow rucksack thing. First aid bandage, nice. Ah, there's a cement mixer. Which means forge head, nice. Oh, there's the construction material place as well. That, there's a coyote. That has at least one cement mixer. Oh my god, would you go away? Don't you do it, coyote. I'm gonna take hits here. Oh, that works. <laughs> Lucky headshot works for me. Now let me check this place, because there's definitely one cement mixer, which is a guaranteed forge ahead. There we go. Then there's some zombies to kill, and then there's a couple of working stuff tools crate. But there might be another cement mixer in here, in the back room, I forget. If not, there is definitely another crate, though. No crates downstairs, is there a crate up here? Yeah, here we are. Pretty likely to give me something useful. Or just a stone shovel and some thread, okay. And then here is another crate and another cement mixer, I was right. There's two forge heads in this PY. Pretty much guaranteed unless you're playing on weird loot settings. There's a third forge ahead. Wonderful. Oh, and I got a home cooking weekly as well. There's another zombie in the back here though. Or at least one. There's probably two actually. Whoa. But that's everything I need out of here. Let's uh I'm gonna check this other warehouse right next to it in case I have something immediately obviously useful. Gun crate. Construction crate. You might find a forge ahead in a construction crate, so I'm gonna search that. No, nope, but I did get a wiring tool, that's something. Right, let's go to the actual quest I was sent here to do. Is that another one of these little roadworks? It is, it has another cement mixer for me then. There's a fourth forge ahead. In fact, I think that's, yeah, fifth forge ahead from this little town. Now let's get in here quickly. Damn it, no stamina. Here's the thing. I see no reason to stick around here. There's not good loot in this POI anyway, so let's go back to Jen. Get another quest done. We'll have here one complete in no time. It'll probably be some point in the next week though, because I'll have to go back for day seven. But once that's done, we can come back out here, finish tier one, and then go all the way back and finish tier three with you, and then come back and finish tier two with the Jens. I make a lot of progress with a lot of different traders across a lot of different areas across the map. That was a lot of words. Ooh, hey. Mailbox, but that's not what I was seeing. Uh, sharp sticks, cool. What I was seeing was this bookstore here. Might be worth a quick stop here. Acid for medical equipment. Shotgun Messiah. Or Shotgun Weekly, so Shotgun Messiah is the skill book, not a skill magazine. Wood splitter mod schematic, I might need that, I don't know. Tools digest, yep. Explosives, yep. Fear hunter, no. Batter up, I already know. Turn that into research data. Tools again, yep. Firing, I mean, maybe, I don't know. I'm conflicted on whether I should bother with those too soon. Knife guy. I can't remember if there's any books on the roof, so I'm gonna go check. Yeah, there's a crack about crate up here, and that's good enough for me. Uh, tools digest. Sure. I'll scrap the schematic. You know what, I wonder if it's worth cycling around looking for a few more easy cement mixers. Getting a crucible quickly would be very nice. Probably not in the first week, mind you, but maybe in time to have it ready for the third week would be nice. Is there a cement mixer in this PY? There's passing gas containers, but I'm not going to go out my way for those. Let's keep cycling around. Also, mailboxes are worth looting. Art of mining. There's a coyote coming. Be quick. Was that urban combat? Nice. What one? The one that makes armor lighter, basically. Mailbox. Oh my god, that thing is still chasing me. Okay, let's fight. I knocked it over. Good. Um, There's another mailbox over here. Art of mining. Insulated lining. That's useless in this map. Should have checked these working stiff tools trucks when I was here last time, but I forget. Hammers, no thank you. Wasteland treasures and a book I can scrap. Cool. I'm getting there on wasteland treasures, actually. I should be near completion. Excellent. it. No. Tools digest. If I could get level 5 iron tools right now, that would be very nice. Does this thing have a mailbox? It does. With paper in it, damn it. Tools digest again. Iron tools quality 3. Very nice. Paper. Actually, I do need paper for, um... Crafting my own skill magazines with the research mod. So I shouldn't be complaining about that. <laughs> Still, getting an actual book I can use is more useful. Oh, there's a working stiff tools truck and an electronics truck right next to each other. Lucky day. Tech planet. Ah, I didn't mean to scrap the wiring one. I'm all over the place. 
One day I'll decide if I want those or not. Maybe I'll just scrap half the ones I find and read half the ones I find. Just for maximum confusion. Tactical warfare, no thank you. Oh, I'm hungry. I have the chili dogs, cool. Works for me, all this wasted healing. Farming magazines, I'm finding a lot of those despite having no points in farming. Oh no, I do have a point in farming, don't I? That's why. I have that single rank so I can get double aloe. That would explain it then, yeah. Another art of mining, nice. Not quite done with it yet, but still getting a lot of good ranks of it. Another wasteland treasures, still not done with that either. Not that the completion reward is very good, mind you. Still, I would like it. And that's most of the stuff in this town in terms of like mailboxes and cement mixers looted. Let's hand this quest reward into Jen and then I think I'm going to cycle home. Oh. I'll take more repair kits, it does save me a lot of duct tape and uh, forged iron and crafting time. But yeah, I'm going to cycle home now. Oh, well, I got a skill point now, let's just put that in agility as well. Get prepared for when I want to go down that path. Uh, I'm going to go home now and tomorrow we will build a base. I've actually been mining stone and clay during the nights already. I have uh, about 300 blocks worth of it, which should be enough for a starter base. Uh, some of it's still crafting in that workbench I mentioned. I will have to take of this what I can. That will do. And we'll get prepped for the Horde night tomorrow. It shouldn't be too difficult. My game stage is only 43, which is a lot for a day 7 Horde, yes. But it's not a lot in the grand scheme of things. It's like a day 14 Horde, if anything. So it's not that bad. We do have the ability now, though, to make my own cement mixers which is pretty good and we're getting there on chemistry stations and crucibles of course which are like the most important part of progression to me then vehicles i would think not sure what vehicle i want to get yet but we'll work towards it and since i have the research mod i can just make skill books i want as long as i find a lot of other books i can recycle them into research data and then make my own books such a nice mod but yeah that's gonna have to wait for the next episode i hope you're enjoying the series and in the meantime a special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, you can find the links down in the description. If you've watched this video, you'll probably be interested in another one. I would recommend the one on the top right right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, welcome back to Desert Ranger. I do not want to build a horde base. And it's annoying because I spent a while, basically all the nights of the series so far, I've been building up this little stock of uh, various horde base things, plus some pipe bombs there. I've got my 500 cobblestone blocks, some spare cobblestone that I get for repairs, hatches, doors, all the usual shit. And I just don't want to do it. And the reason why is very simple. What's the point? Now, obviously, the point of making a horde base in seven days to die. Some people complain about this, so let me keep my camera still. I apologize. The point of making a base in seven days to die is, of course, to survive the horde. Alternatively, you could view it as to get the most XP from the horde. What if I just don't need one to survive the horde at all? What if I just run around? That sounds way more engaging, rather than, what is it, six in-game hours of standing in a base, clicking on zombies? And then there's the actual process of building horde bases, which I find frankly mind-numbing, and you wouldn't be able to tell considering I've made- and you wouldn't be able to tell I hate horde base design, of course, because I definitely haven't made like ten videos on the exact same three designs, but hey, they get views. <laughs> and they're very effective bases, so I can't complain, they do get you lots of XP and they do- save you from the horde. I just don't want to do that video again and I've tried to push myself to make horde bases in the past. You'll remember the one time I actually did try and make my own original horde base design. I came up with that absolutely horrifying stilt base that looked like an insect that worked ridiculously well. So I mean, I'm clearly capable of coming up with base designs. But I, I just have no... what's the word? Motivation to make yet another horde base design for this game? There's like 10 horde base designs that work. None of the ones I would come up with are going to be particularly original. Don't mind me just reading this poster here. So what I think we're going to do is just not use a horde base and just try and survive hordes without a horde base, at least for day seven. Maybe if day seven is absolutely horrible, then I might have to like build a base for day 14. I've got plenty of materials and I'll have lots of extra time for that. But I think doing day seven without a horde base, I'm not even going to try and like sit in a POI because that I find is just 
really annoying and it's kind of hard to get that to work. And what's motivated me to just not be motivated to make horde bases, and I think this is a sentiment a lot of 7 Days to Die players agree with. And yes, I know, hello, welcome to Is Prebuilt, all I do is complain about 7 Days to Die, hi, how are you? But this is a very valid criticism that I see a lot of people in the community making, it's just that they keep trying to counter, looks like a feral died over there, they just keep trying to counter base designs when they release updates. And recently there was an update, I'm not sure which one it was, but whatever it is, it causes some zombies to just hit your base. Now you might be thinking, no, no, pre-built, no, no, it's the destroy area mechanic, it happens when they fall, and I say no, no back. I was testing out a horde base design, it was basically just a bigger version of the killing corridor, and zombies were coming to the front of the base and it was all working fine, except that I was keeping an eye on the AI, and there's a way you can actually check the states of the various AI in the debug menu of the game. I can't do it in this world because we're not supposed to cheat in this world, obviously, but basically this AI would have a bunch of settings above their head and it would tell you exactly what they're thinking. And you can see, maybe it's a bug, whatever, but you can see with some of the AI that spawn in on Horde Nights now, they don't even even do the destroy area mechanic in the way we thought they did where they like run up the stairs and get hit and fall and then they go ah, I'm gonna hit the base. Some of them just spawn in in destroy area mode now which means that they spawn in and they basically just run straight to your base and smack it and then they run to you. The problem is that it forces you even more than they already are to use the exact same base designs. I think in 7 days to die right now the top of my head there are what I can describe as possibly four distinct horde base ideas that work which are brute force bases which I despise and specialize in there are afk bases which are completely pointless for a youtube series why would I build one and then there is the stilt bases the ones that I made for Insane Nightmare and I am pretty sure other people have came up with that independently as well. And then there's like explosive pits and then a fifth one, underground bases. Those are the bases that work. And it's just like, I don't want to make any of those. I'm going to kill this zombie, hang on. So yeah, because I don't want to make any of those, what am I supposed to do for a horde base? The answer is, there's not that many designs you can do. Now you can obviously play with the configuration more than I do. You can add plenty of bridges and lots of different stairs and lots of different styles of fighting position and you can make a fighting pit in a hundred different ways. But in terms of creativity, it's all creatively the same. And I'm bored of it. I just don't want to waste my time making another video on another horde base design that already works. I've already made like a hundred of them and everybody else has made like ten of them as well. I know that was bothering someone so I picked up the loot. So what we're going to do is just not use a horde base at least for day seven until I maybe get a horde base idea. Feel free to leave any horde base ideas you've tried in the comments but most of them are either so cheesy they're pointless or they're so easy it's tedious or they just don't work and it's because the fun pimps do really try and restrict the horde bases you can build. You can look through the history of seven days to die and see all the AI changes and how they just every little update they tighten it and then they tighten it and then they tighten it. It's like oh okay they're doing that well we'll get rid of this mechanic. Oh they're doing that well we'll introduce this and the fun pimps have spent at least the last five years just fighting the community on what horde bases we want to use. So I'm just just not going to get involved. I'm just not going to be creative. You win, fun pimps. I'm just not going to use a horde base now. I'm pretty sure what the fun pimps want you to do is just reinforce POIs and hope for the best, but that doesn't really work when you're playing on like 64 max spawns <laughs> in say Nightmare. You need a good base or you need no base. So tonight we'll be doing the horde just on my two little legs. Now the issue with that is you won't get maximum XP. You won't get enough kills on a day seven horde with your shitty equipment to get maximum XP from a horde night but I don't particularly care either, so it's fine. So I have a bunch of horde base materials. I'm not gonna use it because horde base building bores me to death and doing horde nights in a horde base bores me to death and I think you guys don't want me to be utterly bored in seven days to die so it seems like a good decision to just wing it no no base required now I will be using blocks and stuff to like get around and maybe some spikes to stop zombies and stuff but in terms of building a horde base as in a building I stand in and fucking point my guns at zombies and hold down the trigger oh it sounds horrifyingly boring so we've got tier three quests that we're going to do for today and there is a tier 3 fetch clear which sounds very interesting. Do you have anything good Hugh? Huh, a Volk submachine gun. That is a very expensive submachine gun that I can afford. But it is a tier 1. It seems like a waste. 
but it is also a really cool submachine. I don't have the ammo for that, do I? I only have 150 shots. What about the double barrel shotgun? That is 13 damage by 10 versus 12 by 10. It's a slight upgrade over the regular double barrel shotgun, so I'll pass. Basically the same, no point spending money on it. Now I'm going to keep my mining perks, even though I'm not building a base, because I will still need to make like gunpowder and stuff to keep up with ammo needs. Uh, so what I'm going to do is put my stuff away in my base, just because I have a bunch of stuff that I was planning on moving to a horde base and then decided I don't want to build a horde base. So I'll put this away, we'll go do this fetch clear. Where's my fucking bicycle? Why am I walking around? I also can't wait for the terribly ironic comments of something along the lines of If you don't like 7 days to die, why don't you stop playing it instead of complaining about it? And they never ever notice the irony of that statement. Also, I am locking my inventory slots by holding ALT and clicking with the quick stack mod, by the way. That's how I'm doing that, that's what these red things mean in case anybody was wondering. I haven't actually seen any comments about that, which is unusual. Usually people ask when weird things happen, but it is locking inventory slots with the quick stack mod. Oh, it's this place. Okay. I can do this, probably. With my wooden club. Can I even make a baseball bat? Because I've been splitting my... Oh, I can make a level one. I've been splitting my skills for some strange things. People who've been watching the series will be aware. So my weapon skills aren't the best. I could use paper, actually. I need more skills from the research mod. I wonder if there's a mod that makes Horde Knights interesting. Other than, like, Darkness Falls, which just adds a bunch of enemies. But it's still, like, the same idea. You build a base, you fight a horde. Pretty sure Undead Legacy also has custom enemies, I don't remember. Been a while since I played it. Hey, an engine, nice. Hmm, there's usually a big zombie around here. Maybe a soldier. Oh, just a feral. Not just anything, it is a feral. Run for your life, scream away, run. Run away! Actually not that bad, I have a gun. Hi. Hmm, nerdy glasses, do I have those already? I did not. I'll take some free XP. Hey, tools digest, nice. Another medical journal as well, cool. Ow. Another tools digest, I'm gonna be finding a lot of those, aren't I? Oh yeah, there's a cop in here, shit. Grab the satchel. Uh, ah, oh, these are locked. Oh wait, can you... Ah, you can thread the needle. Crippling mod, that might be very helpful for tonight, actually. Let me put that on my pistol. And a bone knife. I won't say no. I hate bale of books. Scrap that for some research data and some armor. Do I have arm armor? I do have arm armor. Gloves is what those are called. Thank you, brain, for delaying that information to me. All right, zombies, come here. Oh, hey. There's a cop spawn behind you when you do that. Oh, it does. Oh, this, this game, this game, this game. Why are cops spawning behind you? What is the reason for the need? Maybe I missed it and it hides in the ceiling or something. I find that slightly more acceptable, although it's still effectively behind you. Get the end loot here. Oh, I didn't bring lockpicks because I'm a moron. Scrapping tools and some gas. Why did I read the fists? Scrap all those. I really need to find some more paper. That's the real limitation. Yeah, bicycle chassis. Uh, another medical journal. Yeah, I'll just leave those and I'll remember to pick up lockpicks before I go to the next job. It doesn't even look like there's any good tier 3s today anyway. I just want to spend the rest of my day looting for books and paper, like I said, and setting up a bit of a... Not a base, obviously, because I just said I don't want to make a base, but like some emergency ladders on top of buildings so that I can run away, heal, get stamina and stuff like that. Because day 7 is not going to be the kind of horde night where I can just do whatever the hell I want. I suppose I could forget an elixir out of strength and just parkour that would work i still need minor 69er eventually but then again it could wait hmm maybe that is worth doing i mean i can afford two or three forgetting elixirs at this point it doesn't really matter <laughs>
Give me a steel club. God damn it. I'm tempted by the steel pick. Even though I don't need tools that much now for my playstyle, I still need them for some things, so I'll take that. I can at least break into like a, what are they called, like a container if I need to. Let me check what he has to buy. Mega crushes, yes. I will very much want as many of those for Horde Knight as possible for obvious reasons. Right, so I wasn't able to get any kind of discount, so let's just take the forgetting elixir. I'm only level 14, I'm shit. Probably because the desert's kind of slightly harder. <laughs> let's get agility up to at least 5, get 2 ranks of parkour. Probably want to get deep cuts so that I can still clear POIs. But it's not going to be too helpful tonight. Gunslinger for my pistol though, yeah, probably. Run and gun, mm-hmm, for similar reasons. Whirlwind would be nice, but I don't have many skill points left. Maybe just strength and get started on getting Miner 69 or Mother Load up to level 3, and that would be a better build for me. Yeah, 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 I'm hungry. I'm annoyed I still have to keep the stone axe on me, though, because, like, it's my repair tool and my axe. Okay, do you have any good jobs here? Clear and a food. The thing is, I will not have the food for that, and it's not worth it. <laughs> oh, he has a tier 2 fetch. That is worth my time. Let me do that, and then we'll come back. Don't hit me, please. I'll drop some stuff off at my base first, though. If I can find other vending machines, that would be very helpful. So I can buy more Mega Crush. That's going to be, like, top priority. If I want to make this, like, an actual series where I never use a Horde base, which I might, I don't know yet. Maybe I just need a uh, quality away from building bases, but maybe that's what the series can be. Um, I'll need a lot of Mega Crush. You can do it without Mega Crush. Don't get me wrong. It's just easier with Mega Crush. Consider Considerably easier with Mega Crush, actually. Uh, for my sort of traps I want to lay out later on, I'll do it after this quest though, but I'll explain what I'm going to do. See, all of these sort of... I can jump an extra block, I forgot, that's so nice. I miss parkour. Um, see all of these relatively low roofs? Roofs? I'm going to have to Google the plural of that one, I'm an idiot. Uh, there's lots of low ceilings, <laughs> and that means it's quite easy to jump onto them if you just chuck a couple of ladders in strategic places, and that can give you a good opportunity for a breather if you need to, like, you know, sometimes you get hit by a zombie and you just have, like, seven injuries, and it's like, wow, that happened. So you just need to run away and get some stamina back and stuff. I don't need the club much at all anymore because I've just switched over to knives. So... Fuck it, I guess. I don't need that. Right, where's my bicycle? Here we are. Let's head out. It'll be nice not having to make a horde base, though, because then I can focus on making, like, a living base that's, like, cool. You know, I can use the UBBI. I've had that mod installed for, like, two playthroughs now, and I've not used it, because I never do, like, building a home. I always do building a horde base, and it takes up all my time and resources. Oh, it's this place. Yeah, I remember now. Well, if it's a fetch, it's a very easy fetch, hopefully, because most of this house is made of uh, glass, but it looks like it's in the vinyl room anyway, so it might not be as helpful. <laughs> or is it here? It's in the kitchen. I could smack into the kitchen here. Hang on. Greetings, zombie citizens. Just kidding. You're not citizens. You're not allowed to vote. Oops. Steal them. Right, I'm nervous to use this knife because it's a bone knife and it's day seven and I'm just not used to using own knives. I now have to play more hit and run style. Oh god, that's a lot of vultures. Had to be a lumberjack, didn't it? Oh yeah, it did. It's a guaranteed spawn there, actually. Would you just bleed out already? How much blood's in there? There we go. Hey, it's skill point. Nice. Let's get... Oh, lag. Let's get another rank of minor 69er. Right, what books did I get there? Handguns? Yes, I do actually want those. Pills Digest? Probably want that. There's the satchel. This will be... I'm done here. Let's head back to you, get a reward, and then set up my weird little town thing I want to do. I will take the crafting skill magazine bundles, because I still need a lot of those kinds of things. Can I make a hammer finally? Good. Let me scrap those armoured ups, they're not very good. Any other quests I could maybe just add to the pile? There's a speed clear, and a tier 2 speed clear, but they're all very far away, I don't have time for that today. Uh, I could do the tier 1 speed clear, but let's focus on just setting up a little bit of a playground here. So what I want to make sure is that on various buildings around here, I can get onto the lovely flat roofs by just jumping, and the zombies shouldn't really be able to follow me, and they'll beat the shit out of this building for a couple of minutes while I do whatever I'm up here to do, right? Sort of a as a safety net, I guess. Add a couple of them. You might be able to claim that, but it's not the end of the world. Now, I do have to be worried about zombies respawning in these locations. So, before I, every Horde Night, I should come around these places, if I'm going to keep using this exact place, and uh, try and clear out all the zombies that might respawn. These sky things annoy the shit out of me. Um, Do a bit of, like, this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think zombies can claim diagonally. That just might be the way to do it. I'll need to test that out at some point. Oh, it's going to be a difficult day seven horde, I think. Because yeah, I don't have like the usual no horde night equipment. I think I'll be okay. I'm seeing the roofs of places I've never seen before. 
Like this place has a zombie on it and a weapons bag. Yahoo! Handgun magazine, thank you game. Be a while before those are worth anything, but you know, it has to happen. Let's see, we've also got this one, a nice flat roof. I don't think I cleared the roof though, or did I? Oh, there's also a ladder at the back, have to be wary of that. I want to avoid using my house's cover because my stuff's there, so probably don't do that. Now, the zombies, I think, are only on sprint speed at night, so I shouldn't have to worry too much about them outrunning me if I have Mega Crush. In fact, I think if you have Mega Crush in light armor, you shouldn't be particularly bothered by zombies, even on nightmare speed, if you just keep running. And I got the first couple of ranks of run and gun. It's not perfect, but it will mean that I can run... How do I describe this? Is it I would run 60% faster while reloading? No, it's, it is what it says. You reduce the movement penalty by 60%. Because when you reload normally, you get a big movement speed penalty and you go down to like this speed. And that's how you die on Horde Knights without bases. Is the reloads that fuck you over. So I need to avoid those. Uh, Let me also consider gathering up all the shit I'll need in terms of like weapons and food and all that kind of crap because I cannot sprint for a very long without that can I? Can I make college jackets slash am I wearing one? No I'm not. Why can I not make a college jacket? Have they changed the name? College. What? Can you not craft them anymore? Am I being really stupid? Did they change the name? Doesn't look like you can craft them. When did that happen? Hang on hang on. Uh Where's it stored? Batter up? Oh yeah, it's not there anymore. I guess they removed the ability to craft college jackets. And it took me, what, like five months to notice. Ah, oh, classic. Right, let me... Oh, I've got moonshine if I need it. Steroids could be a good emergency thing because they do give you faster run speed, but I would like to avoid them if possible because the water penalties are just brutal. I've got some fort bites. Again, water is a nightmare for those. Let's get my shotgun, pipe bombs, a couple of molotovs. Could do with more of those, but it's fine. Mega crush, recog, nine mil, vitamins, all the meds, spikes. Yes, spikes. Might need the pickaxe, actually. Let me get rid of the bow. The bow is least likely to be useful. More pipe bombs. I could bring some cobblestone blocks in case I need to do some, like insane building techniques to like survive i guess keep my pickaxe in there there that should be good enough now it's quite early still but i just want to make sure i had everything in place because you know it's going to be harder than usual i should drink some regular water so that i don't waste mega crushes and stuff i've also got good food so that should be fine two three stacks of bandages three first aid kits i should get like a cast and make sure i don't like get a, oh i should get a splint oh i bet you i'd actually a splint wouldn't be that helpful because i don't have three intellect and one physician yet but a cast still would be in case i end up with a broken arm or something that would make sense now i just have to wait for horde night which i'm just gonna stand outside and do i have nothing else i can really do today except for that one speed clear all right it is 8 p.m it's almost horde night let's stock up on some stuff like vitamins and Mega Crush only lasts apparently six minutes, but I feel like it doesn't actually last that long. We'll see in a minute, but it lasts at a maximum of six minutes. So I don't want to waste, you know, two minutes of that waiting here. Uh, what else do I need? That's pretty much it as a starting point. Everything else is prepared for medicine disasters, really. I can also run inside these if I need to. I'm not trying to do some absolutely no wall challenge. I'm just, I don't want to build a horde base. So that would also work. So, I'm just gonna wait. Alright, 15 in-game minutes till Horde Night. I think it's a good time to queue up a Mega Crush, see how long it does last. Six minutes, okay. Uh, maybe it used to last three minutes, and that's why I'm a little bit confused. But you can see it makes you run so fast. And does it stack with beer? This was not the time to figure that out, but... Yeah, so you can keep running and you can get the crazy stamina from beer. Unfortunately, my screen is blurred, but it won't be that bad, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, Horde Night begins. Hi. I can barely see them because of the beer, but it's fine. Oh, they run in such weird ways. I'm not used to it. Okay, the beer was maybe a mistake, but it's going to wear off in like three seconds anyway. There, now I can see. Okay. <laughs> I'll wait until I get that one arboler book before I use that again, but it'll be really useful when I uh, do get that. Or at least if I need to like run away properly, then I can use the beer and just sprint and I'll probably outrun the horde. He survived that. Oh yeah, I have points and pistols. I should use it. Oh, that's very effective. Just have to make sure I don't get hit in the back of the head, which is a very common problem here.
should probably not run away from all of the useful buildings. Oh, this pistol's so good. It one-shots like half of them. I am on insane difficulty, by the way. Hey, a loot bag. Greed. Pure greed is what that was. Got three more minutes on this mega crush. Run away. This isn't actually that bad. It's on 64 max spawns, but if you didn't know, the game actually ignores that until your game stage is at a certain level. Basically, the max zombie limit on Horde Knights is you just giving the game basically a suggestion of what your PC can handle rather than a difficulty slider, if that makes sense. Because what happens is, say the day 7 horde, it'll decide that for your game stage, the max zombies alive might actually only be 16. Regardless of what you set it to, 16 is what the game will set it to. That number is made up, by the way, don't don't quote me on that, it's just an example. And then say the game stage does set it to 16, but you've set your max spawns to 8, it'll listen to the 8, if that makes sense. I don't have the 9 mil for this, do I? I've survived an hour so far, let's switch to the SMG, or the fight machine gun. Bloody dog. Kill point. You can see I can run very fast while I reload, which is quite nice. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Now, while I grab a skill point, let me go ahead and put that into intellect. I want to get physician rank one. And let me pop a first aid bandage as well. And still got a little while on the mega crush, but we can stack them up to two. So that works fine. I can't aim my shotgun for some reason. <laughs> and I did bring spikes as well, and I'll show you why. As a uh, damage. I just placed like 10 of those in there maybe and just run them around it they'll do damage for me the best play would be to come up here and then they'll all run through a bunch of spikes perfect is that thing actually explosive that answers that i guess ah yes the best horde base in the game a chain link fence i joke but it is quite effective it's two blocks tall and you can shoot through it ow now, obviously, this is not as XP efficient as an actual Horde base. However, my brain isn't melting in my skull. I'll take that as a major positive. I think I should stop and take a first aid bandage. I've taken a couple of hits here. So my next focus for next week should be just getting loads of ammo. So I can do the Horde nights like this. Ammo and Mega Crushes. Don't try that one at home. Cannot advise jumping through your own spikes. It's quite effective to kill them, though. You know what? I didn't take a rank of living off the land, which is something I had. I forgot about that. Got explosives, don't I? Make use of some of those. Come here, shitheads. That works. Chase me through the spikes, dog. Come on. You know you want to run through them. <laughs> That's all my spikes down, at least. Ah, dog. First aid bandage time. Definitely wasting all my ammo, but again, acceptable. Oh, you don't want to get stunned. Oh, 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 bunny hop away. Jump up here. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, stun's bad. Consider pain tolerance if you want to use this playstyle. <laughs> Another first aid bandage. That dog bit my goddamn leg off. Oh, pipe machine gun broke. Okay, good thing I brought a couple of pipes then. There goes all my 762. Hey, there's some explosive barrels there. Dog, come here. I don't think I hit the dog. Oh no, I think I did hit the dog, actually. <laughs> Is that it? Did I actually kill the entire horde even on foot? Oh wait, I hear someone. Someone's growling at me. Where are they? Ah, hello. Yeah, I killed the entire horde on foot. That obviously isn't the most scalable thing. You won't expect to do that on like day 49, but it's not bad for day 7. I actually got the full XP reward from it and everything. And I have some ammo left. It's not the best amount, but better than bloody standing still in a horde base. Ugh. The other disadvantage, of course, is that loot bags are harder to find, but people who have been here a while know that I hate them anyway. Right, well, I'm just going to wait until morning. I need to get some more quests done. That went well, though. What was my game stage? About 48? Hmm, not bad. Pleasantly surprised by the effectiveness of that. And it was so much more fun than building a base or using a base. All right, the trader is open. Let's see what we can get done today. Hey, don't come in here unzipped. A clear, a fetch clear, and a clear plus food. So that's two, basically, that I really want to be able to do. As well as a few... Ah, I'm not going to be able to do a three kilometer away fetch clear, but I can do the other stuff. Let's go for this close fetch clear. Elsner's Emporium. Okay. 
Let's head on over there. Here we are. Start that. I don't recognize this place. So I'm interested to see what I have to deal with. People let out. Nice. That didn't lead anywhere. Be hiding in there. Where does this lead? Oh, I fell. Oh, there's some mailboxes here, actually. Paper. Machine gunner. Sure. They're not top priority, but machine guns are very useful for that run and gun playstyle, so I should consider it at least. Not a working vending machine. Big sad. Let's try getting back up here. Wait, am I supposed to go this way, maybe? Yes, that seems to be the case. Bootcase. Oh, just another one of those. Well, let's research data at least. I do not want to fall down here, but I'll do it anyway. Just one. I can take one zombie. See? Knife guy and a skill point. Let's get that one rank of physician so I can cure sprained legs. I can make bone knives at quality four, but I don't have any bones on me, so I can't do much with that. <laughs> that was lucky. That's a very suspicious key. Here's the satchel. Maybe a vulture out here? Nope, I'm good. I don't trust this ladder. Does it go all the way down? Oh, this is a suspicious room. What? Why is this room so suspicious? It just goes nowhere. The door's locked. I'm so confused. Why is it so suspicious? There must be a secret. Hmm, whatever. We'll find out later. Go and vehicle adventures, which I'm still working on with the research mod as well, just gradually building as many of those books as I can, because the next thing I want is obviously a good vehicle. Maybe a motorcycle of some kind. Oh, that's feral. No, oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, I don't think I go that way. Where do I go then? Window? Ah, window. Uh, this is suspicious. What does this mean? What does this ancient mural tell me? Tools digest. Basically a first aid bandage. Why is the floor suspicious? Why are you like this? Hmm? What? Ah, there we go. What are you hiding under there? Hmm. You're not gonna get me. There's a bookcase here. Magnum Enforcer could be useful later on. I am using pistols after all. Was that an ammo pile I saw? I think it is. Did not leave myself the best way of getting to it though, did I? Some of whatever that is. Okay. I'm down here and I'm not being attacked yet. That's good. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get a sneak attack though. Bunch of beer in here, which means water. Oh, you get home cooking magazines from that as well. Nice. Oh, you can get awesome sauce from those? Okay. Right, what's through here? A bathroom. That doesn't tell me much. Ah. Oh, a big lag spike. Oh, good, I got him. Didn't want to sit and knife him for an hour, so good use of time, I would say, there. Hello? Combined arms warfare. Uh, this seems like a trap because I have to drop down. Yep, that was a trap. I got a pipe bomb on me. Oh, they broke that very quickly. Unexpected. Is one of you like a tourist or something? Yep, one of them's a tourist. That's probably why. Stop eating the doors, please. There we go, we're clear. Took more ammo than I would have liked, but very close quarters and it very much wants me to get stuck. Sometimes you have to shoot your way out. Getting a good amount of ammo from these containers, so that's nice. Not quite made up for the amount I've spent, but you know, better than nothing. Iron tools are quality five, nice. Vehicle adventures wiring and I'll scrap the tech planet. Let's try and unlock this container here. Maybe we've got like six lockpicks or something. Might get a beaker, which I've just realized I need. There we go. A level five bow, that is a significant upgrade if nothing else. And I'll just take the rest of that. Let's get out here where's my bike round the front let's go talk to hugh again take those crafting skill magazines what were your other jobs oh yeah the clear another ranger station i do need those nice bit of books as well let me go put some stuff away and we'll go clear that ranger station then all right here we are there's a dog i should probably kill that really quickly you know if i feel like loading an arrow there we go hello if i could also aim and fire my weapon that would be wonderful i am brain dead today there we go don't you run away from me. I hear a lot of walking. Why do I hear a lot of walking? How did you get in there? You're not a part of the POI. There, that's that reset. Was that a lumberjack I saw? It is. I may actually take advantage of that. <laughs> Loads of dog coming after me. Ow, I was so badly timed. Hey, skill point. Uh, I'll just save it for more agility, I think. Need to get up to like level 8 or whatever. Medical journal. Weird place for that, but I'll take it. Either of you feral? No. That means you get stabbed. Like that. And also like that. I've woke somebody up. Tools Digest. Steel Tools Quality 1. And a handgun magazine, which doesn't seem to have done much for me. I can make a level 1 pistol. A little bit ahead of you there, game. I've got like a level 5 already. 
Medical journal. Oh, there's a zombie behind me. Hi. Bullshit. <laughs> Soldier, hi. Ow. There we go. Knives are taking a moment to get back into the swing of. Haha, <laughs> swing knife, get it. Sure, but okay, that's not the way we go. Oh no, it is the way we go. Key. Why did that open? The tower we go. Oh, hi, Vulture. No, oh, don't you do that bullshit to me. Come and attack me. Ow. That's the worst part about knives. It does make vultures kind of annoying. You don't really get a swing as much as you get a thrust. That makes it harder to precisely hit a vulture. Okay, here's, I think, the last room. That, the loot I see? Yeah. I didn't bring lockpicks again, though, because my brain does not work. Hello, four of you. Anybody a really dangerous guy? Doesn't seem like it. They're getting through that door pretty quick, though. Ow. Yeah, see? I was correct. My observation skills are undam- Ow. My face hurts, though. Oh, hi. Uh, they're flanking me. They remember their training. He is very pissed off. Or no, he's actually just a feral. That would also explain it. <laughs> oh yeah, he just survives that. Oh, ow. <laughs> Time to jump, I think. Fucking ferals, there's so much damage on insane. I only play on insane and it still surprises me every time. I'm only in padded armor. Are you the normal guy? He was. Got some coffee on me still. Come over to this door, please. There we go. Let me go get that loot. He was very difficult to kill. I had to use 5% of my brain power on that guy. No lockpicks, big sad. Don't know why I read big hitters like I'm still gonna use clubs. Uh, handgun magazine and a muzzle break. Shotgun ammo, nice. Uh, home cooking, scrap, scrap. Explosives and some ammo, cool. Rifles, yeah, scrap it. Tools digest will actually keep that right. I'm gonna bash this open with my pickaxe. It's gonna take a while, but you don't have to watch it. What do we have? A level 6 pipe pistol? Crap. Shotguns? Might want to craft one of those. Let's take all this stuff then. Let's talk to Hugh and see what reward I can get. How uh, far am I on like the tier 3 complete here? Let's see, tier 2 complete and then I did 3 tier 1s, we'll call that tier 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 14 out of 21 points. Assuming everything works like it's supposed to, but it's been a bit weird in this playthrough because of the trader quest addendum mod which is fun i'm just waiting for a good speed clear they're my favorite part of that mod by far so i'm gonna cycle back and it's gonna take forever oh Ooh, hello on this one. The, the thing is is i really want to try the browning high power but also there's a beaker that's annoying i will have to take the beaker but i think i can make a browning high power if i want right yeah i could make a level one or two right now we can make one of those later once I have some more handgun magazines. I would like to use that though. Forgot I even had the 9mm mod installed to be honest. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. As you can see, if you have watched the other videos, uh, I've remodeled the interior here. As it turns out, you can actually make paint with a campfire now. Which, I don't know when they added that, but I like it. So I was able to paint the interior of this white. I made a couple of lanterns, covered up the staircase, and we have a nice bit of room in here now. So that's good. So the goal for today is going to be getting tier 3 complete. I'm some way of the way through that. We need to wait for Trader Hugh to open before I can do that though. Uh, let's see. I need to get some iron and clay for my forge. I should have some lying around. Because what I want is some nails for some real storage. Another thing I'm working on is getting enough of these vehicle adventure books with the research mod. As you can see, it takes a lot of paper. But I am up to 19, so we can almost get a mini bike, which is terrible. But we're getting there pretty quickly now that I've started pushing towards it. I just need to keep finding paper more than anything. I have a spare skill point that I'm just going to put into... You know what? Let's put it into Grease Monkey, just so I can get more of those actual books I want. I also have a spare lantern here. I'm going to blind everybody watching this video by just placing another one. There is a, is a perfectly not bright room at all. Let's head over to the trader. Hello, Hugh. You restock tomorrow. Okay. Uh, let's see. You've got a fetch and a bunch of buried supplies. The buried supplies are just going to be a nightmare to do on tier 3 because it spawns so many zombies. And I don't think I'm good enough to do infested speed clears and the defend missions take ages. So we'll probably want to do a couple of tier 2s today as well. Maybe even just the only one I can do. That's not great. We can always go out to gen and level them up though. Because we've got two gens to level. So we can definitely do that. But let's start off with a fetch a at the fire pit Fan lodge. Pet. Since we're going so far, I actually will just clear this POI. Even if I could just run away, I might as well take the extra couple of minutes to finish it off, get what I can from it.
Here we are. The fire pit launch. Let me check the mailbox really quickly. You know I love books. Pistol feet. Cool. I do want to use pistols later, so that'll be useful. Start tier 3 fetch. Get the mailbox again. Medical journal. I'll read that. Seriously? I don't even have to enter the POI to get this. Well, I suppose I am kind of in the POI, but not fully. I'm almost tempted to just run away. How easy that is. Uh, let's see, agility. I'll save my points for agility. We can do some more with that. Get it up to seven, maybe. All right, well, let's just do this place while I'm here. Home cooking, nice. Knife guy, even nicer. I actually need those, so that's good. Hey there, guy. Some books. Medical journal and bow hunters, cool. Door's locked. That door's locked. How very suspicious. There's a ladder here as well. I don't know if I can climb it without using blocks anyway. I'll just leave it. Right, let's have a look down this area. Bathroom. Give me water. Good. Actually, I want paper now. No, I should start asking for paper instead. Do I go out here? Ah, hello. I sense a dog. And a vulture, but vultures are everywhere, that's to be expected. There's zombies in here? Hello. Ow. What's the other one bled out? Some lockpicks and duct tape? Good. Oh, hi. You feral. That's a relief. Oh yeah, just break the floorboards. These zombies, they don't care about property damage at all. This door locked, it is. Kind of suspiciously. Ooh. That sounds like a good couple of zombies. Is there a zombie like- yeah, I was gonna say is there a zombie putting something up here? He answered the question. There's the loot, but where's the trap? Zombies behind me? Hi oh, there, anybody up there? Ah, feral. Feral sold, then I killed another guy. That's good. Any more zombies? It definitely seems like it, yeah. Ow. Over there, there's a lot of zombies coming from a lot further away than I would have hoped. You really spawn them right behind you in this place. I got a first aid bandage. And I actually brought a lockpick this time, so hopefully I can get this open. Oh my god. What a mechanic this is. Art of mining and some mods and crafting stuff. Not the best. To go warfare, just scrap that for data. I need it more than I need machine gun crafting. First aid kit, nice. Oh, I'm very over encumbered. I need both of those though. I can make my own gas now. Do need to learn how to make chemistry stations first, or at least get one from the tier 3 complete, maybe. Right, let's head back and see what reward I get. Hey, I sure doubted it. A hunting knife would be nice. Because I do, like, need a knife upgrade, obviously. The bone knife is not the greatest. Just throw a couple of mods on there, that'll be a big upgrade then. What else do you have? Um, I don't really want to do those. Let's go for another fetch. One kilometer away. Glad oh, you no. came I'll have to drop off some stuff at my base first. That's going to be a long cycle. I really need a better vehicle. 1.3 kilometers east. I bet you I could find a trader out there. And where you can find a trader, you can find a town. And where you can find a town, you might find a book place. And that could be useful. I didn't actually search that other town for one, did I? Down here. Oh, it looks like I've been all over it. I'm guessing if it had a bookstore, I would have noticed. And then let's check out what is hopefully another town entirely. What did it say it was again? A radio station. That could just be a wilderness POI in the middle of nowhere. We'll just have to go over and see. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'm being sent to a new town. I think I'm just being sent right to the place where Trader Jen is. On the plus side, we could maybe take a job from her because we know Trader Hugh doesn't have much else to do today. And I am still working towards tier 1 complete with her. I could do with those water filters for more new collectors. So that's convenient. What the fuck is this? Game, hello? Why is that so weird? This game has visual problems. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Did I change my graphics settings this time around? I might have. How dare you survive that? I'm gonna stop aiming down sights with this, it's tripping me out. Look at this, I can see round corners with it. <laughs> Let's test out the new knife. Anybody home? No. One stab. Two stabs. Okay, that's a good sign. Anybody else alive? One stab. 
one stab, two stabs, three stabs. I would say this is a pretty good weapon. For now, anyway. Working vending machine here, I'm gonna buy all those mega crushes. Because of course I'm not really using horde bases, so I need to have some method of moving. I'm getting a lot more decapitations with this as well. Oh, I'm level 20. Uh, let's get another rank of agility, I'll get that up to 7 or probably 8 so I can get max parkour. Did I miss the satchel? Is it like in the ceiling over here? No, I think it's just on the other floor. Okay, that's fine. Uh, didn't I see a crate back here? Hello. And in stash. It's not very hidden, is it? Impact bracers. Do I need any? I guess that's a yes. Well, that's helpful. Pass and gas container. Better give me a vehicle, bloody book. Damn it, tools digest. You'll be hearing from my agent. I smell vultures. Yeah, they never expect an aerial attack. Hello, lumberjack. Come here. Ooh, nice. Who else is up here? And then the satchel is hiding somewhere around here. Grab that. Where do I go now? Probably here. This is definitely a bad idea. Hello, any ferals? Nope, not okay. Hey, bookshelves. Those so digest and scrap the rifles. I might use rifles later. But... Oh, that's a bike. Run away. I did a lot of damage. I confused them. I ran too fast. That was almost bad. What's in here? An AK. I'm just gonna scrap that. The final rank of art of mining though, so I can get even better at mining now. That's good. Uh, I'll read the tech. Uh, the electrical traps at least. Actually, why did I do that? I don't want to build a horde base. I might still have to one day. Fruitful's digest. Anything else in here? Doesn't seem like it. Let's get out of here. I'm not gonna go right back to Hugh. Because it's a big cycle back. So we'll go and pay a visit to Jen, who's right here. Anybody guarding this police car? Um, okay, I'm gonna try and lock pick it. I'm not sure if the loot will be worth it yet, but the only way to find out is to loot a couple of police cars, so... <laughs> first try. Uh, some ammo, first aid kit. Eh, it's not terrible if you've got the lock picks on you. I wouldn't go looking for them though. Hello Jen, with all your doors open. What are you selling? A couple of knife guys? I do like those. Cowboy hat mod, do we need one of those? I hope you come back and see me sometime. It's the law. I don't have leg armor, why the fuck not? Right, well, that's just weird. Do you have any leg armor? He does for a thousand jukes. Thanks for the waste business. Of fucking money. We're open uh, since it's fine. It's we don't fine. have clock. Easier than hunting down all that bloody cloth or having to go back to my base. What do you have? Clear zombies? I mirrors. would love to get you have any Omega Crush. The most expensive padded leggings anyone has ever had. Yeah, but I never have a cowboy hat. <laughs> it's important, okay? I don't make the rules. Where is this place? Ah, over there. I think I see another trader over there. Unless that's like a military base. It could be Trader Joel. But I don't want to waste all the time to find out. Start this. Hope for the best. <laughs> Hello. Goodbye. What do we have here? Construction site box. Okay. Another one of them hiding back here. Some nails. Now let's check the house before I go down underground or something. Right, well, we might as well go down here then. That was pretty easy. Tier 1. To be expected. Head back to Jen. I doubt I'm going to get anything good, but it all contributes to my tier 1 complete with them. Why does the skybox do this? Once we've handed this job in, I'm going to go back to Hugh because I want to get that reward in time for tomorrow. Ooh, 1500 like wood or 109 mil or crafting skill magazines. I will take the 9 mil because I, I am quite low on ammo after the horde night with no horde base thing. Uh, and I'm going to need to keep stocking up on ammo for that reason. So it makes sense. Let's head back to Hugh and get his reward as well. That is that even the right way? It is. Hello, Hugh. I will take the shotgun shells. Terrible reward, but I will take them. The double barrel shotgun is a modded weapon. It's exactly the same as the base game double barrel shotgun, but it's long. Uh, I'll take the ammo, <laughs> if you don't mind. Right, I'm gonna go sit in my base. I'm gonna get some storage set up during the night, and in the morning we'll continue on with my quest to get the tier 3 complete. I don't know if it's gonna be possible if he keeps giving me so many quests that I kind of can't do 
out. Um, I suppose I should take on some of the modded quests. It's just those infested speed clears sound nasty. Although, very lucrative at the same time. I just don't know if I have the spare ammo for that kind of thing. Okay, he has some good missions today. We can get some clears, some fetch clears. That is going to be relatively easy to good just luck. get a bunch of jobs done. He did reset today though, so let's see what he has. Nothing in particular except this here? one magazine. Let's go do the quest. Alright, let's get this started. There is a mailbox around the front, which would be worth looting. Or it could have been, but it wasn't. <laughs> ah, level 6 football helmet. That is a significant upgrade, at least. Tools digest in a level 6 sledgehammer. I will sell that. Is there a vulture up here today? Yes. Nope, it's a tourist. That is not a vulture. That's like the opposite of a vulture. Oh, hey there. I love knives. Oh, some black dye. What can I put that on? Let's put it on the BDU. I hope there's no ferals up here. Let me see if I can get some sneak attacks on the guys down here. I can. Oh, nice, I killed that one. Skill point. Um, I could get the next rank of parkour. Yeah, and then I'll start saving up for a agility. And gun magazine, nice. Right, this is the last room. It's a lot of zombies. Ow. Oh, I thought I didn't have lockpicks. I was gonna scream. Two forge heads in there, nice. I don't even have points in that. Alright, nothing particularly useful loot-wise. Let's get out of here and see if I can get some more of these done. I really want that tier 3 complete. The problem is I bet it's gonna be a terrible reward. Give me something good for you. Oh sure, now you give me a baseball bat after I've specked out of clubs. Give me those magazines. Let's take the fetch clear, journey's end. Two tools digest, two handguns and two knives. Right, I'll dump some stuff off at my base and we'll head over and do that job. If I'm lucky, I can get the other fetch clear done as well and that might just be enough to get tier 3 complete. Right, here we are. Don't know if I've done this one in Alpha 21. Let's get in here. Hello, cop. Ooh, that was close. Run away! Oh, there's another one. Well, that was lucky. <laughs> well, that was also very lucky. Handgun. No, wait, that was clubs and handguns. I thought it was knives and handguns. God damn it. How will I ever recover from such a mistake? Knife guy, and I'll scrap the big hitters because I don't need them anymore. First aid. That was a lot. Vehicle adventures, nice. Or nerdy glasses, are those red? No, they're brown. That's boring. Wait, what is hiding in here? Where are they? Oh, where was he hiding? Oh, he would have been up there. Run away! We're almost done here, I think. Ah, you're confused now, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're clear. Forge ahead, bar brawler, some ammo. Can't complain about it, it's better than tier 1 loot anyway. Hmm, vehicle adventures. Right, let's head back and get that last quest. We meet no again Lord. here. I will take more shotgun ammo. Ah, there we go, tier 3 complete, and as I suspected, a chemistry station. Very good. Take the other one of these, it'll take me to a Trader Joel to the east. It could actually be the vehicle trader from the B-Dubs vehicle mod, because he is called, quotations, Trader Joel, so it could actually be him. He's very close to Jen, isn't he? That's nice for me, I guess. Also, I got a skill point there, I think. I'll just hold on to it until I've got more for more agility. So the, the chemistry station is big, because I'll be able to make my own gunpowder efficiently now. It'll be worth actually trying to do that, I think. Right, well, there is someone else I can go and get some quests from while we have the rest of the day here. I should go and see Trader Jen and try and get Tier 1 complete with her as well. I'll go put some stuff away because I will be quite far away and I don't want to have to lug around too much stuff. But if I can get Tier 1 done with the Jens as well, that would be quite helpful because I'll be able to get two more Dew Collectors. Um, I think the water filters are the only limitation. I could buy water filters. I have loads of money. I just don't like buying water filters unless I have a plan on exactly how many do collectors I want to build. Empty yeah, station. Nice. And we can make gas there as well. That's also helpful. But let's head over. I might actually go and see the quote unquote Trader Joel as well so that the next time I complete a quest with Trader Hugh or a quest to your story, I will get another trader location. Although sometimes he sends you to people you already know, and that just happens, you know. Oh, 
Ah, it was a Trader Joe. That thing I pointed out ages ago. It actually was Trader Joe. Good to know. Get a couple of Forge Aheads from here, no doubt. Forge Ahead 1. And Forge Ahead 2. Vehicle Adventures and Handy Land. Okay. Ah, a Bolt Action Shotgun. I imagine it's a lot worse than my Double Barrel Shotgun, but if I find some shotgun ammo, I'll play around with it. And there's some shotgun ammo. And I hear some zombies outside. Let's give this a little test run. Howdy. There's a town over there. I might find boots, handgun magazine, and an explosives magazine. Hey Joel, selling anything good? Some red dye, two forger heads, that's all he really has. Let's check the secret area down here. Scrapping book. Right, so that's everything Trader Joel had. It's good to know about him. I'm kind of curious to go into this town though and see if there's any good book POIs, even though I'm kind of wasting time. Book POI would be hugely helpful right now. Oh, this is a big town. We might get lucky with a book POI here then. Oh, there's a trader wrecked here as well. I know almost all the traders now. I just need a trader Bob. I'll go and get his uh, forge of heads, if nothing else. Forge of head. Where is trader wrecked's forge again? Well, while I'm in here, do you have anything good wrecked? He has a Mose in the gun. I mean, that's just kind of cool. I want one. <laughs> the forge of heads as well. Two handgun magazines. Okay. Sale is, but it's too That's definitely something. Like you. This uses what? 762? Yeah, I don't have any. I like how it looks though. Ignore the weird aiming, that's just because of the weird bug I have right now. Where the hell is his forge? I forget. Ah, here we go. Forge ahead and some glue. It's on the north side of the compound, by the way, if you're lost like I was. Oh, actually, I don't know if these are always facing the same way. Hmm. It's in front of the wrecked sign there. See, wrecked feeds there. Just in case it isn't actually always in the same cardinal direction. Where's my bike? This way. I need to have a look for some damn bookstores. Also, there is a bunch of houses which are, like, good for books. There's also a paper mill. I actually really would like to raid that later. Uh, because I can turn paper into books with the research mod. I would rather just get a bunch of books. I will mark this, though. Paper mill. It's not as good as it used to be for actually getting paper, though. This doesn't seem like the area of town you go to to find a library. This is like farms. Paper, though. Oh, that looks promising. I think that's the Cracker Book Cafe right there. It is. I will mark that. Not the best one, but a decent one. So what I'm going to do is actually hide on the roof during the night. And in the morning, we will take on this place. I will just hide here. Oh, there's a couple of zombies. Hang on. Hmm, a level 6 pipe rifle. All right, so I've killed the vultures, killed all the zombies up here. The zombies down there will forget about me if I just sneak like this. So I'm going to sit here overnight. We're very far away from home now, as you can see. <laughs> okay, it's the morning. Let's get into this crack a book. See what I can acquire in terms of books. Ow. Oh, that's... A surprisingly high amount of zombies. Let's deal with these. Right, let's have a look inside. This knife is really good. Ow. You follow me outside. I don't want you fucking spitting on all the books and exploding. Come here. Would you just get out here? There we go. I don't think he destroyed many books. That's good. Ah, one shot him. Nice. And again. Having high agility is very nice. Right, we should be clear. Let me go and deal with a zombie that I can hear around the back, though. That are annoying me. Right, let's open up these crack about containers and then we'll loot the main area. Bows and bandolier, okay. Shotguns, tools, and pistol Pete I've already read. Handguns and scrapping. I can make quality five pistols now at least. Let's try and unlock this container as well. Okay, so eight lockpicks wasn't enough. I hate this game and um think it should be banned from Steam. A level two pistol, a hammer book, ooh. Scrapping, okay. Ow. That's the thanks I get for opening the door for you, huh? Which did get nice. Uh, a vehicle adventures, handguns, sawed off, I don't care, and pool thingy. <laughs> Let's check the main bookshelves. Paper. Well, I do need paper, so I won't say no to that. Medical journal and knife guy. Vehicle adventures, nice. 
knife guy again. What vehicle adventures do you need to make the motorcycle tier stuff? 45, wow. Medical journal. Magnum enforcer. I will kind of need that because I do want to play with pistols and stuff. Knife guy, I can scrap the fists. Medical journal, who cares about armor? Armor isn't even real. Pistol Pete, okay, nice. Surprised I'm not finished that. Bows and handguns. Oh, those digest. Magnum enforcer, I already knew. There's a zombie over here. Other vehicle adventures, nice. Getting a lot of medical journals despite having one point in it. Other vehicle adventures. You piss off. There we go. I took far too many shots. Handguns. I do want those, so I won't say no to it. That was surprisingly shit. But it is a big chunk of progress towards a lot of different things. Uh, there's also like a hidden stash in one of these, right? I don't remember which one it's in. Well, that was the other one. <laughs> Handgun magazine and a lot of extra cash, which is good because I can turn it into paper. Which is like one of the more valuable things I got over here, is the ability to make even more books. There is also a couple more of these uh, paper pallets and cardboard boxes I can get more paper from, which might be worth my time. I mean, what I should really do if I want books now that I have the research mod is focus on cash machines and stuff like ATMs, um, cash registers, but mostly ATMs. If you just smash into them, you'll get like 500 cash or whatever, and sure you can sell that, but we all know I'm not a fan of selling the cash. I always used it to craft shotgun ammo, but now, now it's going to be even more worthwhile to craft into the books instead. So I might have a quick drive around and look for any exposed ATMs, which are most likely going to be in this little commercial area here. Is there one at the definitely not a McDonald's? Doesn't look like it. Maybe the gun store. Looks like a feral died here. Two painkillers. Lucky me. There's also a bunch of mailboxes around here, which is more paper and books. Bill's Digest and Knife Guy. Other vehicle adventures. Loader. Oh, I bet the pawn shop has an ATM outside it. No. I'm sorry to tell you, you're incorrect. There should be. <laughs> Where'd this dog come from? Ah. I don't know where that dog came from, but I'm too lazy to kill it. I'm gonna keep hunting down ATMs. There must be one. Actually, there could very well just not be. Oh, that's paper. Hang on. Of course, there is the paper mill as well, but I don't want to do that right now. Mm, I'm thirsty again. Bloody desert. It's my last coffee as well. Should have more stuff to make more back at my base, though. Ignoring the paper mill, because, you know. Wait, that's not even the paper mill. That's a machining place. Is that? What? Oh, now I'm confused. Truly, I am just baffled. Oh, this gas station has an ATM at it. I remember that. Here we are. I'm just gonna smash it open, because I don't think I have any lockpicks left. No. Ah, level 23 and I have two spare skill points. Can I put that in agility? Can. I can unlock a lot of good things with that now. ATM with 500 cash, which is 400 and something paper. Um, book is 25 paper. So, it'll make 17 books with that, plus my extra paper. So I should be able to make a good amount of books. Let's... Oh, mailbox. Nothing in it. <laughs> Unbelievable. So let's head back to my base. And see how many vehicle books I can make. And then that might put me in a good position to make a motorcycle in the next episode. I would just need to hunt down some steel, which is relatively easy. I haven't been doing much in terms of uh, scrapping streetlights. So on the one hand, I don't have any steel, but on the other hand, I have easy access to streetlights to get steel. So I'm just going to cut to when I'm over there because this is going to be a very long cycle. <laughs> right, so I'm back at base. I'm collecting all the research data and paper I have. Let's see how many of these books I can make vehicles. I can make 19 of them. Not bad. I actually need more research data again, so that's like a good place to be, I guess. That just means I need more books scrapped down. I'm looking through things like I'm gonna find any, but that seems highly unlikely. There's some 762. Where's that Mose in the gun? I want to fight it at something. How long is that gonna take? Eight minutes? Sure, whatever. I'm gonna go shoot someone. Anybody home? A ah, bookcase. I'll read all these. That's quite effective. If I had some points in rifles, it would probably be pretty good. Better than the base game hunting rifle in terms of aesthetics, anyway. Knife guy and some stuff. And obviously it has a five round magazine, which is quite helpful, but it's still got a very slow reload. Well, not reload. What's the word? Rechambering animation? It's not quite a reload, because I don't have to take a magazine or a clip out. Whatever it is. Just need a scope for it, really. I wonder, will the people in here respawned yet? Oh, it's not even a matter of respawning. I just don't think I've been here before. Or if I... I must have missed this loot. Why did I miss this loot? This is good loot right here. 
Vehicle adventures, nice. Oh no, the zombies have respawned, hello. That is a very slow reload. <laughs> but it is to encourage you to, you know, put points in rifles. At least it's not as bad as a pipe rifle. Can't climb the ladder. A ah, foregrip mod could be useful on my Mosin, I guess. Oh, I actually added a, a visual effect. It now has like a, a wrapping around the, not the barrel, but the end of the gun. I'm not even sure what a heart called. Two tools that I guess. Maybe I should have scrapped those, I don't know. Yeah, that was actually quite good loot. I'd, I swear, didn't I loot this place? I have loot respawn disabled and stuff, so maybe there's just another one of these nearby. You know what I just noticed? This gun doesn't have the uh, crosshair when you aim in. That's nice. I don't know if it means it's actually completely accurate. No, yeah, that would probably indicate it's completely accurate. Okay. That's good then. That makes this a much better sniper rifle than any of the base game weapons because it does not have any bloom when you're aiming down sights. Which is the way it should be because when I aim a rifle, I want it to go where I'm actually aiming when I'm playing a survival game. If I was playing Call of Duty, then sure, I have this bloody crosshair. I didn't realise how much I hated this crosshair until I had this rifle. And now I'm cursed with knowledge once again. That always happens to me. You know the phrase, sometimes you don't know how good you had it until it's gone? Sometimes you don't know how shit you have it until you get it better. <laughs> There's 14 of the books, let's start reading those. Two more and we can make a motorcycle, but I'm going to obviously need to collect a bunch of stuff, so that's not going to happen in this episode, but I can at least figure out which vehicle I even want to make. Okay, there we go, we can make motorcycles. What ones can I actually make though? Let's see, we've got the cruiser for you, which could be good. Uh, the dirt bike I don't want to do because I did the dirt bike last time. Might as well get some variety if I'm actually using, you know, a mod that adds a lot of vehicles. There's the junker, which I think comes in a bunch of different colours. Um, because it was made before the vehicle tinting system was in the game. We've got the rat as well. Don't really know the difference between them all, I'm sure it's not that important anyway. Um, maybe I'm thinking the cruiser is the best one. They, they all seem largely the same. 55 steel. We can get a faded cruiser as well. That's kind of cool. Um, 75 steel. That's pretty easy to get. We'll get that in the next episode. Today, I want to make a new motorcycle. Specifically, I think I'm going to go for the cruiser, which is part of the B-dubs vehicle pack. So we're going to need a bunch of steel first. But what else do I need? Mechanical parts, duct tapes, short iron springs, and polymers, electrical parts, headlights. Let me gather up as much of this as I can to see what I have, and then we'll go out and get the rest of what I need. Okay, so I have almost everything. What I need is a lot of mechanical parts and a lot of steel. Otherwise, I'm good. Um, I could do with another workbench, though. How long is it going to take to make this motorcycle? Because I remember the B-dubs vehicles can be a bit long to make. Okay, no, they're 12 minutes. It's not too bad. So I'm, I probably don't need an extra workbench, but it wouldn't hurt either. I need forged iron. I have some of that somewhere. I need a few more nails. Uh, I mean, some iron then. That'll do. And then I need more mechanical parts and nails. So we need to take the wrench out and get a bunch of forged steel and mechanical parts above everything else. Or actually, 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 this might be slightly blasphemous to a few of you, but if you don't want to gather up a bunch of uh, mechanical parts, you can always scrap an engine for 30 of them. I don't find engines to be particularly hard to get, but that should be quite a bit of help towards the progress. Uh, let me get 14 nails. There we go. Make a workbench. That'll take five minutes. So I'll come back and place that once I have more stuff. So I still need... Oh, I can actually make the cruiser handlebars, so I should do that. Cruiser handlebars. That gave me enough mechanical parts for that. And then I just need the cruiser chassis, which is more duct tape, which is fine. I have stuff for that. Just need five more. And then I need 21 more mechanical parts. I don't want to scrap my other engine because I'll obviously need that. And I need another 49 steel. That's not too hard to get. Let's head out and try that. So my main source of steel right now is going to be climbing up these lampposts and scrapping these. Some of them won't give you steel, but most of them will give you one or two. So it's really not that hard to get a good amount of steel from it, especially if you have salvage operations. We might also get some steel from this. Yeah, there's one, two. Yeah, two steel from these isn't bad either. This gas station is actually quite a useful display because I can also do the vending machines and these will give me steel. There's one. There's two. Okay, so I got two steel from that. Not the best. 
for a thousand health, but you can use it if you're desperate. Same goes for ATMs, you can get steel from those, but I am not going to go through 5,000 health just to get like two steel. Uh, where's another thing I can show that gives you steel that's good to know about? We hop up here. This is also a decent source of steel. Kind of similar to lampposts, but with more health. And of course that one didn't give me steel, just, just to be a dick. Let's go find another one. You know, this one's giving me steel. Two, to be specific. Three, actually. A lucky transformer there. And of course there's other blocks you can scrap for steel, but those are the ones that are the easiest to find. So that's how I'm going to get my 55 steel. I'm just going to cut to me having that, because you probably don't want to watch this. Hey, so I had a microphone problem after that scene, so what we're going to do is we're going to run through it after the fact. This is what happened in the 35 minutes my mic was muted. This will be good training if I ever decide to do a 100 days video. I gathered up enough materials to get the cruiser chassis, and then set that to craft at the workbench. Headed over to Hugh and got myself a tier 4 speed clear, which I was quite excited to see how well I would do on. Then of course I headed out to the actual POI itself, started the quest. Here is a big compilation of me killing everyone. You can see the times in the bottom left there. You obviously get a lot more time in these compared to the tier 1 clears. Uh, but I still failed the gold. But I still got a silver reward if nothing else. And I ran out of 9 mil ammo. That's everything that happened. Cut back to me. Let's take a clear zombies at the right residence. I might not do it though. So let's go see how the cruiser is coming. I've set it to craft, so I just need to assemble the pieces now. So let's take all the pieces, assemble the cruiser, or do I want a cruiser faded? I think it will go for the normal one. Assuming the tinting system works normally, it'll probably look better. I need more 9mm ammo as well. It's really beginning to be a problem. Alright, there's the motorcycle. Do I even have gas? I may have to buy some from Hugh, let me see. Actually, you know what? I live in the desert and I have a chemistry station, so that probably wouldn't be an efficient way of doing that. See, can I use the red dye on it? Mostly, yeah. Let me grab all this junk I had here and pick that up. Put some gas in this. How fast is this? Uh, 16 meters per second. I think that's the same as the normal motorcycle. It might as well be a bloody fighter jet compared to a bicycle. I, uh, I might have broke it. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so it's 6 p.m., do I have time to do that 1.5km job? Probably not, but let's do it anyway. It looks like there's a vehicle trader on the way there. That's good. Let's just get him marked on the map. There he is. Pretty close, actually. That'll be good to know if I need to sell stuff or buy a vehicle. Not the best way to get them, though. They're very expensive. All right, here we are. The right residence. Let's look at the mailbox, of course. Just some tech junkie. Let's reset it. And handgun magazine. Nice. Go inside. Oh, it's dark as fuck in here. Yeah, you guys should be able to see now. Strapping in medical, cool. Knife guy and I'll scrap the spear book. Oh, forge ahead, handguns and tools digest. I can make a level 3 magnum. I should probably do that. I actually want a magnum. Hello, lumberjack. More books. Tempered blade mod schematic. I'll read it. Forge ahead. A little semi-secret room here. What's this? Model 1887 shotgun and a foregrip. Gimme. Pretty sure it's not going to be much better than my double barrel. If any better, but new gun. I enjoy. Oh yeah, here's the fucking automatic door room that I hate. Just close it right back up. It's happened again. In the last series when I did this POI, a bunch of zombies downstairs woke up for no apparent reason, like way down in the basement, and it's happened again. POI's wired wrong. Such a slow reload. Sometimes there's a bad zombie around here. Anybody particularly scary? Not really, no. Oh yeah, the book room. I love the book room. Right, so since I won't be able... Hello, you're a radiated zombie. I'm not a fan of you. So since I won't be able to, um... You know. Ow. Let me, let me kill these zombies before I finish that thought. There we go. Radiated zombie dealt with. That's the worst of it gone then. So as I was trying to say, because it's so close to night time and I'm definitely not going to get this back to hue in time anyway, I'm not going to endanger myself by doing the latter half of this POI at night. Because you saw the zombies that are spawning in here. I don't want to have to deal with like radiated zombies plus regular zombies sprinting at me. I'm not that well equipped. 
So I'm going to spend the night in the library area, and in the morning I'll go down and finish off the POI, and we'll get back to Trader Hugh in time for him to open. Ah, home cooking book, nice. Right, let's have a look through all these books in here though. Oh, just paper. Well, it's useful enough. Handguns. Oh, if I actually read the book, that would help. Uh, vehicles, handguns, vehicles again. I do need more of those. More vehicles, two tools, digests, shotguns. I can make pipe shotguns at quality three. We're getting there. Nice guy. Handguns, vehicles, and I'll scrap the sledgehammer one for research data. Magnum enforcer. Of course, I need that. Handguns, forges, medical journal, scrapping, and handguns. Got two skill points left over. Probably use those. Do that in a second. Forge head, home cooking, farming. Hiding up here. Tools head, handguns, handy land. Knife Guy and an Iron Breaker, and one more bookshelf. Tools Digest, Southern Farming, and I'll scrap the armoured up. Anything hiding through here? Uh, it doesn't look like there's any book containers, but there's a couple of things. There's a medical journal. Technically a book. Medical journal again. And there's usually a hidden stash as well. If we go in here, which is pillar up a little bit. Where is it hide again? Oh yeah. Oh, weapons back, hello. Handgun magazine and a structural brace mod. And then hidden stack. Knife guy and sledgehammers. Okay, that's probably all the books I'm going to get from this section of the POI. I am just going to hide up here until the morning. Alright, it's the morning. Let's get down there and deal with the rest of the zombies. Preferably in time for me to get back to Hugh when he opens. Oh, there's dogs outside. Well, that's just wonderfully timed, isn't it? Right, we need to pop that open and run. This shotgun suddenly became a lot more necessary. Who else is running around in there? Is there more? Yeah, it sounds like there's another one at least. How the hell did you get up there? Right, let's descend. Oh. That wasn't what I was trying to do. I guess we're going to do this backwards. <laughs> um, I don't even think you can do it backwards, actually. It just seems like a design oversight. I will force it to happen. I'll jump over this next. Oh, that door's unlocked. I don't need to jump over anything. Being stupid. Let's see. Turn off the blue one. Oh, right. well, I don't necessarily even need to turn off the fire. I just need to kill the zombie so I can get the clear done. Right, I'm not actually sure if I have killed them all, but let's just go into this area and kill the final room and find out. The switch. Get up here. Deal with the... Oh my god, a radiated white. Are you serious? Also a feral cop. Why are you like this game? Pick that shit up immediately. This is going to take some pipe bombing, I think. Ah, that did so much damage. Who hit me? <laughs> Let me take a first aid kit real quick. Who's still alive? Yeah, the three difficult ones, I see. Hey, I've got my escape route. Right, come here. I might be slightly under-equipped for tier 4 jobs, but at least I brought pipe bombs. Whoa. This is not fantastic. Oh, he was a feral. He was the one that hit me then. Would you just die? There's the feral white down, or the radiated white. And that's her dealt with. There's still some zombies left, though. On the other side of the fire back there, so I need to find a way around. Yeah, I suppose I could just pillar up to this area again. Hi. Oh, he's feral. That's not great. There we go, we're clear. Took a lot longer than I expected, though, because of those damn radiated zombies at the end. I definitely need to get some upgraded weapons, then. I've been focusing on my vehicles, though. Let's see, handgun magazine. I can make quality 5 44 magnums. I imagine I can also make other tier 2 pistols now. Unless there just isn't any tier 2 pistols in the 9mm weapons pack. That might be the case, I don't know. Is this an SMG? I should get one of these. Maybe all the ones I can make are tier 1s. I can make a Browning High Power and an Arm 9 A2. But I can't make the tier 2s yet. Interesting. Okay. Well, I can definitely see about getting that SMG, but the thing is, is I need ammo if I'm going to be using an SMG. I mean, that's going to chew through ammo. Beer does not blur my vision anymore, so that's good. Uh, I can use it on Horde Knights now, since I don't have a base. That'll be very helpful. Um, did I bring any lockpicks? I've got five. Let's give it a shot. Uh, forge ahead, tools, digest, a treasure map. Could be good for some early ammo, I suppose. 
and just some other generic stuff there's one other thing i want to grab in here that is bash through this and open up this crate handgun magazine and a bunker buster mod can't complain about that i can make an smg5 at quality one interesting i always find that really interesting actually the uh the game considers the smg5 worse than the desert vulture which i think is a controversial opinion yes the desert vulture has a lot higher damage but like, you can put a drum magazine on an SMG5 and you can do a lot more damage per second with it. I would definitely argue that they should be equal in power level. They are both tier 3, they are both the same loot level. And if you gave me the choice between them, I would definitely pick the SMG5. But that's a benefit for me, I suppose, because it means I can get an SMG5 with only, presumably, like 67 of these books. Which is like top tier end game weapon. Pistols are actually really powerful for that then if you think about it because you can get tier 3 level 5 gun considerably faster than you can with any other track because for example if you want the tier 3 sniper rifle at level 5 you need to have 100 books but you don't need 100 books to have the tier 3 SMG5 so maybe the devs just don't think the SMG5 is that powerful which is unsurprising because they do have a bit of an issue of actually knowing what's powerful in their game and what isn't they're not the best at balancing so yeah maybe pistols are like the most economic option to getting fast tech because like an smg5 is definitely compatible in power to the other tier threes i would definitely say that the desert vulture is weaker than it because you get what like 13 shots if you've got an extended magazine you're just not going to beat that damage per second of an smg5 not that the desert vulture is bad it's just tier three guns tend to be more of the uh horde knight end game weapons that need to do a lot of damage and the desert vulture just doesn't quite hit at the same level as the other ones for me it's really good for clearing pois though because it's just so i don't know it's so good in close quarters and it doesn't destroy half the building when you fire it like the auto shotgun the thing about the smg5 though is you will get a lot of screamers because you do have to use more shots per kill generally than say the sniper rifle i need another 50 forged steel to get a 44 magnum oh my god i need a crucible immediately hey you a level 6 steel axe. Tempting, but I am actually a knife's character, so I should take the machete. That's a significant, mostly upgrade. Although some people do prefer the hunting knife, and I understand why the swing speed on the machete is a bit of a pain in the ass at times. Here we go. Have anything else good, Hugh? Well, they're so far away. Yeah, I'm going to go back to tier these for a little bit, because those are just a little bit too spicy. I need some better weapons first. What do you have? You've reset today. He has a very expensive... 9mm SMG there. Right, well, how about those better guns, actually? We can't make the Magnum, because I don't have a Crucible right now, and I am not spending another half a day gathering steel in this same video, so... What about the Tier 1s? we got the Arm 9, which requires Forged Iron. A lot of it, but not an unreasonable amount of it. And we've got the Browning High Power, which is probably literally the same as the normal pistol, but it might be fun. So let's see if I can go make the Arm 9A2 to last me until I get a level 5 higher tier SMG. Oh yeah, I need to get some oil shell so I can actually make gas. Right, so what I'm going to do is dump off some stuff. I'm going to go get the oil shale and craft some gas first because it'll take the longest and then we'll see what I can do in terms of these other weapons I want to make. I have level 3 minor 69er so I should be good to gather more oil shale. Let me get some mother load as well. So this shouldn't be too difficult. Where is some oil? Here's a big cluster of it. That'll do. Ah, I can two shot the oil shale. That's not too bad then. Can I make the stacks of gas cans? I can. I need 2,000 oil shield to make one stack. But you actually need 4,000 to make a real stack because they changed the balancing and didn't rename things because this game is this game. So I'm going to gather up 4,000 oil shield and then we'll head back to the base, craft some gas and see what I can do in terms of these guns. See if I can also make any 9 mil ammo because I'm kind of low on it. Here's another skill point. Let me just finish off Mother Load. That'll help me out a little bit. Right, there's my 4,000 oil shale. Let's head back. Let's make two stacks of gas cans. That's going to need a bit more fuel than that. Don't that'll work. Right, so, my gun that I want. First of all, do I have the parts? I don't, but I have a backup plan for that. I've got spare pistols lying around, which I can scrap. Uh, two, specifically, so that'll do. There's enough parts for this. Right, and then iron. Duct tape I don't have, but glue I do, so we can figure out 
for that. Polymers, springs, and then just the duct tape. That's pretty easy to make. You can also queue up some 9mm. Not a lot, but some. Leave more bullet casings. I'll start smelting some brass into my forge then. And then, presumably, I need a workbench to make this gun. There we go. That'll take two minutes. My next priority, I think, has to be a crucible so that I can start making steel on reasonable quantities. And then I'll be able to make, like, the higher level vehicles and higher level guns. The MP5 is going to require a decent amount of steel if I want to make one of those. But that's just a tier 2. There's also tier 3s, like the MP40. Apparently the MP40 is better than an MP5. I'm not sure that's true. <laughs> also got the Luger and the Seika 9. And then is there a tier 4 SMG at all? If there is, you can't craft it like you can with a shotgun. So there might actually be even better SMGs. Yeah, so I looked it up. There are only 9mm SMGs and pistols. I think it was the Scorpion Evo, the PPSH 2000, and the C96. Like a, a unique version of it. Um, but those are loot and trades only, I think. Maybe even only trades. I'm not sure if you can loot it. There's my SMG, though. I like it a lot better than the base game SMG. I'm sure it's considerably worse, though. 43 damage. I don't have the comparison, so we don't really know. Um, but what I like about it is it doesn't have stupid drawings or a spoon for a charging handle, so... It's a bit bland, but I prefer it that way compared to whatever the fuck's going on in the base game. Let's see, we got a muzzle brake. I've only got semi-auto mods, that's slightly annoying. I could do with a reflex sight on this. Oh, I don't know how to make them. Well, screw it then, I suppose. Oh, this thing can have five mod slots. It's only tier one. Yeah, it's a little bit OP, but it's how you get the most out of the mod. Really. Oh, look at that accuracy. That's nice. Let's go test this on something. I was going to chew through my ammo, but I will just get good and make more ammo. Oh yeah, I'll need some gas before I go anywhere. Um, is that taking ages still? Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait another like three minutes for that, so I'll just stand here and do that, I guess. <laughs> I wonder, can I make like a scope scope? I could, but I don't know if it would actually go on this weapon. The scopes in the Isaiah weapons packs are usually not like the base game full zoom in scopes. They're usually just 1x magnification for most of it, I think. I've got two broken glass. I remember this was an issue in the last series. People were saying make glass and then smash it, which is absolute fucking insanity. But if that's what you have to do, that's what you have to do. The problem is you need to use lead and sand and shit. Let me see real quick. Have I got any lead spear lying around? I've got bullet tips. Those would work. Lead, sand, that all you need. Yeah, and clay, but obviously. Do I have a drink? Do all my coffee. I had like 15 bottles of it. Oh, there's eight more. That'll do. Oh, that was almost bad. Put those on the other side of the... Yep, mm -hmm. Pretty sure it gives you a warning now. Fucking safety gone mad, if you ask me. Let the new players devour the glass. Called culture. Alright, place that. Three glass. No, one glass. This is not an efficient way of getting glass, but they made it so annoying to get glass now that you can't scrap jars. Because they don't exist. Make sure I have the stuff for the other... Oh, you get two sometimes. This is what, this is what the game has come to. <laughs> Glue, forged iron, a bit of scrap polymer, and yeah, just the glass left. Right, there we go. That's enough to make a scope. It probably won't even go on this, but I will need one later, so it's not the end of the world. Here's my gas. Just have to wait for the scope now. Oh, well, good, you can put a 2x scope on these. It's just a reflex sight. <laughs> I feel robbed, but it works. Uh, let's put some stuff away and go do this quest. I wonder what the reflex sight actually gives you then, if this is, you know... Uh, a hollow sight. And what does the reflex give you? Is it like a little red dot sight? To all the bike owners in the comments section, is sitting on a bike this slow actually comfortable? It seems like it would be annoying with your knees that high. I've never ridden a motorcycle, so I don't know. Actually, that's not true. I've never ridden one of these motorcycles, though, for sure. My exceptionally limited experience in real life comes down to a couple of dirt bikes when I was, like, 15. All right, here we are. Let's start this. Oh, we're on the edge of the, the radius there. Let's test out this SMG. Well, that was satisfying, but it didn't kill her. Two shots. Four were fired, but two of them hit, so it two shots. <laughs> Hello, citizens of army post number seven. Hmm, pretty good. Oh, two shot affair only. Ooh, that's a lot of meds. You need to leave me alone. Ooh, okay, I like this gun. Big fan. Although now I'm just excited for the tier 2 ones, like the MP5. 
Knife guys and demolitions. Knife guys kind of not that helpful for me now. What am I going to do? Craft a level 5 machete? I'll just wait till I find a 6. So I'll just scrap the rest of the knife guys I find, which is good. Because I find a lot of them, so I'll get a lot of research data. Home cooking weekly. And a paper. Nobody hiding up here? Doesn't look like it. Sounds like someone's around. Hello. There's a lot of food in here. Hello. Home cooking weekly. Just, just pasta. What a waste. Oh, some moonshine. Okay, much better. Yeah, my machete isn't bad either. Good, because <laughs> ammo is hard to get. <laughs> Crafting it actually might not be that viable an option for me, because I don't know if you, all of you know this, I don't know if I've mentioned it in the series, but coal doesn't grow in the desert. And by grow, I mean it doesn't spawn. So you can't mine coal, because basically the way it, I think it works is coal is just replaced with oil shale in the desert biome, and this is a desert-only map. So where do I mine coal? And the short answer is, I can mine some, but only from specific POIs that have coal inside them, which I haven't seen any of, or I haven't noted the presence of any. I can think of a couple off the top of my head. The Fates Motel, ow, and the, um, I forget what they renamed it to, but the Old West Mine. That also has coal inside it that's guaranteed. But other than that, not... Not 100% sure where I'm going to get that from. I know I can do infestations to get decent amounts of ammo, though. Uh, I just need to take them on. Preferably be able to do them without using any of my own ammo, or at the very least be able to take them on without using any ammo that costs gunpowder. So if I can use a bow to clear, say, tier 3 and 4 infestations, that would probably be the best source of ammo for me on this map, because no coal. And of course ammo is even more important now, because I'm not doing base building, so I need to be able to fight in the streets, which I think requires more ammo, I'm not sure. Although I suppose I can always survive without ammo if I just fucking run, so there is that. Ow. Where's the loot? Oh, anyone up here? Uh, yeah, there is. Fuck that guy. No loot up here, though. So, is it in the ba- Oh, it is in the basement. I remember. P.Y.'s mean. Bash in a completely inconspicuous toilet. And then, honestly, I'm not entirely convinced this is possible to jump into with parkour. <laughs> I might just have to break it. A level design oversight in this game? No. Oh, hello. That's some ammo. None of which I'm using right now, but ammo is ammo. That doesn't sound good. Any ferals? Yeah, I want to use feral. Come here. Bash a hole in that door for me. Is that everybody? I think so. Let's get the loot. More 556. Five, What's this? A Negev. Okay. I'm not really using 556, five, but it is a Negev at the same time. Let me try and unlock this. Digest, Furious Fists, some leather boots. I'll put that bandolier on. I feel like I'm going to need that soon. This isn't exactly the fastest reload. Let's head back to Trader Hugh. I don't know if I'm going to get back fast enough to get a reward tonight, but it's worth a shot. Um, I'll take the Forged Steel since it's kind of a pain to get right now. We've got another fetch, which I'll grab for tomorrow, but I'm not going to be able to do it right now. So in today's video, we got this new gun and we got this new motorcycle. So that's good. In the next episode, I'm going to have to fight the horde on foot again. So I'm probably going to focus on trying to make ammo during the night. I will probably... I was going to say I'll mine coal, but I can't. It's not a thing. But I'll definitely focus on getting some bullet casings and bullet tips. So that if I do find some gunpowder, I can make some kind of ammo. And I do have the Negev now. The problem is that the Isaiah Weapon Mods LMGs actually give you a movement speed penalty. So it's not the wisest to use them in the same way you would use the base game's machine guns. Um, so I have to consider that, but it is just, you know, I have a lot of 556 five, lying around, and this can get rid of a lot of 556 five, very quickly, so as a backup solution, I do have that. If nothing else, I can hide on a roof and just fire down. Oh, I have an extended mag on this, nice. That is going on my new gun. Oh, and this is a cripple mod, okay. We can put that on there too. How much can this hold now? 37, not terrible. By not terrible, I mean really good, actually. <laughs> Let's feed the forge a bit. Not first aid bandages. Feed the forge a little bit more. Take that um, sand out of there, because what is that shit going to do? And put the brass in. Give me some bullet tips and casings. So if I find any gunpowder, I have a little bit, I'll be able to make some bullets. What's the cheapest ammo you can make? Is it 9mm? Is that 1 to 1? So 
I could make 347 9 mil with the gunpowder I have, and I could also make a further 140 gunpowder, so I could make like 500 9 mil. that's not too bad. Yeah, so we might just have enough ammo for Horde Knight next time. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today, we are going to have to fight the Day 14 Horde. I still don't have a base because that's kind of the point. Uh, I don't want a base, but I took a job before the end of the last episode and we're here out in the middle of nowhere to go and get that. I did see this treasure map though, which I might go and get. And the reason I want to do a treasure map, despite kind of hating them, is because I do need a bit of ammo right now. And that is a source of ammo that would be quite easy to get to while I'm out here. After that, I'll try and do a bunch of infestations with the goal of not using very much gunpowder-based ammo at all. If you're new to the series and don't know why, it's entirely a desert map. Finding coal is quite difficult, so crafting gunpowder is going to be quite difficult. So I want to avoid using it where possible, and I want to find good sources of it. And infestation quests give you uh, infestation caches, which have ammo in them. So that is going to be the best way for me to get ammo. So let me start this quest and quickly... Is it safe to even go to this mailbox? Yeah, it is. Okay. It's quite far away. Head inside. Try and use my bow and my knife mainly. I'm just going to do an actual fetch because I don't want to waste too much time on the actual quest because this isn't like an infestation or anything. So there's no real benefit to me being here for longer than I have to be. This is just to get the quest counter up really quickly and then we can go and do other things. Here it is. Let me check the kitchen real quick. Might find a couple of good things in here. Ah, shotgun choke schematic and a random trash pile and a hunting knife. Well, other than bones, there wasn't much there. Let's let's head out to the treasure map just to pick up some free ammo and then we'll head back to Trader Hugh and take some infestations. Hopefully tier 3 infestations. I wouldn't mind also doing speed clears of basically any tier because you get an ammo reward if you can get a silver or gold oh, medal. I need to get a better shovel. I'm still using a stone shovel which sucks but I'll work with what I have. Yeah, I can two shot it at least that's not too bad. Oh, hey, there's a thing here. Horde mill, okay. Ah, here's the treasure cache. Did I bring lockpicks? I've got four. It's good enough. Let's try it. Okay, second try is not too bad. Let's see, what do we get here? Some cash which I can turn into paper and use for skill books with the research mod, or I could sell it, but I'd rather not. Uh, some sellables, a little bit of 762, 44 magnum gunpowder, which is like gold in this playthrough, and a few bullet casings, and some 556, which isn't the best kind of ammo for me. I would have really liked 9 mil. But it'll do. I can make how much? 109 9 mil with that much, so it's not too bad. Where's my bike? Let's head back to Trader Hugh. Hello, Hugh. You An iron shovel. You know, I'll just take the steel. I need it for crafting things, like a magnum. What do we have? Uh, infested speed clear. I don't think I could do infested tier 4 speed clears yet, and they're also very far away. Uh, speed clear, four kilometers. Damn, everything's far away. Well, that's going to be a problem for my ammo. Uh, I could do low tier quests, though, because you can usually get, like, a... And 60 shotgun shells, 109 mil. That could be good if a little boring. But you know what? It would be interesting to try a tier 1 speed clear without using a gun to see if my machete is like that good. So let's try that. Hopefully I'll get ammo for it. Have I got money? I've got 800. Give me a one second. I've got more money in my motorcycle. Now tier 1 quests are obviously a bit low level for me, but they all do contribute to your tier whatever I'm working towards to complete, so it's worth it. Let's get some Mega Crushes. They are very important for my playstyle, because I don't have a horde base, so I need to be fast. <laughs> Let me go back to my base and set some more ammo to craft, since that's like my new thing that I just need to keep on top of. Nothing else, it feels like a much more unique way to play the game, worrying about ammo and all that kind of thing, rather than just building a base. I went in depth on why I don't want to do that in another video. You can go and watch that one if you haven't already. If you so please. But most of you probably have. This is like episode 7 of a series or something. <laughs> Here we are. I only have like 45 seconds I think so let's just get in there. Gold isn't 100% necessary but I would like it. Ow. Oh shit, there's a feral there. Okay, this is not going well already. <laughs> oh, you've got to love the desert. Oh, that did so much damage. Holy shit. Yeah. Even tier 1s in the desert can be slightly spicy if you go in with just a melee weapon and no plan. Oh, you're just a normal guy? Okay. The machete is no club, I'll tell you that much, but it is more spec for my build anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> I'm cooking weekly. Why am I looting? Idiot. <laughs> I was trying to get a silver medal and just forgot. 
There we go. I got bronze. I don't know what you get for a bronze, though. I think I've always had silver if I got one, so it'll be interesting to see if you still get some kind of reward for that. Uh, okay, so the machete works, but I'm not particularly well leveled for it, I don't think. Maybe some better armor and a bit more points into machetes would be good, or knives. Um, I've only got, what, three points in knives right now, and I can afford a fourth. That would be pretty nice to get more stamina per kill, because I did have to slow down a couple of times there to regen stamina. And obviously I took a couple of hits, which isn't the greatest. I am using padded armor still, though, just because my quest progression is not as fast as it would normally be. I can't remember any reason why. I think I've just been waffling more, but it's been more fun anyway, so I don't mind. Oh yeah, there was the big delay with like tier 3 complete because some of these quests don't count. It's fine, though. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not really that much of a shotgunner, but a shotgun is a weapon anyway, so... Okay, I don't get a second reward, I think I just get extra money for doing that if I get a, a bronze medal or whatever, so that's fine. Well, let's take on like a tier 1 clear as well, because if I can get 109 mil or 60 shotgun shells, that's, you know, for the time it takes, when you can't mine coal, it's not too bad right now. I just need to bite the bullet when there's ferals, though I think I should just pull out the shotgun and deal with them. Spend a few ammo to save a lot of health. That's a lot of red dots. Oh, hey there. One of you come through. Okay, two of you can come through then, I guess. Ah, stamina. Oh, hey, cop. Time to run away. Well, that went okay. There's still more in the roof. There was the... Yeah, the loot's down here in this one, though. Fear Hunter, scrap that for research data. Where's that ladder? Ah, here we are. Who's up here? Okay... There's the cop's head, and somehow landed up here. Medical journal. Nice, I can make recog. Let me do a couple more loot containers in here. You know what I really need to figure out? Which quest here is it that gives you gunpowder as a potential reward? Because that's the one that's going to be the most effective for me. <laughs> is there not a quest reward that gives you 500 gunpowder? Because that's going to be way more useful than most other quest rewards. Because 500 gunpowder for me is like, you know, 500 shots in my 9mm. 762 is ammo I actually won't take, because I don't think I even have anything to fire it, other than like a Mosin, which is not a Horde Knight weapon, so I'll take the skill magazines. I didn't spend any ammo, so it's fine. What else do you have, Hugh? Tier 1 fetch. Tier 1... Yeah, let's do that. I'll go check on my ammo again, see how it's doing. I should have enough for tonight, I'm just thinking about the future. I also would love to find one of the POIs that has coal spawned in it, and that would be really helpful. If you know any other than the Fates Motel and the Old West Coal Mine, let me know, because I already know of those two. Probably know of more, but I forget a lot of PYs. There's too many of them, which is probably a good thing, but, you know, still. <laughs> Ammo, let's see, we've got extra 200 odd 9 mil there. Got my little bit of gunpowder there. Or just produced a little bit more, but it needs more fuel. Need more lead. Lead is something I'm surprisingly a little bit out of, despite lead just being something you can mine. <laughs> I think I'm just being dumb there. Still, we can make a little bit more 9 mil. I'd also really like to get Pistol Peak complete. Because that means I could turn 80 gunpowder into 109 mil, which is very efficient. Here we are. This place has some dog shenanigans for me, though. Tools digest. Nice. I can make steel tools at quality 5. That's pretty good. I'll wait until I have a crucible, though. Oh, hello, vulture. Yeah. Yeah. Is there no dog? That's weird. Well, let's tempt the waters. Oh, yeah, I definitely need another point in machetes. Get more stamina on kill, that would be really helpful. Why did I see a vulture there? Mm. Anybody a feral? Yep, wanna use a feral. Oh, decapitated him though. You get the tremendous honour of having ammo spent on you. There we go. Not too bad, five shotgun shells for not dying to a feral is, is a worthy trade, I'd say. Well, that was very lucky. Oh, feral. Oh, hello, crawler. Some ammo, knife guy, and a serrated blade mod. It's not actually as helpful on the machete as you think it would be, because it only really does it on regular attacks, and I mostly heavy attack, but extra damage is extra damage. Oh, there's more zombies in here still alive, okay. Let me check these cabinets and stuff first. Oh, two home cooking weeklies. You don't see that much. Not without points in Master Chef, anyway. Um, these are pretty good for a little bit of lead as well, which I'm obviously kind of short on, so let's grab that. You're also a sink. Let's grab it. You. No lead, just brass. Fair enough. There we go, all the zombies are dead. 
some lucky goggles which aren't very helpful to me. Five loot stage is not a good amount. It was actually only four on those ones anyway, I think. A padded hood, worse than mine. I think that's because I'm wearing not a padded hood. Yeah, well, there was no dog here, so that's nice. Anything in the mailbox? I've already looted it. Let's go see Hugh. Oh, you know what? I should actually do these for Trader Gen, which I'm not going to do today because it would just be a complete waste of time to drive out there. But if I do it for Trader Gen, I'll complete Tier 1 and Tier 2 with them rather than doing Tier 1s with a Tier 4 Trader or whatever. Hello again, Hugh. Hey, 500 gunpowder. So it is these. 6762 is nice, but gunpowder can be turned into 9 mil, so I'll take that. So Tier 1s potentially give you it. Let's take that fetch. Did I get a skill point? I did. Let's go for a point in deep cuts so that my knife can be a little bit more effective. Not that it's bad, but it's just not as good as the club because the club is like borderline overpowered. So I'm just used to a ridiculously good weapon and I'm now just using a good weapon and it feels like it's underpowered. Here we are. Is it in the first room? It would be very nice if it was. Oh, this isn't the place I thought it was. I was thinking of the tier 3 one. Okay. It might be in, like, the last room then, for all I know. Do not trust that vulture. Oh, books. Nice. Hello. That was fortunate. Tools Digest. We can make mechanical tools at quality 1 if I want. Which I probably will want, because I'm not going full 5 strength, so I'm not going to be able to one-shot much. There we go. Got some books here. Handguns. Scrap of spears. Hello there. Anything in here? Some ammo. SM 556. It's not the best ammo type. Hello. Anybody else in here? Doesn't seem like it. There we go. Here's the satchel. Here's some meds. Oh, just a blood bag. Okay. Needle and thread. Let's get out of here. Oh, hello. One bullet is fair for a vulture, I'd say. Um, I'll take the 10 fight bombs. That is a lot of gunpowder's worth of ammo, so to speak. So, it'll do. I don't want to do the tier 1 meds. It's a lot of medicine for not that much of a reward, I don't think. Clear zombies at tier 2? I might have time to do it. I don't know. Are you selling any ammo bits? There's bullet casings, but I can turn dukes into bullet casings, so why would I spend money on them? Save some time, I guess, but that's not the biggest deal right now. What about resources? Oh, you got gunpowder. That. Probably should buy that, yeah. <laughs> any lead at all? No. Right, let me go back to my base, set more ammo to craft. That's this place again. Grew the hammer book, I don't care about that. Start the quest, check the mailbox. Handy lens. I want a nail gun eventually, so yeah. Hello. You get a shotgun shell. Or four. Just the one he needs. I can't expect to use no ammo throughout the game, but minimizing my use of it would be good. You better stop looking at me. Oh, well that's just mean. It just spawns zombies outside there if you press the button. While I'm here, I'll get the passing gas container. Ooh, a fuel saver mod. Nice. Kind of shitty in the desert, I'm not gonna lie, but it will save me some time having to mine that on there. Oh, hello, cop. Sit in there and think about what you've done. Thank you. There's another cop, isn't there? Hi. I can't lock him behind anything, so I'm just gonna run away. And yes, I do know that you don't get the XP for doing that to cops, however, some things are worth more than XP. It brings me joy. Oh, hello. Your eyes look kind of glowy. Are you a feral? No, you're not. Okay. He is. Not today. Oh, more red dye. Nice. I need some points in archery. Those die chest. Any ferals? Yep, she's feral. He is as well. Okay. Uh, there goes some shotgun shells then, for sure. Time to run away! Oh, are they just gonna hop the fence? Yeah, that, that would make sense. Hello. Are there any bags up here? Not really. There's some loot in there, but I'm not gonna bother with it. Hello, final loot room. You're looking very suspicious today. Hello, cop. Yep, you come. Both of you come over here. Hit the door once. There you go. There we go. The cop's gonna pop. That'll probably do a lot of damage to all of them actually killed one of them. There we go. Uh, Magnum Enforcer, nice. I do want to use Magnums later on in the game. Ah, some shotgun ammo to replace the ones I used. Vehicle Adventures, and I'll scrap the other one. Alright, let's head back to Hugh. That'll probably be the last quest I can get done today before I have to go fight the Horde. 
but that's fine because most of the low tier easy ammo quests were done anyway so let's head back see that 25 forge steel is very tempting i do have a lot of spare shotgun ammo anyway ah, it hurts because i'm here for ammo but steel is in high demand right now and i still don't have a crucible i'm not too far off on the forge ahead so um i need 14 more i could probably get that in the next episode if i focus on it Oh, actually, no, I can't, because I'm not specced into intellect at all, am I? So I have to rely on research data scrapping, so it may take a bit longer. But it means I don't have to invest in a whole other skill tree to just play the game. Right, let me sort out some stuff, and I'll get ready for Horde Night, and I'll get back to you guys. Um, let's see, I'm going to bring the Negev. It's not the best weapon, because it slows me down when I use it, and the whole idea is to not be slowed down, because it's kind of going to get you killed. But, that said... It is a very good weapon to just spit out loads of 556, which is an ammo type I have an excessive amount of. So if I can like jump up on something and just spray loads of 556, that would be a good strategy. I've got lots of spare gunpowder now, I just need bullet tips, which I'll work on getting tomorrow, I think. Um, I've got 500, just about 9 mil. I've got some more crafting, so it'll work its way up to that. I've got some pipe bombs. Uh, what have I got in terms of, like, modifiers, other than my Mega Crush, which is obviously necessary to even begin to do this, I think. Do so get some vitamins. Some Recog. Mega Crush will give me a lot of extra water, so it makes sense. Got my painkillers. Probably get these just to be sure in case I break something. That would suck. That probably is enough, to be honest. I got shock and ammo. Got spare shotgun ammo later. Let's keep a stack of it. Right, so that's everything I should need. Now I just have to go and wait for the horde outside. I will go and stand on top of the gas station. Oh, and at some point I did get the run and gun rank three, so I can just fully run and hip fire and reload full speed, no problems. Right, horde night is about to start. Let's get these vitamins going. Three beers, which is what. Is it one minute? Well, we might as well. I'll save one for extra stamina. Oh, they last two minutes, okay. And I'll queue up three Mega Crushes because you can... Well, no, I should queue up two just to be sure. Word Night might not last the full 15 minutes. And that means I can probably just devour the Recog because I have so much extra water as well. Uh, that should be good. So now I can move at this speed even with the LMG, which uh, removes your mobility a little bit. Here goes nothing. Oh yeah, what's my game stage? 78. Pretty high for day 14, but... Nothing unmanageable, I'd say. Oh yeah, I gotta watch out for battles now, though. If they hit me, they do a lot of damage. I need some better armor. I need some military armor. That's what I need. Oh, hello. Now, I'm starting out with my worst gun. Because it has the most ammo. And frankly, all this 556 five, is just taking up storage space anyway. Ow. Those ferals hit like trucks. Oh, hey there. Hop up here real quick. I actually don't know if they can claim that. Doesn't look like it. Well, that's a useful escape point let me first aid kit up I don't plan on cheesing it up here all night though there would be the fun in that i'm just making sure my guns are all good let's head back down Ooh, cops are here on day 14. the desert is mean he's gonna pop hey a skill point this is not the place to do that let's head up back up on here real quick since they have to break through the entire building apparently um Gunslinger, there we go. So if I switch to my SMG now, it'll hit even harder. Oh, you know what I should do next time? Since I'm not really tied to this location at all, I should find new places to do the Horde now. I know we did the same, like, area last time, but it's because it makes the most sense, but... I don't actually have a reason to stick around here, aside from a few deployed ladders for strategy, but... Basically anywhere else that I'm familiar with should work. There's a few areas I know decently well on the map. Ooh, the gun broke. It is only a level 2 after all. How much more ammo have I got? 10 magazines? Well, 11 if you count the one that's in it. That's pretty decent. Oh. Oh, I killed that one. I killed the other one. Oh, 
Okay, loot bag. Nope. Not gonna get me. Ah, some more 556 as well. And is that an actual off-road headlight? No, just the mod. I do kind of want one though. The lights on the cruiser are slightly shit. Whoa, hi. Jump over that. Oh, I have a ladder here. Let me get some more beer for extra stamina regen. It's useful. Ow. Oh, my armor's weakened. This gun is downright difficult to control, you know. <laughs> this low-tier LMG. Who could have known? But hey, it's getting kills and I'm not spending any of my important ammo. Bloody cops. They get a little bit confused if you just run in a wide arc. They kind of get lost and stuck on stuff. I should make some gas battles so I can do that myself. Pretty sure you can craft them. Oh, five shots left. Well. Good thing I didn't make them count. <laughs> See, what other gun can I switch to here? But the lever action shotgun or the arm nine. I'd rather waste shotgun ammo, to be honest. Which of my armor's broken? I don't have any cloth on me. Let's take another Mega Crush. Head back down into the chaos. These little knee-high walls are the best. Whoa. Nope, oh, abrasion. That's bad. Because that means I'll get a million more injuries. Is it worth using a first aid kit? Probably. It'll make it heal much faster. You know... If I'm game stage 78 by day 14, that means I'll probably be game stage 150 by day 28, right? That means demos could spawn very, very quickly in this series, so it's probably for the best that I don't have a base. Or at least a horde base, obviously I have a house. I should have brought some of that damn flechette ammo for the soldiers. Hey, a spare skill point. Let's hop up here. Um, okay, let's maybe get out of the view of the cop. <laughs> what am I looking for? I can't get parkour yet, so I'll probably just hold off on that. Get up to 8 agility and then parkour 4 so I can really jump around like crazy. I really like this gun. It's not as effective as it could be because I'm not spec for shotguns, but it's fun dog behind me. Ow. How are you still alive? You little shit. I'll use a sewing kit on that later. Oh, my shotgun's about to break. Repair that. Come here. There we go. See what I said about the abrasion? It's true. It's a little fun fact. Did you know you're more susceptible to getting the bleeding effect if you already have a laceration? Now you know. Ow. Dogs are the worst. What is it? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot easier when you're using an actual gun that you're specced for. But I'm using the weapons I'm not specced for so that I can use the good guns in the future. Oh, stamina. I think my Mega Crush wore off. Did it? I don't think it actually did. I think I'm just being dumb. I think the beer wore off is the problem. I'm only going to survive like another 50 minutes anyway. It sounds like we might be on the last clump of zombies anyway though. It's, it's very tame right now. Not another dog! Jump up here. Ooh. I didn't know I could do that. That works. Yeah, let me get them clumped up somewhere helpful so I can pipe bomb them. Nope. Leave me alone, cop. Horde Knight's almost over, five more minutes, and they're all going to slow down a lot. Alright, Ferals, you separate from the pack and come and attack me. Guy's a weird colour. Both Feral? Why? Stop that. <laughs> That's one Feral down. Where'd the other guy go? Hi. Hold still, please. 
Anyone else a feral? Doesn't look like it, right? I would like to kill these as quietly as possible so that I don't attract too many screamers, but also they're kind of clumped up. I could maybe get them to die to one or two pipe bombs, which would probably be relatively quiet compared to a hundred bullets. That should help a lot. Who's still left? I think we're done. Right, I'm going to have a look for a few of these loot bags because they're a good source of ammo. Yeah, iron shovel. I'll do a quick run around. I need to do trader stuff anyway and he's not open, so me. Let me go see something real quick. Okay, so I've got enough materials to make a magnum now and I think I would very much like to. This is the Desert Ranger series, of course, so it makes sense. Just need the duct tape to finish up crafting, which will take a couple of seconds here. Um, Where is it? meds. Let me eat a sewing kit for my laceration there. I'll wait for this magnum to be crafted and then we'll go and do some questing. I'll waste some of my 44 magnum. There's the magnum. Need some mods for it now. I don't really have much spare. Hmm. Yeah, well, it should work anyway. Let's go. See what Trader Hugh has for me. I'll waste this 44 magnum in the interest. Of style, but other than that, I'm probably gonna need to wait to use this a bit more. Hey, Hugh. Not a lot of his quests are very good right now, they're all very far away. Shit. So let's go talk to Trader Jen then. Might as well get some progress with them because I want to level more than just Trader Hugh so I can have more quest options. So I'll drive over to Trader Jen and she'll have some tier ones for me, hopefully. Hey, Jen. Do you sell any Mega Crush, by the way? Yep, you do. Perfect. That'll be enough for next week. These are slightly far away as well, but let's just work with what we have. Hmm, is there any landmines on this one? Doesn't look like it. Right. Start that. Okay. Um, this is weird, but let's see what we can do. Who else is even still alive? It's a tiny POI. Oh, up there. Yeah. There goes my gold from that failed jump. Oh, I see. You're supposed to do this. Yep, yeah, that would make sense. There we go. We got silver, at least. That's a bit of extra ammo for me. Ooh, a bandit plate. I do enjoy those. Is there anything useful here? Apple bag. Ah, blueberry pie. Some coal and some glue. A lot of glue, actually. That's nice. Coal, of course, is also good for gunpowder, but it's only like 40 of it. Um, That'll do here, I guess. Let's go back to Jen. I will take the crafting skill magazine, 762 is not that helpful, and then take the silver award. I'll take the 9 mil. The pipe bombs would have been nice too. Screw those, screw those, take the forger heads. Cool. What else do you have, Jen? A fetch? I mean, I have to work with what I have. Let's go see that. Let's go to that quest. Wait, this is just a fetch, is it? I don't have to be fast then, let's use the machete. Oh, they came all this way for that. Right, we'll see you, I guess. <laughs> you gotta love tier 1 fetches, they're very difficult. Off we go. Hey, Jen. That's not great as rewards go, but, um... I'll take some shotgun token coin ammo. Do the clear zombies at the passing gas number 10. It's the one next to my house. Good, because I practically fucking destroyed it the last time I was there, so it could do with a, a rebuild. Or is it the one next to my house? Let's see. Yeah, no, it is. Restart this place. Two skill points. Hmm. Let's get that up to eight, and then I can get parkour four. That took too many shots. Let's head back to Trader Jen. Maybe I'll get tier one complete with her now. Could use the extra water filters, to be fair. Hey, Jen. Um, I will take more shotgun shells. There we go. Right, so we've got the farm bundle, books, or ammo crafting. The ammo crafting is nice, but it gives you enough to make like 109 mil. That's not as useful to me as like 4,000 dukes worth of water filters. Um, speaking of dukes and stuff like that, are you selling anything good, Jen? I didn't actually check. Bullet tips. Those are helpful. I could buy ammo, but I don't think it's a very cost-effective way of getting it. Oh, a reflex sight mod. Tempting, but no. Not okay, do you have any special deal. jobs? Greater job Hugh to the west. Okay. Is that the one I live next to? Yes, well, I'll gladly talk to him, I guess. Right, well, I should probably go see the other Trader Jen and see if she has any Tier 2s available. Even if she doesn't, if she has some Tier 1s, I wouldn't mind doing them for, again, more ammo, but also 
um, it'll still contribute to the tier 2 complete with her. So let's head out there. Mega crush. Hello, other gen. What do you have to sell? Bullet tips, nice. Right, what jobs do you have, gen? Tier 2s, nice. Uh, tier 2 speed clears, infested clears. Let's do the infested. Get the extra ammo. Oh no, Bob's Cafe. <laughs> it is an interesting infestation. I'm going to use more ammo doing this, aren't I? Uh-oh. Alright, here goes nothing. I'm guessing this one is going to be filled with ferals, which means it's going to use all my ammo. Alright, so far so good. That was a feral, though. Ow. There we go. Had to deal with that vulture real quick. Ow. Oh, there's a crawler over there. Alright, that wasn't actually too bad. There was only one feral. Close that door. Oh, you're doing a lot of damage, aren't you? Are you feral? No. Weird. You are, hello. Oh, there's more on the roof. That wasn't as bad as I thought, though. Hello, infested cash. Bunch of ammo? Oh, well, I can comfortably use my magnum then, because I'm going to make a profit on that. Good. Right, let's see, where's the ladder? Oh, God. This could be bad. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. Oh, hey there. Ow. That went well. Get the loot from up here. Eh, nothing great, but eh, it's useful. Bit of ammo there. Let's see what's in here. Shotgun magazine. I'm semi-interested in crafting shotguns, so that's good. There's also a shamway crate down here I should grab. Potato and chicken soup. Okay, let's see what Jen gives me for that. Hey there, Jen. I'll take the steel. It's not ammo, but it's something. Um, speed clear 240. Works for me. Uh, this one might be a little bit harder to do, because it's quite a dodgy bit of navigation. Let's go. Oh, my frame rate's dying in here. That's not great. I was not keeping count of my shots with the Magnum, apparently. Well, that took longer than I would have liked. Another feral? Oh, the game's breaking around me. Uh-oh, landmines. I still got hit by it. At least it cleared them for me. Right into the basement then, I guess. Damn it, there goes the gold. There we go. Silver's still good. You get the extra ammo reward for that, so I can't complain. Let's see here. Ah, the last pistol, Pete. I need another one. I thought I only needed one more. Absolute betrayal. Which one do I need? I could have sworn I only needed one more, but now I need one more, so that's something at least. On my way to being able to make ammo a lot more efficiently. And gun magazine, some bullet tips, cool. Uh, try the gun safe. Pain. I'm gonna have to bash it open with my pickaxe. Mm, nothing much even in there. Here we go. Guess I'll take the steel again. These are good for steel, at least. I think I'm gonna have to leave that there, though, because I'm gonna have to go back to Hue tomorrow to get more high-level quests, but that's good progress towards Tier 2 complete. I'm gonna drive home, and I'll spend the night crafting ammo, mostly, I imagine. Is there anything in this? A little bit, let's grab it. You don't have to watch the journey back though. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today we are going to be trying to get the tier 4 complete from Trader Hugh so that I can start doing some high level quests and getting some good gear. Well, I have a random reward. I don't know what it was from. I'll take the 9 mil. Thank you. Very cool. Anyway. <laughs> ah, they're all infested. Let's take the tier 4 fetch and clear. That's quite nearby and it's easy. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Let's start it. Get the bow out and try and do some stealthing. Results are not promised. A feral. Yep, it's a feral. <laughs> try and attack his friend as well. Probably also a feral. Don't you love the desert? Come here. Oh, really? The armor? Please be the helmet. Oh, good. I can repair that. It annoys me when it sits there forever. Hello. Neither of you are feral. Come down here. Right, let's clear the rest of this, like, trench area. He wasn't even feral. Alright, trench is cleared. Let's clear out the upper areas first. Let me check this army truck as well. Oh, I have a skill point for some reason. Oh, because I used the bandage. Let's see here. 
Agility, what can I get? Parkour 4. Yes, very helpful. Who's left? Hello. You didn't hear all that, huh? So far, so good. Well, I woke everybody up in there. Let's see if there's any ferals. He's certainly very pissed off. He's running quite quickly. Hop over here. Can I see anybody from here? I need to place like a block. Hello there, crawler. Yeah, they all woke up. Okay. Let's go fight them the normal way. Why are they just standing there? What do you want? Any ferals for me? Not today. Hey, look back. Brass and some various useful-ish things. Oh, should've brought explosives for this place. I remember the end area. Farming. What's being done with that? Don't know if I'm gonna farm in this playthrough. Maybe. Oh, handgun magazine, cool. Is there another tower in this place? I guess that's not this POI. So the last area is this nightmare place. Oh, and they start immediately. Oh yeah, I forgot the the area after this is even worse, I forgot. Oh my god, three radiated zombies, four radiated zombies, one of which is a cop, and... Okay, you need to die quickly, hang on. Ugh, I need a higher level SMG, apparently. I think the cop popped. Yeah, it did, and it took, like, a truck with it. I like to conserve ammo. However, it's not always possible. <laughs> not when there's radiated zombies chasing you. On the plus side, it really seems like the cop pop did a lot for me, so that's good. That is an acceptable amount of ammo to use, because I think I've only used ammo that I actually found in here anyway. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Looks like I just used the ammo I got as that weird reward, actually. That's what that was. Let's grab the satchel. Now, that wasn't actually the really bad area. The really bad area is in here. I'm going to try and get a few sneak attacks through this wall. Oh, radiated soldiers. Oh, no. Four of them. Holy... Five radiated soldiers. What the fuck is your problem, game? Oh, my God. Right, there's the mutated zombie doing this thing. <laughs> uh, I mean, I guess I could let him hit that a couple of times. Try and kill him without alerting the other ones, it'd make it a little bit easier for me if they were all just radiated soldiers. Ah, what the fuck? Okay, he he cheated. I've decided. I don't have the meds to take hits like that. Let's get some coffee going. Let's get some fort bites. Ah, he's back. How did he get up there so quickly? God damn. And let's also get some recog. And then just get using my guns. This is what the ammo's for, after all. This and Horde Knight. I mean, if you would like to go run into the minefield, that would be perfect for me, actually. Yeah, let me let me just stand on the other side of a minefield, see if that'll help. It'll do something, presumably. I don't have to kill them. I don't need the XP that badly. <laughs> Whoa, he didn't run through it. There's a zombie behind me somewhere. I'm really not sure the landmines even killed one of them, but one of them's at least dead from my gun, so that's something. There's another one dead. Oh, these take some punishment. Where are they? You there, stop that. There you are. Surprisingly tame zombie for what that was. Howdy. You weren't using those legs, were you? Sucks, I know he's at full health, because he's a bloody radiated zombie able to regen all the health he lost from losing the leg. Still, that wasn't too bad, it just wasted a lot more ammo than I would have liked, because ammo is very hard to get in the desert, but that is the point of the series. Desert can be difficult. There's some 9 mil back, at least. A wooden bow, is it better than my level 5? 44. It actually is better than my primitive bow, let me just grab that. Vehicles, scrap these for research data. Uh, did I bring any lockpicks? Doesn't look like it. That is always infuriating, but I have a pickaxe, so it's not too bad. Hey, bookcase. Medical journal. Well, might as well get them out of the way. Let me bash this open. Then we'll go back and get a quest reward. Those digest, knife guy, barbed wire mod, a bunch of ammo, and some old cash. Hmm. Not the best, but it's more the quest reward I'm here for anyway. And the quest counter. I want to get tier 4 complete and see what kind of good gun or maybe vehicle part I can get. Oh, I'm thirsty. Really? I drank like three coffees. I know I also had four bites and recog, but damn. Right, Hugh, give me something good. That's not good. That's a steel shovel. Um, the thing about steel shovel is it's useless, especially in the desert where you don't need a steel shovel to one hit the terrain. So I'm just gonna agonizingly take the forged steel. Uh, but I want you to know, Hugh, that I hate you and it's your fault that the world's the way it is. Let's take the tier 3 fetch clear. <laughs> I bought a bunch of uh, red tea from the trader there as well, so I got more mega crush, so that's good. Certainly a disappointing tier 4 reward. 
I don't feel like doing tier 4 infestations. Because have you seen the shit that spawns already? I don't need to up the ante with an infestation. Uh, where is this exactly? Oh, it's way over that way. Okay. Let's head out and see what we have. Here we are. It's just a fetch, and I fully intend to do that the way you're supposed to. Sensitivity wrong again. I need to stop pressing that button on my new mouse. Fucking annoying. Don't mind me. Here it is. No sense sticking around. I don't really need any of that right now. I could go up to the roof, and that would allow me to escape without getting punched in the back of the head. Just hop over here into a little bit of barbed wire, but, you know, just barbed wire. No need to be a pussy about it. Oh, it's a clear and fetch. I thought I took a fetch. Well then. That was a weird thing to do. The zombies are very confused. I could have sworn I clicked on a fetch, though. Did I press the wrong button? Must not be able to read. It's all the barbed wire I keep not worrying about. It must have been rusty. Knife guy. Cool. Give this bow a little test. It's not going to be amazing. It's just a level 1 bow, but it's probably better than the primitive bow. It does higher damage at the very least. Although technically, I could have got the primitive bow to do more damage if I had given it all the mods it needs, but I didn't have spare mods, so fuck it. Anyone home? Yes. Yes, there is. Anyone up here? Hi. Hey, med cabinet. Oh, I can make a few extra first aid bandages. Nice. Anybody in here? Yes, yes, there was. I probably should have sneaked. Burning shaft mod schematic. Good. Nice home cooking weekly there. I can make hobo stew. That's good. I've got a bunch of spare ingredients for that. I don't know if I have everything, but... Probably. Home cooking weekly and a sham chowder. Nice. Anyone hiding in the motor pool? Yes. Oh, there's a feral. Was. Scrapping for fun and vehicles. Handy land, tools digest, and a couple of useful things. Right, let's head into the main building over here. Again, that I've already broke into, that is. Ah, skill point. Let's go for... I'm thinking all of the agility perks would be good in their own way, but I think Whirlwind would be the most important one right now, because I do sometimes feel like I'm not getting the nicest attack speed out of the machete. Once you're used to a hunting knife, machete is hard to get used to. Not that I'm doing badly with it, it's just it could be faster. It would be better. Here's the vulture that sits up here. Some ammo. Alright, we're on like the last room, I think. Where's the staircase? Oh, never mind. I didn't even get to finish that sentence before I found it. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of you, isn't it? Uh, you look the weakest, so I'm gonna hope it's you. Yep, that was probably a good calculation. Let's try you next. He's not a feral. That's something, at least. He is also not a feral. Get out of my window. Ow. Why are you so fast? Crawl speed. Obey the speed limit, damn it. And then the last guy. Anybody special? Nope, just a guy. Cool. Okay, and I have to break through this to get through, because... Or maybe it would be... Yeah, breaking this is actually way easier, I was going to say. Parkour stops me from actually jumping that, but breaking the little thing is more cost-effective. And again, magazine, hunting knife, some parts for various things, some ammo, another hunting knife. More ammo, although a depressingly low amount. Have I got those time charges on me still, or did I put them in my bike? Looks like I put them in my bike. Well, we'll be smacking this again, then. Tools Digest, automatic weapons, you can't go wrong with that, and a banded armor plate, certainly a fan of those as well. I need more armor, or better armor it looks like. Oh, I really do? My arms take something? Oh, didn't mean to put them in my slot there. There we go, that'll do. Yeah, I need some military armor, I'm hoping for a military armor bundle for the tier 4 complete. Or at least a, a bonus bundle for the tier 5 complete or the tier 6 complete, because this padded armor is killing me. Let's head back to Hugh and see what I can get. Oh, that's just some terrible rewards right there. Let's take the crafting skill magazine bundle. Hey, tier 4 complete. Steel armor bundle. Really, game. Steel armor bundle. That is not something I can really use on my build. I'd be slowed down so much it just wouldn't even work. I can't use blade traps either or battery bank because I'm not doing that kind of a base. Mods are just shit, so... Ew, I have to take the steel armor bundle to get anything. Greater Bob to the southeast. Scrap. Read, 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 read. Uh, pop those open. I can sell these 
to you later. I will equip the helmet light though, because that's probably going to be something very useful for me. I'll just save this armor until I've got spare armor mods to throw on them, and then I'll sell it back to him later. That was very disappointing though. At least we've unlocked tier 5s though. Is horrifyingly dangerous as I'm sure they'll be. I don't think I want to spend the time to go and see Trader Bob, by the way. That is very far away. I'll need to wait until I have some kind of aircraft to do that one, I think. Still, Tier 5 Complete is on the horizon. I just have to do enough jobs. Um, I should have to do, what, like, 12 Tier 3 jobs it would be? Or 9 Tier 4s or some combination of the both? But it's not looking great for any of them. All of his jobs are really far away. We might have exhausted Hugh a little bit. Let me take my stuff back to my base. I just realised I probably had the time charges in my hotbar. That's funny. They might not have been. They might have just came out the cruiser as I, like, pressed R on it. But it'd be probably quite amusing if that was the case. Still, it's not that much of a time saver, to be honest. Right, so what I'm going to do is, during the night, I'm going to go out and mine some lead. Because I do need more ammo, of course. And that is a good use of my time. But you don't have to see that, so I will skip to the morning for you. Alright, it's the morning of day 17. Let's go and see what Hugh has for jobs anyway. Tier 5 infestations and speed clears. Tier 4 clears. Oh my god, they're so far away. But tier 4 speed clear is there. Tier 3 clear. Tier 3 buried supplies. Let's start with the tier 3 clear and work my way up. Let's head on over there. Alright, here we are. This is a clear, so I don't have to worry about being fast. We'll try and be slightly sneaky. A vehicle adventure is nice. Oh, hello. Oh, he's a feral. That's an acceptable amount of ammo to use, I would say. The more ammo bet. Different kind of ammo, though. Who's right next to me? Why are they red marked? Are they in this pile here? Yes, they are. My machete is quite good. Any vultures up here? No. Okay, head over here. Hi. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, he fell all the way down. Great heist. Sure, I'll take some more money and stuff. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> they are running kind of fast. Don't mind me. Just parkour things. Let's see how they decide to throw themselves down here. Yep, they were both feral as I suspected. It's always fun. Where's the vulture? Come here. Poke your head over one more time. Okay, he's being annoying. Ooh, medical journal and a first aid kit. Okay. Ammo pile. With, oh, 9 mil, I think. Tools digest. And a hunting knife. Let's bash open this chest. Ooh, a drum magazine. Okay, now we're talking. Can this even go on my... Oh, it can. What's the ammo cap now? Ah, oh, and it has an actual drum magazine as well. 50. That is very nice. I really like that it has a model on the gun as well. A hey, weapons bag. Hunting knife thing, whatever it's called. Knife guy book. Not all that useful to me because I'm not going to craft another machete, am I? That's a lot of steel to uh, waste on just a one level upgrade. Let's head back to Hugh. And take a harder job. Give me something good, Hugh. I'll take the crafting skill magazine bundle. Nothing much there. Let's see. Tier 4s. These are all so far away. I'll take a speed clear. Even if I don't get it done particularly quickly. It's relatively close and it'll still give me a decent reward. Okay, you know what? I'm actually bored of questing. I'm going to do something different. Uh, opening trade routes. Let's go to Trader Bob and see the town that he's in, see if I can just hunt down a bunch of books from mailboxes or any book POIs that might be there, and then I can get research data and craft a bunch of Forge Ahead books, get myself a crucible and then steel won't be as much of an issue, which means I can start crafting better vehicles and weapons, which means I can start focusing my efforts on, on getting crafting books for those. Sounds like a bit more interesting than the constant trader, blech. But it will take a while for me to get out there. Alright, here we are at Trader Bob's. He has a whole town, which is going to be worth searching, but I should talk to him really quickly and get a couple of things, including the two forge heads that you're pretty much guaranteed from every trader. Just have to find the right 
containers. There's some glue. Here we go. Cement mixer. One forge ahead. Only need like five more. Another forge ahead. Let's head in and talk to him. A little bit of gunpowder, but not a significant amount. Three forge aheads, that would really help me along. And a vehicle adventures. So I'll read these and read one of those. Got any good jobs nearby? Yeah, quick fetch might be good. Just to do while I'm on the run around here. Oh, of course, it takes me out the town, really. Well, I'll go and do it and then we'll <laughs> loot this town for books and stuff. Grab that. And I'm outside again. <laughs> Alright, Bob, I'm back. I will take the pipe bombs. Let's take his other fetch as well. That one might actually be in the town. Alright, so, well, I would love to go to the job. There are mailboxes on the way there. Paper, it's useful, but books would be more useful to me right now. Magnum Enforcer that I can scrap for data. Nice. There is a fun guy daycare. I don't think I've ever done this one before. Let's have a look inside. I'm assuming there's going to be mushrooms inside. But I'm also expecting a couple of bookcases, which might be useful to me. I expect a dog, okay. Okay, ah, yep, there's books here, that's good. Handguns, which I actually want. Again, handguns. Tools Digest, also probably want that. And handguns, good. Medical Journal, no harm in getting that. Is that feral? Ow. The other one definitely is. Up up here, if I got a first aid kit on me. I do. Come here, you shitheads. Anything in here? Just some toilets. Those, those are sources of paper, but not ones that are so good I'm gonna go out my way for them. Anything up here? Hello? Painkillers, nice. Sorry, I'm being told to go down here. There's books on the floor, that's a good sign. Uh, sledgehammers, we can scrap it. Hello? Either of you feral? You are. Never mind, his eyes are just a funny colour. Whatever. Worked out in the end. More books. Scrapping. Farming. Paper. Another bookshelf over here. Medical and tools. Anything hiding here? Oh, hello. Oh, goodbye. Oh, hello. That was a roller coaster. Fuck that guy. Ooh, that'll... Run away! Now oh, they got stuck on, like, the shelves. Here we go. See if there's anything good in here. Bar brawler. I will just scrap that for research data. Another tools digest. Anything up here? No, oh, just doorway out. Okay. What about the other way out that I kind of know is here? Another key. Okay. So there's a bunch of books in there. Sitting on a couple of books worth of research data now. Not bad. And I've got even more research data in here, so that works quite well. Let's have a look across the street. Houses are good sources of books. Ow. I wasn't looking at my screen and I just walked into a feral. I didn't expect it to be hiding behind a random door. Oh, is this the way in? That's never good. Oh, hello, biker. I bet you're feral. No, he's not good. Oh, hi, feral. Just you get stuck on that for me. More ammo than I would have liked to use, but I would also like to not die, so it's worth it. <laughs> Well, they're both feral because that hurt a lot. Uh, day 16 in the desert and everything's feral, don't you love it? Who the hell are they? Are they getting stuck on a window instead? Hello there. Really, you're feral too? Imagine what an infestation is like out here. Let me grab another rank of whirlwind. Some lockpicks, nice. Hello there. No books so far in this POI, which is disappointing. But at least it's not taking too long. Ow. Knife guy. I should probably start. I don't know if it's worth it to scrap those because they're just going to get in the way of the things I actually do want. Because if I let knife guy finish and it takes out the loot table and I just don't have to worry about it. But if I keep it in the table, then it might just not go away, if that makes sense. But if I keep it in the table, am I getting more books because of it? These are the questions. I think I'm just going to try and finish it so that I can increase the chances of me getting th other things anyway so that. I don't have to craft the books. But it's a minute difference, really, I think. So that was a, a bust. Where else is there? There's more houses around here. Let's have a look here. I know this one has, like, one bookcase, at least. Plus the mailbox. Handguns and knives. Anyone home? Oh, I remember this place. Go stand in a landmine. Yep, that works. I need better armor. But I don't want to do quests to do it. These are the problems. Hey, bookshelves. Fuel saver mod schematic. I don't really need one of those. I have one fuel saver. That is enough. 
Tools Digest again, and this switch I can scrap. Let me unlock this gun safe. And gun magazine, nice. Up to 50 of those, good. Hi there, cop. You know what, you can get an iron arrow, just for you. There we go, now he's gonna pop. Hey there, are you hiding in there? Hi, Feral. Hi, please. My two ranks of Whirlwind are doing very nice. Yeah, the cop's hat landed up here. Wait, why can I get on the roof? It doesn't seem to lead anywhere. <laughs> oh, that's probably how you're actually supposed to come inside, yeah. So I've probably looted this place fully now. Right, let's check another building then. Uh, there's that over there will have forge heads in it, actually. At least two, and I only need like four more. I still need all the research data for the things the Crucible's gonna let me craft though, so I'm not too worried about it. Cement mixer. There's one. Oh yeah, there isn't a forge here, they probably won't get another one. Um, there's potential. I don't really want to fight the bear though, but let's have a look over it. Oh, I'm hungry and thirsty, one second. Oops. They're perfect for both of those. I've also got more drinks and stuff in my, uh, cruiser. Pumpkin bread is shit, but I had a bunch of spare pumpkins, so I made some. I was trying something and I was not rewarded. Hey, nerdy glasses. I already have a pair though. Yeah, that's all I'm really gonna get out of here. Let's check. Um, does it anywhere look particularly promising? There's these, uh, I always forget what the fuck they're called. These things. These weird houses that are toasters or whatever. Even I don't know what the fuck I meant by that. <laughs> anyway, let's check them because book, see? Brain good, word bad. Handgun, double clothing pocket mods. Ah, where'd the other one come from? Go away. Oh, that works. Fire axe. Would you believe it's actually still an upgrade? Cooking pot there. We need one. Hunting knife. You probably find cooking books in here if I'm... Oh, I can find coal in these. I should search these more. I need potatoes and corn for stuff anyway. There's a cooking book. I actually want to read those because, you know, they're good. Alright, that was a pretty short run, but I got a lot from it. Let's check another house. I've got enough research data for eight books, which is nice. This place got a mailbox. I don't particularly want to go in there. It doesn't seem the most useful one. Uh, Let's head over here. I don't think I searched that uh, grey house here. But you know what, I think I might be recognising something useful over here. It might be the wrong building, but it's worth a look. Oh, there's a bookstore actually over there, that'll work. <laughs> uh, yeah, this isn't the warehouse I thought it was. I thought it was the one with all the cement mixers in it, but no. Motel 7, that has some books in it if I'm not mistaken. But what I saw was this little cracker book, which is definitely going to have books in it, so probably want to do that and stab this guy real quick. What did I see that- ah, here we go, mailbox. Great heist? Yeah, sure. Bookstore, hello. And gun magazine. I can make SMG5 at quality 3. I will make one of the modded weapons instead, but I'll wait until quality 5 at least. Where's the vulture? Oh, wrong gun. Sniper? Mm, no. Knife guy? Sure, just to get it out of the loot table. Um, scrap you. Scrap you. Mountain lions? I'm never gonna find a mountain lion. Scrap it. Go away. Magnum enforcer? Anything else? Nah. There's usually a book thingy on the roof though, but there's also zombies. Oh, just a feral. That's, that's fun. Hit the door once, please. Thank you. And she bled out. Cool. Head on up here. Mac this open. And the vehicle adventures and a pistol peat that I can scrap. Cool. That wasn't the best, but it wasn't the worst. Wait, there might be some more. Hang on. I forget. Let me check. Yeah, not really. Let me check in here though. Right, that was a very small bookstore, but I knew that going in. I could see the entire building. That's kind of a clear sign. <laughs> Uh, if I could get some lockpicks, I could open a police car, which would be good ammo. Well, I could do it without lockpicks as well, but it's needlessly dangerous. But let's give it a try with the two lockpicks I have. Knife guy, sniper, nah, I'm good. Alright, first try on that one. Hunting knife and a bunch of 9 mil. Can't complain about that for basically for free. Let's try this one. Well, oh, there goes one lockpick, come on, I believe. There we go, second try. Uh, first aid and some ammo, cool. Nothing amazing, but worth a lockpick, I'd say. Just barely, though. You're on thin ice game. Right, let me clear out this place. Oh, there's a post office over there. And I'll <laughs> I'll live here overnight. And I am aware that it's the exact same POI I already live in two kilometers away. So it's a branch of my empire. That place, that warehouse might have something good for me tomorrow as well. But I need to survive the night. I wouldn't be surprised if every zombie I encounter out here is feral. So would rather not. Knife guy and guns. Been a lot of those, that's nice. Oh good, a feral. And I'm stuck. Ow. Vulture, would you go away, please? There we go. Okay, I saw a filing cabinet in here. Another knife guy. Stab. Oh, missed. Nothing hiding in there. Hello? You weren't using that arm, were you? You better not be a pedal. He's not, cool. Another handgun magazine, perfect. 
Nobody's hiding in there. Let's open this, grab that. Final two rooms, I think. Some paper. Yeah, as is uses. Vehicle adventures, also good. Ah, there we go. Another filing cabinet. Should have double looted this place. Two handgun magazines. Shotguns. Eh, I might craft a shotgun. Ow, there's definitely a feral behind me. <laughs> oh no, I think it was the feral in front of me that damaged me, actually. That's fine, I suppose. Uh, Spear Hunter, just scrap it. Apparently I've even read that one before, so doubly scrap it. Some ammo. Oh, gunpowder is getting left behind. Illegal. Let's eat some food. And then there's a book crate, which is just very lucky. Knife guy and vehicle adventures. Cool. I need like 10 more vehicle adventures before I can do much with that, though, I think. Let me see. Vehicles, 70. I need five more before I can do something with that. Cool. But I need a crucible before it's going to be that helpful anyway. So... Focus on forge your heads tomorrow. I will sit in here overnight, I'll be fine, nothing will happen anyway. And in the morning, we'll go back out and keep looting this place. Get that reward from Bob as well, which might be a crafting skill magazine bundle. Alright, it's the morning, let's see what we can do around here. Hopefully I've got a drink in my uh, motorcycle. I don't think I do, but I can go and see Trader Bob and buy one. Ah well, he's not open yet, let me take a quick drive around here. There's a mailbox. Magno Enforcer, I actually do want that. More mailboxes here as well. Night Stalker, eh. Lucky Looter, yeah, more meds is good. Ow. Hi. Goodbye. Oh, hi, cop. Is that a filing cabinet? Yes, it is. Tools Digest. Nice. Okay, the post office itself was looted. I'm not going to bother with the rest of that POI. Let me check this car real quick. Forge ahead and an art of mining. I'm done with forge ahead now, that's good. All the rest of my books can go towards uh, vehicles. And anything else I also need. Hey Bob. Give me the crafting skill magazine bundle. Two explosives. Screw the wiring with the knife guys. You got anything good? Eh, not really. I could probably do a clear plus meds, but I don't like the idea of giving my meds away. Hmm. You selling anything? I don't know when you reset. Ah, tomorrow. Got a claw hammer. Let me actually just buy that to get rid of the stone axe. Right, my inventory is getting to the point where it's completely full. Probably want to head back. I'll go through this way though, so that I get all these houses on the way out and see if I can find any more. How much research data did I end up with? Enough for 16 books. That is not insignificant. I'll probably turn them all into vehicle books because I have no intention of looting for vehicles because that would require Grease Monkey and I'm just not going to go you know, eight points into intellect just to boost the chances of it. That's why I like the research mod, I don't have to bend my skills around this stupid system. I could just look for books, turn them all into the books I actually need. Alright, we're back at base, let's get these books crafting, see what I can do. Oh, I have so much stuff. Okay, so with all the paper and research data I have, Oh, I have a spare forge head, that's annoying. <laughs> I crafted one and then never used it, that sucks. Uh, I can make 21 vehicle adventures books. Let's go for it. That'll take 10 minutes. In the meantime, let's go see what Trader Hugh has in terms of uh, quests. If he has a good tier 4, that would be really nice. Hugh. Do I have a quest with you already? I do. Let's just clear that out and see if there's something better. Tier 4 fetch clear. 1.2 km. I could go for an easy fetch clear. The Red Mesa compound. That is a tier 5. I didn't realize that's what I was looking at. I don't think I have time to do one of those today, but tier four, mm, they're also far away. Tier three, yeah, everything was really far away, except for except for the red mesa. But I know it's going to take ammo, and I don't want to do that until I've got a lot of ammo spare. What infestations does he have actually, if any? Oh, five kilometers away. Yeah, I'm going to need a helicopter before I can do any of his jobs. He just wants me to go so far. This must be a shit town. I need to find more traders. Let me look at the map. I've been in all the directions. There's not much up here. Uh, but there's definitely room for more traders all the way out here and all the way down here. Definitely think I need a helicopter. That would really help with figuring stuff out. I need to pick a ranger station to live in later as well. I don't want to live in the radio station for too long. But there's no rush. So I got like 21 vehicle adventure books coming. That'll put me up to... Vehicle Adventures 86, and then I'll need 14 more to get up to the helicopter kind of level. I need to make a crucible. That's top priority. 
If I want any steel, I should get at least one crucible, maybe even two. I'll have to do some iron mining, because I don't have a particularly large amount of it, but that's fine. Oh, I'm going to have to get everything. Let's see, clay, I'm out of forged iron. I can hopefully make some of that. If I wanted two crucibles, I'd need 170. Probably have enough for that. No, I don't. Okay, I need to mine some iron then. Iron, clay, uh, mechanical parts. I might even be out of those. Oh, no, I'm good. Uh, stone, I should have loads of that from mining the lead. Where is it? There we go. And not enough oil. I've got some spare iron, though, I can smelt. Maybe I need to make a spare forge as well then, which would require some cobblestone. Let me see. Forge. What am I missing? Oh, the wood log and some duct tape. Yeah. Let's get a second forge going so I can keep one going with the ammo over here and then smelt a bunch of iron and stuff. But I still need a lot of clay. Uh, in fact, how much clay do I need? Was it 1800? I won't be able to get that out of the forge because it isn't actually a one-to-one -one ratio. So that isn't as much clay as it looks like. I can dig clay if I find my shovel. It's just annoying. Uh, start smelting all that iron in there because I'm going to need it for steel anyway. There we go. And then for the crucible... Forged iron and clay and a little bit more oil. Can I make oil? Is that still a recipe you can make? Oh yeah, you can. It doesn't even take iron cans anymore. That's nice. Well, I can make oil very easily then. Okay, let me go get some oil. I'll get some oil from over here. I'll get some clay from up here. This is where I've been getting all my clay. There's still plenty of it left. It's like full dirt, so you get only clay. And then I'll get back to you when I have that. And hopefully we'll have enough iron to make that forged iron. It's a difficult thing to say, but whatever. So I'll get back to you when I'm done with this. Okay, here is just about enough materials to make the first crucible, at least. So that can get started. That's good, at least. And there's more iron in there. I don't know why this clay's in my locked slot there. I'll take that out and smelt it. Oh, yeah, I need that clay for the crucible. Obviously. Uh, crucible. So that'll take a little while to do. There's not much I can do with it. Let me split that clay. Keep the other one for an extra crucible, which I have everything for but the forged iron. So what vehicle do I even want to make? Hang on, let me get the books. There we go. There's 86. Not bad. So what vehicles can I make here? You could make the buggy. That would be good. Uh, I could make... I could make a pickup, or I could make a semi, or the Nova, or the Sherp. Sherp isn't the best desert vehicle, that's for sure. Stallion, UAZ, the Willy, work truck. Can I make the Humvee? Is that a thing? I can. That's probably what I'm going to want to make then. That's a lot of steel. 400 steel? Yeah. Plus 80 minutes, because... <laughs> this mod is just like that. I can make a topless version, or I can make a normal version. I think I'll go for the normal one. It'll match the uh, the terrain quite nicely, actually. So I need the other materials while I wait for the steel. In fact, I could make the Humvee body uh, if I have the other stuff, because I have enough steel. And, but it would be more important to get the other one done. Humvee chassis, because that's 350. I'll probably just go for the body. You need it either way. So I'll just do that leather. I've got... I'll have to get more mechanical parts to make that second crucible, but that's fine. They're relatively easy to find. And then four headlights. Yep, I can do that. So I can queue up the Humvee body at least. So that will take 10 minutes off my time. And then for the Humvee chassis, I need springs, a bunch of steel. I only have one spring. <laughs> uh, I need a load more mechanical parts. A whole lot of glue or uh, duct tape. I've got some stuff for that lying around, actually. Shouldn't be too hard to do if I just bones and let me check the do collectors as well see if there's anything in those yeah there's a little bit in here i can get enough glue then and i have enough cloth i'm pretty sure to do that i just need to craft the stuff in here which is currently queued behind a bunch of oil i decided to make but that's fine there's 17 more of that do i have the cloth for it i have 409 so i just have enough that's just enough is enough so i can't complain too much i've also got a six duct tape there uh, 50 pipes have that. Okay, so where's my ratchet again? Uh, here we are. Let me see about getting enough mechanical parts and springs then. Steel, I'm just going to wait for the crucible, I think, because that is a lot of steel to get. I'm going to need an additional 200, which is going to require... Oh, so much iron. Hang on. Yeah, it's going to require like a stack of steel. Uh, a stack of iron, which I don't have. I only have like 
maybe 2,000 iron in between them. So during the night, I'll, I'll mine up some more iron. Fortunately, you do get twice as much iron as other ores, so it's not exactly hard. But it's still annoying. Alright, so I have enough mechanical parts and springs and stuff now, so I should be good to do everything I need there. Just need to mine iron and all that kind of stuff. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today we are going to be building the Humvee from the B-Dubs vehicle pack. If you watched the last video, you'll know that I need to get a lot of forged steel for that. I've been working on it during the night, but I'm up to 127, which is better than nothing, but still not great. Also, I'm working on enough forged iron to make a crucible and that'll take an extra minute there. I do wonder if it's worth doing like tier 1, tier 2, probably tier 2 and 3 actually, not tier 1, uh, tier 2 and tier 3 jobs to get a bunch of steel. Also, I'll need more gas, thinking about how much a Humvee's gonna probably take, but that's fine. I think all I need is steel, so what I'm gonna do is actually go out and get that oil, just while I wait for the trader to open, so I can set it to craft at the chemistry station. When the trader opens, we will see if they have any steel that I can maybe get a discount on, it could save me some time, and I'll see if I can get any easy low tier jobs for a couple of bits of steel. So I'm gonna mine this for a little bit and I'll get back to you. Okay, there's another stack of gas cans that should help me out for a little bit. The iron should be done as well. Do I need for a crucible here? Mechanical parts, more forged iron, stone, oil, clay. Let's craft that. That'll help the other forge produce some steel now as well. Right, and then we just need the Humvee body or whatever it is. Or a chassis, I think. The body is the one I've made, actually. So I need 40 duct tape. Should have the stuff for that. Let's have a look. Uh, there's 6 duct tape, 34 glue, a bunch of cloth, and 17 more glue. So let me just turn that into as much duct tape as I can. It's going to take 2 minutes, that's fine. I also need 50 iron pipes. That's easy enough. Oh, and springs. There we go. So now it's just forged steel that I need. We can get another 10 out of there. Oh, it takes a while, doesn't it? I should probably get an anvil and bellows and stuff, but it's, it's fine. Let's go to Trader U and... See if I can get tier 2 or tier 3 quests and maybe get some easy forged steel. You'll probably be seeing something along the lines of pre-built break the lampposts and transformers and fucking vending machines that I already have. I did a lot of that. And then there's one I missed, of course. Of course, there's always one I'll miss. But I have done it largely. I'd say probably 80% coverage of this area I've stripped the steel from. Could drive to another town, but it doesn't seem worth the time. Let's go see you. Because I'm mostly just waiting for my forges to smelt. It takes 8 18 minutes to build the chassis, so I need to get this done soon. Plenty of high level quests, but do you have any mid tier ones? No, you do not. They are all very far away, except for that buried supplies, which I'm not sure is the best way to get steel, although I do need clay. Let's take a tier 2 buried supplies. I can fight those zombies and... Clay is also something I do need a little bit more of. You won't get it particularly efficiently in the desert, obviously, but you'll get some. It might just be a case of driving to another town and taking down all their uh, lampposts. I'll keep an eye out for any other ones I missed, though, or any areas I haven't ravaged. Mm, my shovel broke, and I have no stone. Why do I have no stone? It's fine, there's stone nearby. Let's deal with these zombies, though. Hey, loot. Ammo and a little bit of food. Right, let me smack a rock real quick. Pair of that. Don't ask me why I'm still using a stone shovel, I just am. Could I make it easier by making a very cheap iron shovel that could probably one-shot all of this? Yes. Am I going to? No. Where the hell is this damn treasure? Let's be in here. There it is. Grave digger and a schematic I know. Where's my bike? Ow, that didn't work. Oh, hey, feral. The rude quest. Sending a feral at me. There we go. You give me steel. Damn you. We'll take that shotgun ammo, though. Let's go see what the forges are up to. Oh, actually, do you have any steel to trade, Hugh? And is it at all a viable price? He does not. That's unusual. Maybe an anvil? No, nothing there either. Well, fuck me, I guess. We might have to rely on plan B, which is going to another town and scrapping all the lampposts. Are you a real one? You are. It's hard to tell because the lampposts far away still show that there is a lamppost on the top of them. Grab that crucible. Throw it in here. We can get more forged steel. This needs some more fuel, of course. Looks like we need more clay in here. I've left that in the motorcycle annoyingly, but we can get that. What about you? Another 18 forged steel? That's not ideal, but it'll do. We're getting some. I think without an anvil and bellows, it might be faster to do the scrapping. I didn't realize how important those were to the steel process. Let's see, what have I got in here? Let's grab all that shit. Hmm. Here, you need this clay. 
I mean, I could get anvils, but it wastes a lot of your iron to do it, and it takes a hot minute. Would I save eight minutes? Probably. Let's just do it. I'll need more steel in the long run anyway to craft things. Even without me actually building a base in the seas, I'll still need a decent amount of steel. Oh, the anvil's gonna take a while because it's got so little clay in it, but that's fine. Help them out. We could make bellows, though. Bellows. Need two of these. Leather, nails, duct tape. Leather. Do I have any nails? I do. Let's just craft those really quickly. Still got enough duct tape left over. That's great. I think we have to cancel that for a hot minute. Right, there's the bellows. That'll help turn this clay into something useful quite a bit faster. We can start crafting an anvil for it as well. How long is it going to take you to get enough here? I wonder if it's going to be faster to just queue up a second anvil in here. Yeah, probably go with that. Right, so we need to go out and get more steel. I'm going to keep my steel on me so I can keep track of it easier. Uh, B. Cassie. Let's head over to... Where's a good place? This other gen's town is probably filled with deal. Let's head around there now. Two kilometers, jeez. You have anything good, Jen? He does not, although I will need more glue after this, so might as well get that out of the way. Right, I just want to check in with Jen because obviously she could have been selling a bit of steel for a decent enough price if I could get some, you know, consumables to reduce the price. So this town should be pretty much untouched in terms of its steel, but should, Definitely get me at least like 50 more steel, I would imagine. If I just stop and take this whole place down, which is not going to be particularly fun to watch. So I'll just skip to the interesting bits if there are even any interesting bits. Right, so I have pretty thoroughly attacked this town. There's probably a good amount left, but I want to leave some for later. Let me head back to my base and see how the forges are doing, if they can get me the last like 130 steel that I need. Okay, let's see here. The anvil's done. One of them is. Put it in this one. Got more stuff in it anyway. So, steel. 81. That is not quite enough yet, but we're getting there. Let's put some more iron in here. And you are still waiting on your other thing. Ah, there's no iron in this though. Shit. Have I got any lying around? Surely a little bit. I think I just put what I had into that forge. May as well split it then. It's not going to help me in such large quantities anyway. There we go. So we should get some more forge steel soon. Let's see what they've been crafting. Okay. We just need like another hundred forge steel. It's just going to take a hot minute to do that, but that's fine. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let my forges do the thing with steel overnight. In the morning, should have enough steel to make the chassis. We'll set it to craft. All right. So it's the morning, day 20, and I started crafting the chassis you see it's been crafting for about eight minutes there it should be ready tomorrow morning but in the meantime we just kind of have to uh keep going with quests i think see if hugh has anything good for progress if not we can go and see the gens or we could even see bob or rector joel we have all the traders i think i could always do with more water filters and more gunpowder from tier one jobs so it wouldn't be a terrible idea but let's see what hugh has first <sighs> i forgot he opens at six o'clock i'm just gonna have to stand here now fuck's sake Let's see what you have, you. We've got tier 5, which I think is the Red Mesa. Let's try the tier 5 at the Red Mesa compound. I'm going to go get some explosives because I feel like they're necessary here. Or actually, you know what's a better idea than doing that? I need XP. And here's why. I do want to do the high level quests. But the thing is, is my equipment is slightly shit. I could make bow magazines, but that would probably be quite the investment into the research mod here because I don't have any research so that would probably take forever so I might just have to live with the bow I have but I could make all my stuff a lot more effective if I had skill points so how can I get xp well questing is one way to do it but trader hugh doesn't have any good quests they're all like two kilometers away so I might as well go two kilometers away and do quests for like jen and get loads of xp that way so let's drive out to Trader Gen. Uh, let's see if I can get Trader Gen to give me like tier two jobs and maybe get the tier three complete or the tier one complete, depending on which one I'm actually working towards. I can't remember. Could be an opportunity to get good weapons and stuff, but Trader Hugh is just in such a shitty town that you have to go two kilometers to get anything good anyway. <laughs> so I might as well go to Gen and do a bunch of jobs two kilometers away to save on travel time. All right, Gen, what do you have for me? Tier twos. At least they're not kilometers away let's take the fetch and clear i just need more skill points to get myself into a stealth build if i can get myself stealth built up i can properly take on those harder pois on insane difficulty it would be really nice if i had better armor as well but i'm still stuck with padded because i had some of the worst 
your completion rewards I've ever seen. That, that is the the balance of it. I've had some really amazing ones in other playthroughs, and you sometimes you just get really shit ones. But at least we have multiple opportunities, like here with Jen. Start this. I'm going to check the mailbox again. Handguns. Cool. I do need those magazines, so it works for me. Let's sneak in here. How dare you survive that? That works. I see someone down there. Can I thread the needle? I can, but she survived, which I find suspicious. Are you feral? He is. Hello. Anyone a feral? Oh, hey. Okay, nobody was a feral. Lucky me. Oh, that's a feral. Doesn't matter. There we go. The other ones are feral as well. Now, the bow and machete combo is quite effective. That's before I've put any points into uh, stealth stuff. Let me bash open this gun safe. Knife guy, great heist, and a rad remover. Not bad. Let's go see if we can get any rewards from Jen. I'm not expecting anything good. I kind of just want to get the quest counter up. But it'd be nice to get some gunpowder. Uh, forged steel would still be convenient. But we'll have to wait and see. I think you can also get coal rewards from the trader. Like 1500 coal. That would also be really useful given how hard it is to find coal in the desert. What do you have for me, Jen? Crafting skill magazines or steel? Crafting skill magazines are still quite useful, so I probably want that. Let's take another job. Fetch clear 400 meters away. Big hairs, I can just scrap. Knives and bows, I will read though. Let's head out there to this quest. Let's head inside. Hey there. Oh, hi dog. Uh oh. Are you feral? Oh my god, you are. Oh, nice. Hey, you're probably feral. No. I broke that door very quickly, though. Usually means there's a feral. I think I'm going to start getting better at actually sneaking. That makes stealth so much easier. It's no use getting better sneak attack modifiers if you can't bloody sneak. Oh, shit. Hi. Ow. Oh, I forgot to grab the supply as well. Let's see what the loot is. Ah, double clothing pocket mod. Uh, double armor pocket mod, sorry. Right, let's grab the supplies. Check in at Jen and see if I can also get some water to drink. What do we have in here? Yeah, some golden rod, that'll do. What do you have for me, Jen? Crafting skill magazines, probably still the best. Anything else good? Uh, the clear plus food one would be good. The only issue is I don't have any food on me. <laughs> let's do the defend. I've not done one of those in a while. Right, let's start this. I have five minutes to prepare. I'm just going to use that five minutes to clear the place out so it's easier to run inside if I need to. Just... Oh, hello. The zombies tend to just sort of pop in uh, inside the... What the fuck happened here? I think the game broke a little bit. That's not how this PY is supposed to generate. <laughs> oh, I hear someone running a bit quickly. Is that a feral? Oh, no, it's two of you. That's why. But yeah, because the zombies tend to just spawn inside the building anyway. It's more of just like a course to run around if I need to. Oh, hello. If I need a breather, I can get them caught on doors and stuff. Ah, don't hit me. Hey, boops. Medical journal, thing useful. Bows, cool. Ah, more books in here. Whoa. What do we have in these book piles then? Vehicles and knives, nice, I need both of those. Well, actually, I don't need knives, but I'd like to get it out the loot table. Some steel, another bookcase here. Ah, just pistol peep, not too helpful. Hello, oh, and I decapitated him, great. Hello? Oh, that's a feral. Run away. Ow, bullshit. Get out of that weird door frame thing. <laughs> I think that's everybody, though. We have still two minutes before the quest properly starts. I can just do some looting while I wait. Pistol Beat Volume 6. And a lever action shotgun at level 4. I have a lever action shotgun, but I don't know if that one's better than mine. We'll have to find out. Handguns. I can make SMG5 at quality 4. I probably will make a uh, Isaiah weapon mods equivalent. I think that's tier 2 in the Isaiah weapon mods at this stage. I'll just wait until it's level 5 though. There we go. Right, there was a gun safe a little while ago. Let me go back and see if I can bash that open with the last minute I have here. Here it is. Oh, filing cabinet as well. Hang on. Scrap the fist one. And nothing much. 40 seconds before the zombies come. Oh, have I got any shotgun shells? I've got a little bit. Cause give this a little test run. No, oh, here come the zombies. Whoa, that's a lot of you at once. Okay, come here. What is up with this damn house and its foundations? I imagine it's something to do with the desert. Oh, there goes all my shotgun ammo. Right, let's switch to magnum ammo. Hey, stop running. 
Get in. Oh, it spawns ferals. Okay. Good to know. I'll keep my eyes open for those. Wow. Oh, hi. A feral behind me. You're so mean. Where the fuck did you come from? Whoa, she's feral. <laughs> I just barely hit her. Four more to go. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Hey, Jen. Oh, 556 five, weapon. I've already got the Negev, though, really. I will take the extra 9 mil, though. What tier 1s do you have, Jen? Oh, you got a fetch. Okay, that'll do. Start that. Gotta watch out for the vulture that spawns here. There he is. Shoot that one down. Hey, another one. Fucking vultures. Hi there, you're feral. Can you stop existing? Are you both feral? Fuck's sake. Welcome to the desert. There we go. They're dead at least. There's a couple of randoms following me up here. Are you feral? You're running kind of fast for not a feral. He definitely wasn't. No, she was just a normal one. She was just running really fast for some reason. That's weird. I don't think I'd even hit her to provoke the uh, rage response. Where did the zombies from here come from again? Oh, books. Is it in here? Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it is. Oh, it spawns another vulture as well. Come here. Oh, another skill point. I'm just going to keep going for stealth. Get it out of the way. Great heist. Some ammo and meds. Just the thing. Oh, didn't even have to come in here. Let's head back to Jen. Give me some gunpowder, please. After this, I'm probably going to have to drive home. But that's fine. Surely I'm due a tier 3 or tier 2 complete soon. I think it's tier 2 complete. Um, I'll take the repair kits, they'll save me some, I mean the ammo's nice but it's not a lot and it is 5.56. Five, yeah, let me just save the duct tape. Right, let me head back to my base, I'll be able to craft the Humvee in the morning. And I'll skip to when that's done, or at least when the Humvee chassis is done and we can see how long it's going to take for the rest of it. And then we'll have it tomorrow. Okay, the chassis is done. Is that everything I need? The actual Humvee will take a minute and a half, so I'll just wait for that to be done, and then we'll have our new vehicle. And then I just need to do it again when I get enough books to make a helicopter. I think this time around, I'll go for the MD-500, the smaller variant of the helicopter from the B-Dubs vehicle pack. There's also the UH-60, which we used in the last series, if you want to have a look around for that, if you're interested in seeing what the mod has. But this time, I think we'll do the MD-500. But that is a little bit of ways. I'll need to get a bunch more steel and I'll need like 10 more vehicle adventures books. Speaking of which, do I have any research data? I've got a little bit. Let me do up a few of those. That'll help me along at least. And then we'll go do some questing today before the horde, which I'm going to be doing on foot. I think I'll move to a new location to do it though. Maybe I think down in this Trader Gen's town would be a good little switch up of the scenery. I'll need to head down there at least like... 6 p.m. to get like areas set up and stuff, but that should be fine. Here we are. My new truck. Let's see how much fuel this thing can take. So it looks like I'll need an additional four magazines before I can start even beginning to craft the MD-500, but that's not particularly unobtainable by any stretch of the imagination. Well, we wait for those to craft, let's go and talk to Trader Hugh, see if he has any better jobs today. I still just need more XP before I take on those high-level POIs. Well, that's a loud horn, okay. I bet this thing eats gas, but... That's fine. Hey, you. Something. Yeah, he still doesn't have much of a close by. Let's just go down to Jen's area now. I'm going to take all the stuff I need for the horde and I'll just stay down there. This thing has plenty of storage, so it'll be fine. Right, I've got all my extra guns. Let's head down to Trader Jen's. Hey, Jen, do you have any good jobs for me today? Tier 2 infested, clear 70 meters away. Let's go over there. 
I'll just walk over there. I have legs, probably. I hope I have legs. This is going to be absolutely filled with ferals, but it'll be fun, hopefully. Let's see chicken. Oh, you guys spotted me immediately, huh? Whew. Where the hell did you come from? Medical book, nice. Anybody else up here or did I wake them all up already? Definitely more up here. Ooh, he's a feral. Run away. Are you feral or are you just a tourist? Oh, he's a feral tourist. Thanks, I hate him. Oh, didn't mean to fire that. Running gun is so nice, I can be so mobile. It's not the best gun I have, but it is quite fun to use. Or a feral. Yeah, that's him dealt with. Are we not clear? Oh, there's more up here. I don't remember that. I'm concerned about it. Ah, oh, I tried to shoot the barrel, but the reload time wasn't there. Oh. Go, let's get some loot. Why are these chickens just not doing anything? Whatever, I'll take the free meat. They're supposed to, like, run away, though. Or maybe they patched it. Just make the chickens extremely, like, bored of existence. What do we have in the infested cache? A little bit of ammo, and it's actually ammo I can use rather than a bunch of 762, which, as you can see by me using the Mosin, I don't exactly need a lot of it. Any other containers? Surely there's one more. Maybe it's just hiding in another room. Nope. Well, duffel bag. Eh. Let's go talk to Jen. At least it was only 70 meters away. She might give me a good reward as well. Good hey, Jen. I'll take the magazines. Knife guy, handguns, explosives. Eh, pretty good. Where's your other one, Jen? Infested clear, 120 meters away. Let's go. Good way to get a lot of ammo, actually. Here we are, start this, and hopefully it's not too difficult. That fucking radiated zombie. Oh my god, why you like this game? Oh, I won him. Nice, that works. Oh, he's feral. Uh, come out here. Damn it, I'm thirsty, that's annoying. Oh shit, there's a radiated soldier right there. Run away! Take this outside! I think I woke up everybody else in there, that's fun. Hi! Follow me outside. Oh, I'm hungry as well. What's going on in here? <laughs> We're clear. Well, for this area. Two knife guys. Vehicle adventures. Come. Cool. Oh. Hello. That looks like a radiated spider thingy. Oh, I'm gonna run away now. Oh, hi. Tools digest. See if there's anything on the roof. I don't think there is. Let's head back to Jen. Hey Jen, I'll take those magazines still. Oh, tier 2 complete. Food bundle, I think the food bundle is going to be the most useful one for me. What do we get? Oh, 10 sham chowders, I was correct. Bow hunters, don't need big hitters, and knife guys. Cool. We got anything else, Jen? Oh, Peter Bob to the east, I think we know him. Let's take the fetch as well. We might as well get her towards tier 3 complete. Oh good, my HUD's bugged again. Go see what this job has for us while we wait for the horde. Here we are. Get the rifle out. Oh. Well, fuck you too, game. Works for me, I guess. Who's sneaking up on me? Stop it. I have no idea if I just hit him. Oh, hey, loot. Some ammo. Another medical journal book. Rogan Weekly. Let's continue on. Hello there. There's the satchel. I might as well get the end loot while I'm here. I probably won't have time to do another quest anyway. Ah, reserve fuel tank mod schematic. Nice. Another pair of nerdy glasses because the game just throws them at you once you have a pair. Hello. Run away. Ow. Oh. Hey. Just, I just ran on in here, huh? Oh, frame drop. Hello. Ah, where the fuck does he come from? That's not a welcome mat. That's a whole guy. The ammo. I wonder if it's worth switching to leather armor. I have been complaining about it and it doesn't seem like I'm getting any military armor soon. The extra mod slots would be nice. Let's go see what Jen has for me. Actually, let me check the mailbox first. What do we have here? Sandyland. Boo. Alright, there's all my stuff for Horde Night, I think. Let's see what Jen has. 
Give the crafting skill magazine bundle. And guns and spears. That's lame, but at least we get some research data. We've got speed clear as well. I have no reason to not just go ahead and try and do that, but I'm going to leave the vehicle behind. Not like I have to be anywhere for Horde Night. I can do the job during Horde Night. That just sounds like a really good way to die, though. Speaking of Horde Night, what's my game stage? 102 for the Day 21 Horde. Oh my god. Imagine the snow biome or the wasteland. Eesh. Ah, it's this place. Okay, let my, let my stamina regen before I try it. I've got a Mega Crush going right now because I have a bunch of extra ones anyway. Right, stamina's up. Let's go inside. Hi. Anyone hiding in here? Yep. I should use my Magnum. My shotgun's not very good for killing them quickly. Let's head in here. Bloody feral. You got a skill point. I'll handle that later. No one's hiding there. Oh, I'm gonna lose the gold. That's fine. Silver's still really good. You get, like, a big ammo reward from it. Well, there's no rushing then. I've got 40 seconds. Come here. There we go. Handguns. Ooh, some leather armor. We can make dynamite. Let me smack open this. Go. And some shotgun shells. Cool. Let's head back to Jen. That's probably the last one I have time to do, though. I said that before, I know, but I think this is definitely the case. Hey. Oh, you're not even going to give me the magazines? Wow, Jen. That's cold. I'll take the shotgun shells, though, and I will take 109mm. I do like 9mm. What else do you have, Jen? Anything? Nah, nah. I don't really feel like doing any of those. We'll just wait for the horde, then. I'm going to place some ladders around as I go. All right, horde night's about to start. I've got my mega crush queued up, some recogs, some vitamins. I didn't bring beer, which is slightly annoying, but I don't even know if I have any. I'll have to check if the traders actually stock that. I actually don't know off the top of my head. Uh, if they do, I'll start buying that every week as well, like I do with the Mega Crush. I want to try out the shotgun token coins. They seem to do less damage, but they're more accurate and they're a little bit longer range. Interesting. All right, here we go. All right, that's a good sign. You can kill some zombies in one hit, most in two. That's always good. Where the fuck did that vulture come from? Hey, hell out here. Not a fan of those on Horde Night. Well, that's a lot of you. I'm guessing my 64 max spawns have started to take effect, huh? That's fun. This shotgun is not very effective. But it doesn't really need to be. I just need to survive. Oh, bullshit, you hit me there. Referee. Hang on, I've got the Negev as well. I should probably use this, because ammo. Of course, I decide to be hungry. Where's my sham chowder? There we go. <laughs> Always forget something. Just keep running past them all. I should really avoid aiming down sights, all it does is cost me stamina. The game doesn't even know what to do with all this AI. That guy was just standing there. This thing is hilariously ineffective, honestly. As we get into the stages where there's ferals and stuff, it really just does nothing. Because I have no points in machine guns. We might be reaching that point of the game where I have to use my good guns. Which, which is not great. But it was bound to come eventually. Grab the loot, run away. Ooh, is that beer? Mm, grab that. Thank you. Hi there. Thanks for smacking me in the back of the head. That was really nice of you. I needed that wake up. I've been trying to stop caffeine and that really works in the morning, so thank you. <laughs> uh, I would never stop drinking caffeine. Come on now. How else would I achieve my insanity? Drugs? Those are illegal. Oh, that did not do much damage, did it? That's a bit better. <laughs> Was there even a barrel there? Oh yeah, you guys don't like this alleyway, do you? Hey, come over here. That one is definitely a barrel. They're kind of determined to destroy the terrain because uh, the fun pimps made it so that zombies start out in destroy area mode. Which kind of works in my favour this time. The zombies are too dumb to actually try and attack me and instead just attack the structures. Why is that not blowing up? Hang on, let me switch to a bigger gun. There we go, that works. Don't you love pipe bombs? They just work. Look at these zombies, they're just standing there. The game can't even handle all this. Oh bullshit, you hit me there. I need a fucking first aid kit. <laughs> Bloody lumberjacks hit like trucks. Hi there. Alright, there's a way up here, apparently. Did I just invent a horde base? 
think it did. It won't last forever though. Love a good naturally occurring horde base. What the fuck is going on down there? I'm gonna need you to stop doing that shit. That was very effective. I'm gonna go steal some loot now. Ooh, jump away. Where did I get their handgun magazine? Thanks. <laughs> some more magnum ammo as well. Hey cop, stop trying to spit on me. Little frame rate died there, I don't know why. Leave me alone, cops. But he's dead. This is the best wall. Where the fuck did I even get hit from? Oh, hi. Fuck that guy. Skill point. Very important one. Sneak. I can definitely use that right now. Let me eat a first aid bandage. This is going well. I mean, I'm not getting as much XP as if you were using like a really cheesy horde base. But at the same time, that works in my favor because it keeps my game stage down overall. I'm bored of this wall. Let's run off into the desert. Not worth it, but I did it anyway. It's called addiction. Ah, ow. Feral fucking lumberjacks. Why are you even in the desert? That's gonna take a first aid kit. Thirsty. I have 15 bottles of Mega Crush injected into my veins. What are you talking about, thirsty? One more hour to go, and I just need to clean up the streets. Although I don't really have to, because this isn't even my base. That's one added advantage. I know I'm back at this wall, it just it calls to me. It's just very convenient for doing this. I can fully just clear this wall as well, it's great. Right, let's switch my shotgun again then. Fifteen more minutes. God, this shotgun kinda sucks, I need a better one. Here we go. I'm still saving my 9 mil for harder horde nights. Right, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> I have no reason to kill any of these, what are they gonna do? Follow me home? I'll just attract screamers. I actually prefer this. It was originally supposed to be a challenge, but I kind of just don't mind doing that instead of uh, building bases. So I'm going to head home and in the next episode we'll continue trying to level the traders. I'm going to have to bite the bullet and do the high level quests for Hugh, but I think what I'll do is I'll wait until I have a helicopter so I can go like five kilometers in a minute and just level him up that way or find another Hugh who's in a better place uh, to try and get him up to tier five and tier six complete. But as it stands right now, he's just too far away from everything for it to be viable. Uh, but we can definitely level Jen in the meantime while I wait for the vehicle adventures and all the steel and stuff. Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. Today, I think we're going to be trying to get the MD500 helicopter. I know we just got the Humvee in the last episode, but I'm going to be trying to get the helicopter now as well because I had enough research data to unlock tier 5, so that's going to be quite useful. I need more duct tape or uh, glue as well. So I need cloth, so that's something I need to watch out for at like the traders. Uh, but the main thing is going to be steel, so I need to go and mine a bunch of iron, which should be relatively easy. Do I have iron around here again? I forget. I forgot where I was mining iron. I will make a new iron mine. Oh, there's a cluster of like 5 there. Iron. Right, so I'm I'm gonna go mine that iron, I'll get a couple of stacks, and then I'll set it to smelt so that we can get more steel for the helicopter, that's gonna cost 350, so it'll take a hot minute. Also put this stuff away in the storage here. Big concern is gonna be the cloth though, because you need a lot of uh, duct tape to do this. Yeah, 40, and I don't think I have enough cloth for that, but we'll see. Yeah, I've got enough for 30 duct tape. Oh, I, I will have enough then, so I don't have to worry about cloth too much. Right, well, I'll go down in the mines. I'll get back to you when I have a good amount of iron. There's two stacks of iron. I think you need like 10,000 iron to make 
350 steel, so we should be good on that. Let's set this to smelt. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to take, but we can definitely fill the air with a few quests. Let's split the stacks into the two forges. I've also been making bullet tips because, you know, ammo is a problem. How much clay do you need for... So it's, a, it's functionally three clay to make a forge steel because one clay becomes five clay in the forge because this game likes making things difficult, so that would be 15 times 350. So 5,000 clay. There's about 2,500 in there, about 10,000 in there. We should be good then. I've got 30 forge steel anyway, so there's there's room for a little bit of error there. No, oh, actually, I've got like 50. Oh, if I can get one more forge steel, I could make one of the pieces. Hang on, just really quickly. Here we go. Right, I need mechanical parts. Oh, there's electrical parts, which I will need in a second. Leather as well. Right, mechanical parts. I might need more. And headlights. Okay, we can make the accessories. That's relatively easy. And then I also need the MD500 chassis, which is springs, duct tape, steel, obviously. Uh, pipes. Pipes, pipes, pipes. Yep, springs? Yes, springs. If I just craft up 20 duct tape then, I'll just turn it into 30 because I'll probably need it anyway. Then it's just the steel I need, which is slowly smelting away. It takes nine seconds to make a forge steel, so if I need 300, it'll take 45 minutes to get that much steel. Hmm. But that's after it smelts, so I'm gonna definitely need more fuel in these. Fortunately, the MD500 doesn't take as long to craft as the other stuff. It only takes 70 minutes instead of 80, so that's good. Here we go, there's my 40 duct tape. Right, so now I just need more steel, which is just gonna take some time, probably the rest of the in-game day. One thing I should check out is now that I don't need to level vehicles, What what's the next play? Some kind of weapons one, probably? Like, handgun magazines, maybe? Seems like a good idea to get better weapons. But let's go check the trade see if he has any good quests today. He usually doesn't, but that's why we're making the helicopter so that I can go further and do the higher level quests without wasting shitloads of time. And yes, I'm using the cruiser again. It's a small distance and this uses less gas. Why not? I still have the vehicle. Also, I saw someone complaining about this display case, so I will find the right angle. There we, there we go. There you go, one guy. Your problems are solved. Right, let's see what you have here. Etching clear to your four, 700 meters away? That's not bad. Let's do that. We'll quickly grab the Humvee because I'll need the storage and we'll go do an actual somewhat close tier four POI. Must be my lucky day. I broke my cruiser again. This is fine. There we go. Let me grab some explosives because the right residence is that one with the horrible room at the end. I know that really narrows it down, doesn't it? You'll know the one when you see it, if you're not familiar. Uh, while I'm here, let me grab these bullets and ask for oh, other workbench, probably. Ask for some more 9mm, that's the one I want to keep in large quantities, just because it's easier. I have repair kits, where are my repair kits gone? Ah, it's in meds, of course. I mean, it's technically meds for vehicles. Also, do I have any lockpicks? I, for some reason, do not have lockpicks, but I can actually queue those up as well. Let me take off the ammo real quick. Lockpick. I'm assuming I know how to make them. Yeah, so I'll wait for these lockpicks to craft and then I'll head out to the right residence. Here we are. Ah, the mailbox hasn't been loaded. I must not have been to this specific instance of the POI before. Either that or I just forgot to loot it on my way out. More damage to humans and zombies. Would you... Go away, thanks. Hello. Right, let's head inside. Hmm, retracting stock. I might need one. Hi there. Oh, hey, skill point. Uh, what do I need? Oh, you know what? Hidden Strike would be good for extra sneak attack damage because my bow is kind of shit. So I could take the extra damage for sure. There we go. Uh oh, woke this one up. Oh, he's feral. <laughs> Get trapped on the door. Run away! Or it isn't too bad for a feral, to be honest. Yeah, let's try and be sneaky going into this room. No one's in there. Is someone's hiding in there, though. I see a head. I don't know if I can thread this kind of needle, though. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Oh, there's another guy. Hi. Ah, I just woke them all up. I'm terrible. Books. Give me books. I okay. Now I'll take it. Hello. You have a friend. <laughs> oh, he is a fellow. Ah, bullshit. Hit the door. I'm hungry. Did I bring? I did bring. <laughs> Before I was interrupted by the bloody vulture. Who's trying to get to me because I'm slightly low on health. So it will try and attack me through the building because that's just how they work. Oh, hello. Please don't be feral. Not feral, he just has a lot of health. More books. Forge your head, don't need those anymore. Shotguns, yeah. More books. Tools digest and knife guys. Oh, I can make a level 4 auger if I wanted one. I'll probably just wait for level 5. Another knife guy and some handgun parts. Oh, bed. I do need more cloth. Right, here's the evil door of trickery and deceit. See? It just opens itself. It's nonsense. 
Zombies can't open doors, that's illegal. I'm gonna have to shoot them, there's too many ferals. He dead. I think he's dead. Here we go. Now let's see, I've got a jailbreaker, but I don't know if I want to waste it, because I will need that for the end loot. So let me just waste a bunch of lockpicks and keep at least one for the end loot. Bow hunters, okay. I do want a better bow. Crafting would be a way, but I'm a long way away from being able to do that. Let me jump up here really quickly. And then bash this open. Some honey and vitamins, okay. Oh, it's up there. Try and... That didn't work. <laughs> uh, let's see, can I do some parkour to get up there? I have to place a ladder, that's fine. While I'm placing ladders, let me make this easier on myself as well. <laughs> right, I'm expecting more zombies around this corner. Yeah, hi. The more red die. Hi there. Medical journal. Surprised I still have more of those to find. Uh, let me dump a bunch of stuff in my truck really quickly because I'm slightly over encumbered. Ah, the book room. Don't be a feral. He was, but she died anyway. That works for me. Damn it. I failed the stealth mission. Right, let me search all these bookcases. Tools. Tools, tools, knives. Knives, handguns, bows. I can make the quality 5 SMG5 now if I want to. Knife guy. Knife guy again. Night stalker. Hmm, sure. The bow one's quite good. Knife guy. Scrapping. Nice. Handguns. I think that's all the bookcases. Sneak up here. Is this? No, wait, not that one. Grab the secret stash. Oh, just tools digest. Well, I do need it. Oh, weapons back. Handguns. Ah, it's a feral I didn't realize. That shit hurt. Hello, anybody a feral? Doesn't look like it. The desert is being nice to me today. Usually everything's feral. Hi there, that's a feral. Run away! Switch that off. Heal with this one. Anybody home? Nobody's feral. Just stab them in the face. Ooh. Hey, well, that went well. Ah, uh, yes, this area. Let me build my little emergency staircase that I always seem to need here. <laughs> Get the pipe bombs out as well. I'll try and be stealthy, but I'm pretty sure they just know where you are when you press the button. Yep, they know where I am. Run away! That's a radiated, mutated zombie. Close the door. Reload. That wasn't too bad. I had to use a lot of ammo, but otherwise, me. That has gone worse before, I'll tell you that much. Another medical journal. Get to the loot. Passing gas container hidden in here. Scrapping. Cool. I'll get an impact driver one day. Uh, some of that. And some more glue. Let me eat a jailbreaker for a 100% chance to pick the lock. We'll use that. What do we have in here? Tools digest, bows, bit of ammo. Me. Not the greatest, but it'll do. Uh, we got a rifle magazine. I don't know if I want to read those, but eh, why not, right? <laughs> Some acid and coal and stuff. Right, let's check these boxes. I'd better hurry or I'm gonna miss the trader. Handgun magazine. Knife guy. I need one more of those and they'll be out the loot table and tools digest. Oh, I didn't read it. There we go. Pop that. And let's head back to Hugh. What you got for me, Hugh? A SWAT helmet. Really? I mean, let me take the steel, honestly. Fucking waste of time. Quest rewards are being rude to me this playthrough. Alright, let's see. How are the forges doing? Another 135 steel from you. And... Oh, took the clay there. Didn't mean that. And a hundred and something. Okay, we're gonna have enough in the morning. So I'm just gonna sit here overnight. Oh, I should get an engine. Actually, there's no rush. I'll have to wait 70 minutes for the thing to craft anyway. So in the morning, I'll craft the chassis and that'll be done throughout the day. And we'll do some questing. If Trader Hugh has anything good, then we can do that. If not, we can go down to Jen and do some quests there. And and we'll get that helicopter crafted quite soon. I'll cut to the morning for you. Okay, so I went out and got myself an engine there while I was waiting and I was just thinking as I got back with some handgun magazines that I could make the MP5 if I wanted. Not the SMG5, the MP5 from the Iseo weapons pack. Uh, should probably do that. Upgrade from my ARM9. Um, the gyro- not gyrocopter, the MD500 is crafting, it'll be done tomorrow morning, so that's good. Uh, is this one still doing stuff? It is not. Let's get an MP5 and switch all the mods off of this. I'll compare the stats in a moment. Yeah, so I've got my engine. I have everything I need for the MD500 except for the chassis, which is crafting. So we should be good to go. I had some extra steel left over because I obviously made way more than I needed there. Still got some more coming, actually. Just a little, little tiny amount, but it's something. Enough to craft a weapon if I need to. Let me grab the MP5 there. 
put as many mods on here as I can. That's pretty good. That is a big drum mag. All right. So we just need to kill time today. Probably going to do some questing. I'll test out this uh, gun. Get some extra ammo because it is an MP5. It will eat a lot of ammo. I'll go wait outside Trader Hughes. Hey Hugh, you got any good jobs? I could do the speed clear of the uh, Red Mesa compound. I don't know how good I'm going to be at that. I don't know if I'll get a good medal or anything, but we can do it. I'll run back to my base and get some extra stuff if I'm going to be doing a tier 5 though. Hey, get down from there. I think she actually got a scream off there. You fuck her. Oh, hello. Well, at least I know the SMG's pretty good. Right, let's head out there. I've not done a tier 5 speed clear before, so I don't know how much time I've got or how hard this is going to be. But let's just start it. Okay, you get 1200 seconds for a gold medal. I don't know if that's doable, but we're going to find out. Why am I looting? Why, why am I like this? I have a problem, clearly. Oh, that's so many red dots. Oh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go loud. Oh, hey. Reload time. Follow me through the minefield. Okay. Alright, well this first area is clear at least. I like to skip to this end section because it's kind of insane. Uh, so I'm gonna do that once I get my stamina back. <laughs> Need to find a way in. That's not the way to do it. Hmm. Maybe just break through the side? Or better yet, yeah, just hit them. There we go. Make them come to me. I got frames on me. No! Why? Where the fuck did they go? Never. I just need something to stand on. Here we go. This might seem like it's wasting time, but trust me, it's a lot easier to just get this out of the way first. Alright, that final room's clear now, so I won't even have to do the travelling to there, you see? Let's head into the actual POI now. Anybody? Oh, I woke up everybody. That works. <laughs> hey there. Did you die, please? There was a screamer, but it died on a landmine, so I'm just gonna assume I'm fine. Uh, let's take a sham chowder. I need the health anyway. Actually, that's a lot of health. <laughs> okay, let's go take a hit. Hi there. Kill point. Uh, you know what? I'll take the sneak attack damage one. Oh, you woke up, huh? Ow. Who else is around? So many explosive barrels. Oh, they're up there. And you can't shoot through that, apparently. Because, uh, fuck me, I guess. Why would the zombies do that? Why would you punch the barrel? I enjoy this gun. I think we have to activate this as well. Yeah, it spawns even more of them behind you. Eight hundred seconds left. I don't know if that's good. Oh hey, there's a screamer outside. I'm just gonna have to hope for the best. Oh, I fell. I have to actually go up. Oh, did he fall down after me? You're doing this to waste my time deliberately, aren't you? Well, that's just a mean choice. I mean, really? That's the strategy? They just fall from the sky? Oh, the bloody thing. Ah, oh, well, I will come up anyway. Let's stab him in the face. Well, that's a lot. Close that gun out. It's a really good gun. I only have so much ammo for it, though. <laughs> How dare you live? He's probably a feral. I don't know where he's going, though. First aid get time, probably. Oh, hello. 
600 seconds. How dare you live? Ah, well, that was badly timed. Ah! I was just minding my own business and there was a feral light. Oh god, more of them. Hold oh, still, goddammit. Alright, two magazines left, 600 seconds. He better not be feral. Oh, he's not good. Ah, it still hurts though. Ah, I've got no stamina, that's fun. Okay, uh, first aid bandage. Don't want to go into that water, but I think I have to. This is mean. I think I see someone there, hang on. What is that recoil bump? Oh, hello. What the fuck? I have no idea where the other guy came from. What's going on in here then? Okay, so someone's probably up here. No, oh, that looks like a trap. Why am I looting? Oh, this room's not going to be fun, I can already tell. <laughs> That's a lot of red dots. Uh-oh. That sounds like a lot of footsteps. Here goes nothing, I guess. Oh. I don't want to use any more ammo. Use the water. Ow. Okay, this is shit. <laughs> I don't have enough ammo to continue this. Ugh. I am fucked. Here goes my gold, probably. That doesn't lead me anywhere useful. Only got one magazine left, and I know there's two really bad rooms ahead. Is this where they're trying to break through? Hi there. That wasn't as effective as I thought it would be. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, this bounce is not great. I think I got the dog. You come here. Oh, well that works. <laughs> I guess he was very low on health. Right, I've at least got 40 rounds for that one terrible room coming up where they spawn a bunch of shit behind you. And I've got pipe bombs still. Could have definitely brought more though. Let me get a lay of the land here. So if I recall correctly, it basically spawns them here if as you go through that door. So that's going to be fucking shit. Oh, there's still loads here as well. Ah, I woke some up. Alright, stab thing. Oh, Feral High. Run away. I'm gonna have to shoot him. Okay, two shots isn't too bad. Ah, oh, two more Ferals, really? Three more? Okay, this is gonna cost me some ammo. Okay, 18 shots left for this next section. That is not good. So if I. Yeah, so now I'm just gonna sneak away. Run for my life. I'm gonna try and get them caught up on something and then bomb them. If I can verify which ones are feral, that would be great. Because I can take on the normal ones, just like this. You know what? Preemptive first aid kit sounds good. Hello! Ow, that was badly timed. We're not clear, that's concerning. I have no ammo left at this stage. Let me take a fort bite. Let me take red tea and just continue on. How how is it not clear? I've killed everyone. Haven't I? Oh, there's more in the final fucking room I remember now, yeah. They really made this POI. Oh, you're shitting me. They put fucking radiated bikers in here and I have no ammo. You're actually taking the piss. That's so many red dots. Right, this is more about survival than winning now. <laughs> Goodbye. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> well, there goes my gold medal, definitely. I'm gonna go hunt for ammo in the POI now. That's so fucking annoying. I forgot they made Red Mesa a fucking comedy POI. Here's that radiated biker again. Well, there goes my last pipe bomb. All I have now is a machete and... Oh, never mind. I had oh, more pipe bombs. I'm good. I apparently saw this coming. Right, there's someone still in the BOI, but the fact that they haven't caught up with me seems to indicate they're probably not a feral or anything. This isn't even the last room, though. Also, it looks like I've pissed off some zombies on the other side of the BOI somehow. Oh, it was a crawler. Hi. That's 762. I'm bringing more guns next time. Still, I might be able to get silver, which is still good. Is it the zombies in the final room that I'm hearing? Ah! Oh shit, there's a fucking radiated what's they called. How the fuck am I supposed to kill this? Run away. That's right, you better bleed out very slowly. But you know what, I need to get him caught on something and then just bomb him. My only real choice. On insane difficulty. I'm not- Oh, I could get him caught on that door, that might work. I didn't realise there was any of these still alive. 
I need him to break it a little bit more than that. So I can actually slash him. Oh, I could use my bow. Like killing a radiated bear on the first bloody day. Just millions of arrows to the face. And before you ask, no, the magnum is not loaded. Why are you crouched? There goes the door. Catch. That didn't work. He's too fast. Can I get him caught on this? The answer is pretty much no. Alright, plan next one. That store's still intact. Can I stop getting thirsty for two seconds? I know I had four bites, but jeez. There we go. Shotgun shells, course. None of the ammo I need. Roller, hello. There's still more after this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Because <laughs> they added more into this middle area here. Hang on, I'm gonna bash myself a way out. Where's the weak, where's the weak point? Here we go. This will do. This way I'll be able to pull them into the minefield if I really need to just get them killed. Oh, there's more over there as well, fuck's sake. Run away! Oh, bloody radiated biker, of course it is. Do me a favour and bunch up together. Or don't, you know, that's also an option because the zombies can't figure out how to attack me, they're stuck on stuff. Let me just search this, I might have a couple of bullets for me, you never know. No, it has corn. Well, it's something. Would the zombies please come over here? Can't really do much if you don't clump together. There we go. No, they're just being stupid, okay. Alright, last pipe bomb. Stand still for two seconds. There we go, we got the radiated biker, it looks like. And run into the minefield. There we go. Who's the last one? Where are you hiding? Would you be another bloody radiated biker or something? Right. Give me some fucking ammo. Here we go. Right, I'll finish off the last of them. Where, where the fuck even is this? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, I see. Missed a room, apparently. There we go. Silver's still not too bad, but that was way more difficult than it needed to be because apparently this POI has been given even more zombies since the last time I played it. Someone must have dared say this is easy. <laughs> you know what happens when you say that? Let me go back to that loot. I'm gonna pillar my way out. Frames. The gun is good, I just didn't bring enough ammo for it. I had too much faith in it. Could have brought a spare gun. Or 12. Still, it's a good thing I brought like 40 pipe bombs. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that, but I did, and it worked out for me, so... Ah, full auto mod, okay. A uh, bunch of ammo in there. Let's unlock this. Uh, security camera bundle. Wonderful. Just the worst one you could have given me, game. So I got a bunch of ammo back out of it, though. Let's check this here. Tactical warfare. Eh, don't care about that. Oh, my scrapping queue's full. That's fine. Uh, I think there's more loot on the roof. No, wait, if there was, I would have got it already. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go back to Hugh, see what shit reward I get for this. If the reward is anything other than a thousand nine millimeter ammo, I'm going to be very upset. Which means I'm going to be very upset, because that is not a possible reward you can even get, I don't think. Thank you. Oh yes, a stun baton. I will take the contact grenades, though. They're quite nice. Let me get the silver reward after this as well. Uh, contact grenades and a bunch of super shotgun ammo that makes it so that your shotgun dies in like 10 hits, which is not very helpful. So I'll take another 10 contact grenades. So I wasted half a day and turned 40 pipe bombs into 20 contact grenades. Good to know. <laughs> oh, Hugh, if only you had close by jobs. Right, well, at least once we have the helicopter, we can go further. You know, because right now it takes like 10 minutes to drive out and then you take 10 minutes, you spend 10 minutes on a job, you take 10 minutes to come back, you can get two jobs done a day, it's not very efficient. If a helicopter can cut that down a little bit, that would be really nice. Why am I thirsty again? How bad are four bites? Didn't even help me that much. They rarely do. Right, so I'm gonna wait in here. Uh, in the morning we'll be able to craft the helicopter and we'll be able to go further out for my jobs and stuff, we'll be able to talk to more traders. We'll just have a wonderful time. And I've learned an important lesson about this challenge and the ammo restraints. Bring all the guns you have because you will run out of ammo. <laughs> so you might as well have spare guns if you find some ammo. And with a helicopter I can also start searching for some of the POIs that have uh, coal in them. And once I have a huge amount of coal this all becomes way easier. Even if I can only get like 10,000 coal that's still a good amount of gunpowder. Which is the main restraint. You know, 10,000 gunpowder, for example, is 10,000 9mm ammo, which would last me a while. If I could get the pistol peak completion, I could get even more. And if I could get the more efficient gunpowder thing, which I forget what book you need for that. Explosives. Hmm. Well, I could make it 20% cheaper there as well. So I will cut to the morning. 
and we will craft the helicopter. All right, it's the morning of day 24. The helicopter is done. The chassis finished during the night and I decided to just queue it up since I had all the parts. Here we are. I got fuel. Hang on, let me get fuel. That was silly of me. So this one has a lot less storage than the UH-60, I think, but it's more compact and it takes 10,000 fuel. Let me just put the fuel saver in there. I'm also pretty sure it's going to be faster than the UH-60. So uh, let's fly over to Trader Gen because Hugh is not open and see if I can even get there before morning or before the trader opens. That would be a good indicator of how quickly you can fly two kilometers. Oh yeah, it's so fast compared to any of the other vehicles. I got there before 5 a.m., never mind 6 a.m. Oh, what do I do now? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have a little fly around. Uh, did we meet Trader Bob? We did, but we could meet him again. I think flying around and looking for more traders, in particular a Trader Hue in like a better town. Sure, that's fine, don't worry about it. Let me just shimmy away from this bloody thing. Hang on. Are we technically caught on this? <laughs> One second, that's fine. Yep, that's how that works. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm gonna have a fly around, look for some kind of actually big city, because there really isn't much around here. And what I really wanna try and find is the Fates Motel, because that has a hole in the basement. Also, uh, the, the Western Mine, whatever it's called, whatever they renamed it to, that would also be good. Ooh, that looks like a big city over there. Let's have a look over here. Oh, I think I see a Fates Motel over there. Let me go check. This does look like a good town though. Ah, I think I saw a farm, actually, not the face motel. Still, I'll have a look around here. Oh, there it is, there it is, I see one. Here's the trader around here. Hmm, may have to do a quick flyover, see them on the map, maybe. But yeah, this, right above my propellers, is the Fates Motel. It has a little bit of coal in the basement. Not a huge amount, but when you have none, it is something, and I'm already out here, so I might as well get it. If I could find a Wild West town, that would also be really useful. Here we are. Let's kill this one guy. Oh, hello. And it's got a mailbox here. I actually didn't know that. Paper. Cool. So the coal specifically, if you're trying to do this at home, is in like a side area in the middle of the POI, but there's like a, a little cellar door to it. I'm just not... Here it is. Here it is. I ran right past it. Oh, that's a lot of health. Let me get my stamina back. Need a better axe. Ooh, hi. Ow. Right, dealt with those two assholes. Coal is in here. There might be another zombie, I'm not sure. That worked good. Now, I could get rock busters and stuff, but I'm not too worried about it. So you can get 90 coal with what I have, which is like three ranks of mother load. You could get like 120, I'm sure. If you were really expecting to strength, but I just don't want to. And the actual coal mine, now that is obviously the best source of coal if you're looking for coal in a desert map. But it's harder to find the Wild West towns because you can't just follow massive roads to find them. And obviously this motel exists in big towns, which are easy to find. Not all of them, obviously, but if you've got a helicopter, it'll work quite easily. So that's enough to make um, a one-to-one -one ratio anyway. That's enough to make mm, 1,400 9 mil, which is very nice. Indeed. I'm going to have a quick look around for the trader in this town, and then I'm going to see if we can find another one of these, or if I can find a better POI that I think has coal in it. But the main two that I know are the Fates Motel and the coal mine. I'm not finding a trader. Maybe this one doesn't have a trader in the town. It's out in the wilderness a little bit. That's fine. I don't really need a trader here anyway. The helicopter can go two kilometers in a couple of minutes, so. And then there's a trader wrecked behind me, cool. That's not too helpful, though, because it's trader wrecked. <laughs> right, well, maybe I should check some of the other towns. What else do I have? We've got Trader Jen's town, we know, but let's try Bob's town. And we've also got the other Trader Rex town as well. We might find an Old West coal mine in one of those, or near one of those. And that would be huge, if so, because it would solve most of my bullet issues, if in a slightly troublesome manner, because I have to go however far it is to get to it. And I would have to reset it using quests, but at least I can reset it. Probably... If I do find one, I'll want to build my late game, quote unquote, base, my just my house, basically, because I'm not using a horde base, obviously. But I would want to build that relatively near an existing coal mine so that I could get loads of it if I need it, which I will need it because I use so much ammo. Is this the one with Trader Bob in it? It is. Let's go talk to Trader Bob. It's free 500 XP. I'm not seeing 
a motel or a coal mine in this town though. At least it's a small one, you can verify that quickly. But Trader Rex's town over there, I think, to the northeast is quite big as well, so that might have at least one. Hang on, doesn't he have a helipad? Let's try and use it. Eh, close enough. <laughs> have anything good while I'm here? Do I still need tools digests? Nope, not anymore, I don't. Okay, that answers that then. <laughs> be good to get those at the damn loot table. Start leveling other shit. Let me buy that red shirt. Alright, let's, um... I think we know Jen doesn't have anything, but let's check out Trader Rex town up there. Oh, that's where the Crackabout Cafe is as well. I should have been trying to... Like, not level it, but... Trying to maximise my usage of it. Absolutely flawless takeoff, I'm sure you'll agree. The vultures don't even want to fuck with me. So I'll head up to Trader X town over here. Oh, there's a little town over there as well. I'll check that out. But we're looking for a Fates Motel or an Old West Coal Mine or somewhere else that I think has coal in it. But I don't remember any of those off the top of my head. I'm also seeing a town to the south here, which is like here on the map. So I'll check that out as well. There's also another town further east over there. God, I love helicopters. the fuck was that? I wasn't even paying attention. I was looking at the ground. I hit something got 400 XP. What the fuck did I just hit? It must have been a vulture. I was not paying attention. Hello. There's one here in the middle of this town. And there's also like two traders here. There's a paper mill and a crackabook cafe. Peter Bob's not far away, and there's also like three ranger stations I saw just along this ridge. So this could be where we're going to live in the future. There's one of the ranger stations. But let's go in here, clear it out, and see how much coal I can get. In fact, where does, where does Trader wrecked or whatever? 600 meters that way? Is it worth checking to see if he has rock busters? One second. It probably will be worth checking. I mean, 20% more coal when coal is so valuable and there's like 2,000 in there. Probably worth it. Let's go over to Trader Wreck really quickly. Uh, oh, there's coal in the back as well. One second, I want to fly back over there and just check what the T is. Because if it's tier 1, that's fantastic. Because Trader Wreck can then send me here. If I could then double loot it, that would be crazy. So much coal. Oh, it is a tier 1. Nice. Right, well, I'll go and talk to Wreck real quickly. I'll also keep an eye out for a face motel. I don't think I'm seeing one though. An extra thousand coal would be nice. And he does not have rock busters. Well, that kind of sucks. But does he have a quest to go to the coal mine? It doesn't look like it. That's fine though. I'm going to come back to him a lot and check and see if he has the mission for it. Let's go back there and mine some coal then. Right, so before I even go inside, there's a bunch of coal outside here. So let me mine this up. Gonna have to mine all the nitrate for this as well. I just realized that that's gonna be very boring. <laughs> right, that's all the coal out here. Let's head inside and kill everything. All right, I think we're clear. Right, let me get the loot out of here. Some ammo. Ooh, a cracker book. Uh, shotguns, medical. Don't need that. And then the sealed shipping crate. Home cooking weekly. Okay. Oh, and there's also... Ah, that's not working. Okay. Uh, so now this whole place is filled with coal and it's all mine. This room is a bad example. There's none in here. Here we go. So I am going to mine up as much of this coal as I can and just see how much I'm left with. Because it'll probably be the rest of my gunpowder for the rest of the playthrough. Okay. After several hours of mining, I think I have it all, and it came out to just over 30,000. I'm assuming I had 1,000 already from the other place, so like 29,000 coal. That's a good amount. Now, I'm not going to immediately convert it into gunpowder, because if I can wait until I have... I missed some coal. If I can, make, if I can wait until I have uh, explosives 30, I can get 20% more gunpowder out of that. And I don't have the nitrate right now anyway. I'm seeing little bits that I missed here. Um, and also if I can wait until I have Pistol Pete, the final book of Pistol Pete anyway, I will be able to get 20% more ammo out of that gunpowder. 
And since this might be the only coal I have access to in this entire series, because you never know, maybe none of the traders will ever send will ever send me here, I want to do that. I have ammo for now anyway. But it's good to know I can spend my ammo a little bit more uh, liberally because I now have a good amount of coal. So, in the next episode, we'll continue doing Trader Hugh's jobs. We'll go out to these other cities down there if I get a chance as well, which might have more coal mines, which would be really nice. And we'll try and get tier 5 and tier 6 complete so that I can get some better bloody armor because I'm still using leather and padded, which sucks. But yeah, we got a lot done today. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today, we are going to be hunting down books so that I can craft the weapons and anything else I want because as you can see my gear is slightly shit on some accounts anyway so I'd love to get myself a really good tier 3 SMG the Seca 9 is the one I'm leaning towards my other options are the MP40 or I forget what it's called yeah the Luger is also tier 3 I think I would prefer the Seca 9 over all those so we'll go with that. I'll need a lot of steel, but that's fine. I also do want to get an MRAP, uh, but that'll take another 400 forged steel. And we have plenty of time on the series. There's no rush on that one, but I need better gear. I need a better bow and I need a better set of guns. Now, I do have a tier two SMG, the MP5 in here, so it's not terrible. But if I can get the best one as soon as possible, that would be nice. I'm pretty sure, though, that you can buy even better ones from the trader. So maybe it's worth checking in with them as well but either way i probably do want to get myself a bunch of research data for books as well as just the books themselves which would be even better i do need the final rank of pistol p as well so going around to the towns that i discovered and looking for bookstores would be ideal i'm gonna check that south one first because i realized as i left that i never checked it for bookstores and that would have been very useful i'll also need a lot of paper if i'm going to really use the research mod to its full extent but that should be easy enough have i got fuel in this yeah pretty good amount let me see if i've got some spare just in case because i'm gonna do a lot of flying today yeah, there's a little bit more oh this needs some more fuel i've got like a stack of iron smelting into my forges so we should have a good amount of steel when i come back to make whatever weapon i want to make or if i want to make the mrap i'm sure i'll go for a weapon first oh it's taking off on its own <laughs> this is fine so let's head down south and see if we can find a bookstore and a bunch of people have been asking specifically about this flying rock just above my propellers there it's just a terrain bug i don't know why it's there but i have no intentions of dealing with it so yeah that's what that is let's head over all right we're coming over this southern town now if i were a bookstore i would live kind of over here well i think i actually see one that might be it right above my tail there oh yep i know that green awning that's one there well, that's just perfect. I'll land and we can raid the place. There's also plenty of mailboxes still around here, but I forgot to bring a normal vehicle, so collecting mailboxes would be really annoying here right now. But I'll get a vehicle on my way back and we'll take that to the other town when we search for more of these places. Yep, there's the crack of book. There's a wolf. I've not seen a wolf this entire playthrough. Handgun magazine, great start. Let's deal with this wolf. That was easy. Right, so I hear a bunch of zombies behind me. One of you's a feral as well. Jeez. There, feral dealt with. Let's stab the rest of them. The mailbox is here. Paper. I do need it, so won't complain. Medical journal and pistol peat that I already knew. I could also check a couple of other POIs around here because even though they won't give me books I need, like that mo power over there, that's a lot of book potential anyway. So that could give me a lot of research data. Let's head inside the crack of book here. Hello? Anybody home? Hi, biker. Oh, you're feral. Jeez. Come with me. Ow. Oh, he bled out. That's good. He bled out as well. Great. Let me clear out the other rooms here before I loot anything. That's some rock busters. That would have been helpful a couple of days ago. And just the last room here with a dog, I think. Ooh, it heard me coming. Just had to give me a concussion, didn't it? Be a painkiller for that. I don't got some red tea. Got some more water in my 
a helicopter as well. Right, I'm gonna loot this entire place and then I'm gonna show you all the books I get rather than going like through every single one of them because I find that very tedious to edit and this is more satisfying anyway so I'm gonna get everything and get back to you. Right, so after looting what I think is all the books and taking several trips to my helicopter to dump non-book things, this is what we are left with. So let me go through some of the non-useful things first. First of all, we got the arrow rest schematic. I'll read one of those and then scrap it. The battle extender mod. These forge heads I already know, so we can scrap those into data. Same with the magazine extender. And this magnum enforcer book that I know. Same with these pistol peats. Reflex sight, shotgun choke, off-road headlights. All completely worthless because I already know them. Same with southern farming. Wasteland treasures. This ranger's guide to archery. And this double clothing, uh, double armor pocket mod. So that's all the completely useless stuff. What about the things I don't necessarily need? I probably do want the archery books. Tactical warfare, I don't care about, so I'll scrap those. Scrapping, I do want. Knife guys, completely useless now. Uh, urban combat's useful. Armored up, we can get rid of. Big hitters, we can get rid of. Andy Land, I'll read. Get rid of the sledgehammers, get rid of the fists. Uh, hyperthermal resistance is very useful in this series, so I'll take that. Scrap the tech planet. Uh, cooling mesh could be useful, again. Burst mod I never use, so I'm just going to scrap that. Which leaves me, in terms of useful things, I've got three explosives, five bows, nine handguns, two home cooking weeklies, one magnum enforcer, which is now finished, that's good, five medical journals, and two shotguns, with a hundred spare research data, so that's enough to make just about 11 more books. Oh, and I've also got the fuel saver mod schematic there. Now 11 books probably doesn't sound that useful, but when you consider that I can make them anything I want, I can go into handguns for example and get 11 more of those, and I only need 15 more, so that is quite useful. Uh, but I won't do that until I've looted them all naturally, I think. So that's all that was in here, which was pretty good. There's still a lot of good loot around this town, potentially. However, what I probably should do is go to one of the other towns and look for more of these library bookstore places. But there is a lot of good books still available to me here, but I would like to hit the bookstores first. Also, I will mark this so that I can level Trader Wreck to at least tier 2, and then I'll be able to do a lot of useful things with him, because he's going to be the most strategically useful trader at this point. He has two bookstores near his trade outposts across the map so far, and he's near the coal mine, and he's near the Fates Motel. So books and coal being two of the most important things for me means that I want to get Trader Wreck leveled, I think. I'm keeping an eye out for other bookstores, but you usually don't see two of them on like the same street or anything. But otherwise, I'm going to head back to my base, and then I'm going to pick up one of my vehicles that I can use to drive around town so I can loot them a bit better, and then we'll head over to one of the towns I haven't actually visited, I've just seen while I was flying. Okay, I'm back at my base. Let's see, how's the steel doing? We can get another 95 out of you, and another 130 out of you, damn. So that is what? 130, about 140, 270... 360 steel. We only need 40 more to make the uh, MRAP, but I'm gonna go for a better gun first, because that makes the most sense, I would say. Let me grab all my paper and research data so I can keep it all on me at once. That'll just mean that I can better understand how many books I'm gonna be able to craft. So let me go get the Humvee, I'll drive us round to the helicopter, and then I'll fly over to this town, and then probably further over here to a new town. There, so I can now actually tell that I can make 13 books. With a little bit more data, I'll be able to make 14. Which means I can almost single-handedly craft my way to max handguns, but I probably won't. Also, I have a bunch of gold, silver, and diamonds from mining, so I should probably sell those. Have you got any good guns? Like, any, like, secret tier 4s or anything? Nah, it doesn't look like it yet, anyway. Right, let's fly over to the new town. Or one of them. Okay, we're over the coal mine town. There's a town to the southeast there, and there's a town over here. So let's have a fly over this one. If we find nothing, we'll head to the southeast one. Now there's a trader Hugh here at least. That's good. Been looking for another one of those. My one only gives me shit jobs. We fly over him to get a marker. I'm not seeing any bookstores, but eh, that might be one. I'll have a look. 
There's Trader Hugh marked on my map. Let's have a fly around. Wait, we got working stiff tools, fire station, bottomless barrel, uh, buy and go. I think that's a savage country I'm flying towards there. Car place. Post office has a few books, but it's not as good as you would hope. That is not one. Is this one? No, I think this is the Zelect place or whatever. No, it's not. What am I talking about? It's the other savage country. Trimed group. That is pretty good for books. But I'd rather stick with a bookstore. For now, anyway. Right, let's head to the town to the south of us. Oh, there's a Grace POI over there. That's good to know. Uh, yep. I'm seeing no bookstores. Let's let's head on down here. There's a bunch of good POIs, though. This is a nice town. And as a trader, Hugh. So that's always a bonus, because I've already leveled him to tier 5. Okay, here's the other town. It looks like this might be the most southern town. Oh, no, there's another one further south we could check. Uh, but we got Trader Joel just beneath me there, I think. And I think I see a bookstore as well. Hang on. It's a very small town, but that's fine. Oh, is it not a bookstore? I thought that was a bookstore for some reason, but it's very clearly not. Well, there is apparently another town to the south, so we still have a chance there. Yeah, this doesn't really look like the type of town that gets bookstores anyway. Doesn't have much of a commercial area. Right, well, let's head to this uh, little city. It actually looks like not a town. I assume this was the southernmost one, but clearly not. There's another one of those vehicle traders there. I'll fly over it so I get a marker at least. These things are very fuel efficient. I have not refueled this since I got it, I don't think. <laughs> and I have flown a lot. So we have a vehicle trader here. But we also have a trader Joel over here. Oh, Joel has the nice town. Look at all those tier 5s. This town's so big he might not even be the only trader in it. Oh, I'm thirsty, really. Can't even do anything about that while you're flying. <laughs> even if I had anything in my inventory. Which I don't. Right, let's take a closer look into the actual town here. What fucking POI has a helipad? I don't remember that. I'm gonna go have a look at that. Hang on. I'm probably just not recognizing it from above. Oh, is this the fucking Jefflon Zucker whatever the fuck it's called house? I don't think I've actually done this one. Can I get a marker? Yeah, Jefflon Zucker Gates, that's it. I assure you Jefflon Zucker Gates would live in a bigger house than that. The vanity tower is freaking out over there. Is that a bookstore? No, it's Savage Country. Ah, that's a bookstore, I think. Hang on. Yeah, it's the Crackabook Cafe. That's something, at least. Not as good as the other one, but it's better than no books. Let's take a land here. Try and clear it out before nightfall, or that would be kind of annoying. Oh, there's a lot of you, isn't there? Oh, yeah, I need to drink something. Those are in my helicopter. I've got one bottle of mineral water. It should last me a while, though. We've also got... Oh, handgun magazine. Explosives magazine. And another handgun magazine. Great. Let's go stab some people. Right, let me clear this place out before it becomes night. Oh, she's feral. Holy shit. Oh, my frame rate is shitting the bed here. Hang on. I think there's so many tier 5s next to me. Turn the dynamic mesh distance down. There we go. That gave me like 10 FPS. Hello there. Don't be feral? Good. Really quickly before I uh, loot this place, there's a couple of zombies beating on this side of the place that's annoying me. Oh, college jacket. Uh, run speed is very useful, although I'm going to experience heat exhaustion a lot more. I still look kind of dumb now. <laughs> I need military armor anyway. Here's someone. Why? How the hell did you... I'm so confused. Right, let's head inside. I'll get all the books and then I'll tell you what I found just to make the editing easier on myself. Okay, so this place was less profitable. Let me take out the things that are obviously shit, like schematics I already know. And then there's a couple of schematics I actually do want, like that um, hunter mod there. Scrap the skill books I already know. Don't need rifles. Urban combat, yeah, read one of those. I can make cigars now, but I have one. Read that as well. Scrap the fists, scrap the hammer, scrap the armor. Night stalker, ah, fine, why not? Shotguns, yeah. Three medical journals, I'll only read two of them. Three home cookings, five handguns. Three bows, I don't need big hitters. Shotguns are good. Tactical warfare, I don't need. Explosive magazines, I do. So that's an extra, what, 70? Uh, research data, plus I'm good on a lot more books now. Including being up to 92 on handguns, so that's pretty good. 
I'm going to wait in here overnight, and then in the morning, we'll go out into this town and look for even more books before I head back. But we're doing pretty well overall. I've got more research data in the truck, obviously. So, we should be able to finish off handguns with what I loot, and then dump a bunch of skill books into probably explosives, so that I can get... What is it? The gunpowder thing, which I think comes at 30. That'll be useful. I'll also kind of probably want to level bows once I've got that. Because I do want a better bow as well. I'm only at 24 and that's kind of shit. So yeah, I'm going to sit up here and in the morning we'll continue this loot run. Alright, it's the morning. Let's get out there and see what other useful buildings I can find. So we're up to 20 books worth of research data. That's really helpful. One second, there's a zombie coming to me. So I saw a post office kind of behind me. Let me go over there. Get away from me. No, oh, you're still chasing me? Go away. There's a mailbox over here. Nothing useful, but research data is always somewhat useful. Some paper and a weighted head mod schematic. Let's head inside the post office and see what other book containers I can find. Ooh, there's an ATM. That means cash, which means paper, which means books. Oh, hang on, hang on, there's a million zombies waking up in the next room. <laughs> Try that again. Bunch of cash, that's several books worth of paper. Head up onto the roof. Any vultures? Surely there's at least one. Ooh, one shot of Errol. I heard a cop, where is he? Oh, there's a tourist. Feral one as well. See zombies across the street. I like having high sneak attack damage, it lets me do things like this. Let me gather up these bones, I will need them for glue later. Anything in these? An urban combat book I already know, okay. Oh, I'm gonna fall. Handguns and that thing. Hello. That was weird. Let me break this really quickly. Just give myself a ladder out here, because I know this next room's a bitch of a room. Right, let's try some stealth though. There's one. I see. And please tell me I can shoot through that. I can. Right. Crawler hiding there as well. I imagine the rest are hiding in those rooms. Oh, big frame drop. Did everybody wake up? Everybody woke up. Oh, hello. There's a radiated guy over there. Ooh, one tap to feral lumberjack. Ow. Would you just die? There we go. I think we got them all. Let's have a look in the loot here. Just a couple of things I can scrap, really. Although I could use the ergonomic grip on my machete. That's something, at least. Some fort bites. Yeah, so this place was pretty shitty for books, but that's to be expected. The post office can have a good amount of books. Scrap that for some research data. But usually it doesn't. But it's worth a look. Right, so I'm going to take the truck around all the mailboxes in this town. And I'm going to see what kind of books I can get. I imagine that's probably the last bookstore. I should probably mark it just so I remember where it is. Yeah, I imagine that's the last bookstore on the map. You don't usually get very many, and it seems like I found all the towns anyway. So I'm going to go around and see what kind of books I can get, and I'll get back to you when I have my results. Actually, these four houses right here are really good for books usually. I don't think that counts as a house, but whatever. But these three usually have books, so let's stop here and raid them. Also a police car here. Damn it. Let me continue with this then. Oh, there's just a Nagavin here. What do we have in this mailbox? Night Stalker. Let's read that. Let's read these other books I did find as well. The Helene's Residence is always good for books. So let's have a look inside. Hello there. Yep, see the first room has two bookcases already. Some paper. And some paper. I'm so lucky. There's a safe back there. Hello. Please don't be feral. He's feral! I explicitly asked you nicely not to be. So, I've got a spare skill point. I'm probably going to go for archery, just to get more bow books, because that's what I need right now. Let me bash open the wall safe. I'm not going to waste lockpicks on that. Let's go. Can it go in my Mosin? It can. I probably should do that then. Hang on, this dog's annoying the shit out of me. Oh, it doesn't have bloom. That's so nice. Oh, my frame rate. Hello. Stop. One second. That should help. I turned my settings down a little bit. 
Now it's doing the weird window artifacting thing, but well, I'll live with it. Game is so well optimized. I'm cooking weekly in a handgun magazine that I had in my pocket. Hello there, you better not be feral. It's difficult to tell. All the zombies tend to take a lot of shots to die at this point. Oh, shut up. Oh, bookcase, hello. Explosives, food, bows, and tech, which I'll just scrap for data. Bows. The money I can scrap for paper. Where did all you guys come from? I like this gun. Ooh, hello, Fettel. Well, falling down there seems like a bad idea. Oh no, wait, I know this place. Yeah, no, let's just go down the stairs now. Hello. Rude. Where the fuck did you come from? Get back here. Stop eating the dog. There are no words to explain how much I enjoy that this is just an actual sniper rifle. Like, where you aim, it hits. Oh, of course that one would drop a loot bag when it's like 400 miles away. This is not- ah, here we go. Oh, hello, Feral. Eh, get through. Did I confuse him? I think I confused him. Ow, got caught in the fucking sink. Oh, my armor's weakened, that's annoying. Which part is it? Please be a part I can repair. That's like a few pieces, actually. Ah, there you are. Well, he certainly made this a safer route for me. Anybody in here? Hello. His eyes glowing? No. His are. Bloody feral bikers. Electrical traps don't need that because I don't build a base, do I? Is this where you're supposed to go? I don't think so. Let's continue. Ah, under the stairs. See some books. Rifles? I'm tempted, but no, I'll save that for another playthrough. While I play with a rifle. <laughs> this isn't one of my main guns, though. Oh, well, that's just the worst. No one else hiding in here? Okay. Where's that last room? This is weird. Oh, maybe I shot through that one guy. Hello. Can I stab him? Yes. Yes, I can stab him. Place a block here. Some easy headshots. Oh, I woke up the other one. That's slightly annoying. Are we clear? Seems like it. Let's get this loot. A cast. Okay. Handgun magazine and a laser sight. I do like laser sights. Put that on my magnum, actually. That's awaiting some more mods. Handgun magazine. We only need, like, four more. That's good. Sharp six. Night stalker. Read the bows. Unlock this. And I'm out of lockpicks. Do this the hard way. Uh, scrap that. Take the rest. Cool. That's pretty decent for books. I've got spare 35 research data from in there. Where's my truck? Dump some stuff and then I'm gonna restart my fucking game. Alright, game restarted. Hopefully it can hold itself together a little bit better. What the fuck did I just hit? Let's have a look inside this POI then. I forgot how to get inside. Oh yeah, I remember now. You fall down here and it's an absolute death trap. Anyone home? Don't you be feral. He's not feral, good. Ooh. So you're just gonna take the entire fucking... What is this? Is it a clip-loaded weapon? This is actually a clip. And he did take the entire clip. That doesn't sound good. Uh-oh. Ow. I think they're fighting each other now. If only. That would make this game so much more funny. Zombies just start fighting each other. Come back here. Where'd you go? Where the fuck? Oh. Yeah, they seem to be pretty flummoxed by the shelf, so that's quite help. Ah, fucking curtain. Well, at least I got a loot bag from him. Bunch of ammo. Uh, probably want to eat a first aid kit for that, to be honest. I'll just tank a bunch of extra hits now. Some food. No book, though. Handguns, and I'll scrap those. And I'll scrap that. Can I just get the one pistol piece I need, please? You're being very mean, game. Vultures. Another handgun magazine, nice. I'm down here. Oh, magazine, cool. Someone's behind me? Where, where, though? Where behind me? You woke up in here? Oh, they're in this bathroom, I think. How did you wake up? Get caught in that door, would you? Unlock you. 
Just a quick hop over here. See if I can get an angle on anybody. Hello. Two bikers. One's feral. Oh, this needs reloaded. He's just standing there. Here, zombies. I don't see them. Oh. Where the fuck did you come from? I bet he was on the roof, honestly. Oh, there's meds there. That's not what I was trying to do. No, I think he punched the meds, the bastard. Someone's on the roof. Oh, hello, Feral. Some recog. It's the final room. I don't feel like you are safe there. Is there a key to get out if I need to escape some zombies? Okay, I'm good. Let's see what we got. Handgun magazine and one of those bow mod things. We're finished on handgun, so I don't have to make any of those now. That's good. It should open up the tables to getting me more bows as well. No, oh, they're standing next to my truck. Stop doing that. Here's an extra 25 research data. Uh, where do I want to search next? Probably this place. Ooh, mailbox. No, oh, just paper. Okay. I'm seeing green. Is that a light or is that a radiated zombie? That is the question. I think it's a light. Alright, expect a dog in here apparently. Oh, I know this place. Yep, yeah, my dog. You're not gonna hit me. You hit me. Oh. What are we having the do collector here? Nah, pipes. That kinda sucks. Old book. Nice. We're getting there on those. Let me bash open the safe. Nothing in the safe, really. Just a few shotgun shells. I'll take the ammo. Bookcase. Bows and some research data. Oh, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna have to go check my vehicles for something. I don't have anything, though. That'll be slightly annoying. There's probably a trader around I can go and loot, though. Uh, there is murky water, but that's not all that helpful to me out here. Where is the trader? He's quite a bit to the north. I'll finish this POI while thirsty. That's not too bad. You get a little bit of water from the sham chowder I have, but that's a massive waste. Somebody heard me. Hello. Nope. <laughs> I forgot I have a new string on the bow, so it's going to fly a little bit differently. There we go. Boot cases. Wiring. Don't need that. Andy line, don't really need that. Bows, that I do want. Ooh, Vettel, hi there. I heard a snake. Hi there. That sounds like an awful lot of zombies. Home cooking weekly. Can make tuna fish gravy toast, that's helpful. What's that made with again? Is it salmon? No, it is actually tuna. Good. I forgot that item was in the game and that they... I was thinking they maybe just made it salmon that you do it with, but no. Cans of tuna exist. I'm just old and decrepit. Ow. I didn't switch fast enough. I just scoped at him. Bunch of bookcases here. Damage to bears. Vehicle fuel saver. Scrap the sharp sticks and eat the food one and the other food one. Paper. Uh-oh. Yeah, I expected some awful shit to come this way. Run away! Ooh, not a fan of this. I will face them outside. There's a door somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, you'll make your own door, that also works. This might be a good opportunity for a little contact grenade. Don't you love them? Well, that was fun. Any more books in here? I think there's two cracker book containers. That's books, so yes. Can also scrap the medical journals. Weapons bag. Shotguns, sure. And a car XM177. So some vague AR15 model. Weapon flashlight, night stalker, scrap the tactical warfare. A delir scrap, explosives magazine, and bow hunters. Curious fists. Ew. Got any lockpicks? Nope, let's bash it open then. Big hitters, don't care, but the triple armor pocket mod's nice if I've got a slot for it anyway. Uh, we can take off a single and put a triple on there. Cool. Uh, that'll be it then. Right, so I'm going to drive back to my helicopter. I'll fly home and we'll see how much research data I've got and what books I want to make. And we can already make the Daken 9. Assuming I have the materials, that is 100 forged steel, but that's not too bad. Where's my truck? So I'll need an extra, like, 150 if I want to make the other truck I want. That's not all that bad. And tomorrow we can test out the SMG, assuming I have it in time. Oh, I have so much stuff. I hope I can fit it in the helicopter.
Oh, I'm not going to be able to fit in the helicopter. <laughs> okay, some choices have to be made here. Let's see. Scrap, scrap. I just need to scrap one more thing. I know we throw away the hop seed and then pick up the Humvee. There we go. We've got everything. So how much research data did I end up with? 336. That is enough to make 33 books. So I can really power level something if I want to. I'll probably go for 10 explosive magazines to get up to the good level of gunpowder. And then I can start mass crafting gunpowder uh, for the rest of the series with the 20,000 or whatever. No, it's like 30,000. 30,000 gunpowder. 30,000 coal can be turned into a lot more gunpowder now that I have that well, now that I will have that 20% discount on crafting it, which will give me a good 30-something thousand gunpowder. If I can get that last pistol, Pete, I'll be able to turn that into a great deal of 9mm ammo. I can already turn it into a lot of 9mm, but I want to maximise the efficiency of it. But it'll basically be a 1 to 1 ratio. Well, it'll be a 1 to 1.2 ratio. So if I spend like 32,000 gunpowder, I should get like 34,000 9mm which is a lot. <laughs> okay, all my stuff's inside. Let's see what we can do to get this Seika 9. I'll need five handgun parts. I'll need a hundred steel, which I definitely have. This needs a little bit more fuel for those last few minutes there. Fifteen duct tape. I've got eight immediately, and I've got some glue. I'll need to make some more glue then. There's bones, and I've got clean water, as well as murky water, as well as more water out here, three jars in each of these, so I can make pretty much 28 glue, I'll just set that to craft now. Do I have the cloth though? That is the real question. I do, I have enough for 20 whatever it's called, duct tape, and scrap, and springs, just barely, but yes, I will have to go and do a scrapping run then uh, before I make my next vehicle, but that's fine to be expected really. So in the morning, I'll have the Seika 9 crafted then. It's just a case of waiting for duct tape to craft. And we'll give it a test. I imagine it'll be better than the MP5. It's a shame I used the MP5 once, but hey, that's just how I progress. Let me cook up all this water here as well. That'll help later on. Cool. So that should be fine. For the MRAP, which I do want to work towards later, I will need a bunch of generic stuff, but the big thing is going to be the 25 duct tape and the 400 forged steel, and I'm going to use 100 of it now on a gun. And I may also end up making a compound crossbow or bow. Those are both also going to take probably 50 forged steel, if not more. And then I also need like better tools like an auger and a chainsaw and probably a steel axe as well so that I can chop open boxes and stuff. And I'll need an iron shovel. So there's going to be a lot of iron usage but I'll worry about that later. This series is only on, what, like episode 11, and I've got 25 episodes in a series, so there's plenty of time to get all this steel. There's no rush, but I do want a good gun as soon as possible. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning when that's done. All right, it's the morning, and my gun is done. Where's that uh, MP5? It's got all my mods on it. Here we are. Ooh, it has one of those lovely green reflex sights. Just like in the olden days when I played Rainbow Six Siege. I enjoy having a life now. <laughs> I kind of want to put a laser sight on this. Where did I put the laser sight? Oh, it's green as well. I like green. Oh, this is going to be fun. Now, what I should have done before we <laughs> did the night there is I should have crafted some books, but that's fine. Let's get... Uh, how much demolition books do I need? Explosives, 10. So let's make 10 of those. Then I think the rest should just go into bow hunters. 23 more. That is certainly a good start on those. I'll just store that away for later. I need some more repair kits. Where's my duct tape? I've got five of those. Probably got duct tape lying around, right? I did just make a bunch of it. There we go. Have a bit more repair kits than that. Jeez. Right. Oh, how many can this hold? Oh, let me get a second box of this. It might look like I'm running low on that, but I'm actually not. Oh, you know what else? I need to cook, I need to gather up a bunch of nitrate to actually make that gunpowder. So tomorrow night I will gather up a bunch of nitrate and then I will gather up a bunch of iron for more steel. But first, I want to go ahead and actually use this gun. Need some water real quick. Oh, did I turn it all into glue? Yeah, that sounds like something I'd do. Here's some, just so I have something to drink. Actually... Screw that. I'm just gonna buy things to drink. Where did I leave my money, though? Oh, it lives in here, I see. Yep, that's fine. Let's go talk to Hugh, see if he has any good jobs. 
Although he's currently closed, it's slightly annoying, but it's fine. <laughs> Hi, Hugh. What do you have? Tier 5 Infested Clear could be good. St. Moe's Cathedral. Oh, God, that is going to be an absolute shit show. Have I got good amounts of meds? Yeah, I do. I should be fine. Let's go grab the helicopter and maybe the truck. We'll go do that. I look forward to going in there with so much ammo and coming out with none. All right, here we are at the Tier 5 infestation at St. Moe's Cathedral. I had to move my helicopter there because <laughs> it was not a soft landing. Let me put some of this stuff back inside here. Actually, let me keep the water. Don't need my truck on me, though. All right, so this is going to be pretty insane because it's an infested Tier 4, basically, but it's actually considered a Tier a tier 5 quest. Hey, go away. Um, so I've got all my guns that I can fire various kinds of ammo, and I brought spade ammo types for other things. I hear someone chasing after me. Oh, you're feral, hi. Huh? Ah, you didn't die. Yeah, nice archery book there. So, let's get started. I'm expecting all of the worst things, and I'm still using really shitty armor. So, maybe I should open with my bow. Oh, they heard me instantly. Or only one of them did, actually, I think. Let me try and take advantage of that. What am I even on? There we go. Hello there. He's gonna pop. Is he dead? I think he's dead. That's helpful. Uh oh, didn't mean to fall down here, but that's fine. There's a bunch of books in here as well. That's nice. Ooh, hello. Alright, not bad. I'm gonna get all these books. I'll loot them all and I'll tell you what I got. Alright, it wasn't too much. Let's scrap this. Sharp sticks, that. Sniper, I probably do want. Scrap the forge ahead. Scrap the handy land. Eat the bow ones. There we go. Let's continue on with the POI. A couple of different directions you can go. I'm not sure which one I want to try. Is this... Does it just lead you back up to here? Ah, right. I'm gonna see the loot I want. Can I hop this and then... No, no I can't because I'm fucking shit. Here we go though. Two potatoes. I'm insulted. That's a great deal of red dots. Very sneaky. Oh, that's a radiated guy, okay. Uh, he's bald! Oh, the recoil on this is like nothing. Oh, that's nice. He's gonna pop. Who's wandering around? Where are you? Oh, hello. gonna pop after just two shots this gun's good oh and the cop pop just killed like two zombies itself that's perfect uh oh i didn't expect so many more zombies that quickly Like two of those. In fact, I can use the sham chowder. I've got um food and a bit of water to restore. Hi there. Okay, bunch of red dots. Not sure where they are. Presumably above me or below me. Doesn't look like below me is the answer because they're not there. So above me. Oh hello. Oh hi. Didn't see you there. Oh, I woke that one up. Okay, well, let's just headshot him. Grab that. A little bit of ammo for me. Nice. Oh, the crawler fell. Don't you fall further. Okay, moving on to this. Oh, it's this open area. This is never good. Oh, jeez. You got enough radiated guys there, game? You fucking dick. Okay, I have a plan. It's a very simple plan, and it always works. No, oh, there's even more of these. All right, let's go. Reload. Okay, we're clear. That wasn't too bad. I expect a bunch of other terrible rooms though, but that's a pretty bad one, all things considered. Oh, I'm getting markers. We must be near the end. That's good. Grab both of those. I can't wait to see how many vultures are on the roof. That's going to be fun. Uh, there's probably something in here. Let me have a smack into this doorway. No zombies, no zombies. Let me bash open the wall safe. Cash, okay. And a book I can scrap. 
and a book I can read, and Candyland. I'm glad that ended because I can't really go much higher than that. Oh, there's more books. Bow Hunters. Oh, and a forge ahead. Ooh. Oh, there's zombies on this floor. Some of them have awakened. I think there's no real way to stealth this now. I have woken up a radiated one. Wait, wait, wait. Close the door. Aha, right. He'll take a minute to get to me. And then stealth attack him. Stab. Now, where's your buddy? There we go. Uh, ladders always suck because you can't sneak up them. Oh. There's only three markers out here. That's not too bad so far. Maybe stealth attack them all. Where's the last one? Hello. Oh, that wasn't too bad at all. I only had, like, two bad rooms, really. I love tier 5 infestations. They're so much easier and less time-consuming than normal tier 5s if you can just, like, aim your gun a little bit. Even slightly. Low loot. What do we have in the cache? And also, oh, shotgun turret. Shotgun turret bundles. Okay, I get... Why am I reading those? Scrap them. <laughs> and a bunch of ammo, which I can't complain about, of course. I do need loads of it. The meds. Scrap you. More ammo. I basically broke even on ammo. I came here with like 600 and I'm leaving with like 570 so far. So unless I find like 100 in that crate, we're pretty much where I was. So that's good. Although if you consider that my gun probably actually has ammo in it, yeah, I'm pretty much where I left off. 600 ammo. This is going to be a very annoying experience for me, but you don't have to watch it. Let's see, forge ahead, hammers, and a muffler. A eh, bunch of useful stuff. Alright, let's leave. That went very well. I really enjoy tier 5 infestations. Because you get a decent reward for them. Unlike normal tier 5s. Ooh, big frame drop. Let's fly back to Hugh and see what... Oh, there's still zombies in here. Well, I wasn't paid to kill them. I don't care. Uh, let's fly back to Hugh and see what reward I get. I'm mostly just trying to get like the tier 5 and tier 6 complete. But yeah, I really like this gun. It has like no recoil, which is very nice. Hmm. Can't use the sledgehammer. Nail gun is like good, but at the same time, I never build a base. 10 contact grenades is meh. So I guess I'll take the 10 contact grenades because I genuinely don't really need the other stuff. You got anything relatively close by I can do quickly? I could do a tier 3 fetch. Just four kilometers away, you know? <laughs> Just anything to get the job counter up, really. Here we are. Let's get this started. In we go. Ooh, fell behind. Oh, hi. Isn't there usually two there? Hmm, guess not this time. Oh, hi there. Holy shit, that did so much damage. <laughs> Must have been a feral. Hey, painkiller, do your thing. I'm just taking a hot minute. Stop that. <laughs> Your first aid, get a tip. Help that out. Bloody shotgun blasted by a feral cop. Dickhead. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, you're above me. Is this where the bag is? Is. I may as well finish it though. I'm here, aren't I? In three kilometers or whatever for it. Where'd that radiated guy just go? Oh, he fell all the way down. Art of mining. Okay, we're done here. Let's get all the loot and then fly back to you. Scrap those for data. Grab the handy land. Grab the handy land again. Get some ammo and bash open this. Ooh, a drum mag. Scrapping for fun. Treasure map, don't need. Let's get out of here. Hi, Hugh. Triple armor pocket mod, I'll take it. If I now make the double clothing pocket mods, which I am capable of making, I'll be able to fill out my inventory completely fine. So that'll be good. We'll do that later, though. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today we are going to be continuing the hunt for various kinds of books because what I need is more bow books. I want to get a level 5 compound crossbow. Now, you'll probably notice that that's a significant bump in books since the last episode and that's because I read the books I made with the research mod and I also got the demolition books as I'm pretty sure I showed you guys, which means I got the stacks of gunpowder thing and I've got like eight stacks of gunpowder crafting in my chemistry station right now. What I also need 
and this is really being a bit of a plague, is I need the last rank of Pistol Pete. It's actually really annoying me now, because if I can get that, I can bulk craft 9mm ammunition, and if you don't know what bulk crafting ammo is, basically as an example for 9mm at least, a 9mm bullet takes one of each of the main components, a box of 9mm takes 80 of all the major components, but you get 100 of the actual ammo. So what that means is you essentially get it 20% cheaper. And because of the desert challenge and how difficult it is for me to get coal, the 30,000 coal I actually have may be the only coal I ever get, so I want to maximise what I can get from it with the pistol peak completion. Now there's a lot of ways you can get books in 7 Days to Die. In the last videos, I got all the bookstores and I still didn't come out the other side with any more Pistol Pete books which is disappointing, but hey, it happens. Also, to date, we're going to have to fight the Horde. If you're new to the series, I do it without a Horde base. That's just that's just what I do. I got bored of building bases, so I started doing this. So what I'm going to do is grab my helicopter, and I'm going to go to a town I haven't extensively looted with a trader, and I'm going to see if I can buy the Pistol Pete book while I'm at the trader. But after that, I am going to try and do mailboxes and easily lootable book heavy POIs and I want to level Trader Wrecked as well and the reason for that is because he has the paper mill, the cracker book cafe and the coal mine all in his one town down there and this big ass town down here has a Trader Wrecked and a lot of tier 5 POIs that I would like to do and he has a bookstore so Trader Wrecked, as much of a dick as he is, uh, is going to be the most strategically valuable trader in terms of where he is for getting these other locations to reset. I need the paper mill, well I might not really need the paper Paper mill, but it is a consideration. Um, I need that because the research mod requires paper to craft books, so that would be a useful thing to have. So let's head over to this trader wrecked, and I'll try and loot all the uh, mailboxes in that area if I haven't already, because mailboxes are just a decent way of getting skill books. Hang on, there's also a trader gen who might be worth checking in with. Yeah, she doesn't really have anything I want, at least not in the books. Right, over to Trader Joel then. One of you is bound to have something useful for me. I will take these armor mods from Joel. That's something at least. He's got a couple of bow hunters as well. But no pistol beats. I even got a slot for these uh, mods right now. Not really. I do need to get someone up to a higher level. So that I can actually get like a military armor bundle or something. Because my armor absolutely sucks. But let's go see Trader Wreck now. <laughs> I could spend my time getting my armor upgraded, by the way, but what I'm focusing on right now is my bow, because if you have a good bow, you won't really need armor, if you play it right anyway. And if I really do need armor, I do have like a big set of steel armor that would work, it's just it would be very encumbering to wear it, and I would rather not, because this is supposed to be more of an agility playthrough, as you can see by all the points I have put into agility. Made possible by the fact that you don't really need intellect if you have the research mod, you can just scrap all your books you find and turn them into useful things without having to go full intellect to progress in the game. It's much more enjoyable that way I would say. Otherwise every playthrough kind of blends together as just a weird intellect playthrough. Where does Trader Wrecked? Oh he's around here, okay. Oh that's him right there of course. <laughs> hey Wrecked, do you have any good books? Not really, no. In fact I've read almost all of these but I'll take the Ranger's Kite Archery book. I could get a discount on these by the way even by just holding my magnum. But what you have to know is that I simply don't care. <laughs> Think of it as me just playing on a harder difficulty. One called Extremely Lazy. Right, so if I do want to level Trader Wright, and it is a good way to also maybe get extra books as well, because I think Tier 1s have a chance to give you just books straight up, unless I'm being very old and forgetting how the game works. There's one speed clear. I don't think I have the stuff to do Tier 1 food and med quests, because they're very resource intense. But that's the cost of, you know, having quests that aren't just go here, kill thing. I'll keep an eye out for like mailboxes here as well. They're also good for books, of course. Oh, I've been here though. <laughs> I've not been here though, okay. Apparently I'm just weird like that. Don't need either of these, but they can be scrapped for research data to use for bow books. Another mailbox here. Andy Land. I really don't need them, but I, I kind of do at the same time. I probably should just scrap them. This is going to be an eternal debate until the end of this playthrough. Hello, Snake. Oh, of course, a pistol Pete, I already know. <laughs> that is also going to be a continuous theme. Right, so this is a speed clear, so I probably do want to use one of my guns. Let's go for the Magnum. And I want to get it done in like 45 seconds or whatever. Anyone through here? There? He dead? Hope so. Who's up here? How are you still alive? Oh, you're a feral. 
That would do it, yeah. There we go, we got the gold reward. I don't even know if I've had a gold reward for a tier 1, so it'll be interesting to see what that looks like. Let me also grab some of the loot here, since I'm here. Uh, whining and tech planets are not of any real value to me. Another drum mag, I have loads of those things. Not complaining, it's just surprising. More of these things that I can scrap for research data. And more just research data. There's probably a lot of potential research data for me in here, because I don't need these electrical trap books and wiring books, because I'm not going to have that kind of a base. So I can get a lot of data from just scrapping them all in here. I only actually got two of each of those books there, that's unusual. Let's head back to Wrecked and get another quest. I'll try and take a route that'll get me more mailboxes though. Hey Wrecked, I'll take the coal. <laughs> Kinda hard to get it, so yeah. Let's do a defense mission as well. Oh yeah, I need to get my gold reward. Yeah, that's not bad for a tier 1 reward, but can't really use much of it. Let's get the steel. Oh, and you get another reward as well. Probably pipe bombs out of those. I got a skill point as well. Um, is there anything I need out of agility anymore? Not at level 8. I would need to get to 10 and I don't really want to. So what do I want to do next? I could do the... Oh, never mind, I have a rank of physician. I don't have to worry about that. Oh, a rank of uh, living off the land would be nice. Again, because that gets me a lot of extra aloe, which are good for first aid bandages. So let's go do this defense quest. So I've got five minutes to prepare my defense, but I'm just going to use that five minutes to clear the area. Hello, Feral. Oh, I'm thirsty. That is a problem. I think I have some stuff in my truck, though. It might have to be Mega Crush, though. Slightly wasteful, but I mean, I'm not particularly short on money. I have even more than this back at my base, so might as well. Some repair kits. Nice. Oh, what's this? An SKS. Is it a rifle? I'll give it a try. I've got no ammo for it. It's slightly annoying. Right, I'll see if I can find some 7.62 while I'm out here then. Oh, hey there. Weapons bag. Bow hunter books, cool. A little bit 7.62 there. Uh, a level 5 robotic sledge. Not as useful for my playstyle in this thing. Oh, there's my Mega Crash back at least. Robotic headlamp mod. I mean, just read it, but I'm never going to use it. And some meds, cool. So we've still got two and a half minutes prepare for the actual defense. So this has a 10 round magazine. Interesting. What can I shoot? Ah, oh, there's a dog. That'll do. Yep. It's a gun. It does damage. You love to see it. <laughs> I wasted all my ammo trying to hit a vulture. I'm not even sure I could have hit it, to be honest. It may just be out of range. Oh, a lot of cash in there. I prefer to scrap mine for the research mod. Also, if I was doing a shotgun build, I would scrap it for the paper. But you can definitely sell it for a lot of money if you wanted. But money's not that valuable to me. Howdy. <laughs> One of them spawned in the wall. Oops, that vulture, hello. That did a lot of damage. That did a lot more damage. Fucking vulture. Okay, I'm not playing a bullet hell. Stop that shit. I need time for me to make a getaway. There's a feral biker here. I'm out of this. Automatic weapons handbook. Well, it is good to see that you do get skill books. Um, but I'll take the crafting skill magazines in this case. You have anything good? Mm, cleared meds and stuff. Could probably do the meds one. Yeah, why not? Let's just throw away some medicine. <laughs> what do I need to gather? Pen bandages and splints. I need cloth. That's slightly annoying, but I can probably do it. Tactical warfare, scrapping, and bows. Cool. Where can I get some cloth? Well, I did just take living off the- I'm not gonna find any wild cloth. What am I talking about? Trader Wrecked, what do you have? Uh, you got any cloth on you? You got some duct tape. I will need some of that for this. Actually, let me get all the duct tape. It's useful. And he's got one bandage as well, that would also assist me a little bit. Yeah, I need a bunch of cloth, actually. Hmm, have I got a wrench on me? No, that's gonna make it harder. But we can do it, probably. Let me go see my truck. There's two cloth. You know, I did see a poppin' pills around here, that might be worth hitting up. Here we are. Poppin' pills. Oh, my frame rate in here is absolutely dead. What's nearby? Maybe I need to turn my mesh distance down again. I usually turn it up for, like, screenshots and stuff. That should help a little bit. Sounds like there might be a wandering horde outside, that would suck. 
I mean, mostly just because they beat on the walls and make loads of noise. So hi there. Another book of those. 31 more bow books and I'll be where I want to be. Don't know why I'm using my bow for this. This doesn't seem very useful. Right, let's have a look in here because there should be like bandages and stuff throughout this first medical POI shelf area. If nothing else, I'll probably find a bunch of extra painkillers which are obviously useful in their own way. There's acid in these apparently. Okay. There's another bandage. Another bandage. Another acid. Okay, so these are like a decent source of acid apparently. Good to know. Another bandage there. Oh, hello. Ow. How'd she hit me? There was a shelf there. I want a refund on my health. There's one splint. That's something. Another bandage. Oh, really? A Pistol Pete book, but the one I already know? That's rude. Finding so much honey. No, I'm actually out of inventory space back in a second. Oh, there's enough cloth to make another bandage. Or I should probably go for a splint. Splints seem to be slightly rarer. Oh, I left my duct tape in the truck. That's fine. Oh, another bow hunter book there. Right, I don't want to go into the basement area of this. I just want the easy loot from in here. So where are the zombies that fall from the sky? Battle, and I would like you to die, please. Another splint there. So I can just make myself another bandage then. Let's get onto the roof. Hello, did you get in here? I guess that answers that then. The roof should have a bunch of poppin' pill crates for me. Just need to sneak over to them. There's a radiated guy up here, isn't there? Oh my god. At least I killed the feral white in one hit. Now oh, she dropped loot. Not the best loot, but it's something. Let's see what we can get from these. And I need to go home. Like, I need to get ready for Horde Night. Uh, Furious Fists? No. Another splint, though. Another bandage. Uh, Furious Fists again. Don't know why they're considered medical loot, but here we are. Another splint. Some ammo. Let me bash this open. It looks like I'm not actually going to get this medical one done right now, but that's fine. I can get bandages from my house anyway, I just wanted to get them sourced locally if it would be faster, but it doesn't look like it's going to be. I can easily find two bandages in my storage somewhere though. We can come out here and do that tomorrow then. I need to do more quests for Trader Wrecked anyway. Scrapping for fun, Ranger's Guide to Archery, a couple of varyingly useful things. Put that on there. Let's get the helicopter out and go home. Right, we're back at base. I've got a couple of hours before Horde Night. Looks like I'm going to have to do Horde Night here because I won't really have time to get somewhere else. That's fine. I'll just do it on the other side of town. As usual, I'm going to try and waste all my 556 five, first because I don't really use it at all. I'm going to need a better shotgun at if I'm going to like do anything. So I'll probably just bring some 9mm mostly for tonight. Let's see, let me take the car and where's... I knew there were some pipe bombs in, in like a weird place. Where did I put them? Hmm, I don't know. Well, I can always make pipe bombs very easily if I want to. They're pretty good use of your stuff, really. Got Molotovs as well. I, I swear I have more Molotovs than that. How would I end up with only two Molotovs? They come in tens. Uh, let me just make sure I've definitely got, like, enough. <laughs> I'll bring a backup shotgun as well. You never know how these are going to go, really. Because it's the desert. I don't have much experience with how crazy it gets. But I've got this thing to start off with. So that I can just burn through 556 five, because it's useless to me. I don't want to do a rifles playthrough, so I might as well burn through as much of the ammo as I can, right? I should get some frames. Let's see. Those are very useful on these kinds of situations. All right, now we just have to wait. I could try and go somewhere, but I don't want to get caught in the air. I'll just get vulture annihilated. Oh, I should really get vitamins, actually. Because I will get hit and I don't want to get infected. That would just be annoying. Oh, I missed the mailbox here. Ah, heart of mining. That's not very helpful. Another mailbox. Oh, paper. Okay. Also, what's my game stage? 129. So it looks like if I had a base, I would be getting day 35 demos, which isn't crazy bad, but it's still a lot faster than you'd get in the normal biomes. It definitely seems like on these challenges where the game stage is so incredibly boosted, it seems like it's not even worth trying to keep up with a base because it's going to be hit a lot harder than your normal progression. And it's not like playing in the desert gives you access to more building materials or anything like that. It's just slightly better loot. So I think avoiding horde bases, if you're capable of playing like this, would be the most optimal way to do these challenges. Like if you were doing the wasteland, I mean, the wasteland's not particularly more dangerous on horde night if it's horde night, because it's horde night. 
All the zombies are already spawning anyway. Let me also beer up. I've only got two, but it'll do. Alright, here comes the Day 28 Horde. I wonder if he'll join the Horde, or does he just die? Like, does he start knowing where I am? No, he doesn't, he's just a guy. I've always wondered that. Let the chaos begin. Oh, these, these little areas are perfect for this. Oh, there's a vulture? Where? Oh. Uh-oh. This is not where you want to be. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> there was a roof with a hole in it. That was almost very bad. A vulture is bothering me. There we go. Oh, hey, a wall. These are useful for reloading. Ah, stop spitting on me. Oh, hello. Oh, my gun broke. One second. Ooh, the frame rate is not enjoying this. Oh, we're out of 5.56. Right, perfect. <laughs> That's what I aim to do every horde night, is get rid of as much of that as I can. Oh, hey. You guys are up there, huh? How the hell is there so many of you up there? They're just trying to take down this silo. They're like digging under it or something. I love how the zombies have been made to be so preoccupied with destroying blocks that if you stand out in the street, Half of them decide to just attack lampposts. Yeah, you tell them, feral lumberjack. You really showed that lamppost what for. Whew. Yep, you also showed my kneecaps what for. Ow. Well, oh, one of my armor pieces is weakened. One second. Don't be the cloth. It's the bloody cloth. Well, that's just going to sit there and annoy me. I have no idea what just exploded, but I got a skill point. I don't really know what I want, though. I'll hold on to that. Yep, you guys just take down that big pole. That'll really kill me. me get across here. I need to move some healing to my help bar there. Oh, hey, you guys found the place. zombie behind me, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> hey, a vending machine. You got any beer in there? It does. That's useful. Hello. You're gonna blow that car up, dipshits. Aha, no leg. No, I think my Mega Crush wore off. Make another one of those. There's a loot bag here as well. No, I got an abrasion. Take a first aid kit just to heal it quickly. You know, I never use Molotovs. Let's use a Molotov. Hello. That worked. Ow. I was mid-air. Dogs can't do that. Oh, look at you all. You're all on fire. It's a shame it does fuck all damage, but, you know, looks cool. Hey, okay, it's morning. Things are going to get a lot slower now. Oh, bullshit. You hit that pillar and you know it. Was this the police car they agitated? Seems to be. Uh, some 9 mil. Okay. I'm sure the cop just killed that lumberjack. 
I'm getting all my damn XP. Hello there. Ah, another fucking tourist. Anyone else still around? Doesn't seem like it. Some ammo. Let me go back to my base. I'll repair my armor and we can go and do the Aid the Afflicted quest. Right then, I have all the meds. Uh, where's some cloth? I might be out of normal cloth, but here's two. I can maybe repair my armor with that. Um, where's my research data? Did I leave it in the helicopter? I think I did. Give me one moment. I think I still need to clear that out, actually. Okay, so I have 210 research data, which is enough to make 21 of these books, which is a good amount. How many do I even need? Those. I need 30. Well, I'll need nine more than that in the end. That's good. Uh, let's get the helicopter, go over to that Aid the Afflicted quest, and see if I can also help out. Try to wreck some more. Other than the crossbow though, the main thing I need to do next is get a load of iron. I need to go find my truck. I've put it in one of my containers. Um, I need to get a load of iron so I can make like steel tools and the crossbow itself probably takes some steel, but also like a chainsaw and an auger is just something that's very overdue. These tools are kind of shit, but you can only do so much at a time. Especially when I'm limiting myself with like this very small crafting setup. By my standards anyway, I usually go for a lot more than that. Alright, let's see if I can figure out where I left my fucking truck. That was in the equipment box, that was easy, okay. Good job, me. So yeah, my biggest priorities are crossbow, lots of iron, and getting better armour, and then I also want to get the MRAP vehicle from the B-Dubs vehicle pack. Because it's desert themed, so I like it. Oh, and I need to find that one Pistol Pete book as well. Alright, here we are at the quest. For this one, all we really need to do is clear the area and then you put some stuff in a bag. It's really not that difficult. Some newspaper stuff here. Pistol Pete, the one I know. The paper. The Night Stalker that I already know. And a bar brawler. Eh, is this empty? Well, no. And one bow hunters, that's helpful. Wait, let's clear this place out. Some more bow hunters and furious fists. Forge Head, Reflex Sight, and another Bow Hunters. I have four points in Bow Hunters, so I am going to find a lot of those books. Egg Hitters, ooh. Another Bow Hunters. I'm going to end up wasting some of those books that I started crafting, aren't I? Let me grab the loot here. Another Pistol Pete, I already know. Starting to be a little bit insulting, honestly. Home Cooking Weekly, and then I need to go and put the meds that I brought into this bag. Hey, I think that turned into a bunch of stuff. I'm honestly not sure. Anyway, let's head back to Trader Wrecked and see what else we can do today. I need to level them up so we can reset some of the more useful PYs around here. Hey, Wrecked. I will take the glue. What other jobs do you have? Buried supplies, fetch, clear zombies. Let's take that fetch. We can do that very quickly. Mailbox. Urban combat that I already know. Working vending machine. Any rockbusters or anything? Oh, I could use all of this. Ranger's guide to archery that I already know. And get hammered. Boo. Let's get in here then. Some auger parts. That'll be useful soon. Hi there, Fettel. I think we're clear. I just need to get the satchel and the loot. Other urban combat I already know. Here we are. Let's head back to Wrecked and see what he gives us. I will take more pipe bombs. Let's do a clear zombies. Did you restock? No, you restock tomorrow. I no, the day after tomorrow, I think. That's fine. Right, well, let's head out there. The sooner we can get out of these tier 1 jobs and my mind can stop rotting away from under stimulation of doing these easy quests, the better. There's a mailbox here. Great heist. Ooh, it's one I know. And one I know. This is beginning to be a problem, I think. <laughs> it's always the last one you need. Another bow hunter book, at least. And another Ranger's Gate to Archery that I already know. Let's search this mailbox. Paper. And reset it. Search the mailbox again. Get hammered. Illegal. Ow, that was badly timed. And we're clear. Ooh, custom things. I don't think I have any slots for that, but those are very good, especially for my playstyle. They'll let me get like 100% mobility on military armor later, without needing to invest in the light armor perk. Oh, an iron shovel, finally. I've been using a fucking stone one for ages. <laughs> Too lazy to replace it. Well, that was underwhelming, but what do you expect from a tier one, really? 
Let's head back to Wrecked and see if we can get any more jobs done today. I feel much better about doing a buried supplies now though that I have an actual shovel. I will take the scope because they're kind of annoying to make. Let's take the buried supplies. I'm probably not going to do the food ones because they're a pain in the ass. You have to make like cornbread and stuff. I don't have the materials for that out here. Oh, it's going to be under the road, isn't it? That's annoying. Start this. Ooh, really? Well, I mean, I do have a good pickaxe. This might be fine. This is not going to be fine. <laughs> Um, better way of doing this probably dig under the sand here. No, oh, can I get some mods for this damn thing? Jeez, still can't one-shot it. What else do I have? Oh, we have a grave digger on this one. That'll do it. There we go. Now we can one-shot the dirt. That'll work. I just need to build myself like a little ramp to go under. That technically counted to any zombie spawn. Nope. Oh, okay. There, now we're inside the radius, or at least I'm digging inside the radius. Are you hiding back there? There we go. What do we have in here? Ooh, a blueberry pie. Okay. That's nice. I don't really care to fight these guys. <laughs> what do you have for me, Wrecked? Uh, Sniper 5. Yeah, it's good to know that the buried supply seem to be a decent source of the book, so I'll take Sniper 5. I want a ghillie suit eventually, so works for me. Is that all he has? Uh, what do the food jobs want me to do? Cornbread, grilled meat, and goldenrod tea. Are you selling those at all, Wrecked? That would make it a lot easier. Um, he is selling some corn, but is he selling any meat? Well, I could hunt something. Hang on, let me see. He's got some meat, actually. 50 per. That's not too bad, I guess, but that means 250 for a grilled meat. That is actually pretty shit, but I don't really care about the money. I'm just trying to get the quest rewards up. Wouldn't recommend you do this, though. And then for goldenrod tea, I can probably check his vending machine. Nope, that's unlucky. Um, I can probably get some goldenrod around here. Let me just double check him, see if he's got any already. Right, he doesn't. Let me get a campfire going. Got any stone on me at all? Yeah, I do. I'll make a plaster cast, apparently. Okay. Oh, you know what? I have four cornmeal already. I can probably already make the cornbread. I didn't need to buy that. Fuck. I didn't expect myself to have cornmeal. Why would I? Such a random thing to have, but whatever. We can work with it. So we want two cornbread and two grilled meat. That'll take five minutes to craft or something. Or six minutes, sorry. In that time, I need to go and either find a functioning vending machine. I also need to boil the water and find a goldenrod or just, you know, find goldenrod tea itself in a vending machine. Uh, the goldenrod plant is not going to be an easy find in the desert. It doesn't grow in the big clump like it does in the forest biome if you were unaware so it does kind of get slightly annoying to just magically have some uh i did find some earlier but obviously it's not on me now but fortunately they oh here we go i've got some in my truck never mind I'm gonna shut up because i'm dumb yeah so i did have some earlier i wasn't wrong okay now i just have to wait I'll set this to craft some goldenrod what do i do in the meantime i mean i can probably go around and look for stuff let me get the truck although i don't have much gas maybe i should run around I need feathers for later anyway. Let's let's just have a run around for a bit and see what's around. There's this building here. This could work. Let's find some stuff in here. A little bag. Just a hat. Oh, hey, potatoes. Have I searched this mailbox? Yes. Have I searched this mailbox? Yes. There's also some corn and potatoes in here, I think. Isn't there also a boar in here usually? I should probably get my gun out. Any boar home? Hello. Oh, yeah, he saw me. Hey, it's probably meat. There's also a chicken there. These are corn seeds, aren't they? Or is it corn meal? Corn seeds. Moonshine. Usually a boar and sometimes a chicken hiding in here. Hello there. Ooh, another boar. Yeah, I think that's all that's in here. Oh wait, there might be something hiding up there. I've never checked, I don't think. There's a vulture hiding up here. Ooh. It's all loot though. A weapons bag with a bow book. Cool. And some plastic, okay. I see something hiding up here. I did. There's something hiding up here as well. There's a bunch of very easy loot, but I think there's more crops to be stolen. Okay, so I've cooked up all the food. Let's head over to this quest. I don't know if I'll get the reward tonight, but that's fine. Let's start the quest. Who have I missed? Hang on, there's a zombie over here. Who's still alive in here? Oh, someone in that tower. Put this in here. And I got 60 shotgun shells and some money for it. And then we get the actual trader reward once we go back. Another customized thing, that's good. Let's head back to Wrecked and see if I can get the reward tonight, and then I'll head home, and I'll probably mine some iron during the night. Hey, Wrecked. Oh, the tier 1 complete. Okay. I'll take the water filters. It's more valuable than, like, 100 bullets, I'd say. And then we get the other reward, 
which I'll take the coal for. Got any special jobs? Trader Joel to the northwest. All right, so the wrecks will have tier twos uh, next time we come here, so that'll be helpful. That can reset a coal mine, I think. That would be really useful, obviously. But I'm going to fly home and crash into the street, which was all part of my plan, as I'm sure you're aware. Let's try that again. Anyway, I'm going to fly home and mine some iron during the night so i will cut to the morning for you okay so before i go out mining i read all those bow hunter books and then got a few more with the research data i had acquired we are done that now i need parts for this and the main issue is i'm probably gonna have the bow parts right yeah and then the steel i think i have as well yep easily duct tape as well i just put it over here i think leather why why even put leather in the recipe if it's only going to be three like why even waste my time with it but scrap polymers that could be a problem i have 41 of them after i built my two do collectors there let me see if there's any more lying around at all there is not so how am i going to get some scrap polymer let me think scrapping things would be the smart one but where do i want to go to do it Have some gas um I'm not sure. I guess I'll have a drive around and look for some scrap polymer then before I do some iron mining because I do want to get that compound crossbow. I do need some iron bolts though. Do I have any of those already? I have 107. It would be a good starting point, but I should get on some iron bolts in one of the forges. Let's maybe cancel that and ask for like 250 iron arrowheads. That'll do for a while. Add in the forged steel. Give this a tiny bit more fuel there. Got probably enough feathers i think so i should be good on that regard uh, are any of you made of scrap polymer these are i think they might be iron though no it was three scrap polymer either way it's not enough to do much for me place this down give it a refuel these are made of scrap polymer so that's a start these might have some scrap polymer in them yeah so i'm just gonna have a run around and look for scrap polymer stuff and see if i can get enough for my crossbow there we go, there's enough material, let's go and make this. Set it to craft, that'll take three and a half minutes, that's not too bad at all. My next concern is going to be augers, chainsaws, and a steel axe. So what can I do for these? I need mechanical parts, or motor tool parts, sorry. Uh, I need bicycle handlebars, and I need engines and steel. So I've got enough steel somewhere. Here we go. But bicycle handlebars, I doubt I have on me. Let me see what they take to craft. Uh, duct tape leather mechanical parts pipes again where are those pipes and springs not got many springs left but that's fine let me craft two handlebars because i'll need two and then the auger will just need handlebars and the chainsaw will also need an engine so let me go and see if i can scrap one of those there's a couple of cars still around here i think there we go finally another engine that took ages head back to base and start the crafting of the chainsaw and the auger then craft an auger and a chainsaw and take the crossbow as well Let's see what mods i can put on the crossbow here eight times scope can probably go on it an ergonomic grip would be good because it makes it tighten faster but i don't have a spare one i don't think oh is the eight times scope too big i have the two times scope at least where's that that works rad remover would be probably pretty smart i can also use like a structural brace just to boost the damage even if it isn't the most useful thing ever. If I got bolts on me. Yes. There we go. That is a massive upgrade now. If I can get a lot more uh, scrap polymer, I can definitely make some steel bolts. You just don't always find it to be the best use of your time for what you get from it, really. Oh, I had an engine in here. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, I've got another one for the MRAP later. That's fine. Um, so the auger and the chainsaw are doing their thing. I don't need them immediately anyway, but another thing I would like is a steel axe. Because my first of all my iron fire axe sucks but i'm not going to be carrying around the chainsaw with me i don't think or the auger they're going to be for when i actually want to go mining i will keep the steel pickaxe on me just until i find a better one but i really would like to force it to give me a better uh, axe because it is a pain in the ass so i need steel duct tape and leather hmm i might not have any duct tape left but i have plenty of glue so i can work with it what was the other thing i needed leather leather there we go and of course steel tool parts which I have surprisingly few of. Let's see how much cloth I can make here. Oh, I can make 31, that's cool. Wait, that's only three duct tapes worth. Oh no. <laughs> uh, what do I want to do for that then? Probably go see the trader, see what he has. Wait, surely while I was scrapping, I would have found a bunch of cloth fragments. Let me go back to my base and check that. That seems kind of dumb. Because I was scrapping a lot of cars, and I know you get a decent amount of cloth from that. I need to restart my game. I keep getting huge lag spikes. 
I don't know why, but in the past, like, month, the amount of, like, memory leakage in Seven Days to Die has gone crazy. Maybe it's some of the mods I have. I really doubt it would affect it that much. Maybe it's the map. Maybe there's something wrong with, like, setting it all to desert. It gets a bit confused. I don't know. Where's my cloth? I know it's here somewhere. There's no way I got no cloth at all. I could always scrap bandages. Ah, here it is. It's in my meds box. That makes sense in a weird way. Craft 10 duct tape. Just store the rest of this stuff away. Add the steel axe into here. Get the auger. Uh, where's the chainsaw? Get the chainsaw. Right, let's do some modding here. There, all my tools are pretty much covered in stuff that they can actually use. Now it's just a case of waiting for the steel axe to craft. And the auger and chainsaw are just going to stay here for when I really need a lot of those things. Although I'm considering... Hmm. Maybe taking the chainsaw and the auger and just abandoning the steel axe is a good idea. Because if I was to keep the auger and the chainsaw, yes, I have to keep gas on me. But I don't have to keep a shovel on me. So I could do that instead. And that would free up an inventory slot for, like, a grenade or something. Yeah, maybe we do that. Can I cancel the steel axe? Is it too late? Now we can cancel it, right? We've got my 50 steel back. Yeah, we'll just do this instead. So, the next thing I need to do is get good armor from Trader Hugh, probably, by doing quests. And I also need to get more steel for the MRAP, and I need to get the last Pistol Pete book, as well as the more sniper books. I haven't been keeping those, but that's not a top priority. But that's like kind of what I have to do for the rest of the playthrough. Let's go to Trader Hugh and see if he has any good quests. All right, I've restarted my game. Hopefully that'll improve the performance. Sometimes you just have to do that to seven days to die. Let's see what quests you have, Hugh. Infested clears. They're all kind of far away, but it doesn't really matter. Let's see, we've got the Flushing Rule Palace and we've got Judy Witch. Ooh. Judy Witch is a scary one, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, let's take the Judy Witch. I know it's scary, which means I'll be careful. Ooh, is that a bipod I saw? Gimme. They're good for crossbows. Right, let me go get prepared for this POI, and we'll go and do it. While I'm here, I've got seven more research data. Or, seven more books worth of research data. What do I even want for books? Nothing in particular, honestly. Maybe I should just go for food? Just because why not? Something I will eventually use either way. But all the important skills I have now. Unless I want to do rifle crafting, I guess. I have started slightly investing into perception, but nothing crazy, so I'm not gonna do that yet. Oh yeah, I have to get stuff for the POI. That's why I went there, not just for books. One moment. Alright, we're here at Judy Witch at the Tier 5 infestation. Let's hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> There's pumpkins here if I cared, but I really don't. So let's start this. Get my crossbow out. Now, I'm not fully stealthed because I'm only using, like, leather armor. Most of it doesn't have uh, mufflers on it. And I obviously don't also have the fifth rank of From the Shadows. But it'll be easier to stealth with a crossbow than it was before, I think, compared to my wooden bow. It'll actually one-hit anything I actually can stealth attack. It's just about not getting caught. Hello there. Oh, no, no, no. Tell you what, though, it certainly softened him up, didn't it? That was the easiest feral biker, or sorry, radiated biker I've ever dealt with. That's not true. I've one hit stealth killed them before, but I don't think I've done it recently. <laughs> now, this is the one with the dodgy guy always seems to notice you here so let's see if I can just very slowly sneak into it and hope it's not like a radiated biker. I think I don't have to worry about sneaking over trash. Let me just yeah I have that one good so I shouldn't really have to care about it. Oh there's the marker. Oh no he heard me. It didn't really matter. Yeah that's a difficult part to stealth for sure. <laughs> Ooh, can I one hit just like a regular radiated guy? Oh I can. At least some of them anyway. Well, that's a radiated biker. Good, he didn't wake up. So we want to aim for the head, switch to the SMG. It's not that bad, honestly. Using like 15 bullets to kill a radiated biker, I will take that any day. On this difficulty, anyway. There's a bunch of people out here annoying me. Oh, look, a lot of golden rod and chrysanthemum here. Good to know. 
the Judy Witch POI is covered in that shit. Don't really need a lot of it right now, but it's good to know it's there. Where's that bloody coyote? He's annoying me. Whatever, let's get back inside. The radiated bikers in here, though. Two already. That is not a good sign. This is going to be a difficult stealth. Ooh, almost woke them up. Definitely woke someone up. Ah! Ah! It's gonna be one of those rooms. Still, as long as I can come out with more ammo than I came in with, this is worthwhile. Whew. Yeah, I'm still not fully specced for stealth, but it's definitely making this a lot cheaper on the ammo. Who's still around here? Oh hey, you're just a regular zombie. Right, yeah, this fucking ladder is a death trap, and I refuse to die to it, so I'm just gonna do some really silly things here. Yep, they heard me. Oh, that's a lot of them. This may take us outside. <laughs> Definitely switch to the SMG for this one. Are they trying to break out the side? Oh, they're succeeding. If you can call it that. See why I was so cautious with that room? Very easy to get stuck on these ladders. Hmm. I kind of don't want to do that. I, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump away and see what else I can do. <laughs> See if I can break in anywhere sideways. Like, what does this lead to? Oh, it's metal. Oh, jeez. 15,000 health. There's no need. Hang on, I know this leads somewhere. Hmm. Let's see, this door? Oh, I saw a guy there. Hang on. That's a lot of red markers. I have a big grenade. Well, it would have been nice to stealth that room. Um, I don't think I wanted to do it the way the game wanted me to do it. Because the game would have had me come up there and be, like, trapped with them in books. Because the way the game wants you to do that is to come down the silo there and then come up here and basically fight all the zombies you just saw in that tight space whilst climbing a ladder, basically. It's a bit scary, and I would rather not do it. I'm not that kind of heavy-armoured character that can just fuck around like that. I have to play it with some intelligence, just a tiny little bit. Anyone else hiding up here? That doesn't look like it. A little bit of ammo. So this is the ladder, that, or not a ladder, sorry, the staircase that'll take you there. I would very much like to break this door. That's a much easier escape route compared to what the game gives you anyway. Anybody hiding there? No, that's books. Can I close this? Oh, I can, right. Show me the books. Crapping. Okay. So this room is about as unfun as a room can be. Um, There is not an easy way to do this, I don't think. Oh, I woke them all up. Just even putting a foot in there, I woke them all up. So I can break the door. Come on. I believe. You can do it. Damn, they're really struggling to get through that door. Hey, we're done. That wasn't too bad. The grenades did a good job of cleaning out all these spiders. Ooh, that can be very messy, though. Oh, you can, like, sneak into it this way. I should remember that. Okay. You can break in there and escape if you want. Right. What we got in these boxes here first? Some meds, some ammo and machete parts, and books I don't need. What's in the ammo pile? Some 44 ammo. That is ammo at least actually we want. Let's check the infested cache. Dark trap bundle. I will scrap it all for various amounts of iron. It doesn't really benefit me right now. And so much ammo. I think I left here with more 9 mil than I came in with at least, so that's good. I'm gonna check the actual loot in a second, but I'm I'm full right now, so I'll go put this away. So yeah, I made a profit of like 109 mil, which isn't bad considering how much I had to use it. Which is uh, mostly because radiated bikers aren't gonna go down to anything other than a good gun once you wake them up. I could luck melee fighting them on this difficulty. Didn't mean to read that, that's annoying. Right, they're just giving me lots of iron. <laughs> I would have preferred like an armor bundle game, but sure. Right, so let's drill this thing open. I don't know why I still have the seal pickaxe on me. That's a weird choice. What do we have in here? Seriously? <laughs> very shit tier 4 loot here. I'll grab that. Overall, a very good gain in ammo. That's what tier 5 infestations are for, for me anyway. I use them to get lots of extra ammo. The key is not using all your ammo to clear them. How do you do that? Well, bows help a lot. Or having a really, really durable, brutish melee combat style. That also works quite well. Let's head back to Trader Hugh. Wonder if that'll be tier 5 complete yet. What do you have for me, Hugh? And it better be good. Of course, it's a level 5 chainsaw. 
after I just made a level 5 chainsaw. Thank you, Hugh. Thank you. I will take the M60, though. That's a good uh, 762 dispenser. I don't really use machine guns in this playthrough, but I have a lot of 762, and this is good at shooting it out, so I will take it. Still no tier 5 complete. Uh, he doesn't have any other infestations, so... And I don't really have time to do on it anyway, so I guess we'll end this here. Uh, we got a bunch of good gear today. Finally updated on all this stuff in the background there that I needed. I was using some really shitty tools for a while there, but that's should be dealt with now. Uh, in the next episode, we will try and get up to tier 5 complete in the hopes that it'll give me like a military armor bonus bundle, which would massively improve my survivability in quite a few scenarios actually i would be able to put a lot more mods on my armor it'd be a lot more useful as well and then after that is the m wrap i also just want to take down loads of high level pois in this series so that'll be like what the the remainder of the series will probably be focused on hello and welcome back to seven days to die today we are going to be trying to get tier five complete with trader hugh because that will give me a chance just a chance at getting a military armor bonus bundle, which I think is like the most convenient way to get a good set of uh, the armor you want. Tier 5 complete is my personal favorite way of getting a lot of good armor, so that's what we're gonna try and do today. We need to wait for the trader to open, of course. I'm also gonna be trying to gather up at least the materials to make the M wrap here. I've got a stack of iron smelting into each of my forges for steel. That should help quite a bit. Let me go and make my way over to the trader. I should grab some extra food. This is not a lot. <laughs> Am I out of raw meat? That seems very unlikely. Here we are. It's in my other storage chest for some reason. I get some water as well. I could probably make a bunch of meat stews or something like that. Or let me check for the things you can use to make actual higher end food items like this. Let me get some cornmeal as well. Right, let me see what we can make now. I can make sham chowders. I can make eight of them. Damn, that is good food. Let's cook that. I need 30 minutes of fuel because I have no points at all in cooking, but that's fine. We also have these other ones here. What else can I make? I'll need an extra grill. Hang on, hang on. Surely I have an extra grill. Seriously, I don't have an extra grill? Lot picks. Right, let me just quickly craft two grills then, I guess. Weird thing to need at this stage, but whatever. Let's see, what can I not make that I want to be able to? I would need lamb rations for that. Do I really have none? Oh, I do have more. Here we go. Let's make two shepherd's pies, is it? Yeah, I've only got a couple of these hobo stews. We make three of those. What's the limiting factor? My corn, yes. Let's see this last campfire. If I was to make some... I don't need mushrooms. I've got some mushrooms, let's see. I've got five steak and potato meals there, that'll do for something. But if I was to make some cornbread, what would I unlock? What, like, that I'm missing. I could definitely make chili dogs if I had some cornbread. Let's add in those. Alright, that's a good amount of food anyway. In the meantime, for extra food, I do have these. Oh, there's a can of peas, that's actually useful. Cat food, pears, chicken and chicken soup aren't used in any recipes so if you get that just eat it it's not really worth saving so let's go and talk to trader hugh now you got anything good there hugh nah he really doesn't <laughs> okay what do you have do you have an infested clear there's one Fort bags let's take it i do enjoy tier 5 infestations they're faster as well let me go get a couple of things and we'll head out there Alright, here we are at Fort Bags. I really don't know what they're gonna do to this place to make it a tier 5 infestation. But let's find out. Oh, a chicken landed on a landmine over there, I think. So if I had to guess, I would say there's probably a lot of zombies around the trench. Like, that's how it usually goes. So, try and sneak attack a bunch of those if they even exist. There's definitely two. Oh yeah, there's more of you. Oh, was that a radiated guy? Well... Good to know my crossbow's amazing. Yeah, it was a radiated guy. There's another one. Oh, and another one. This is so unfair. I can't headshot the cop. His head's inside the terrain. I've been robbed. Right, he's gonna pop. I'm gonna go run through the minefield and sneak. Yeah, I stood on a cactus. I get some of my arrows back, or bolts, sorry. So is that the full trench cleared, or is there more? No, it looks like we're clear, right? So uh, this is like coming back to me. I know there's also some in this like little pit of bodies here, so I'm gonna try and get some headshots on them. No 
Okay, I think I got them all. Just want my bolts back now. Is there- oh, there's definitely people in this tower that answers my question. It looks like there's another one as well. Can I get a shot on him at all? I don't think I can get one while I'm aimed in. But I don't like my chances of getting that. There we go, if we just pull back a little bit, that'll work, idiot. There we go. Is there another one up there? Oh, there is. I see him. I don't know if I can see his head, though. I hit his body, at least. He's on his way. There we go, he's dead. Right. Is there another tower? There is. Probably want to try and clear that out as well. There's also a guy in this. I don't, I don't see a way I can kill him easily, but I'll try this. Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> I still got the sneak attack. <laughs> Works for me, I guess. Right, here's the real question. Can I get on top of this without waking up all the zombies in it? Oh, nice. Is there no one up there, really? That's unusual. Oh, I got a bunch of markers. That's slightly concerning. Oh, there is zombies in there. Well then, maybe I need to go up here to see them now. Yeah, they probably don't spawn in until you're in a certain position, so... I woke up someone beneath me trying to hit him, and I hit a bloody metal bar. They're, they're all dead, at least. Now, the nice thing is, these zombies probably don't actually know where I am, they just heard something. So if I sneak away, I'd still be able to get sneak attacks. I just need them to find the door, so that I can shoot them through it. Got one of them. It wasn't a sneak attack, though. Concerning. Yeah, looks like they still know where I am. But I'll just do this. I'll just try and be sneaky about it. I'll get a lot of these bolts back anyway, and they're not expensive. There's one down. He's dead as well. Yeah, they lost me. That works. Who's still hiding in here then? Oh, I see. Very surprised that didn't wake you up. How are you alive? Alright, so the next area, I guess, I need to check is this tent behind me here. I see battles, and my neurons are activating for a sneak grenade, so let's get it done. Oh, maybe aim there? Right, so where's the screamer that inevitably follows? Now, unfortunately, I did not get the full XP for that, but I can quite clearly see that I killed, like, four people. So that's good. Oh, I activated the guys behind me. Let's go loud. Not entirely sure how I activated them, but whatever. Is there a screamer? I mean, there's a solid chance she just runs into a mine anyway. But I'm very surprised all those barrel explosions wasn't enough heat. Right, so this final area, I am expecting what can only be described as a shit show. So, I'm not banking on stealth here, but I'll try it. I really need to get better armor before that's gonna work, though. Okay, opening the door didn't wake them all up, that's a good start. Going very slowly. There's one dead. There's a radiated guy, I think. Another guy dead. There is oh so very many of them. I woke up the one behind me, but he's hitting the door. Okay, we probably just want to run away and fight with a gun now. <laughs> there we go, that grenade got a lot of them. That'll help a lot. Who's still alive? Oh, hello. Wow, that was pretty easy. We used like one magazine to clear this place. Which means I should make a good amount of ammo profit here. Another dart trap bundle? Seriously? Well, at least I got like 309 mil. And I got an ergonomic grip, which you can't put on crossbows. Okay, you can only put that on bows, apparently. That'll give bows tighter accuracy. More ammo there. Let's try my lockpicks on this. Night Stalker and a little bit of ammo. Cool. Let's go get my quest reward. Hello, Hugh. An SMG5, which is worse than the one I have. But an impact driver would be quite nice, especially since I do have to gather up a bunch of stuff for the MRAP. And this is the upgraded version of the Ratchet, so makes sense to me. So he doesn't have any other jobs I want to do today because I only really want to do infestations because everything else takes too long. So maybe we work on getting the materials to make right, the MRAP. Let me get my truck and drive the loot home. I usually just leave the helicopter here because it's a bit of a pain in the ass to move around short distances if you didn't know. What with it being a helicopter. But yeah, that infestation was really good for ammo. I went out there with like 600 and I came back with what? Came back with just under 900. So that's a pretty good profit on ammo. That is why I love the tier 5 infestations other than the fact that they're also just faster. Also, sometimes you get really, really easy ones, like Fort Bags, where it's just like, they tried to make it really hard, but 
I would take that any day over a Red Mesa, or like the last sunset nursing home. So let me put all my loot away and then I'll see what I can do for the MRAP. So what do we need for the parts first of all? We need 400 forged steel, that's going to be the big one probably. We can order an extra 100 out of you. I might even have that much steel already. There's 60, but I know I've got more than that as well. 100 and whatever. So we need 80 more forged steel. That's just going to come on its own over time. Because I've got all of that crafting. So I need 75 mechanical parts. Doubt it. I'm going to be honest. Let's see. Oh, no, I've got 85 and I've got an engine. I'll know. I know I need that later. Duct tape. Glue. Yes, duct tape. Mm, maybe. There's enough for 16 duct tape crafted cloth-wise. There's 13 duct tape. That should be enough then. So if I just... Well, I'll use my workbench because my inventory's filled with scrapping. So that'll take me to... Yeah, enough duct tape. Unless you need some for the accessories as well. No, you don't. Okay, and then I need 50 leather. And I need 30 electrical parts, which I have somewhere. There we go. That's everything you need for the parts. What about the accessories? I need 10 headlights. I got that. And I need 60 short iron pipes. That I might not have. 46. We need pipes of all things. That's what's slowing me down. Right, well, let's go get some pipes then. Uh, where the fuck can I get pipes? Probably probably the motel, right? That's going to have a bunch of sinks and toilets in it, so that would make a lot of sense. Also, I don't think I've cleared this, so I'm just going to break in and kill everybody. Oh, here's the final loot room. Oh, there's beds here as well. Those are good for pipes. What is in the final loot? Some random shit and some more random shit. I already have enough pipes, so that's lucky. I'll just leave this whole building here as a source of more pipes nearby. You can also craft pipes. I do know that. I just don't want to. Okay, we can make the MRAP accessories then. Okay, well, during the night, I'm going to go out and I'm going to mine some nitrate because I will need to craft more gunpowder. I think my chemistry station is overdue on that. Uh, I've got enough coal, obviously, so I'm going to go mine some nitrate during the night and in the morning. We'll go out and we'll do, hopefully, another tier 5 infestation. If this hue doesn't have one, I'll go and check with the other hue on the other side of the world, because I really want to just level him up to tier 5 complete, so that I can get a chance at, like, a military armor bonus bundle, or, at the very least, if we get tier 5 complete, we unlock the potential for tier 6 complete, which is another chance for that. So, I will cut to the morning for you. All right, it's the morning of day 32. I'm basically just waiting for Trader Hugh to open. We've got enough steel for the MRAP at least. Uh, maybe I'll start crafting that. Is there anything else I need other than armor right now? Not really. Armor is the last thing I need. After that, it's just a matter of moving to a new base that I want to use and trying to keep up with the ammo as well as taking on high level PYs. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to go wait outside Trader Hughes to see if he has anything good. If he doesn't, we'll go to the other Trader Hugh. He has an infested clear here, NFD downtown HQ. Okay, so I will head over there, see what that's all about. All right, here we are at the I was stuck on something. Here we are at the fire station. You actually start in this diner. Start that, my crossbow out, and get started. That's a lot of red dots. All right, I see a radiated guy hiding behind that thing there. I missed, apparently. Oh, good, I woke one of them up. Can I even get a one-hit kill on a cop? I genuinely don't know. He's not even half health by that. Let's go outside, cop. I wake the other guy up? I did. It's not that big of a deal, though. Right, first room clear. Oh, good. I immediately woke them up. Don't you love doors? Did not bring enough ammo to be playing like that. Unlock this door. See if it leads anywhere. It doesn't seem like it. Oh, wait, no, it does lead somewhere. Hang on, didn't I see other rooms back here, though? Uh, nothing in there. Oh, I guess I was just seeing things. Right, let's go. What's going on in this area? I see a zombie. Let me jump up onto this. Someone else is here as well, apparently. Hello. This is the next room. That doesn't seem very safe. Let me try and do this very slowly. Alright, I'm not seeing anybody yet. I'm seeing markers, though. Are they under the floor, maybe? Oh no, I think they're up here. Where's the other guy? Oh, he's right inside the other one. Scrapping for fun. Don't really need that now that I've got a level 5 impact driver. I woke someone up. Where are they? 
Oh, hello. You're not even a radiated biker. Get out of here. Anything else down here? Eh, nothing significant. Let's continue. Oh, he woke up immediately. Ah, what the fuck? Game's bullshit sometimes. Let me hop up here real quick. I'll take a first aid kit for that shit. Can he even get up here? I don't know. Ah, well, he's dead. That answers that, I guess. Hey there. Some drop loot. What do we have? Armored up and some coffee. Oh, we're going onto the roof. That's never good. This POI is a difficult one to stealth. Where'd the other guy go? I'm seeing a bunch of red markers way on the other roof. Ah, hello. Some vultures. This POI is going to be a death trap, isn't it? Judging by how close quarters it is, which makes stealth harder and escaping even more annoying. I'm not going down that damn ladder. Ah, a radiated cop. Lovely. Yep, that was pretty predictable. <laughs> Even touching the door just woke them up. Loot bag. Some food. Okay, some books. Yeah, just paper. I don't really need books anymore, actually. I suppose I could collect armor books in case I never get that military thing, but crafting military armor is very expensive and annoying. Can I hit that? I can. It's going to explode now. Oh, there's another one. Hello. Okay, this is what? Like an escape route? Oh, this isn't an escape route. This is a trap. Yep. And it springs by you coming out here. I see dogs back there, though, that I want to deal with first. Alright, let's deal with these. Anybody a feral? I see a guy in there. Okay, so I do have an escape route now if I need it over there. And I got a quick look into that other area. There's some books here. Ah, nothing useful. This is locked. Oh, am I maybe supposed to go around this way? Ah, I see a door here. Yeah, that would work. Where are the other markers? There's a chicken over there. Hello there. Hey, two skill points. I think I was still going into perception just to get maxed out salvage ops. Not that I really need it, but I don't really need much in, in the way of perks right now anyway. Once you have your full agility build, I mean, what more do you need really? Some fortitude perks would be nice, but I also don't really care that much. Hello. So I'm guessing we want to go up this fucking nightmare thing then. Hello there. Everybody in here? Looks like it. Didn't immediately activate all the zombies in here, that's good. If there is even any zombies in here, but there usually would be in areas like this. Woke somebody up. Oh hey there. Okay, well, if I've woke you all up, I might as well shoot you. Alright, out here then, a rope ladder, eh? That's always a good way to trap the player into getting killed. Good luck coming down a rope ladder when you're being chased by a million zombies. I'm guessing this is where I'm supposed to go? I'm sure I've done this, but I can't remember doing it, so... I basically haven't done it before. I see their feet. That is concerning. I don't know if that's... Oh, I know what that is, yeah. Really? Yeah, I can't actually do much to them, because they got shit in the way. There we go, they just all woke up. Let's just get the gun out. So far, so good. We're actually in the fire department now. Getting close to the end, I have to imagine. Where does this lead? Oh, just another escape room. Okay. Oh, this is the end right here. Okay. Hello, zombie. I missed. Eh, that's not too many markers. Oh, I woke him up, I think. How dare you live. Oh, I shot the other guy in the leg while the other guy was waking up, so now I'm not getting any kills with that. Right, so there's one left. Hiding in here, presumably. And we're clear. That wasn't too bad at all. I lost a lot of crossbow bolts, though, because cops tend to eat them when you shoot them at them. Let's see what loot we get. Uh, another dart trap bundle. Are you taking the piss? It's like three in a row. Give me something better. There's so many good rewards for these and I'm getting dart trap bundles. Really? Right, let me try my lockpicks on this. Oh, I didn't bring any. Well, let's try the lockpick on it. Mm, a bunch of somewhat useful things. Right, let's head back to Trader Hugh. I had to restart my game before I did this quest because of my performance. 
was absolutely dying and it always helps to just completely restart seven days to die because i'm convinced it just doesn't unload half the world when you go past it and it just stays forever until he like it dies so i restart my game pretty often which means i'll have new quests every single one of the zombies i've seen in these streets by the way in the in the downtown desert biome what the fuck you don't see many of those running around yeah every single zombie i see feral What a place to be. Even he's feral, look. Watch the XP. The 800 XP, he's feral. Right, let's take the helicopter and go back to Hugh. See what we can get. If I get another bloody dart trap bundle, I swear to God, though. And we're back at Trader Hughes. Let's see what he has. Oh, I'm hungry. Tram chowders. None of these are particularly good. I already have a level 5 auger. I already have a level 6 M60 sitting around somewhere. Uh, but it's probably the most valuable, right? Which is... Uh, either works. I'll take the M60. Finally, we're done. And there's no fucking armor bundle. My life is ruined. I may never recover. This is another really shit bundle. Because I really don't need a gyrocopter. Now, do I? <laughs> Melee mods I don't need. Range mods I don't need. Solar bank completely useless. Shotgun turrets completely useless useless another completely useless bundle selection hmm i guess the solar bank because it is like the rarest thing so if i do find myself needing one for some reason i will have one at least but i know i'm not gonna need one I'm wiring are these sellable no they cost you like 50 bajillion dukes but you can't sell them well i've got them if i need them that is very disappointing well you know what since i'm not getting the armor in this video still why is armor like the one thing i can't get um, let's go and see how that MRAP is doing. Maybe we'll get that. I need to make some kind of progress in this video, otherwise I'm going to be sad. Right, so we've got 53 minutes on the MRAP, um, parts. What about the accessories? What do we need for those again? That only takes, like, a minute to craft, so I didn't bother, like, getting that started. Uh, let's see. Electrical parts, headlights, and pipes. Do I actually have the wheels for this? Now nah, I've got plenty of wheels. I'm good. MRAP accessories, that'll take a minute. We can add that in. So in an hour, we'll get that. That's fine. Uh, it'll give me something to progress in today's video. I think I could get lucky with a tier 5 infestation, or maybe a tier 6 infestation, and get, like, a military bonus armor bundle, or whatever order those words come in, in one of the end loots. But I don't know if i should try and rely on that i really don't even want to step foot in real tier fives until i have good armor because it's more and more likely that you're gonna get bonked over the head in there and i've only got 40 percent armor rating on insane difficulty that's fucking nothing i need like at least 65 right well i don't really have any quests i want to take i don't have time to go and see the other trader hugh so i'm just gonna spend the night waffling around in here and tomorrow we can get this mrap built and do probably another tier five infestation if i've got time to do it so yeah i'll cut to the morning again Okay, so it is the morning. We got 20 more minutes on the MRAP and the other part is crafted. So I guess it's just another case of waiting for Hugh to open and doing another quest. But maybe I want to do some closer quests so I can come back in time to see this and have it done by the end of the day. While I wait for Trader Hugh to open, how are my uh, do collectors doing? Uh, just one? Okay. I mean, I can contribute to the tier six complete by doing any tier of quest. It does not have to be uh, tier five infestations or tier sixes or anything like that. We can just do some local jobs while we wait for the MRAP. So I'm going to wait for Trader Hugh to open and then we'll do whatever he has that's relatively close. That would be nice. What do you have today, Hugh? Nothing good there. These are all surprisingly far away. I'm not going to lie, Hugh. We got some tier ones. I mean, they would count. A bit boring, though. Where's the nearest tier three? God, they're all so far away. Yeah, uh, you know what? I'll take an infested speed clear at the mortician's house. I don't care how much ammo I spend doing it, it'll be fun. And I'll do it quickly because it's a speed clear. Alright, here we are at the mortician's house. Let's reset it. And we need to kill the zombies on the outside first. 180 seconds? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> this is a tier 5. <laughs> the Red Mesa gave me 20 minutes. Really? I wonder if it uses tier 4 timings. If so, that's mean. It's like, it's a big house. <laughs> right, outside is clear. Let's head inside. Got two minutes to do this. Holy shit. It just doesn't feel possible. Uh, 
Well, there goes my time, I think, because they're not going to take two seconds to get to this door. Definitely get silver, though. It's actually surprisingly doable, all things considered. I had just, um, uh, like, blasted my way through that. It actually could have been done. Still feels weird that you don't get tier 5 time to do a tier 5 quest, even though it's a tier 4 POI. Security camera bundle? Insulting. Take the ammo, though. Still made a profit, even with the spray and break. Hey, you. Ah, the Ameli. It's better than the M60, at least. That's a better way of disposing of all my 762. You could also get a level 6 impact driver, though. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. <laughs> uh, my silver award. Hmm. Honestly, pretty shitty. I'll take grenades. Here, have your impact driver back. Let's go see if the MRAP's parts are done. We got two minutes on the MRAP parts, that's fine. What else do I need for an MRAP? Uh, wheels, battery, gas. Um, an engine. I still have that one lying around somewhere. Here we go. Oh, we need two batteries for it. Okay, that's fine. I've got plenty of those. And then we need the accessories and the parts. The accessories are here. Parts are going to be another two minutes, so I'll just wait for that to be done. Here's the parts. Let's construct the actual MRAP and come back in just a minute for that. There we go. It's finally done. There it is. It's like the Humvee, but bigger and more armoured. And also a ridiculously large fuel tank. I think just ate 16,000 gas. Casually. Um, its main thing is having lots of health. I am very curious. I think it gets extra storage as well. I am very curious to see what that translates to with all the vehicle changes. Like, if I crash into a stop sign, is it still going to be, like, 10% damage or what? Yep, still like 9% damage. Thanks, fun pimps. Even the mods are like this now. <laughs> it must be percentage-based thing, because this thing has 12,000 health. That's a lot of health for a vehicle. It's more than the 4x4. I think the 4x4 has like 10,000 or 5,000. Big difference there, but it is one of those two. Either way, this obviously should have more health. Uh, the main advantage to vehicles like these, by the way, is multiplayer. I build them because I like them, but in multiplayer, this thing has like 6 seats. So you can get people around quite efficiently with it um, because you've got all these seats completely protected on all sides so if you were doing like PvP you wouldn't have to worry about getting sniped out or anything uh, and you could get a lot of people around much more gas efficiently. I just like cool vehicles so I build them. This is not the most strategically optimal thing to have. I'm also considering building the LMTV because I'm pretty sure it has more storage. It also has six uh, vehicle slots I think. And the reason I would want any kind of extra storage is because I'm going to have to move all of my loot to the ranger station once I find the one I want to take over. And it would help to have a lot of extra storage. But I'll need to double check before I go making yet another desert themed vehicle that the LMTV actually does have more storage than this. Otherwise, what's the point of it? Other than looking cool in a garage, I guess. Now, what does it take to make the LMTV? Uh, 450 steel is, is pretty much the same as most other vehicles in this thing, except it takes a lot longer to make the parts than the other vehicles. It takes like 70 minutes total, rather than like 80 minutes to make one thing and then one minute to make the other thing. So I guess it's shorter and longer in that sense. Can this thing even fit under my little garage area here? Yes, it can, although it will stick out the top, but I don't mind. <laughs> here we go. I now have two large deserty vehicles. I'm probably just going to leave the Humvee here because it's pretty much just this but worse. I think it uses less gas maybe, but eh, who cares really. So we got the MRAP. In the next video, I will continue trying to get better armor by doing high level quests. Even if I can't actually get bonus armor bundle from a quest reward or a quest tier reward, sorry. There is always the possibility of getting a good... Even just level 3 military armor would be fine. There's even the possibility of getting that in just a normal quest. Like a, a, an infested clear can just have a military armor bundle in its rewards. But it's being very annoying and not giving me it. But yeah, we'll try and get that in the next episode. We'll also have to do a horde night in the next episode. Which, according to my game stage, will probably have demos. But it's not that big of a deal because I don't have a base anyway. So what are they going to do? Destroy the roads? I don't care. I fly most of the places I go. What happened to this? Why are they so heavily damaged despite being basically full health? What happened here? 
be very odd. I wonder if it's some vultures or something. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die today. We are going to be continuing with the high level quests that we were doing before because I still want to try and get the tier 6 complete to try and get a good armor bonus bundle. But before we do that, I do need to address a quick comment I've been getting on some of the other videos about Pistol Pete. And you guys are correct in the in a version of the research mod, you can craft generic skill books like Art of Mining, Automatic Weapons Handbook, whatever you want to make. But I chose not to install that version of the mod because I don't mind normal skill books. They've been a part of the game for a very long time. They, they're a perfectly fine mechanic. You find books, you get a cool little bonus. It's whatever. It usually isn't too much of a big deal to get all the ones you want. Sometimes you end up like this where you've been trying to get the specific completion bonus that you want and it's just not cooperating like it is with Pistol Pete. I don't mind that though, that's just part of the game. I despise the learn by reading system though, and that's why I installed this version of the mod. So I can't do that, but thank you for your comments letting other people know at least that they can probably do that in their own worlds if they're playing with the mod, but I chose to use the harder version of the mod. So we want to go to the trader, see what quests he has, and see what high level quests I can get done in this episode. With the goal of getting better armor, probably not in this episode because I doubt I'm going to get a tier 6 complete in just one session, but we can get a good chunk of the way in there and see what other things I can get at the same time along with that Pistol Pete book that's absolutely terrorizing me. It might be worth going to all the different traders and seeing what they have as well, but I'll need to do some quests today, do the Horde Night tomorrow, and then probably do the trader thing. Hey Hugh, what jobs do you have? Tier 5 infested speed clear, 3 kilometers southeast. NDC checkpoint 4, I'll take that. Let me grab the helicopter and some extra ammo because it is a speed clear, so I'm just gonna go in there with the Seika 9 and just send it. Use as much ammo as I need to to get it done quickly so I can get the gold reward if possible. So I'll get all that and I'll head out there. Alright, here we are at the checkpoint. Let's uh, hop over the fence. Uh, I really... Oh, there is a zombie there. That answers my question. I was like, I'm sure there's zombies in here. Let's clear them out before I start it. Well, ow. They can hear somewhere? Oh, hi there. Okay. This is going to involve a tremendous amount of violence, isn't it? Good. I like that. Okay, no one's in that tent. Okay, no one's in that tent either. Anybody at these, by the way? Anybody hiding in this kitchen thing? Looks like a no. Anybody hiding in here? No, I've already been there, I think. Anybody in this tower? Nope. Let's hop over the fence. Ow. Someone left barbed wire there. Hello, millions of zombies. Is that a screamer I hear? I guess not. How dare you live? I'm guessing this activates more zombies as well. Oh no, that's the loot. The zombies are in here. You break through that already? Ah, gold. Pretty good one for getting gold, so that was pretty easy to do. Oh, there's a screamer one second. Not you, where's the screamer? No, she's hiding around here somewhere. There's another one behind me. Where'd you go? Skill point. Oh, hello. 
Casual fat lumberjack. Is there any more screamers? There will be soon if I keep doing this. Ooh. Someone's still around here. Hey, let's see what loot we got in here. Invested cash. Blade trap bundle, really. And an L cal, okay. Military chest with some stuff in it. Of varying usefulness. More ammo. More ammo. And hey, some level 6 leather armor is an improvement, but I really want military. And let me all go this open. Too scrapping for funds, otherwise nothing much all that helpful. I'm more interested in the quest reward. But there is some more looting things I want to find in here. Med cabinet. Pile of books and a filing cabinet. Scrapping for funds. I really don't need those anymore, but let's just read them to clear up the loot table. Hammer book. Ooh. Demolitions book. Uh, oh, another bookcase back here. Sharp sticks. Straight to jail. Engine. Okay, I think that's all the containers in here. Let's fly back to Trader Hugh. See what rewards I get for doing a tier 5 infestation as a gold level. Alright, Hugh, what do you have for me? <laughs> Nothing helpful. I can probably sell him that chainsaw, though. Later on, at least. Level 5 nail gun. I'll take a nail gun because... I might need one. I seriously doubt it, but maybe if I want to upgrade, like, my house or something, I should take a nail gun, right? It's not top priority, though, and I'll take exploding arrows any day. Tier 5 speed clear. What is it? Cam weight. Ugh, I'd rather not. One of the worst. Oh, definitely not that one. What is a tier 5 clear food? Like, what does that entail? Oh, I am not making any of that anytime soon. <laughs> Let's just cancel that quest. Okay. Have you got anything else, Hugh? Maybe some decent tier 4s? Tier 4 speed clear, 5k ammo away. Infested tier 4 speed clear, super yeah, savage country. I'll do that. That is going to be very interesting. I'm going to have a very short amount of time to do that, aren't I? That's fine. Let me take the look back to my base. I'll get some more ammo. And we'll head out there to the super savage country speed clear infestation. I was just coming over to Trader Hughes here. Uh, he's really close to the quest that we were going to, 360 meters. And he has it, finally. So that is something... I can certainly kick off of my to-do list, and I can now make 9mm ammo efficiently. So let's go and do the actual quest I was coming here to do. Alright, here we are. Let me drink a Mega Crush. It does really help quite a lot. Have I got contact nades? I do. Let's get in here. 90 seconds, jeez. Okay. Gotta be very, very fast then. Oh, I fell. That's annoying. Yeah, gold seems unlikely now. Ah, I activated the zombies in here. That might help a lot, actually. Nah, there goes the gold. And they want to go around for some reason. Let me deal with the rest of these guys first. I... No, that's not going to work. What if I jump up here? Damn it. You just break a brick wall. Where was that? Oh, there goes my silver as well now, because I fell down that stupid hole. Because it's so, it takes so long to get back around this side of the POI. Where the hell did they go? Oh my god, they went outside. You're kidding, there's still someone in there? Okay, there goes my bronze medal as well then. Who the fuck survived? This is one of the worst POIs to speed clear, apparently. Oh, some random guy left back here. Thanks, game. Random stuff. Let me bash open this. Nothing much in there. Right, well, let's go back to Trader Hugh and see what I get for that. Even without any bronze, silver, or gold rewards, I should still get something decent. It's mostly just about the quest progression, though. A tier 5 and a tier 4 done in one day there is worth, like, 9 points towards your completion. So that should be quite helpful. 
Right, I got back in time to get a reward from Hugh. Let's see what he wants to give me. That is not a good selection of rewards, considering I have a crossbow. Uh, I'll take the banded armor plate mod, though. I will need it when I get my good armor. And he has nothing else I want to do today, so I'll just wait until tomorrow to take another quest. And I'll also go around and speak to the traders. Oh, well, I don't need to speak to the traders anymore. Although, at the same time, I kind of do, because I want to see if any of them have a tier 4 gun yet, but I honestly kind of doubt that they will. But would it really hurt to go and check? For those of you that don't know, the Isaiah's weapons packs do often have tier 4 guns, and in many of the mods, it is loot or trades only, so I couldn't craft them if I wanted to. Uh, I could go and see Joel, or the mechanic trader, Jen, wrecked. Actual Joel and another mechanic trader, the Bobs down there. I've already met Wrecked and Hugh for that Joel as well, and this Joel down here. So there's a good amount of traders to go and see. I have plenty of money, I have things I could buy from them, but at least I don't have to worry about Pistol Pete anymore, and I can get full steam ahead on crafting as much ammo as I could possibly need. Because now I can maximise my gunpowder by crafting it 20% more efficiently, and I can maximise the amount of 9mm ammo I get by crafting that in bulk as well, which is a big efficiency boost on the amount of coal I'm using, which is a very, very precious resource in a biome that doesn't have much natural coal. So in the morning we'll go out and see the traders and then probably get a job from one of the Hughes as well, just to contribute towards my completions. Alright, let's see what Hugh has in terms of jobs really quickly. Um, tier 5 infested speed clear, as well as an infested clear. Let's take the close one, I'll do it later. I first want to go and visit all the other traders, see if they have any good guns. So let's head over to the first trader, the mechanic. Although, you know, the place is very close to where I'm going anyway, so I might just do that and then return the reward on the way back. Alright, trader mechanic, what do you have? He doesn't have a gun, it doesn't look like- oh no, wait, here's a, it's in a weird- He has Seiken 9s, that's pretty cool, the PPSH 2000, is that? Is that an SMG? <laughs> it looks like an SMG, it's a PPSH, right? I need to double check that, because I don't want to buy that and find out it's an assault rifle. Uh, Isaiah Firearms Pack, 9mm, is that what that is? It is. PPSH 2000 is the tier 4 SMG. I kind of thought so, but I wanted to be sure. That would have been, like, awful if I'd got it wrong, so let me eat. Do you got a vending machine? Like, do you- oh, hello. Some stuff flying around here. Yeah, vending machine, do you have one? I would like to see if you have any awesome sauce, because that is a very expensive purchase if you haven't noticed. Let me have a quick look around before I do anything. I don't think he does, and I could very well be wrong about that, <laughs> but unless I see one on the way back up, I'll just buy it with sugar butts and a magnum. It's still a decent discount. I've got a cigar as well. No, I'm not buying it for a full price by any means. It's just a very expensive weapon. Which makes sense, because it's supposed to be better than Dear Lee's. I don't think he has a vending machine. He is a vending machine, to be fair. What's hiding back here? Is this his bed? Okay. Let's eat the sugar butts. Oh, you know, I forgot to bring 9 mil. I think I picked up 762 instead, so we'll have to go back to my base anyway. Um, PPSH 2000. Tier 4 at level 5 is good enough. 36,000 dukes. Oof. That shit hurt. But it's probably very good. 60, yeah, it does like two more damage, bigger magazine size, even faster fire rate, and this thing already had a disgusting fire rate. It's got even more durability. You can only have four mod slots though, that kind of sucks, but it should be fine, I wasn't really using a muzzle break anyway. Oh, this is a weird looking thing, we're in the dark. Why is it so dark? So, <laughs> this is the only light source I have around here. Interesting, so... This is a tier 4 SMG. Let me go back to my base and get some actual 9 mil and we'll come back and do that quest over there that's actually on an island. God, this weather's shit. Hopefully that clears up before I do anything. I don't have to go and visit the other traders now. I'm quite happy with the one gun I have. Not that I can afford to buy any other ones now anyway. At least I'll have something to work towards again, having enough money to buy one of those things if I see them. There is also the Scorpion Evo 3 and the... D96 as tier 4 9mm weapons. I'll probably wait to loot the other two, unless I get lucky with one of the traders and just have a load of money as well. Damn, this thing can really hold ammo. 80 shots? Oh my god. Right, let's head out to the quest. Alright, here we are at Fort Camo with the new gun. Accelerated Annihilation, we gotta do it quickly. I'm familiar with the POI at least. So let's get started.
Ah, uh, books. I destroyed books. The sacred text. Turn that on. Or open that, sorry. Come over here. Right, there's still more zombies. I got 90 seconds, so that's good. I like this gun. Oh, a food bundle. That's at least something. There we go. There's a screamer outside, but I kind of don't care. What do we have in here? Meh. Nothing amazing. Basically broke even on ammo. Hello. Or I did until those turned up. Jeez, hi. Do you mind, like, dying, please? Alright, where's my helicopter? I'm over here. Let's go see what we get for a reward. What are you gonna give me for that, Hugh? Fuck all! I'll take the super shotgun ammo, though. Hey, some military leg armor, that's something. And I'll take more exploding arrows, because hee hee hee. At least I got a first piece of military armor as a start. Right, well, this is going very well. I have a new gun, and I even got the Pistol Pete book. Now what I need to do is produce mountains of ammo. So I'm gonna go and get some stuff started here. I don't think I have time to do many more quests today anyway. Let me do something real quick. One point in perception, another point in salvage ops, and let me bring some stuff over my base. All right, so the first thing I need is just a good amount of repair kits because this is getting kind of annoying. So, ah, my, my chemistry station is a bit occupied for the next two hours, but we can work with something. Let's see, I got some glue there. Oh, I'm not gonna have any cloth, am I? Ugh. There's 66, that's enough for six pieces of duct tape. There's two duct tape in there as well. I'm scrapping a bunch of bandages at this point. Is there any cloth stuff in here? I was just at a super savage country. I should have raided it for its stuff. Well, I know the coordinates, so I can always go back later. But there's some cloth, but I need bones now. Bones are here. Water I have been keeping a decent amount of. I can make 71 glue. Let me stop that. Put some extra fuel in this. And then queue up a bunch of stacks of gunpowder. Uh, give me those. While I wait, I need more forged iron as well. I don't think I have any. I should have some spare... Ah, there's two in here, but I need more than that. Where's some iron? Smelt some of that. And smelt some of this. I'll need... Oh, I've got loads of forged iron in here. I knew I had some. So I've got some ammo crafting supplies there. Let me grab these. Right, so... Like a couple of pieces of duct tape. Ah, oh, I put the cloth away. Oh, I tried to smelt it, I see. And that would do it. <laughs> right, so ignoring the repair kits for just a moment, what have I got in terms of ammo crafting supplies? Plenty of gunpowder, obviously. But I'm short on bullet casings and bullet tips, I think. But let me check my other containers here really quickly for those. Alright, we have something at least. In here, I just want regular old 9 mil. There's 11 boxes of it. Nice. So that's 1,109 mil. I need more bullet casings of all things. I should have a bunch of brass lying around ready to smelt, other than just my dukes as well, but I'd rather get rid of this first. Here's a bunch of brass. Take that out for now. Take out the clay for now as well and just split this. Give that a load of fuel. And that should get me a decent amount of ammo. I might need to go get more lead later as well, but that's fine for now. Uh, how's the glue doing? A bunch more glue. So I can make... 14 more repair kits. That's a good amount to add to my pile there. I think I'm going to go mine some lead. Actually, do I even have any extra gas? I do. Cool. I'm going to go mine some lead. So I'll be able to make more bullet tips. Because that is going to be another factor. Do I have any lead? I don't I don't actually remember if I've been mining lead or if I marked the lead at all. Um, Is there a blue dot anywhere? You're a blue dot. That'll work. Oh, this is a double blue dot. Let's do that. Lead. I'll take out my um, truck to that. Right, so I'm going to go dig some lead probably up until just about Horde Night. In fact, not even till just about Horde Night, till I've got like a stack of it 
and then we'll get all my stuff I need for Horde Knight and we'll go somewhere new for Horde Knight. Alright, I got a stack of lead. Let's get all the stuff I need for Horde Knight and go find somewhere to do it. This is almost done doing brass. Let me just switch these over. Alright, so I want to get a bow. We've got my 556 five, weapon that I use just to spew that kind of ammo out. And I've got a 762 weapon for similar reasons. I've got a shotgun that's probably more of a liability at this stage. We just get there's just so much 762. I have so much of it I can't use. Get some of that. But I mostly just want to keep burning through all the ammo. It's just taking up so much space to save my resources for like POIs and stuff. But I'll, I'll definitely bring some some amount of uh, actually usable ammo. Uh, let's see if I got mods for the this thing. We got drum mags. Yeah, there's mods in here. Let's get some mega crushes. Let's get some beers. I have to put down some damn ammo. I don't need crossbow bolts and I don't need shotgun ammo. I know I'm putting these in the food box. It's fine. Um, where were the explosive arrows? This is why I got those for uh, Horde Knights, but I put them in the wrong box, I think. Here we go. Last thing I need is just some vitamins. And maybe a splint or two in case I break a limb. Right, so where do I want to do the Horde Knight? My first instinct is to say over here. I don't think I've done it in this town, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm doing it mostly with this uh, Tier 1 and this M60, just because so much ammo, and this thing can easily get rid of all that ammo. I should go get some recog. That would be wise. A few bottles of recog. Let me get some extra drinks. It's fine. I will drop some of this stuff off at a truck so I don't have to carry it all around. Have I got extra water? Not really. Um, well, the mega crushes should help and the mineral water should do as well. Can this use explosive arrows? Yeah, that would have been annoying if it couldn't. Right, let me head over to the helicopter. We'll fly over to that other town and we'll do the horde night over there. Alright, here comes Horde Knight. Let me queue up a couple of vitamins. Let me queue up like three Mega Crushes as well. It's a bit wasteful, but I have a bunch of these because I've been stocking up on them, so I don't really care that much. I'll wait for the beer though. Those are still kind of hard for me to get. Yeah, I'll take one recog right now. That'll make up for the fact that I have no points in machine guns. So now I will wait for the Horde. Alright, here comes the Horde. And get off the Combine Harvester. Where are the zombies? Ah, there you are. Still very effective for not being a weapon I'm spec for. Could be better though. They're not the most accurate in the old hip fire department. It'll do. Ow. Wonder if I can get them bunched up on the combine harvester for a couple of easy kills with the bow here. That's right, swarm. Ow. They can climb the combine harvester. Noted. That works though. These are so good. Where the hell did she hit me? Alright, first hour survived. Vultures? No. Oh, it's a radiated vulture as well. Didn't really help it very much though, did it? I can get stuck on this car. That was very effective. Hang on, I see a vulture. There we go. Hey, this thing's still standing. I'm clump up on something really quickly. <laughs> Oh, they make it too easy. Ow. Did I even drink the beer? I don't think I did. Well, it hasn't really bothered me too much so far, so let's just keep going. Framerate's getting kind of shitty over here. I'm going to go back to the field. This is an excellent way of getting rid of all this extra ammo I have. What the hell 
all happened over here. They took down the sign. Those bastards. It was a monument. Have you no respect? You know, I'm surprised I'm not seeing any demos yet. I'm going to check my game stage. Let me jump up here. And then on to here. Oh, frame rate to low. Uh, game stage is 148. So we might not actually see demos. We're just barely outside the range of that, I think. about halfway through Horde Night, still going strong. This is way more fun than fighting from a base, by the way. I know that's subjective, but definitely for me, this beats it every time. And you don't have to build a base. Even better. No, this needs repairs. Let me switch to the assault rifle for a while. Got plenty of 556 I need to donate to a good cause. Mostly their heads. as well as their chests and legs and pavement behind them and various pieces of infrastructure. Few into my own toes, maybe. Let me put my other healing down here. Oh, this broke as well. Okay, time to repair them both, because I still have plenty of ammo for both of them. Oh, I didn't mean to repair the auger. <laughs> I hear a demo in there. Might have been a lumberjack. Oh, I'm thirsty. That sucks. Let me drink another Mega Crush. Yeah, I was running out anyway. Cops are only just showing up, and that's good. They're really annoying. This thing is not very effective, but it is also a tier 1 gun, so... What can you expect, really? Wonder how sturdy this thing is. That's the gun broke. To the M60. Oh, there is demos. Hello. Activated him. Good job. Oh yeah, no, just do like a just do like a hundred damage with one hit, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, no, that's just how bikers are, the fucks. Let me eat that for a safe kit. I woke up all the zombies inside, but who cares really? I'm sorry, were you using those legs? My bad. Oh, this thing's still here. Wasn't even trying to get back here. Works for me though. Let's come close. I have a fun thing for you all to see. That's right. Keep running towards me, and then... Whew. And then another one, maybe, just into the middle. There we go. There are in-game minutes to go. Ow. 
I don't think I've killed the pin on that grenade. <laughs> it was a large explosion. And Horde Knight's over. I've survived. I'm out of here. You know what? I'm going to spend the rest of my 762 on these survivors. Oh no, my armor's weakened. Where's my helicopter? This way. Alright, I'm out of 762. This gun's broken. I'm out of here. Ah, you can't fly. Sucks to be you, I guess. Look at them. Just sitting there. Idiots. Right, let's go home. I need to get some of my gear stashed away. Uh, I didn't use any 9mm that night, so that's very efficient for this stage in the series. Uh, I used all of my 7.62 though, but I really wasn't using it, so that's good. Okay, so the Horde Knight has been survived. We got that brand new gun, which I'm very excited to really test out in later POIs. Just need some good armor now. And then after we've gotten the good armor and I've taken on some hard POIs, I want to move houses because I need to live in a ranger station. It's Desert Ranger. It's the point of it. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today we are going to be continuing with the high level quests. I want to get tier 5, no tier 6 complete sorry. I think I've done like 4 and I need to get probably 5 or 6 more done. Which might not even be done in today's video but I'm going to keep powering through with it because it needs to be done. But one thing I'm going to start doing as well is get some more money. Okay, this is like all the money I have, my 10k jukes there, but I do have a bunch of old guns I can sell, which will help me get a little bit more money. The reason I want money is because I want to buy some forgetting elixirs so that if I get a good tier 6 complete, I can do a little respec thing and get double the rewards from Daring Adventurer, which I'm not actually using right now on this build. So let's go see if Hugh has any good jobs first. There's an infested speed clear at the Judy Witch again. Well, we can do that. It is a bit repetitive, but it's also probably the best way to do it. Infested speed clears give you the best rewards for your time, in my opinion. Definitely infested tier 5s anyway, because the ammo you get at the end should mostly make it an even experience for your ammo. Uh, and if you can do it quickly, you can get really good rewards from the quest mod we have installed. So that'll be good. I'll get the helicopter and we'll head over to Judy Witch. And I'll try not to die. Alright, here we are at Judy Witch. Again. Those damn zombies have reinfested it, but let's just get in there. We've got 180 seconds. Oh, they're going to chase me outside. Need to make sure they don't get behind me, obviously. There we go. That went well. As usual though, I would like to not go in the really suicidal way. Oh, there's only a few zombies in there this time, it's usually like 10. Oh, you're still alive. There we go. Gold medal. Not bad. Another dart trap bundle. Broke even on ammo there at least. And that's before I open all these other containers. There's some more ammo. One second, I hear a screamer out there. Now then, let me break open this final chest. Another beaker, but nothing else particularly amazing though. Here, a bunch of zombies. Is that a wandering horde? Or did the screamer get to scream once or something? What is this? Right. So I know Trader Hugh doesn't have any more of those jobs, at least not that Trader Hugh, so I'm going to go to the other one over there and see if he has anything good as well. Hey other Hugh, what jobs do you have? 
Another infested speed clear, 250 meters away. Infested warehouse. The hell is that? Never heard of it before. Let's take it though. Since when was that what this POI was called? I don't remember it being called that. Eh, whatever, we're here. I'll be approaching this one very similarly to the last one. Here's the marker. Oh, I don't have the quest active, is that the problem? Huh? Oh, I did have the quest active. Where quest marker? Where's it gone? Is it in the sky? It does that sometimes. Or is it under the ground? Let me log in and out and see if that fixes it. At least I'll get new jobs from doing this. Well, and the weather changed as well. It's helpful. Right then, let's start this. Oh yeah, it's a speed clear, should probably get a move on. Not a fan of going down these. Well, I think I pissed off a vulture on the roof, but that's fine. Come here. That did a lot of damage. I've got a lot of ammo left in this. I'm switch to the pistol for a bit. Ooh. Didn't mean to fall down here. Hello, zombie dogs. Oh, there's another one over there. Oh, we've got 15 seconds left. Oh, there's one behind me. Did I get it? Oh, I did. Nice. That's two golds now. And since I had to leave the game to do the quest, the quests will be reset. Might be able to get them all done today. Probably not, but you know, probably get another one done. Uh, food bundle, nice. What's this gumbo stews? Nice, 110 food each. Casually. Now let me bash up in the chest here. Um, some somewhat useful stuff in here. Right, let's head back to the close hue, see if he has anything good. Do I even have any 9 mil though? I've only got about 300 plus the magazine I have. That might be a little bit... Uh, low for how I tend to do my infestation clears, which is with excessive amounts of firepower. But I do have the pistol still, the, the magnum, so I could do it. Also got grenades, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. I really do prefer to just spray and pray though. Alright, what are you going to give me, Hugh? Ah, that is a 9mm pistol. I have the military leg armor, so I'll just take this. Uh, he wants to give me military boots. I am looking for better armor, so I'll take that. And... I'll go for the magnum ammo as that extra reward there. So what's this, 9mm tier 3? I'll give it a shot, but it's it's going to struggle to compare to a weapon with, like, 80 round magazine. There's an infested clear and an infested speed clear. Mortician's house, interesting. Let me switch over to those new boots. So I'll use my SMG for the speed clear to get it done quickly, but once we do that just regular infestation, I'll give this pistol a try. What are the, like, damage stats on it? I know it's not exactly a fair comparison to compare it to a 44 fucking Magnum, but I'm interested. So, yeah, it does a very similar amount of damage per shot to the Magnum, which is fucking insane, because the Magnum has a higher damage per shot than the Desert Vulture. So this thing really fucking packs a punch, considering it's only a little bit behind the Magnum. So it's probably quite comparable to the Desert Vulture, then. Interesting. Let's go to the mortician's house and do that speed clear. All right, let's get in here. Try not to get attacked by everything that spawns in here. Restart that. And I have to kill loads of them out here. That's a lot of zombies in this first area. Okay, this is taking too long. Well, that was lucky. Why does it sound like there's a hundred vultures trying to get in here?
Oh, there's someone outside, seriously? Why, game? That's gonna slow me down a bit. I'm gonna pop that so that I don't get killed by it during this, because if a cop pops out, they'll be able to one-tap me if they blow up those gas cans, so I would like to avoid it. Ah, I missed the gold. Oh well. I was only like three seconds behind. I think it was like seven seconds late, that sucks. Let me go clear out all the zombies I've attracted. Alright then. Let's go get the loot. Another food bundle. Really good for those. It's added to my pile of tuna fish gravy toasts. It's good at least. A bunch of stuff in there. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Right, and let me bash this open. Tactical warfare, scrapping profan, and another beaker. That's lucky. Oh, hello. Uh, wiring, shotguns, and home cooking. Cool. Let's go back to Trader Hugh, get a reward, and see if I can maybe take the other quest that he has. Where's that vulture just going? Disappeared behind the cactus. There we go. Nail gun. That is a really shit selection of stuff. I'll take the nail gun and sell it to him. Uh, flaming arrows. I will take the flechette darts, probably. That wasn't very good. What others do you have? Another Judy Witch. Jeez, okay. Well, at least it's just a normal one. I can go slowly in this one. All right, here we are. Pop inside and give this pistol a little test run. I expect to get punched in the mouth immediately. Yep, there's just two radiated whites. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? This is going to take a great deal many shots to kill them all, isn't it? Ooh. Don't you fucking spit at me. Killed the other guy. He's gonna pop. Now just for this other radiated white. You know, it's not bad for a pistol. Specifically a 9mm one. Still, I think I'll stick with this. I don't have much ammo for it, but I'll do what I can. Or I'll use the Magnum for a bit. That doesn't even make sense, because this pistol is better than the Magnum. Let me see. I'll put the Crippler mod on this instead. It already does more damage than the Magnum. Ow. Oh, he bled out. I forgot really close range 9mm shots actually do bleeding damage. If you have the Pistol Pete thing. How oh, dare you stand up. There's two radiated bikers. Well, fuck me, I guess. Oh, he fell through the floor. That's the worst. I do not enjoy that. Someone jumping out above me. I'm gonna need more ammo, aren't I? It's fine, I know how to just get a lot of ammo. One second. First of all, let me check my truck and see if there's any spare, because that would be the obvious thing to do. Uh, lots of 7.62, lots of shotgun ammo. I could probably bring this just in case I run out. It is quite literally better than nothing. But I have a plan. Hello everybody, come here. Everybody right up to that hole in the wall and just eat a few grenades for me. That would be nice. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Well, not perfect. You're still alive. Right. Here comes the scary bit. Try my grenade. Oh, did they go right up there? Those bastards. All right, we'll fight you here then. Open the door, come on. Ow. There we go. The final room is cleared now. It means I can come in here and get the infested cash. And get even more food, apparently. And get, like, no 9 mil because fuck me. But it's still something. Oh, jeez. I'm out of inventory space. Right, I'll be back in a second. Only a couple more rooms to clear now anyway, so that's good. I got the hard one out of the way quickly. Let me eat a first aid kit. I've got three spare skill points. I really don't know what I would spend them on yet, though. Let me bash open the end loot. Hmm. Nothing too helpful. Let's go clear the rest of the zombies out of this place. He's gonna pop. Ooh. Ow.
Right, I think there's one more room. I'm not sure. Ah, okay, cop pops here. Now we got one more room over here, apparently. Did I not clear out the upper area of the garage? That would do it. Hi there. There we go, we're done. Didn't get any ammo profit from that one. Fine though. I was in a bit of a hurry to get this done so I could at least get one of the rewards tonight. Probably very close to getting tier 6 complete now because I've done like four jobs today, which I did not expect. But it was just uh, all very relatively quick to run POIs. Um, I don't really need any of this, so... Take the knuckles. Actually, no. What, what can I sell for the most? Probably the impact driver. Alright, so let's go and see other Hugh. I doubt I'll get to him in time tonight, so I'm not going to rush that actually. So I've got my three points here. Let me finish off salvage ops. Oh, you need to be seven perception to finish that. Well, I might do that then. All right, let me transfer all my stuff over to my helicopter. I will go home and I will wait for Trader Hugh to open. I am not going to have enough inventory space. Holy shit. I'll figure it out. I mean, I could drive home. That is a thing I could do. I don't have to rush anything because, yeah, <laughs> I'm not doing anything for the next eight in-game hours anyway. May as well drive home. This is a very strange amount of loot when you consider that I did nothing but loot the end loot of like four POIs. Also, I bought that for getting elixir, by the way. Oh, that reminds me. Buy another one from him. Because the other Hugh had one, but this Hugh should also have one. Food. Get an elixir there. So I have what I need to do, the double reward trick if I want it. Now begins the extremely long drive home. How far is that? Oh, just five kilometers. That'll only take all night. Did I pick up the helicopter? That would be embarrassing. I did. Cool. All right, it's the morning of day 37. Let's go over to the Trader Hugh that I live next to and see what quest reward I get for the quest I did yesterday that I didn't get a reward for. Hmm. I didn't get anything. Oh, I handed in the wrong quest somehow. What? Wait, what do you mean head to the rally point? I'm so confused. Did I not do the quest? Is this your quest, Hugh? It is. I am baffled. You got anything good, Hugh? I'm not entirely sure what just happened. Because I went over there, I did the quest, and then we went to Trader Hugh, and I did a bunch of quests over here. But now this quest is undone, so I guess I'm going to go do that. I don't mind, there's plenty of time in the day. Alright, here we are at Judy Witch again. Let's get in there and clear it fast again. I didn't bring grenades this time, that's going to slow me down a little bit. Oh, that's annoying. Oh well. Alright, let's get in here, 180 seconds. One thing I've noticed is this is supposed to be an invested clear, but it very much isn't invested. Like that room should have feral and radiated bikers in it if it's a real invested, and it just doesn't. But you do actually get the infested reward for it. I do wonder if that's a bug with the game or a bug with uh, the quest mod itself. Either way, I'm going to take advantage of it. Oh, hey, radiated gun. Come down here. There we go, gold medal. And despite it only really being a tier 4, I do get a tier 5 reward and I get an infested cash at the end. So much 5-5-6. Five, five, and I broke even on 9 mil at least, that's good. And a bit more ammo there. Alright, let's go and see Trader Q. Or should I do the thing again where I just talk to the other Q? Nah, we'll go back to the original one. I think we might be close to the completion reward. Alright, Hugh, I'm back. I will take the grenades. Then for the... Like, speed reward, I get an opportunity for a machete. Mine is... To it is... It's a better machete, to be fair. And I'll take the exploding crossbow bolts, or... Probably do want to take the exploding crossbow bolts. They're not as easy to use as the arrows, but my crossbow is a lot better than the bow I have access to, so I'll take those. 
No completion reward yet. Let me switch machetes though. Anything else you? An infested clear the kilometers away. Pass and gas store five. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> Tier five infestation. Is there a pass and gas? This is gonna be interesting. All right, here we are. I didn't bring enough ammo again. God damn it. <laughs> well, let me check the helicopter actually. Maybe I did. Yeah, I did. I'm just being dumb. Right. Let's get in here. Is this a speed clear? No, so I can take it slightly slower. Ah, oh, radiate biker. Okay. Who's on my right though? It was a lumberjack. Onwards. Oh, they changed this. Oh, it's difficult to sneak through water, apparently. Oh, okay. Yep, that's a very aggressive trigger room. Oh yeah, they definitely hated the thing I used to do here. Not that that's going to stop me, obviously. Hmm. They don't trigger like that anymore, that's annoying. It did stop me then. That was fun. Oh, you can't see them there anymore. Man, why did they me-proof this POI? What did I ever do to them? Grab that. Oh, there's a screamer outside, of course there is. Damn, they even went through the trouble of removing the lip that was back here that let you skip to the end. What is their problem? I swear one of the level designers at the Fun Pimps must have watched that video of me doing this POI in like 30 seconds and took it very personally. They must have studied that run because they took out everything that made this POI interesting. Almost impressive actually. Hang on, that one screamer is really annoying me. How many screams did she get off? That's so many high level zombies. Is there another one? There's one of them anyway. That's so many. There's no need. I'm not wasting all my ammo on these guys. Fuck them. I'll just shut the doors behind me and get the loot and fly away. Alright, let's grab the infested cache. It's the most important part anyway. Okay, some ammo. As expected. Let me try this. Alright, let's go back to Trader Hugh and see if that gives me my reward. The tier 6 complete. Hey Hugh. Ah, Desert Vulture. I'll take it. I don't really need one, but I'll take it. So, we got Steel Armor Bonus Bundle. SMG5 Legendary Bundle. Shotgun turret bundle, gyrocopter parts, and auto turret bundle. That's so annoying that you gave me the steel armor bonus bundle and not the military one. You you know that? You shit. I'm not gonna bother with uh, the grandpa's for getting elixir for these. I don't really want two of these rewards. I'll just take the SMG5. So that is the tier six complete with you. We don't have to do any more quests with him really. I got level six SMG, but it's worse than the thing I have anyway. So I'm not really gonna use it. Still nice to have. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do for my armor now. Maybe just keep doing the quests, preferably with another trader, so that I can get another shot at it, and so that I can get, like, 
more infested speed clears and stuff, which seemed to have a decent chance of giving you military armor as well. I mean, most of them gave me a piece of military armor, but it was usually legs and feet, which is probably just coincidental. Certainly good enough compared to the other things, but I probably want to get like Trader Gen leveled to that next. Do it again. Um, out of ammo storage here, put it in the overflow. The thing I need to do tomorrow is find a new base location. Because this one is getting, first of all, too small. Second of all, I need to move to a ranger station because of the point of the series, right? So tomorrow we'll go out near Trader Wrecked, who I might choose to level instead of uh, Jen. Because uh, he's got the coal mine, which if I could reset periodically, I would get a lot of ammo from that. So living near him seems to be a good idea. Which is unusual. Normally I would like to live on the other side of the map from him. But if he can give me something useful, I will forgive his sins. So in the morning I will fly out to over there and we'll have a look for a new ranger station to live in. I've got two spare skill points. What do I want? You know what? Let me take a forget an elixir. Where is it? Right then. So importantly, make sure you've got enough strength to have your mining perks. There we go. That's the important part. Let's go back to agility then. So get it up back up to eight. Definitely still want archery. Gunslinger. Um... Probably deep cuts. I don't know if I'll bother with whirlwind though. Run and gun definitely. Parkour definitely. Hidden strike from the shadows. That leaves me with 13 spare skill points. I think they were originally spread across like rank one of stuff in intellect, fortitude, and perception. What I'm going to do instead is just get 10 on all of those and just max out all of the agility perks. There we go. And we can start working towards salvage ops again. I didn't even use it while it was maxed out, so it's not too big of a deal. So now I'm just like full 10 out of 10 agility build. I have the final rank of everything in here. I'll be able to do the best stealth I can. I could certainly go for three more ranks of whirlwind and four more ranks of light armor. It would be nice. Not the most useful thing ever. My mobility penalty isn't very severe. I'm at 88% allegedly. I don't believe it really. But yeah, we could get it up, so maybe that's what I'll do. But that can wait for tomorrow, so I'm just going to sit in here during the night. Maybe I'll gather up some materials, and then we'll head out and look for a new home. Alright, it's the morning of day 38. Let's take the helicopter out and see if I can find any good places to live. I'm going to grab a little bit of extra gas first, since I'm going to be flying a lot. Okay, so we're coming up to the town that I definitely want to build my base around, because it has Trader Wrecked in the coal mine. I'm looking for a ranger station... I would also accept an army base that looks kind of like a ranger station, which is what I think this one here is. That's also fine. Like, it's close enough. So, there's one. Yeah, that's the fire post. Then there's this one, which I kind of don't want to do because it's so tall. But maybe. Uh, we have another army base here that definitely isn't going to be the one I pick. That's for sure. There's a... Is this a ranger station over here? I'm not sure what this is. It looks kind of like one, though. There's ranger station echo, anyway. So that other one was Echo, this is Foxtrot. This is Golf, and I'm going to crash into it. Oh, no, I'm good. And Abandon Ship. Grab that again. Don't mind me. Perfect landing. So there's, this is Golf. This is definitely a contender, because it is very well defended. Let's get back in here. I'm going to go search sort of down beside the town, rather than just north of it. Golf is looking like a very strong contender, though it's got a lot of room, and it's quite close to the actual town. Who the hell is this place? Ranger Station Beta, that is tiny. That'd be kind of a cool starter base, honestly. But <laughs> we're a bit past the starter stage. I'll still mark it down, though. Let's have another look around. Oh, I hit a cactus with a helicopter. They didn't expect to see that today. Right, so after taking a big loop around the town, I think I'm going to go with Ranger Station Golf. So let's go and clear it out. Alright, here we are at Ranger Station Golf. Let's give it a quick clear so I can start deciding if I definitely want to live here. 
gates locked. Interesting. This fence is going to need some reinforcements if I'm going to live here. We got like a water tower. That's pretty good. Oh, hello. Anybody living up here? Nope. Then we have this room, like an armory or a storage room of some kind. Okay. Then we have the main courtyard with some animals here. Nope, I am lacerated. Bloody dogs. A first aid kit will cure the laceration and give me a bunch of health back. Then we got like a med bay, okay. A little storage room, bathroom. Some kind of office, I guess. A little area between buildings. I need to go deal with some stragglers outside real quick. Maybe a wandering horde came in or something. There's a lot of noises for the middle of the desert. Yeah, some coffee. Someone's wandering around. They're annoying me. Hmm. They'll turn up eventually. <laughs> mm, hello, feral lights. There's two of you. Drink that coffee real quick. Close that while I reload my pistol. Got a canteen kind of place. That opens the main gate suspiciously. And then we have the actual ranger tower thing. Hello? I think we're clear. I don't have a quest, so it's kind of hard to tell. Let's get some loot here first. Yeah, sharp sticks, boo. Handy land and some somewhat useful stuff in there. Yeah, mostly books I do not need. Alright, this place looks pretty good. There's a lot of rooms. Oh, hello, meds. Uh, there's a lot of rooms and there's a decent, like, surface area for me to do things that I need to do. I'll replace, like, the kennels there with, like, do collectors because I don't have any dogs to put in there. Uh, it'll take a lot of work to fix this place up, but I think I could probably do it. Um, I think an important thing to do is going to be making a bunch of storage. I don't have any nails on me, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to need to make like several trips back to my base, and I'll probably want to use the helicopter because it'll be... Because despite it having less inventory storage itself, it'll be able to do the trips much faster. So it's probably the better choice. Uh, over the... MRAP. I'm just looking for somewhere I can temporarily put the storage. Maybe like in here. Can I take out these shelves? Let's see. Did I bring my impact driver? No, I'll just have to do this then. These doors still work, so I'll keep them. Uh, this door doesn't work though. So, oh, it's gonna be so hard to remove it. Oh, I got a screamer. Hang on. Where are they hiding? That scream count? Doesn't sound like it. Okay, cool. Yeah, this door is gonna have to go because I can't control it and it's just annoying. That's so much health. But I don't think there even is a way for you to like gravity this thing. I think you just have to break through it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, that took just forever. There, I should be able to put my own door on there if I want one now. Is this door locked? Yeah, I'm gonna take that out as well then. Alright, apparently I am gonna need some electrician books then because the only 4x3 doors, which is how big this is, are electrical ones for some unknown reason. These lights not being centered are annoying me. Oh, I didn't mean to use that, but whatever. Right then, so, uh, what's the plan here then? I probably want, like, railings, maybe? Just as a guide here? Yeah, something like that, so that you don't drive your vehicle too far. Why are these, uh, not the same? Let's see, where's the middle point? Is this it? Uh, it's, it's the middle point of a certain point, that's for sure. Let's do maybe that. It'll make it look more even, maybe? And then this, hmm, that looks kind of weird though. Maybe you just keep the railing all the way around and then have a gap here. Yeah, that would make more sense. And then for storage, that gives you this sort of area here, which you can stack up 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 by 1, 2, 3, by 3. So 9 by 3 on each wall is like good enough storage for me. Uh, so that'll work quite well as a storage room. I'll replace these lights I took off with actual working lights. Same with this one. And I'll replace the door with working doors. I'll probably get rid of this button as well. But not right now because it's 7,000 health and I don't really need it out of the way. So that will be a decent storage room. I won't put anything that zombies will want to attack in here. And I don't really have to worry about protecting it too much. I'm not going to try and defend against the horde in here or anything. This is like a living base. I like to fight the hordes in the wild anyway. So I'm going to temporarily just put a bunch of storage here. And I will take these away because obviously this looks horrible. But this is going to hold on to shit. Well, that's just annoying. Uh, this is going to hold on to shit just while I transfer all my stuff over here. I need to try and find roughly the centre of this place. Well, it doesn't need to be the centre. It just needs to definitely cover everything inside the building, right? See, we're cutting off this area here. So that'll be susceptible to anything that the land claim block is protecting it against, which isn't much. It looks like land claim blocks just aren't big enough to cover this POI themselves. So what if I got an extra one? Because I think they made it so you can have multiple land claim blocks now. I don't know if I've enabled that or anything, but I can scrap some materials and find out. A land claim. Here we go. And I'll need... I'll maybe queue up an extra one. I'll queue up a bunch of them. Let's see what happens. So let's see. Um, If we're pretty sure that it's not covering it all that way, is it covering it all this way? Let's see. It's a little bit too far this direction. It doesn't even look like it will still cover that as well. This is a big POI. Uh, but fine, 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 fine. What if we go for something like three blocks further back, like like that? These are both still active, so they definitely did add that. And then if I place another one to like get rid of it. Oh, you can just remove them now. Let's have a look. It's kind of missing the front gate. That's not too bad. Is it covering the back at least? Yeah, it's covering the back at least, just barely. So maybe we need another one a few blocks forward? Show me the bounds of that. How many can I have? Can I have four? That would be useful. I need like a super land claim block. They're not that important, but I would still like it anyway. Okay, and then if I place like another one this in line with this. I will probably move these later, but give me a rough idea. So these three are all still active. Okay, that's good. So we're covering almost all of it, it looks like. We're missing, like, here. This corner here. It's honestly not the end of the world, but we could probably move it. Yeah, we could definitely afford to move this one further back. Let's remove it. Build another couple of land claims here. I'll need more stone. There's probably something I can smack around here. So let's place this one more in line with the other one at the back there. It's not lined up, but we'll fix it. It's fine. So it is now covering all of this side, at least. So then we just need... If you can have a fourth land claim block anyway, I would need another one to cover this side of stuff. So we could just put it like just inside here somewhere. Probably maybe under the stairs. Are these all active? Uh, let me turn the bounds on on all of them. No, this one's deactivated. Does it matter? Are we missing anything from that? What's well, not covered? Wait, I need to turn the bounds on on this one. Why three? That's such a weird number. Okay, it looks like we're just... Back to losing some of the front again. <laughs> you know what, it's, it's, it just about works. We're missing a couple of areas, but you know what, I will take this. Uh, we can put them underground later. And that'll hide them from view, but right now this is fine. We've got full coverage. I don't have to ever worry about anything that land claim blocks protect you against. This is probably not that important. I just felt like I really needed to do that for some reason. So... We've now got this place. Let me make a bedroll. I need more plant fiber. I'll just throw that down here. That'll do. So let me store what random junk I have. And then I will fly back, fill up my inventory and the helicopter's inventory with a bunch of building materials. And I'll just do a few trips to see if I can get all of my stuff that I want to bring at least over here. Okay, I've got my first batch of random shit. Let's take it back to the base. I'm not really prioritizing anything. It all has to go over. Unless there's some things that I'm just like, ah, I don't care that much. So, let's fly back. Okay, so this is going to take a good amount of flying back and forward, but we've claimed it. This place is mine. During the night, I will bring over all my stuff that I want to bring over. I'll save you the tedium of watching me do it. 
and in the next episode we'll maybe do some upgrades to this i do want to continue questing as well for more stuff uh, namely military armor i'm only two pieces into that right now which kind of sucks um but yeah we'll continue doing quests and upgrading this base later that's going to be the main part of what this series is going to be is me doing harder pois and trying to make this place look decent uh, i'm going to need like chemistry stations and stuff it may be worth my effort to actually craft a bunch of electrician and trap books even though i've been scrapping them this whole time just so i can so i can do some basic electricity stuff around here don't know if i need traps per se although smg turrets could be good on the base i had those in the was it the intellect series i did that in I think so, and it was quite useful for just keeping zombies away from my house. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today we are going to be going down to Trader Wrecked to try and level him up enough to get good quests from him, since he's the trader who now is nearest to my ranger station. Or Joel may actually be technically closer, but when you think about the fact that you're going to be doing quests in this town, it makes more sense to go to Wrecked. I moved all my stuff over here during the night, as you can see it took a long time, I basically did it right up until I started this recording and it took ages. I got over all my vehicles, all my workstations are up there in the tower and I've got pretty much everything I own and this many storage crates, I will improve this setup later. In the meantime though, we need to go down to Trader Wrecked and do some jobs from. I will use a land vehicle for once because we're actually within a kilometre of the trader who will then be within a kilometre of most of his jobs, I would hope. So we don't have to go through the trouble of flying to him. I don't remember what level I have Trader Wreck to, but I do know it's going to be pretty tedious for the first little bit here as I just go through like level 2 or 3 jobs. At least it gives me another opportunity to get another bunch of quest tier completion rewards, because Trader Hughes were all terrible. Hopefully Trader Wrecked will give me at least the basic military armor bundle, so I can replace my basic leather armor with that. But if I'm lucky, he'll give me the bonus armor bundle at some stage, and that'll be me fully armored up for my playthrough. Hey Wrecked, what quest tier are you even on? Tier 2. Okay, let's do the Infested Speed Clear. The Mushroom Mining Company. I have no idea what that one is. Has he got anything good? There's a bunch of these grenades, which I do love, so I'll buy those. Otherwise, no. Although that was the book I needed to complete Urban Combat, so now I can use suppressors a bit more effectively. Let's get over to that Tier 2. The Mushroom Mining Company. I have no idea what that is. All right, here we are. It seems to be a cave, so this is a speed clear. So, oh, I can take a cheeky mega crush for this as well. Let's get in there. 45 seconds, jeez. Oh, good. Someone with a load of health. There is mushrooms in here. There's a lot of mushrooms in here, actually. I lost gold, damn. These low-level quests are actually some of the harder ones to speedrun because you get so little time. 45 seconds for an infested clear, even at tier 2. Takes you a hot minute to get through all the rooms. I suppose I should use the first aid kit, I've taken a bunch of hits now. There we go, silver's still not too bad. The medal I get for these doesn't really matter anyway, because they're just to complete like, completion. So it doesn't really matter all that much. Oh, level 6 hunting knife. Ah, drum magazine. Not bad for, like, a tier 1 quest. Or a tier 1 POI, sorry. Tier 2 quest, though. Uh, let's get over here back to Trader Wrecked, see if we can get some more done for him. I don't know where all these zombies came from. I'll take the Shamway secret recipe. I don't really need it, but, like, it is a hard thing to get if you do need it, so... I'll take it. I know he wants to give me a bunch of other stuff. I'll take the 109 mil. What else do you have? That's speed clear, 128 meters away. Cool. I'll just run there, honestly. <laughs> 100 meters. I'll just do it this way. In we go. This is the one with the landmines. Just run past them. Okay, the landmines were not good enough <laughs> to just deal with that. There we go, got gold on that one at least. 
Anything good in the loot? I, did, I need a lint thread book, I don't know, at least. Something. Explosive magazine, nice. Let's head back to Wreck, see if I can keep this going nice and quickly. I don't know how many more jobs I need to do, but I would like to get it done as quickly as possible. Tier 2s really are not a stage I would like to maintain for a long time, if you know what I mean. I'll take some more 9 mil, I guess. And for my other reward, I'll take some exploding arrows. Oh, and my other other reward, I'll take some 9 mil. I love speed clears, right. Let's do a regular clear. That one I will actually drive to. Here we are. Oh, we immediately fall into this. Okay. Hi there. Bunch of zombies outside being annoying. Let me go deal with them. go nothing amazing in there but hey you always need more like medical supplies and stuff let's head back none of these are particularly good i'll take the skill magazine bundle there's a couple of books i still want let's get the infested clear free research data i guess an infestation so i am gonna have to worry about very high level zombies here but i should be fine they were not being cooperative with the stealth who's behind me someone's back there ah they're hitting the truck that's where they are Well then, at least most of them came to me. Anything in this? Yeah, forge ahead book. Turn that into research data. Well, hello. Here's the invested cash. Weirdly. There we go. And just some more meds and ammo. Right, well, at least I'm getting a lot of these done in one day. So I shouldn't spend too long trying to level wrecked up to at least tier threes. There's a screamer was a screamer um <laughs> these are really not helpful i will take the hunter mod i think and then we've got a tier 2 defend mission byington residence i hope this one's at least i was gonna say i hope it's fast but you do have to kind of wait five minutes before the defense quests even begin so they're always gonna take kind of a long time to do but this is his last tier 2 today anyway. There is another trader wrecked, but I have a feeling if I got on my helicopter now and started flying, I wouldn't reach him before he closes. So I'm not going to worry about him too much. He's on the other side of the map. Oh, this place is burned down. Right then. Let me make sure my SMG's repaired. Mailbox, hello. That's just some paper. Right, so we get our five minutes to prepare our defense. As we all know, when I do these quests, I just run around the outside killing the zombies because they seem to be either bugged or maybe it's intentional, but either way, uh, they spawn next to you. So if you try and defend the house, you're kind of just trapped in there with them. But I would like to clear the zombies that are part of the POI first. Whoa, he's in the floor. Oh, I got an abrasion. That sucks. Or at least it'll heal quickly. Isn't there another zombie up here? Oh, I killed her. Right. Hey, okay, we've got two and a half minutes to loot the place now. Should be pretty much fine, because I doubt it's going to take me that long to clear these three boxes that are worth looting. An extended magazine. Yep, that's damn near every container in here that is worth looting and looted, and there's still a minute left, so I'm gonna go stand outside and wait. Oh, hey, there's a shed back here. Didn't notice that coming in. Might even be some zombies in it. Hello. Alright, here we go. 50? Okay. Whoa, she's fast. Why am I using the Magnum? I should probably use the SMG. These guys are like infestation levels. This would be done a lot faster if I did use the SMG. Really? A demo? Let me get up here real quick, get a quick bit of healing. Yilly! Demos! 
on a tier two. It must be based purely on your game stage rather than the quest tier. Keeps it interesting at least. Demo, come here. I want to shoot you in the chest. Really? The one time I try and shoot them in the chest? I can't. Here we go. Hmm, I don't think his kills count as mine. Oh, the glare on that. Couldn't see a damn thing. Whoa. Ow. I love them spawning up here with me, by the way. Oh, I ran out of ammo. Right. I bet there's more 9mm in my truck if I really need it. Hey there. Let me have a quick look inside. Well, weird angles, I guess. Uh, 9mm, there we go. They blew up a car in there, apparently. Where are the zombies? Are they trying to break through the house? fuck? Who is behind me? What hit? Oh, biker. Federal biker. Yeah, that would do it. Alright, just two more of these shitters. There we go. I'm out of here. Hey, wrecked. I'll take more bandages. You still not complete? Damn. He does have some other jobs, but I'll just wait for more tier twos in the morning, I guess. Let's head back to my base. I've got a bunch of loot, and I need to cure this infection. During the night, I'm gonna do some more work on the base. Nothing particularly fancy. I just need to put down some storage crates and stuff, so I'll do that without you guys having to watch me be like, and these are a bunch of chests. Wowee. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, it's the morning of day 40. I've got my storage set up in here nicely. Let's take the truck back to Trader Wrecked and see what he has for me. I need to grab some more 9mm ammo, which I'm actually kind of running low on again. Uh, I'll need to get some more brass. Because I don't have any bullet casings. I could use dukes, but I also kind of don't want to. In fact, I will. Uh, where do I keep my materials? And maybe a stack of dukes. And I'll go set these to smell in the forge so that I can get some more bullet tips. Because they really are the major limiting factor right now. I have plenty of gunpowder crafted. I have plenty of bullet tips crafted. I just need to get some casings. I also set all of my research data to be turned into these wiring books just so that I can definitely do some electrician stuff later on because it seems like I'm gonna need to to add like lights and a few doors to this place because the ones that I want have to be powered because they're annoying like that so that'll have to happen but I had a bunch of spare research data so it's not too bad this thing needs some repairs one second and there goes all of my repair kits let me make some more I've got some forged iron, I've got some glue. Do I have any cloth? I've got a little bit of cloth I could make. I have about nine duct tape, so nine repair kits. So I'll just hold on to the materials I need to make that, and we'll go over to Trade Erect. Oh, you know what I just realized? I did not bring the Duke lighters to the new base. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and get those at some point. I completely forgot about them. I'll probably do that tonight, while I wasn't gonna be doing anything anyway. So what do you have, Wrecked? Fetch very close. I'll take that. Oh, I didn't bring any money, that's slightly annoying. I mean, you can barely tell I defended a horde knight here. What with all the loot bags and property damage. Alright, let's restart it. Oh, another loot bag. Hang on. Oh, there's more. Yeah, I did run away from that horde once the morning came, so that does make sense. Alright, let's reset it. Uh, nothing too useful in the mailbox. I don't really need to clear this place properly, so it might be worth trying to sneak in. I don't think the terrain regenerated properly. Fine, it works for me, though. Here we are, and just climb my way back out there. Yeah, this isn't usually here. The terrain seems to have broken from the board night and the reset, but that works for me. So very, very easy job to start the day. Let's head back to Wrecked. I'll take more crafting skill magazine bundles. I still have a use for a couple of bits of research data here. Yeah, those are all kind of helpful, actually. Now let's take the other fetch. Get the nice easy ones out of the way quickly. This series has really indicated to me just how incorrectly balanced I think the food magazine is, by the way. I obviously haven't been specced into food, so I've been getting food quite slowly, but I think considering I've also added food books to this with the research mod and it's day 40 and I'm still only at 91 food, and 
it's so segmented, I really feel like this skill could do with like a cut in half. Food is not that important that it needs to have a hundred skills, I don't think. There is a lot of items, obviously, but I think they are not necessarily like a hundred books to make a gumbo stew. Who? Why? What's the point? It's not that useful. It's good, don't get me wrong. Gumbo stew is great, but like a hundred books? It does strike me as one that's particularly out of balance. If you consider that you can master medicine faster than you can master food, maybe like 50 would be more reasonable. Not that they're going to balance the game based off of what any of us say anyway, but you know. The hell is this campfire doing here? Oh, this was where I did that one quest where I made goldenrod tea and grilled meat for the quest. Yeah, I remember now. Alright, here's this other fetch job. Is it somewhere I can easily just jump to? There's a roof tile here. Ah, well, that makes it quite easy. You gotta love low-level fetch quests. <laughs> At least to get the job counter up, I can be done with Trader Rex sooner. Although, if the job counter ticks over... Don't rip the fire hydrant. If the job counter ticks over now, I'm not gonna get jobs until tomorrow, so I'll probably still be doing Tier 2s today until he runs out, and then I'll do some base work, probably. Well, the brakes on this thing are great, apparently. Well, again, uh, yeah, I'll take more skill magazines. There we go, this one's done now. Um, don't know what I really need, but I'll take the 50 forged iron. I was going to say I'll take the lockpicks, but when you think about the fact that I can craft lockpicks, 50 forged iron is more useful. Got any special jobs? Greater Bob the South, I think I've met them all. So let's get that invested clear. Just get the job counter going. Uh, three tier twos is the same as doing two tier threes. So if I can get those done today, and then get like five tier threes done tomorrow, I would be done with tier three pretty much instantly, which would allow me to go into tier four jobs, which are way more worth the time they take to do. You know what would be nice? If you could just buy quest tiers. Like, if I've got 10,000 spare dukes, why can I not just bribe him? Saves me having to do level one quests on day 40 just to level a random guy. Like, can't I buy trust? I feel like you could buy Rex trust. He seems the type of guy. Right here we are. Start that. It's not speed clear, is it? No, cool. Hello there. It is infested, though. Oh, yeah, just survive that. That's very normal. Really quickly, let me just check this. Handy land. Eh. Oh yeah, I forgot to open this crafting skill magazine bundle. Explosives, shotguns, crafting. All things I slightly want to level. Anything good in the infested cache? Eh, yeah, some ammo. Pretty good value for your time, I guess. And how difficult it is. Ah, yeah, triple armor pocket mod. Who still needs one of those? Uh, not me, because if I was just to actually make some clothing pocket mods, I could probably take one of my things off. Uh, let's see, duct tape, leather, sewing kits. Right, I'll keep an eye out for cloth and stuff then, and I'll actually get around to finally doing that. Completely slipped my mind for a good 40 hours, you know? Uh, in the meantime, this helmet is only using a double, so I might as well switch it out. Let's head back to Hugh, see what other jobs he has. Well, I know what jobs he has, but I don't remember them at the same time, so... Uh, more crafting skill magazine bundles? Yeah, I'll see. Berry supplies and a clear plus meds. I can probably do that with what I have. Oh, I need fort bites and splints? Why you like this game? I thought tier twos would just be like painkillers and first aid kits. Uh, well, I can go back to my base and get those kind of things. That's not too hard to get. I need to go back to get those, uh, double clothing pocket mod components anyway. Alright, so, fort bites. Three of those. I also need four splints. I need sewing kits for my other thing I want to do as well. Uh, I do want to bring an extra stack of first aid bandages into the ones I actually carry. So yeah, pocket mods. I'll need more cloth. I really don't know if I have that much cloth at all. I've got four. Why the fuck do I have four cloth? <laughs> Here's another 60. I also need glue. I would need... But I'm gonna need 600 cloth, really. Okay. And I'm gonna need enough to make six duct tape. This just became the weirdest side quest ever. And I need a little bit of leather. Let's go and find Savage Country. 
Surely there's one in the town. That looks like one from above. I'll take the helicopter over and do it quickly. Since this is just a detour to the usual shit I was supposed to be doing today. No, that thing I marked is not a savage country, but I feel like there's still one around here. Maybe there's not. Okay, that's fine. We'll go to another town then. Let me turn my dynamic mesh distance up. I'll start seeing more of these buildings. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's a savage country here. Let's go over to Trader Hughes Town. Yeah, that's one right there. Pretty much right next to the marker, actually. Let's take a quick trip inside, shall we? It should still be clear, but it might have been seven days since I was last here. I wouldn't really be able to tell you. I know I didn't really bother to loot any of the clothes, though. I might get some free duct tape and glue from these shelves as well, actually. Oh, yeah, level 5 wrench. Okay, I've got enough cloth for the first one, at least. There's enough cloth for two. And I'm full on in my base. Let me go put some stuff in the helicopter. Right, there's enough cloth to make it all. Let me queue up, like, five pieces of duct tape. I'm going to keep gathering cloth, though, because I'll need more later. Right, let's see. I'm up to, like, 1,200 now. Let me craft those pocket mods really quickly. Keep scrapping all this cloth. There's so much. I got some black dye I want to put on the helicopter as well. There, that looks much better. I think, anyway. Right, and with that, my inventory should be maxed out. And I don't need this last pocket mod anymore. Okay, I think I've looted all the clothing containers in here. Oh, no, wait, there's some more in here. Hang on, hang on. Right, I have looted every container now, I think. And I have got 1,500... Well, 1,600 cloth so far with a bunch more on the way. So I'm going to fly home and drop this all off. And that should cover my cloth needs for a good while now. So that's good. That's, that's, that side quest is complete now. <laughs> it's just a case of scrapping all this junk. Right, so the total there was 2,700 cloth. Plus 600 that was used to make the double clothing pocket mods. So that is pretty damn good for one store. I'll go drop all this off. I'll get the stuff I need for the medical quest. And we'll try and get that done before the trader closes today. Alright, here we are. Let's try and get this done before the night comes. So that I can get the reward today. Alright, now we need to find the bag to put the stuff in. There we go. Oh, we got some explosive arrows for that. Oh, bolts, sorry. Even better. Uh, we'll go talk to it right in a second. I will just quickly grab the loot. Lucky Lusher and some ammo. Some research data. Some more research data. And some more research data. And some more! Alright, let's go talk to Rekt, who is just over there. I'm gonna run because my helicopter will take much longer to take off and land. Hey, Rekt. I'll take the crafting magazines. Sharp sticks, electrical traps, research data. You got anything to buy? Wrecked. Oh, he's got a few wiring books. Oh, I don't have any money. Just shit, I don't really need. There we go. Right, let's head back to my base. During the night, I'm going to get the dew collectors from the old base that I completely forgot to bring. And in the morning, we'll set those up. And I'll come back to Wrecked and do some more quests. I'm trying to get him up to, like, tier 5 as quickly as possible. Alright, so it is the morning of day 41. I thought I'd catch you guys up with a few base changes I made. I took out the dog kennels here and built myself a little bit of a water platform for the dew collectors. I had like a stack of 500 cobblestone blocks from earlier in the series that I think I was going to use to build my first horde base, but never did, so I found a use for those. I've started replacing this flimsy iron fence with nice cobblestone walls, but I've kept the barbed wire that is part of the POI. Uh, if you just keep it supported, it'll stay there, so it looks like it's part of what I've built, but you can't actually build your own version of that. Um, I might change this design, it'll probably be painted if nothing else, but I wanted it to be thicker walls than just the shitty fence, so I've done that. Obviously it looks terrible as cobblestone, because cobblestone always looks terrible, but it's stronger now at least. So we're going to go down to Trader Wrecked and see what jobs he has so that I can keep leveling him up to do good stuff. And if I run out of jobs, we can come back and do some more base work. Let's head over there. Alright, Wrecked, what do you have for me? Um, a speed clear, clear zombies, and an infested clear. Let's take the speed clear. Oh, scarecrow fields, jeez.
All right, here. Mm, stuck in a log. All right, here we are. Kill this guy real quick. Get in there. 108 seconds. That's not too bad. Just do this. Hi there. I really should just use the SMG. Climbing because there's loads of them in here. Where'd the other guy go. Oh, hey. There we go. Easy gold. Let me get the loot out of here. These are not fantastic rewards. I'm going to be honest, Rekt. I'll take the steel, I suppose. What else do you have? Um, an infested clear or a regular clear? I'll take the regular clear. Also, don't I have skill points? I'll use those. Let's get some light armor going. At this rate, I probably should have just crafted the military armor. Although, ballistic fiber, or whatever it's called in this game, I think I'm thinking of Fallout there. Uh, military fiber? Probably what it's called. Anyway, it is a pain in the ass to get, and I don't have the Wasteland Treasures volume required to do that the easy way. So I'd have to craft it with like acid and duct tape and shit. So, military armor really isn't the most normal thing to craft in this game. Start this. Is this just a regular clear? Oh good. Really? That woke you up. Let's see what loot we get here. N research data. Nothing much there. And more research data. Let's open up the chest here. Some scrapping for fun and some stuff that's of varying levels of usefulness. Let's get out of here and head back to Wrecked. I can't wait to get back to doing like tier 5 infested so I can start getting more mineral water. And of course let's not forget the easiest way in the game to get lots of iron, uh, doing tier 5 infestations for the dart trap bundles. That's obviously the uh, the easy way to do that. I mean every other way is just way too complicated as we know. I suppose you could use the dart trap bundles but I've played this game for about 3000 hours now and I don't think I've ever genuinely used a dart trap in a base in a way that didn't feel like a complete waste of resources. Don't get me wrong, they're not bad. They work. Just never felt the need to use them, and when I do use them, I never feel like they're a necessary part of the base. And if they did feel like a necessary part of the base, I wouldn't really feel safe in that base. I'll take more crafting skill magazines, and since I got a good medal on that other thing... Wait, that wasn't even a... That wasn't a speed clear. Why am I getting these rewards now? Oh, I must not have spoke to him before. Oh well, let's take the 9 mil. And we're getting a silencer, finally. I've been waiting for one of those. I don't know if I really want to put it on my... Oh, I can't put it on my... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want to make a silencer that's compatible with the Isaiah weapon mods, you have to make a custom one. I think it's something to do with the model. Yeah. That'll produce less heat now, which is actually quite useful. Uh, skill point. Let's just go more light armor. Take the reflex sight off my pistol now. I hate that thing. I have a scoped revolver. I like having scoped revolvers because it's such a good hip fire weapon, but it also has decent range, so if you want to snipe with it, you can. Uh, let's see what else you got. Infested clear, the Asgord residence. And yes, I know I said that funny, but listen, I don't spell the word. I just, I'm pretty sure that's how you say that accent. When it has the thing above it, it's pronounced as an O. Unless I'm thinking of the wrong thing. I don't know, I'm not fucking Swedish. You're not allowed to be a Swedish YouTuber. If you do that, PewDiePie comes and kills you. How else do you think he got to the top? It's like a Gario. He kills you and then he adds your sub count to his channel. That's the secret. I made a fucking Agario reference in 2023. I think I might actually have to apply for a retirement home. To be fair, retiring at age 22 would be pretty neat. Okay, see ya. Oh, you want out of there now, huh? That's a lot of red dots. 
That doesn't sound very suppressed to me. It doesn't sound very suppressed to them either. Fake wall? No. Oh, it was a fake wall. Just not that part of it. Hi! What the fuck is going on in here? Since when was this in the game? We're not allowed to do that, fun pimps. Whenever there's a subterranean area, it has to be a government bunker. You know this. That's a lot of red dots. I'm just gonna wake them all up. Get them caught on this door. A strong door. Damn, it really is a strong door. It's got 5,000 health. Give them a hand with this, I guess. There we go. Now I can see them. Where's the light even coming from? It's just a light bulb in the ceiling. This isn't... The red light's kind of hurting my eyes now. <laughs> I'll take more forged steel. Alright, we got buried supplies and a clear plus meds. How are the meds? Oh, it's a cracker cafe. Alright, ten first aid bandages, two plaster casts, and herbal antibiotics. Let's go get those, I guess. Unless I have some on me. I've got first aid bandages, but... Plaster casts? I've got one. Uh, herbal antibiotics? No. But I do know that I... Think I have some? Can I make those? I mean, maybe. I think I have the stuff to make those if I need to. I don't think I've ever crafted them because why would you? But if the quest wants them, I'll do it. Oh, this this place has blueberries, doesn't it? Just in case I don't, let me get some. I think this place also has some. That's quite helpful. Let's see. I've got one herbal antibiotic and I've got one extra cast. So I'm gonna have to make one. Do I have? But one single mushroom, yes, and a chrysanthemum, and nitrate and water. And one nitrate, and one water. Let me also grab a few extra first aid bandages, because I'm going to obviously spit a bunch of them out for this quest. How long does it take to make one? 37 seconds, that's pretty good. There we go, All right, let's head out there. I'm actually going to use the Humvee, because the MRAP there doesn't have much gas, and I cannot be bothered mining oil shale right now. So, I'm just going to take this out there and use what gas is in the tank, even though I don't really use this truck anymore. Here we are, let's get in there and clear the area. No, don't hit the books. Who's still alive in here? I've missed someone, apparently. I'm very confused. Anybody hiding in here? Uh, is there people on the roof on this one? I don't think there is. Oh, no, there is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. An expanded seating mod schematic. Very funny game. Very funny. Let's see what books I get. Most of them are going to be very unhelpful. I've got one home cooking weekly there. Needle and thread. Scrapping. I'm just going to scrap anything else I'm not going to use into data. Wiring. Scrap those. Scrap those. So let me go into the main area where most of the books are. Oh, let me actually get this in chest here as well. More research data. Right, so I'm going to loot all of these and then see what we get at the end. Right, there's what we got at the end of that. We want explosives. Data, 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 data. Hmm, maybe the electrical traps. Maybe I want to make SMG turrets later. Scrap these. Got one wiring 101 that I'll read, and I'll read the scrapping ones just to get them out of the loot table, I think. So there's another 12 levels of the... Oh, I missed the bookshelf. One second. Yeah, there's another, like, 12 or 13 levels of the electrician skill, so that'll be quite helpful. Uh, I've already got some more research data back at my base as well, so it'll be doubly helpful. So I'll be able to get that power door I want in no time. <laughs> maybe I'll be able to use the solar bank as well. Erect. I wouldn't mind a compound bow so that I can use my explosive arrows much more effectively. Uh, tier 3 buried supplies. Tier 3 buried supplies are just an absolute nightmare. They just spawn so many zombies, so I would like to avoid it if possible. So let's head back to my base for a little bit. A couple things I still need to do today. 
All right, let me sort out my inventory really quickly. There we go. Let's see, where is my research data? I've got enough for 25 books. That is going to be most likely enough to get me pretty far into the electrician skill. Um, I don't know if I necessarily need 100, but I need some at least. So let's see, I've got spare paper in there and a couple of extra research data there. Let's order like 25 of those. How many more do I even need? Uh, that would take me to 85, which is enough to get the power doors that I want, but not enough to get like a drawbridge lined by me. I've got very little else to spend this on, so that'll be something I read up on in the next episode because they're going to take 10 minutes to craft and I don't have 10 minutes. So yeah, we got Trader Wreck leveled up a decent amount today and we got a bunch of those skill books and we've got this base looking a little bit better. It now has actual storage and water collectors and a bit more sturdy defenses on at least one of the sides, but I'll get more of that done later. Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die today. We are going to be continuing to level Wrecked, but also there is going to be a horde tonight, and I still don't have a horde base, obviously, as part of my challenge. So we're going to have to take on the Day 42 horde in the streets. That's game stage 160-something, uh, depending on how long it takes. Oh, there's a wandering horde over there. Let me go kill them. There we go. What do you have, Wrecked? Oh, a fetch. Fetch is always a good one because you can get it done very quickly. Let's head on over there. Alright, here we are. Thing is over here, apparently. Just break in. Oh, that's too much health. Let's see. Easiest quest ever. If you have an auger. <laughs> Let me take those crafting skill magazine bundles and see what other quests he has. Infested speed clear. That sounds a bit more interesting. Those are all shit. Let's go to the Hirsch farms then. Right, let's get this started. Uh, I've got, oh my god, 45 seconds, seriously? There's three buildings. Okay, this shit was just fully rigged then. I think I missed a key over here as well. Oh yeah, of course there's a key here. Why wouldn't there be? At least I got bronze. The metal doesn't really matter though, so it's fine. Still, rigged. I'll take more magazine bundles, I guess. Okay, tier 3 complete. A leather armor bundle, or an iron armor bundle, or a farm bundle, or money. You know what, I'll take the leather armor bundle on the off chance it is better than a couple of my pieces. But I'm really hoping for military. Let's see, is any of it an improvement at all? The chest is. Everything else is pretty much worse though. I'll just sell those back to him. Right, well, he will get tier 4 jobs tomorrow, and I don't really want to do any of these tier 3s. I could do a bunch of tier 2s. I could do them very quickly as well. And that would be, if I could get all of those done, that would be the equivalent of 3 tier 3s done, which would be a nice start on tier 4s. Or a better way to think about it would be the equivalent of having done 2.5 tier 4s already. So I should probably do this. This one's really close by as well, so we got any Mega Crush. Drink that and run to it. I'll just run through the house, it's fine. Here we are. Oh, that's not it. Oh, my gun unloaded. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. No sense wasting time. Hey, wrecked. Uh, I'll take a bunch of free first aid kits. Etching clear. That one is like 400 meters. I probably should drive to it. It's, uh, is this a speed clear or just a regular clear and fetch? Just regular clear and fetch. Let me check the mailbox then. Add some more research data. Has its uses at least. Hello. Maybe slightly overqualified for these types of jobs at this point. Yeah, I'm not gonna go down the suicidal way, there could be a radiated biker in there. You never know. Then we just need the supplies. But I'll also grab the loot. Nothing impressive, as you would expect. Just 
keep taking these crafting skill magazine bundles, I guess. Speed clear. What do we got here? Hammers, boo. Explosives I'll use armor and we can get rid of. I am not crafting military armor. I do not care. Still got a bit of mega crush. Let's get in here. Oh, this one where you fall. I don't have much ammo for this. I'll use the magnum. Oh, there goes my gold. Ooh, we gotta dodge past them. There we go. I'm getting trapped in a room there. At least get silver. Cool. What the hell's the loot in here? Oh, here it is. Nothing of note. Let's head back to Wrecked. All this so I can eventually do tier 5s nearby to him. Almost done on Home Cooking Weekly now. That's some really shit rewards, let's just take the steel I guess. I've not been making much, so if I do end up needing some, that will help. We can get this infested clear done pretty quickly. It's got a working vending machine. It has one. So let's reset this. Check these mailboxes again. Electrical traps. Just in case I want to make SMG turrets later, I will get that, but I doubt it. <laughs> Hello? Let me jump up here. Can I see anybody? Hello. Ow. Bullshit. Ooh. Need to dodge out of the way of that radiated cop. Alternatively, if I can just pop him, probably kill them all. Nope, he ran away from them because he's apparently smarter than every other cop ever. Well then. Anything good in here? Yeah, some customized fittings aren't bad. I don't know if I've got a slot for them though. My gloves could certainly do with it, I think. Yeah. And my helmet, but I'll get another one later. Yeah, some more magnum ammo. Um, where's the key? Oh, button. That works. Back to wreck to do another tier two, and then I'll probably head back home and start gathering up stuff for Horde Night. And then tomorrow we can do some actually somewhat interesting tier four POIs. <laughs> Like I said before, I wish I could just bribe him and just be like, give me the high level quest, please. I'll take some spare 9 mil and some steel and one more infested clear, the Mo Power Shack. Ah, it's this one. This is going to be a very rough fight because it's like three rooms and there's radiated cops immediately. Okay. At least it's not a speed clear. Let's see. Dude, he's going to pop at least, so I can basically one shot those if I hit them in the right part of the body anyway. Ow. Bloody cop spit. Oh, he's gonna pop now as well, I think. There we go. He's gonna pop as well. Hopefully take someone with him. Okay, place is trashed. Oh well, that's a very normal amount of zombies. Get him away from the loot or he's gonna break all. There we go. See if there's any loot worth taking. Not really, no. But I'll take it. There's also probably some more wiring books downstairs, which might be worth my time. Right, found a nice six wiring books in there. That's helpful. Now there should be another one in the back of this as well. 
Oh, just a tech planet. Well, good shot at least. Uh, let's head back to Wrecked and then head home for Horde Night. Well, I'll probably head home, get stuff, and then come back out here to do Horde Night, honestly. Skill points. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going for light armor to make sure I can move as quickly as I want to. More forged steel. Cool. That's all the jobs I want to get done with him today. That'll be a good start on tier 4. Um, I'll have done about two and a half tier 4's worth of quests, so I'll have to do like five tier 4's and then a tier 2 to get to tier 5. So let's head back to base. Okay, I should have everything I need for Horde Knight. I'm making a bunch of repair kits as you can see because I was sick of running out of them, so I turned all of my glue into duct tape and then all of it into repair kits, so I should hopefully not have to make any more for the rest of the series. But if I do, I, I do have more water and bones, so it isn't the end of the world. So let me grab the helicopter and fly out to wherever I want to do this for. I'll probably do that town again, but on the other side of it, because, you know, the part I used is a little bit damaged now, maybe over on this side. All right, and now we wait for the horde. All right, horde night's about to start. Let me start taking my various things. Oh, I didn't bring vitamins. I'm going to get infected, I guarantee it. As usual, my plan is to waste all of the ridiculous amounts of 762 that I end up with every week. I use all of it every week and I still end up with 2000 by the next week, so clearly uh, if I wasn't using it, it would pile up in all of my containers and it would be so annoying. So I get it out of the way first. I would use 556, but none of the 556 weapons I have even do any damage anymore. I need to get like a high level 556 weapon to actually be able to play any way efficiently with the 556 ammo. <laughs> Here we go. That one guy wasn't part of the horde. And he's dead. Oh, you know, I should have brought some frames. Let me let me jump up somewhere where we can craft a few frames. Just like a hundred, maybe. Yeah, that'll just make sure that I don't get caught in a very difficult situation. I'm basically using no stamina, by the way, because I'm using beer and customized fittings and Mega Crush, so I can almost run forever. Oh, there's demos here already. The zombies are a little bit confused. They're stuck on things. There's one hour survived. They're very, very stuck on the wood. These are very effective. Ah! Oh, this shit again. If I'm gonna be getting errors, I swear to god. I might want to just stay high up then, because if it is actually going to give me the various errors you get on Horde Nights, I don't want to be standing out in the middle of the street while it happens. Wonder, is can I like remap that key? Close windows. Um, that key? Okay, open the console and then that doesn't close the console. Okay, it's not that one. Or maybe I didn't. I forgot there's an apply button. So now if it comes up, can I close it? Okay, yeah. That'll make it way easier. I have a custom mouse button for closing the fucking console because this game has so many, like, exception errors. Welcome to the world I live in. If the error comes back, all I basically have to do is squeeze my thumb slightly and it'll go away. It saves me having to stretch my pinky all the way up to escape. Oh, bullshit. You found that ladder very quickly, didn't you? They are absolutely struggling with the pathing. Did my beer run out already somehow? This is kind of really good at slowing the zombies down because they come through one small hole and then run in a straight line at you. With that in mind, let's ruin it. Vultures? Where?
Oh, gun broke lol. Climb up onto the roof here. Repair that. Hello. Let me drink a beer. Let me drink two. Look, half the zombies can't eat. Look, 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 look. Half the zombies aren't even activated because of how the AI is in this game. Look at it. Look at it. But these guys are still going. The game genuinely cannot even handle the amount of AI it throws at you. And, and this is new. It used to not be this bad. But they did something in Alpha 21 to make AI, like, less performance damaging, but now the AI doesn't even know what it's doing. Oh, not the abrasion. That means I'm going to get every injury. Two more hours to go. Although I'm almost out of ammo in the M60, but I have other guns. Also, there's a bunch of loot bags that almost definitely have some 7.62 in them. We're out of 7.62. Okay, let's switch to the Magnum. Oh shit. Painkiller time. Yep, I think Mega Crush or something might have ran out there. That sucks jump up on here. What is that? Is it my Mega Crush? Why am I so slow all of a sudden? No, I had Mega Crush. That's weird. Maybe it was just a stamina penalty from uh, using too much stamina. I think it slows you down sometimes. 30 in-game minutes to go. I'm mostly just crossbowing them at this point, but they're not really clumping together in the way I would like. Mostly because half of them are standing still on the roof. Or maybe this is just like the end of the Horde Knight. Like, I've killed most of them, but I find that unlikely on day 42 with without a base. I think there must still be more spawning. Maybe they're stuck on the inside of the building or something. Where's my helicopter? I'm gonna begin the walk over. And it's pretty much morning. I'm gonna fly home, dump off some of the excess ammo I still have, and we'll go and do quests for Trader Wreck now that he has tier 4s. Right, while I'm back here, I'm gonna set some ammo to craft, because I am running low on 9 mil, even though I've not really used it for Horde Knight. Uh, I just haven't set it all to craft yet, you know? We've got 1,500-ish bullet casings there, similar amount there, then we go get gunpowder and bullet casings, probably should have done that before claiming that tower, but hey, many bullet tips, some more casings, and a great deal of gunpowder. So I can make 45 boxes of this, which is a good amount, <laughs> 45,000 basically. The limiting factor is still my bullet tips and casings, though, so it just means I need to gather those up, because it's not like with uh, gunpowder where I have a semi-limited supply of it desert biome that's that's good for the future because it means i will have many more ammos if i need them so let's head but i need more gas don't i let me take the humvee out can't be bothered gathering gas let's go back to trade erect and see what quests we can get from him today hopefully some good ones finally give me something good wrecked tier four infested clear i will do it right oh hello let me start this before I wake up more of the zombies in there. He's gonna stand on a land and like... Yep. It's a weird POI. Oh, he's gonna pop. I ripped that truck. So many cops. Who's in here? That's concerning. This is all very concerning, actually. We're clear though. Did any of the loot even survive? Oh, it did. Some of my ammo back. Right, well, let's head back to Trader Wreck then, I guess. See if he has any more tier 4s. Hmm. 
another magnum. Is it better than my magnum? No, I'll take the first aid bandages then. Let's do a regular fetch clear at the waterworks. Right here we are at the waterworks. Get in here. I should try and get more armor piercing magnum ammo. It's really good. And the rest can just run towards me, that's fine. Ah, wiring book. There's a lot of zombies upstairs. I wonder what's happening there. Oh, did we piss off the rest of the POI? That's annoying. So I missed someone up there, apparently. Who's still alive in here? Oh, they added this. That's new. Probably to guard the loot if you try and sneak in the back. Interesting. Oh, there was someone in the bathroom there. That makes sense. And this satchel is here. Let me go grab that loot. Is this an infestation? I don't remember. No, it was just a regular clear, so I'm not going to get anything too good in here. Yeah, that's not amazing. All right, let's go back to Wrecked. Gimme. I will take some exploding arrows very happily. The tier 4 rewards are mostly decent. Uh, infested speed clear. I really should get some more ammo to do that. I mean, I'll have time. Yeah, I'll drive back and get some ammo then, because I think I'll need like 600 to do that one if I want to do it quickly. All right, extra ammo acquired. Let's head out there. Machine gun ready. Started and hope for the best. 90 seconds, okay. Apparently I pissed someone off out here, so I'm just going to take this quick shortcut. Anyway, back to what I was doing. Usually a feral waiting for you around here. There was certainly one of them anyway. No, that's a lot of red dots. There we go. Yeah, I've noticed now that infested speed clears don't actually infest. Maybe it's by design because the timer would be difficult to balance, but that's just a tier 3 POI where I get an infestation cache at the end, which I am happy for. Nothing much in the regular loot though. Let's head on back to Wrecked. I think you might have like one more job I want to do today, maybe two. Mm, I could maybe do tier 3s and 2s as well because I have got some partial quest progress by doing the tier 2s. So it might be worth it. Oh, fuck that shopping trolley, I guess. Give me something good wrecked. A shotgun or a steel pickaxe. You know, I am about to run out of gas and I'm going to need to pickaxe something, so I'll take the steel pick. And he's also giving me a trench gun for the reward. I don't really need it, though, so I'll take more steel. And also, I'm getting more 9 mil. What else do you have? Restore power or a defense? You know, I could do a defense. Let's head out there. Now, oh, it's this place. I'm not even going to bother, like, trying to clear this out. I'm just going to stand on the roof until it begins. <laughs> it would take me way longer than like five minutes. Unless you get more time to do it. But even then, I kind of don't want to. No, you still get five minutes to prepare. Well, I'm not going to clear this POI in five minutes. So I'm just going to stand on the roof for five minutes. And then kill what I'm going to guess is going to be a hundred zombies, maybe? Maybe more? I don't know. I could do with a break. To enjoy the scenery. This fantastic scenery. <laughs> the zombies are here. the zombies that never happens we ran out i killed them all i've killed every zombie to ever exist oh great 
No, but seriously, where are the zombies? Wait, I hear a bunch of people over here. Someone's stuck on like some barbed wire. It was a cactus. They did count. Um, it's not spawning any more zombies. <laughs> I have a plan. I will just do the PY until zombies start spawning again. Hello? Yeah, they do count. Ow, didn't see that guy. I just need to make sure I avoid accidentally getting swarmed by like a hundred zombies. I don't even think there's going to be another 52 zombies in this PY. <laughs> yep, I, I still need another 43 kills. Anybody else hiding in here? Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> I guess the quest just straight up broke. Well, I suppose I'll just leave the quest and that just, you know, I failed this quest. It happens, I guess. It's very understandable since it is a modded quest type anyway. Did he count as two? Why did he count as two? I wonder, can I snipe 41 zombies from here? <laughs> if I was to summon a screamer somehow, and then use the screamer's zombies to do the quest, that would also work. Question is, how much heat can I generate? If there was an explosive barrel, that would be very easy to answer. And there's another zombie. That one counted as one, definitely. I don't think you can hit this guy. <laughs> Too far away. Well, is there something metal I can just do this to? It's a bit of a waste of gas. Oh, I could shoot the car, that might work. Of course, when you want a screamer to spawn, it won't work. Is there any stone nearby? Behold my genius. The campfire spawninator. Surely. Surely this will summon a screamer. There's one. Now we wait. Wanna summon some zombies for me? Just have to try and not kill her now. This is going very well. Alright, quest done. I'll hand it in to him in the morning. These screamers are this part of the world's problem. I live a kilometer away, so I'm gonna drive away now. See us. See? You can always think of a solution to your problems. Mine was 15 campfires and firing a bunch of bullets into the sky. That could be the solution to your problems too. Anyway, I'm going to drive back to my base now. In the next episode, we will take on some tier 5s because I imagine Trader Rect is going to be very close to giving me tier 5 quests. So we can get that done in the morning. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today we are going to be taking on... No. No. The tier 4 job I did reset. After all I did, for those of you who are very confused by what just happened in the last episode, I went to extreme lengths to complete a tier 4 uh, defense quest, but apparently leaving the game reset the quest, so yeah, that's gone now. So we're going to go to Trader Rect, we're going to do a couple of tier 4s, we're going to get tier 5s, and then I'm going to do some tier 5s. That was going to be the original plan. It's still going to be the plan, it's just going to take a little bit longer now. During the night, I got some of my 9 mil from up there that I've been crafting, but I also made some steel bolts. I can bulk craft these as well, which is what I did. 80 steel arrowheads, 160 scrap polymer for 100 steel bolts. I made two boxes of it, so that should be good. Let's get in the helicopter and head over to Trader Wrecked and see what quests he has to get us started. Right, it's still not open yet. I'm going to have a look around here and see if there's anything useful. Hi there. There's bones in here. That's useful. Oh, there's a radiated zombie. Hello. Oh, there's a load of zombies in there. Don't punch barrels. That's not going to end well for you. I bled out. Nice. More bones. I can try and make sure I get more scrap polymers now that I'm using steel bolts. Ow. 
Trader Wreck is about to open. Let me try and get through this quickly. See what's in here. Okay, they both just fell down. I'm just going to seal the loot, I guess. Ooh, a laser sight. Nice. Uh, I'd rather have that on my Magnum. I've been using a flashlight, which I hate. <laughs> yeah, double barrel shotgun. That's definitely good loot to be finding. On day 44 in the desert biome at level 60. I have some gas crafting at my base, but I've realized I have none in my auger or chainsaw, so I might have to go back and get some. Hey, Rekt. I could buy gas from him, to be fair. I have a lot of spare money at this point. So let me just do that. Even though I have 10,000 back at my base, this would save me a very short journey. Wait, right. tier 4s. Uh, well, Speed clear, that would be ideal. Let me get the M wrap out. I'm gonna put all that gas. Well, not all of it, actually. I'll put like half of it in there and then make sure I've got some of my auger and chainsaw. Alright, let's head out there. Hopefully this is the last one I need to do, but, but there might actually be an extra one after this. I can't remember. Ah, is this place again? Okay. In we go. Oh yeah, it's a speed clear, right? Let's do it quickly then. Never mind the crossbow. I miss. There we go. Easy gold medal. Right. Get some loot. That was a screamer. Is this the 44 lever action rifle from the mod? Or... Oh, it is. Couldn't remember if I had gotten that mod or what. Because I installed that, obviously, at the very start of the series. And then forgot about it. But yeah. I have 44 magnum lever action rifles installed. <laughs> and I remember this on episode, like, 18 of 20. Impact bracers... Scrapping for fun, we got some more customized fittings, I think that's the last set I need. Though, all my armor will be able to have those now. Let's head back to Wrecked. Well, let me grab this as well. Some ammo and coffee, cool. Um, that's really bad rewards for tier 4. But I will take some more magazines. Let me get, like, a gold reward now as well. I'll take those contact nades, and I'll take the explosive arrows. Cool. No good books from that. So, another job then, Wrecked. Uh, clear Zombies Eco Trash Recycling Center, okay. Alright, here we are. I'll use a first aid bandage. Did I wake everybody up? No, that's a good sign. Where are they? I see red dots, I don't see enemies. Are they above? Well, there's, there's one. Ow. Annoying. More vultures inside. There's a guy. Oh, I see. They're like in the piles of dirt. Oh, I didn't get the sneak attack. Hey, books. Oh, just research data. Okay. Get my bolts back because they're actually somewhat worth something now. Didn't really care about losing some iron and a feather, you know. Hello. Some ammo up here. Magnum and bullet tips. I do need more bullet tips, so that's helpful. I mean, 36 isn't going to get me much, but I do need more, so. Uh, let's see, that fiery thing's on, so I'll need to turn that off, probably. Even though I can sneak past it, I probably control spawning or something. You know what this game's like. I see anybody else from here. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I don't trust this door. Oh, look, enemies. Oh, hi, fiery guys. Well, this is unfortunate. Use that to heal the abrasion in the fastest way possible. I've kind of got myself lost using parkour. This is a very confusing PY. Because <laughs> you kind of have to go through things a certain way for certain things to spawn. And I don't want to miss anybody, so even though I'm using parkour, I then like have to run back through the PY. Hello. To like, refine the zombies. Wait, here's a button. I have no idea what that just opened. Hi. 
Can I see any zombies down there? That would be a nice way to get some sneak attacks, but I doubt they spawn in. I don't recognize it, so I'm going to go with no. Hi there. Ah, he saw me. He didn't, though. Incredible hitbox. There we go. Hey, I'm finished with food books now. That's something. Uh, I don't trust these locked doors behind me. That feels like I'm going to go down here and they're going to open behind me. Ah, the end loot. How many thousands of zombies are in here? Let me try and get some jumping. There we go. Suck, apparently. That's fine. They've done quite a good job of making sure I can't stealth attack anybody from here. I will stand next to the button to get outside, though. Really? That hit the railing? Come on, game. Survive that! Illegal. That is a six-time sneak attack with a level five crossbow with five ranks of archery and steel bolts. You're just a guy. You shouldn't be able to survive that. He's stuck in the floor, though, so that's helpful. Can I hit his head? Ah, he can't survive a second sneak attack, though, can he? It's his own fault. But he gets sneak attacked twice. There we go, and we're clear. Let's see what loot we got, then. Uh, scrapping for fun. Hammers, ooh. Electrical traps. Some mechanical parts. Some ammo, mainly bullet tips. Let's bash this thing open, unless I have any lockpicks, which I never do, so... This is another lever action rifle here. This one uses 44 as well. Scrap the other one then. Uh, big hitters don't need that. Another beaker. I just find so many of those in the playthroughs where I don't need them. They only have like one chemistry station and I don't think I'm going to need another one. But from those playthroughs where I'm trying to have like 10 of them, yeah, I'll never find a beaker. That is the law. Uh, oh, my MRAP's over there. Let's go back to right and see if that's done with tier 4 then. None of that's particularly helpful, but I'll try some more skill magazines. Ah, we are done. Uh, the auto shotgun bundle is pretty good, although I'm not really a shotguns character. Blade traps, I have a million blade trap bundles already. I'll take a food bundle, I guess. The battery bank bundle's nice, but I don't really need battery banks, and I have loads of money. So, even though I have loads of food, food is probably the thing I'm most likely to run out of on this list, so I'll take it. So tomorrow here will have tier 5s and we can do those. What did we get? Oh, nice gumbo stews, perfect. Uh, I don't need the home cooking weekly, so I'll scrap those. Don't need sharp sticks. I'll read the scrapping for funds. Don't need the armored ups. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. It's a good food bundle, actually, because I think that's the highest level food in the game. Whether it's the best is a very complex question, but highest level food in the game, yes. There's 112 food right there. It's entirely too much food, I would say. 40 stamina is nice, though, but it's not that important for my build. I could make progress towards the tier 5 complete by doing some tier 4s today. But it wouldn't even be one tier 5's worth if I got that one tier 4 done. Hmm. You know what, I'll do it. I'll do that close by tier 4. Then I can maybe do, like, a tier 1, and I'll have one tier 5 equivalent done. Meaning I only have to do 6 tier 5's to get to tier 5 complete. That might be worth my time. So let's head in here. I got grenades, by the way. Oh, did I put them in the truck? They tend to be very helpful in this location. Forgot that guy was there. I might actually gather up all the scrap polymer that's in here. I remember this one being a pretty decent place for it. And I do need a good amount of it. But you know what, I'll clear it first and then I'll run back through the entire building. In a big looting spree. I woke him up, hello. Got another sneak attack on him, what? <laughs> Guess he forgot where I was. Lucky me, I suppose. Well, that's mean. They're all hiding, the cheaters. I don't think I ever bother to go in here. What is this? Is there any loot? Well, there's a bag. Some armor parts. An elevator. With a weapons bag. Oh, that's how you get to that. I've always wondered. Yeah, I don't really loot things very thoroughly because you usually don't need it. it slows you down. Any more zombies in this area? Oh, I need to get the satchel, apparently. Where is it? There we go. Continue down here. Ow. Ah, here we go. Down into this basement area. Let me eat a bandage. Oh wait, we're not in the basement yet, we have to do this last hallway. Alright, now we're in the basement. 
So does pressing the button just make me immediately spotted? That is the question. By a few of them, yes. I don't think it triggered all of them though. Fortunately, they can't seem to figure out this door here. Never mind, they found the door. <laughs> well, one of them did anyway. They're, they want to go through this though. There we go, there's another one. Come on, hit it. All that to just run around it, bro. Hey, it's a bit of a mean area, because they're kind of guaranteed to run at you, but whatever. See, can I sneak into this room at all? Well, I've not been set upon by all those zombies, so that's a good sign. Alright, start picking them off. A dog I see, or is that like an ammo bag? Well, given that I shot at something and it didn't kill it, I'm assuming it's a dog, because that's kind of how dogs work. Yep, <laughs> their hitboxes are dog shit. Who's even still- oh, hello. There we go. Uh, some ammo, nice. Let me check this loot here. More ammo, as you would kind of expect. Some blood, some food, some medical stuff, and a battery bank. Good thing I didn't take that one quest reward then, huh? Right, let me break open this. Scrapping for fun, and some general stuff. Let's go get the reward then. Oh wait, I wanted to loot this place, didn't I? Yeah, let me do that then. Let me open that. I'll head round to the front and dump some of the stuff I have, and then I'm gonna go from like the top to the bottom and just gather up everything in here. Not that I have the truck space, mind you. So let me go up to the top floor somehow. Maybe just frames would be the best way to do it. <laughs> Save me the most amount of time, honestly. Doesn't mean I need to nerd pull it, mind you. I can do it the somewhat interesting way. Here we are on the roof. Let's see what I can find. Some coffee. That was not what I expected. Some tough guy sunglasses. No dye on them though, unfortunately. I bet there's going to be a lot of these sinks. I'm going to come out with a good, like, a hundred lead. Because these are a terrible source of lead, but there's going to be a lot of sinks at least. My inventory is full already. Oh yeah, I should be breaking doors as well, because I get brass from these. I forgot I had that ability. That's pretty good. Hey, there's a balcony here. Some more glue. It's night time, so I have to be careful now. Okay, I am bored of this. I'm gonna go back to my base now. <laughs> I've got a decent amount of stuff, though. My truck's probably gonna be full. Yeah. Right, so I'll head back to my base. In the morning, we'll come back and we'll do some tier 5s. Probably a tier 5, considering how long they usually take, but maybe I'll get a couple done. Alright, Trader Rect is open. Let's see what he has for us today. Let me buy a bunch of drinks as well, because I am thirsty. Right, what do you have, Rekt? Triple armor pocket mod. I don't need any more pocket mods, so I'll just take the crafting magazine bundle. Now, what tier 5s do you have? Ah, one 300 meters away, that's pretty good. The poppin' pills factory, that could be pretty good. There's also infested speed clear fort bags, that could be done very quickly, I'm gonna take that. And then we'll do one of the bigger ones. We need one more electrician book and then I'll be done with that as well. So let's go do four bags. It's a very easy tier 5 infestation. And I have to do it quickly as well, but that's fine. It's just a really good way of getting the job counter up, if nothing else. Right, let's get this one started. We've got 180 seconds. I don't think I have time to go sneaky around the side. I think I just have to shoot them all. Alright, that side's clear. Jump in here, up here. Shoot the one guy. Pop this open. Who do I miss? Ah, you. There's probably some guys in the fire pit area here. There we go. I think the tent has a few. That's them dealt with. So then it's just the other tower and the, uh, oh, there may be one in the cubicle actually, hang on. Anybody hiding in these? No, okay. Just the last downstairs area now. I've got 100 seconds to do it, that's pretty good. Hmm. 
There's a vulture coming in, apparently. There we go. Right, let me put another point in Deep Cuts or... No, what's it called? Whirlwind, yeah. There, we got gold on that quite easily. I mean, getting a tier 5 done in less than 2 minutes is pretty good. For your job counter, at least. Uh, let me grab all this. And let me bash open this as well. Oh, I didn't bring extra gas, did I? That's annoying. Can I modify the chainsaw and then get some gas from my auger? Uh, some good stuff there. Alright, let's head back to Trader Wrecked and see if he's got any other infestations that I could do quickly. And also see if he's got any regular tier 5s to do that I want to do anyway. Not a fantastic set of rewards. I don't even need crafting skill magazine bundles anymore, so I'll take the steel, I suppose. Uh, we get a reward for doing it quickly, though I'll take some... I think I might need a couple more advanced mufflers once I get some actual armor. Let me take the exploding arrows, those are good for Horde Knight. Uh, has he got any other infestations? No. So he's got two tier 5 fetch and clears. There's this one, Vanity Tower, or Poppin' Pills Factory. I think I prefer Poppin' Pills Factory. Let's do that. Right, here we are. Let's turn my headlight off and then start the quest and see if I can get some easy stealth kills. Can I see any of the cops from in here? Or out here, I suppose. Doesn't look like it. There's one of them, but I don't know if I can headshot him. Oh, hello. Some books here. Trogon Weekly. I mean, I'll read it, but I doubt I'm going to craft anything. Anybody? Oh yeah, there's definitely someone in here. Can I open this quietly? Hmm, quietly enough. There's one guy's head, and there's the other guy. That piling cam that got shit in it. Fists and armor, yeah, no. <laughs> Scrapping for fun. Need one more of those and then I'm done with them as well. Not that I need a level 5 impact driver, of course. For obvious reasons. Uh, there's a... Oh, can get the other guy. I'm so used to tier 6 versions of all the tier 5 POIs. That this feels really easy because I'm used to like having to walk inside and just being covered in red dots. Everything else just feels really easy in comparison. Oh, hello. An M141. I have no idea what this is, but I think it's a rifle from the Isaiah's uh, Sim 62 weapon pack. I would imagine. Right, it's first room cleared. Let's get the meds that hide in here. Now, these stairs can be really annoying to sneak up. If I just tap, 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 and keep it below, like, 10, I should be okay. <laughs> At least on default settings. Federal Sense, just don't even bother with stealth. It doesn't do anything. Alright, that wasn't too bad. My character is actually built for stealth for once, so I suppose that does make sense. Alright, so this PY does something I can only really describe as extremely anal, which is, even if you go up there and into that room from above... Um, the zombies won't spawn in until you use this door, so I'm going to try and use it. I'm pretty sure they're going to immediately know where I am because I interacted with the door. Yep, they did. Fortunately, not an infestation, so these zombies are all just normal guys. Still really annoying as a mechanic, though, especially when you do come in in like a tier 6 infestation in the wasteland, and you're just greeted with 30 lab zombies who know exactly where you are. Oh, I was too loud going through that door. I think I pissed someone off in the other room because of the penetration on the magnum ammo. Right, here comes one of the best sneak grenade opportunities in the game though. Better on tier 6 of course, but... I mean, a sneak grenade's a sneak grenade. What can you complain about? Oh, they added zombies to that now. I love how they changed the POIs. Is that really new? I don't remember that being in Alpha 21 originally. Is that like an Alpha 21.1 thing that I've never noticed before? That they now have zombies in that trailer when you open it?
Damn, I thought it was being really sneaky there. Oh, this isn't loaded. Is this another one of those doors? Interacting with the door will make sure that you get caught. Nope. At least not on these settings anyway. Oh, missed his head. There we go. I'm fairly certain this door is one of these doors, though, where you just you just get set upon if you press it. Oh, yep, yep, it is. Ooh, he's fast. Uh, three working stiff container crates, though. Oh, no gas. I'll impact drive them, it's fine. I have loads of gas, I just forgot to bring it. Again. Ah, the last scrapping for fun book I needed. Needed having very large quotation marks around it. Some duct tape, cool. Level 6 wrench. And some ammo crafting stuff. Is this going to be one of those doors? No. Okay, good. Oh yeah, yeah, this is pretty much a safe room, I think. Hello. Stop. Oh. I bled out, that works. Two books I don't need. In there. There's the satchel. I'll have to drop something to pick it up, though. Um, do I really need blood bags? I never craft first aid kits. I don't think I've done that in, like, three updates. And I don't know why I did it three updates ago, to be honest. Probably for a multiplayer server. Anybody hiding in here? Nope. Cool. This is, like, the final partial room. There, it's more than one room. It's complicated. So much shit. Let me see. Drop some of this spare junk. Right. Open this. Everybody pissed off? Nope. Great. Cool. Let's get a few easy hits in here. That's an awful lot of red dots. And this is the non-invested version. Now, I always forget if you can hit through this. But I feel like you probably can. I just need to find the right angle to do it at. One guy. There's another guy. Right, here we go. Let's test this. Yeah, yeah you can. I will ask that every single time I come in here. Because I will not remember. Remembering is for... I don't know who it's for, but it's not for me. I mean, why remember things? Shush. I said shush. Yeah, I woke them both up, fuck's sake. Actually, she didn't know where I was, so that kind of works. Okay, we've cleared out this main chamber here, but there is more zombies yet. Well, I can get to the loot now if I want to, but it's... Not something I can really carry anyway, so I'll just leave it for now. Hello. Hi there. He spawned in very suddenly. Yeah, I'm just gonna say there's usually a big guy in there as well. Ooh, lucky head pop. Works for me. Radiated tourists are the worst. Actually, radiated bikers, but you know. Close second. Now, can I stealthily do this? Somehow, yes. There we go. Probably the two most dangerous guys in here. If you let them get to you, that is. Which... Okay, there's stairs there, but there's something here as well. I can't remember which one. Yeah, this is the one with the guys under it. Okay, we've got a couple more sub-rooms left. There's one guy in there. I am too used to the tier 6 version of this, clearly. Yes, here's the ones that always are radiated. Can I shoot through this tiny, tiny gap? Yes. There's also a much bigger gap I could have shot through. But glass is difficult to see. By design. Are we not clear? Who do we miss? Hmm. Let me go take a look at that. Oh, I missed the guy in the elevator shaft, of course. I've, I thought I had missed him. I was like, where's, this, where's the spider guy who jumps you? Yeah, I walked right past him. There we go. Let me go put some stuff in my vehicle, and then I'll come back and get the actual end loot for this place. Uh, let's see, we've got a food bundle here. More tuna fish gravy toast and some mineral water. I, once again, cannot carry all of this, even though I just emptied my inventory a few seconds ago. Um, I'll drop some stuff I know I'm not going to use. I mean, do I really need more acid or anything like that? I'm not going to craft a chemistry station, am I? Let's go back to Trader Wrecked and see what absolutely awful reward I will inevitably get for this. At least your bets now, is there going to be a level 5 stun baton for this? Ah, oh, level 6 military helmet. See, I goaded the game into giving me something good. <laughs>
I'll need to grab a customized thing from my base to make this maximally effective, but good. It is an improvement. I'm up to 60% armor rating now. Just need the uh, gloves and a chest piece now, I think, and then I'll actually have the full military armor. Only 45 days into the game. Get out of my store. I swear I've had, like, bonus military armor bundles pop on day 10, and then I'm like, <laughs> armor's so easy to get. But that is being a bitch today. And by today, I mean this, like, whole month. So I don't really have time to do another tier 5, so let's go back to my base for a bit. Maybe we can do some design. Why is there so many of you at the trader? Piss off. Ah, looks like it was a wandering horde with all these loot bags that they're dropping. It's an unusually high amount of them. Which comes from wandering hordes, because the zombies in those have a higher chance of giving you stuff. Let's head back. Let me spend a couple of minutes putting all this shit away. Alright, stuff put away. Do I have any cobblestone blocks lying around still? Oh, you know what I need? Um, chrysanthemum. Because I'll need paint eventually if I'm going to do some work to this place, right? There's some water. There's 24 chrysanthemum. Is that all the chrysanthemum I have? I just shift-clicked something and I thought it was the chrysanthemum. If I do like that... Yeah, that's all the chrysanthemum I have. 24. It's not bad. That's still worth a decent amount of paint. Let me go to my chemistry station. Which paint is that? 24 units, which is... I forget how much you get per craft, because I think they changed it again. Okay, 12,000 paint. That's pretty solid. Should be enough for this base. If it's not, there is more chrysanthemum in the world. Uh, in particular, the Judy Witch POIs. If I just put a point to living off the land, I'll probably get more of the chrysanthemum than I'll ever use. So that's good. But yeah, anyway, cobblestone blocks. Yeah, here we go. And I've got a bunch of extra cobblestone as well, which I will turn into cobblestone blocks. Because that's what I like to build out of. Just get some cubes. Right. Uh, where's all my gas again? Yeah. So I want to turn all the fences into wall. Because fences are just pretty weak. Or... These fences are pretty weak. You can see they have like 300 health there. So I would like to remove that if it's at all possible. But I try and keep the barbed wire because you can't craft your own and it does look kind of good. Obviously this looks really flat and stuff but I'm going to paint it to look better and I'll probably make a bunch of extra blocks to decorate it with if I have time but I don't know if I will. In fact I seriously doubt I will but I'll see what I can do. So I'm going to take out this fence a little bit and place in some more cobblestone walls as much as I can. Oh, we got a screamer from just me augering a fence. What, I can't do some home decoration? Hmm? Leave me alone. There we go, the front wall is now all cobblestone. I need to get a door for this, but I'm not sure what one I want to use. So I've still got like 300 blocks, so let me just replace some- hey. Why is there so many screamers? All I've done is auger some fences. Have I got all my forges on? Even then, I have two forges. Doesn't even make sense. Okay, so I've replaced the side wall here between these two buildings. Uh, with a bit of a fortification here so that I can shoot people on this side. I've got a ladder here if I need to, like, shoot someone further away or to the other sides. And I can throw grenades over that, so that should be a pretty useful defense. Not that I intend to really use it as one, because I don't really want to defend anything here, but if I need to, I want to be able to do it from the inside. And I'm taking out all these old windows, because they're kind of shitty. Let me get a door here. There we go. I need to install a bunch of lights in here as well. So many locked doors. I'm gonna need like 10 doors for this whole place, honestly. Okay, well I have cleaned up this building on the inside quite a bit. I'll need to still furnish it, but it's uh, looking a lot better anyway. So this is coming along at a steady pace. I'll keep doing work on it over the course of various nights and it'll probably be cleaned up and then it'll just be a case of painting it. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Today we're gonna be taking on some high level PYs, hopefully some good tier 5s. It looks like I need to do maybe about five tier fives to get the tier five complete, which would be my next best chance to get the full military armor bonus bundle. I think I can actually do a tier one though. 
So if I do four tier fives and a tier one, that should combine with this tier four that I did here after the complete to be the equivalent of a tier five. So we'll have to give that a try. Let's go talk to Rekt. Uh, let's see. Tier five infested clear. That might be a good start. Fort Quonset, yeah, okay. That's a good starting one because we can get it out of the way quickly and then do a regular tier five, which will take like all day. That's fine. Let's head over there. Okay, here we are. Is this a speed clear? No, this is just a regular infestation. Cool. As always, we want to clear the little trench area. We don't want to get hit in the back at any point in this PY. How dare you wake up. Ah, radiated cop, is it? Yeah, he's gonna pop at least, that works for me. Why are you aggro to me like I just hit you? <laughs> Feel slightly robbed. I wonder if there's a level 6 crossbow that will allow me to one-tap the cops. Because I have full stealth damage and I have full archery leveled. The, the last real benefit I think I can get is to have a level 6 crossbow for like a slight bit more damage. But it's not going to be the most reliable thing. So maybe I need to use the Covert Cat's candy. Get some extra sneak attack damage, but it's not the biggest boost in the world. Everybody woke up, apparently. Oh, I didn't bring grenades. That's slightly annoying for this POI, because grenades really help. Well, everybody's awake. Might as well start shooting. Yep, they're all immediately activated, that's fun. I got a drink on me. Uh, gumbo stew will do. It has 20 water, and I need food anyway, so it'll do for now. That's right, everybody wake up. Chainsaw this. Probably want to run upstairs before I get radiated. go we're clear and that was done in a few hours so much nicer than doing a full tier 5 uh blade trap bundle water surprise some ammo here ah supercharger mod schematic that's pretty good although is it still bugged it might not actually be very good at all i'll need to check that and i might have to just look in the code myself to check that actually uh lucky looter and some ammo and more advanced mufflers can i put those on anything nah i don't think i have any slots yeah i need more military armor damn it also, I got a skill point in there. I probably want to just get the last perk I need in agility. There. The full agility build. <laughs> Absolutely every agility perk I could possibly need. And agility is one of the few trees where I ever do that. Now, let's fly back. Correct. I will take the military gloves as much as I would like the machete. It's not really that big of a deal for my build anymore. I mostly use... Uh, my guns and my crossbow, but the gloves could actually benefit me. Do you have a quick tier 1 I can do, just so I can get it off? No, not really, he doesn't. I could do a buried supplies very quickly, actually. Let me grab that. Wait till it switch over to those military gloves. And I'll put the advanced mufflers on those in a second. They're in the helicopter. Hey, let's go do this one tier 1 really quickly before I take another tier 5. That will give me the equivalent of having a tier 5 done, because I have also done a tier 4. Because they add together to make the same tier, basically. Uh, where's the advanced mufflers? Or did I find some? Oh yeah, I put them on my boots. I took the impact bracers off. I thought, you know, impact bracers and parkour is probably not that necessary. I can never break my leg anyway. At least not that way. Let's take the truck out. I don't want to fly 500 meters. 
All right, here we are. Oops, spawn some zombies. Where the hell is it? Ah, there it is. Uh, some decent food items there for a tier one, to be fair. Oh, there's a radiated biker. I'm out of here. Not paid enough to give a shit about that. I will take the coal. It's hard to get out here. Uh, right, so that's the tier five equivalent done there. Let's see. We've got a speed clear here and a fetch clear. This one probably is the smarter one. Oh, last sunset nursing home. What's the other one? Higashi residence. I guess I'll take the Higashi residence. I hate both of these, but gotta do them. So that should mean ignore these tier four accelerated annihilations. By the way, they're not real. They're medals for doing the tier five accelerated annihilation. They don't count towards my quest progression, but that should be 4, 9, 14, 15, and this will be 20. So that'll be 20 out of the 35 points you need to complete tier 5. So let's go do that. After this one, I'll have three more to do, which is pretty good. Should have plenty of time to do it as well. What are those covert cats? Let me see. Is there any extra ammo I need to bring? Because it is going to be the Karanagashi residence. I doubt stealth is going to be that viable in this one. It's very tight. Right, let me grab the truck just so I don't leave it behind. And let's fly over there. Okay, so here we are. This is just normal ones. So I don't have to go too fast, although I would like to get it done as quickly as possible. Where's this marker? Are they above or below? I'm gonna guess below. Doesn't look like they're below. <laughs> are they in the ceiling? Yeah, they are. Oh shit, radiated biker immediately. Okay. And a radiated lumberjack. Don't worry, by the way, I have 10 boxes of 9 mil on me, so it's not like I'm going to run out of this in here. Unless I really just spray and pray. Hmm, that opened something, but there's more in this building up here. Oh, customized fitting schematic. Cool. If I need any more of those, which I'm not sure if I do, I will be able to craft them. Oh, this just leads here. Okay. Let's hop through the hole in the wall then. Oh, you don't actually have to. It's just to tell you to go there, I see. Hmm, steel shovel. There's a red marker behind me, why? Okay, weird. Of course I'm thirsty, did I bring anything? I got Mega Crush, that'll do. Okay, automatic door. Surely someone's hiding in here. No, that's weird. Ah, I finished Night Stalker, nice. What does the end bonus of that even give you again? Oh yeah, sneak attacks with knives at night deal extra damage. That might be helpful every now and again. Okay, where to next? Did I just come in here? I did. Oh, I see. Into the vents again. Smack this. Yeah. Oh no, I don't want to fall. I hate this. Where are the zombies? Oh, they're all actually in another room. It was nice of them, I guess. Alright, back to the start. Cool. I seem to recall them falling from the ceiling here. Did you just die? There's too many stabs to the face for a person to survive. Oh, these were not in the ceiling. Oh, good, a rope ladder. No, I simply refuse to jump into these silly rooms and get my head ripped off. I'm gonna auger my way around even if it kills me. Hmm. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's where you would have fell, I think. Oh, are you behind me? Oh, hello. Why is someone behind me? I hear them smacking shit. Hey, 
How dare you live? Oh, just die, please. Oh, he embraced me. Oh, I'm infected as well. Well, lovely. Where's this one guy? Oh, he's above. Let's see, I've got first aid kits for abrasions, and I've got herbal antibiotics as well. I'm not doing this fall down there shit. It's overused in this POI. It's just a cheap way of getting me into fights that I can't win. Ah, there's the end. Let me open a few more of these. There's the satchel. Is there like a button in here? I seem to remember one. Yeah, over there. Someone fell down. Just a guy. Here we are in the final room at least. Actually relatively quick for a normal tier 5. Did they all immediately wake up? Yeah, they all immediately woke up. What am I saying? I remember what game I'm playing. Here we go. So let's have a look at the loot. Let's see. Shotgun turret bundle. Eh. Not bad, not good. The banded armor plate was probably the most useful thing actually in there. Alright, let's get out here. There's a lot of shit going on out here. Uh, but I think they're all stuck on the inside of the building now, so it doesn't really matter. I doubt I'm going to get back to Wrecked in time for tonight, but that's fine. In the morning, we'll head back to Trader Wrecked. I'll give him the quest, and then we'll have three more tier 5s to do to get tier 5 complete. And at this point, it's not even going to be that helpful, because all I really need is the uh, military chest. But I might get lucky. I could get a bonus bundle and get like a full set of good military armor. That would certainly be nice. So I will cut to the morning for you. Okay, so I went back to Trader Erect and I got myself another quest here. This should be six of seven. The reward, by the way, because I forgot to record that was some forged steel. It was not very impressive at all. Uh, but we should be able to get the speed clear done very quickly, and then I think there's an infested clear as well. Oh no, this is the infested clear, and then we'll do the speed clear, and that should be us done with tier 5, hopefully. Let's get started here. He's gonna pop now, I'm just gonna run away from him. Oh, hello. I do have more boxes of ammo, by the way, so I am fine. And I have even more of them back at my base, so this really isn't too much of an issue. Hello, this is a room of radiated zombies. Why is he not about to pop? He must have a load of health. Hmm. Explosives magazine, nice. Anything in these bookcases? Paper and... Just a couple of books I don't really need. Cool. Where's the third zombie hiding? I know where the fourth is. Oh, there he is. I doubt you can even do that. Ah, you can, okay. Usually the hitboxes are a lot shitter. Make sure, of course, to check the hidden stash. Some ammo, nice. Has a whole lot of red dots in a small room. Here we are in the last room. That is just millions and millions and millions of zombies. There's one left. He always hides in the back here. Oh, it's a radiated Arlene. Great. Ah, tier 5 infestations are so nice. Easily the best part of Elf 21. Does it outweigh the other stuff? Probably not. But they are good. 
Dart Trap Bundle Har Har game. Har Har indeed. Right, let's head back to Wrecked, get the reward, and then move on to what I hope is the last tier 5, but maybe I miscounted. Hey, Wrecked. Um, again, nothing amazing there. I will, I guess, take the ammo? Jeez, these are some bad rewards. Right, it should be one more. The speed clear at Ostrich Hotel. Okay, then. That's gonna be a fucking shit show. I've only got a skill point. I don't even know what to use that on anymore. Give me one rank of pain tolerance. Who doesn't like a little 5% damage reduction? Probably gonna want to fly to that, though. Right, let's get over there. Alright, here we are at the Ostrich Hotel. Let's make sure I've got food and water and stuff. There's not going to be much opportunity for stealth here. In fact, let me open the rest of these boxes and hope for the best. We've got 1,200 seconds. Not sure what that sound effect was. I'm just going to keep climbing. Ah, vulture. So annoying. Really? Four of them? Here we go. First floor is clear at least. Eh. Gonna eat that vitamin. Ooh, frame rate is not good in here. That's always a good sign. <laughs> The annoying thing about this POI as a speed clear is you have to go to every corner of all the floor to actually find all the zombies, because if you miss one you're probably going to spend like five minutes hunting them down. Where's that dog? Oh good, I woke up the zombies behind me. Oh, bullshit, dog. Somebody's in that room. Oh, that is a bad room. are these guys? Did they go all the way up or something? I'm so confused. Or are they- oh, yeah, they're down the way. Ah, uh, radiated biker. God, those things are annoying. Why am I eating a snake right now? I'm gonna get pushed right back onto the roof. You don't make magazines big enough for this. I have such a genuine hatred for this POI. Oh, that's a screamer down there. Fun. Is that that bloody snake? It was. 
Where is this guy? Oh, I've woke up the rest of the POI. That guy's gonna pop. I think there's zombies. Oh, there's zombies over here as well. Holy shit. I have legitimately no idea what floor these guys are on because it's impossible to tell on the map. Are they stuck up here? Or are they below me? Well, it's looking like they're below me. Oh. How did I even wake those guys up? Hang on, this screamer's annoying me. Is there a zombie hiding in here? Oh, there's another one, seriously? Where? Did I hear another one? I don't think I did. Still, I have 600 seconds. My biggest concern is the lack of ammo I have right now. Because every floor takes like 100 bullets to clear. <laughs> Even with a gun that does as much damage as this one does. I take a health bar. Those are always useful when POIs are being rude. Anybody hiding here? Yeah, I saw some green there. I'm gonna try and sneak attack that one. Oh yeah, just survive that. That's fine. Oh, there's more of this shit. This is vending machine heaven. I probably still have time to stealth these last couple of rooms. I hope, because I don't have the ammo to do them the hard way, I don't think. Really? Even with covert cats, you still survive that? Insane difficulty, such a fever dream sometimes. Anyone in here? Doesn't seem like it. Right, let's be fast about this, because there might be a room I missed and I want time to, you know, notice. Uh, I'm kind of lost. Well, there is this, I guess, but I don't think I want to go that way. Oh, these bloody four-way symmetrical POIs are so easy to get lost in. By these, I mean specifically this one, because it's the only one that does it that I can think of anyway. So confused. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's the west side, at least on this version of the POI. How many millions of zombies are there then? Oh, at least two million, I would guess. I don't know if I have enough crossbow bolts for this, which was not a problem I foresaw today. Although the ammo's right here at least, that might be worth grabbing. 9 mil, and nothing particularly helpful. 340 seconds. You survived that? What? Right, so we've got someone still up there, but there's also the demo that spawns when you open the door, which I think you have to kill. Right, demo's dead, let's go up. See who I inevitably missed. Ah, this room here. Hopefully it's just the one. Well, how did I miss this room? There we go. And we got a gold, that wasn't too bad. Even though I hate the POI. Let's get the loot. Did I bring time charges for once? Good. I'm gonna just sit here and auger shit for 10 minutes. Back with some ammo in it. A uh, food bundle. Some shepherd's pies. And... I forget an elixir's kinda cool, but I don't really need one. And some ammo. Cool. Right, let's go see what reward we get for that and if it was enough to get the tier 5 complete. And please, wrecked, give me the military armor bonus bundle. I have earned it, damn it. Okay, Wrecked, you better have something good for me, or I'm gonna put this machete in your head. Um, I will take the steel. Military armor bonus bundle. That's what I thought, Wrecked, you shit! Give me it. Oh, and I get... Oh, hello. A red 9C96 tier 4. I'm just dropping all kinds of shit. Um, don't worry, I'll come back for some of it anyway. Let's get some contact nades. Oh, I need to go put some stuff in the helicopter and sort out this loot. Okay, so this is another tier 4, I think, 9mm weapon? Yeah. That is a strange animation for not a revolver, but whatever. <laughs> uh, 72 damage, so like similar to the base magnum, but obviously a much bigger magazine capacity. 72 versus 79. Fires pretty fast, all things considered. The animation is something else though, but I kind of like it. Uh, where did I put that bundle? Here we go, finally got all the best armor that I want. Uh, these are slightly better, and this is obviously a lot better than what I had. So let's see here, the boots. Are the boots better? Yeah, yeah, they are. 
Now we'll be able to put advanced mufflers on all of my armor, and I'll actually be able to sneak properly. How did I end up with a spare red die? What did I do? It must have been on my magnum or something. This thing can have a bunch of mods on it. Oh, it can have a scope. That is not going to work. How does it? How does it reload? Don't you love modded weapons? <laughs> I have made a Star Wars blaster out of this damn thing. Uh, I'll take the scope off because that will really annoy me. But we can get some other mods for it. Yeah, we finally got the full set of armor. So that's everything I need to do. But we have another episode in the the series here where I'm probably going to mostly do work on the base and do high level quests and do a horde night. So I will cut to the morning for you and we can continue. Okay, so it is the next morning. The gun here actually has a drum magazine, um, which allows it to have a 30 round magazine, which isn't bad considering it does 100 damage per shot with all these mods. So this may actually be really good. Also, I've been making a few more crossbow bolts because I'm actually running out of them somehow. I must only be getting like a third of them back, if I'm lucky. Here we go, a box of those. Got another one in there as well for later. So I'm a little bit bored of just doing quests today, and we do still have to do a decent amount of building on this base, so maybe that's what I'll do today. Let's see, where's my nail gun gotten to? It's in the weapons tab. Um, I need cobblestone. I have loads of stone from mining my various other things, but what I'm missing is clay. Uh, because, you know, the desert isn't particularly filled with clay. So maybe I should... I forgot I had that do collector up there. Maybe I should go out to the town, find a farm that is covered in soil, which can be mined for the full clay amount, and use that to get myself some cobblestone so that I can continue building. But maybe I should see, actually, if I'm going to need those extra blocks first. That would make a lot of sense. Uh, I also want to make sure I've got doors. So this is one, two, three... Four. Is that right? No, that's five, sorry. Two, three, four. So is there a five by four door? There is the roll up five by four doors. Let's get some of these crafting because I'm going to need them and they do take a while. So a forged iron, scrap would go. And then what about the this door here? One, two, three, four by one, two, three. Three by four? Four by three, sorry. Uh, we've got the wooden and the steel. It requires electrical parts and steel. That I also have, so grab the steel, get repair kits because I'll need them, and electrical parts. So let's get those two things crafted so that I can have two big doors on my base. Roll up 5x4 and steel 3 by 4 4x3, uh, sorry. There is also a third big door, but it's fine. I didn't need to replace that one because it wasn't locked or anything. It takes forged iron to repair. There we go. So that's just fine on its own. So the next thing to do would probably be to replace the rest of the fence that I was trying to replace with walls. Uh, let's see, where does that, where did I get to? Uh, looks like about here is where we need to start continuing that along. There's no barbed wire along the back side though, that's kind of annoying. I have no real control over that other than just cheating some in because you can't craft your own barbed wire. You can make this barbed wire, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that barbed wire there, which I have here because it's part of the POI and I just kept it there with uh, strategic block placement. So, yeah. So I'm going to auger out this fence and we'll replace it with some walls that I can actually use. How on earth is this still holding? Oh good, some of it is falling, right. <laughs> okay, so the fence has been removed. Let me place in a new wall below of cobblestone. There we are. Got ourselves a full cobblestone wall at the back here, so it should be much more secure compared to those terrible little fences. Another thing I need to do is find all these broken railings and just replace them with cobblestone versions. That's bars, not railings. Um, you. It doesn't matter that they're a different material, because I'm going to paint over it all anyway. And it doesn't have to actually be strong. Cobblestone's just what I have a lot more uh, blocks ready of. Oh, and I'll need to replace this whole wall, it looks like. There we go. Okay, so I've come through all these buildings here. And I've taken out most of the broken furniture. Obviously, it still needs a lot of my own new furniture. And a lot of uh, lighting work done as well, but that's fine. Uh, some of the stuff I'm keeping, because I think it looks fine. But I've still got some more repair work to do. Also, this tower is going to need some serious work done to the um, the ledges and stuff. Which is going to be quite dangerous, but I think I can do it. Oh, you know, I won't even have to gather up any clay because um, I have to get it all out of my forges. 
because I need to move these because I don't trust them inside the uh, the tower here because it's extremely unstable. I moved like one block and it all went red so I was like yeah okay we're gonna take my important stuff out of this tower and then we're gonna come back which is what I'm working on doing right now. I'm just gonna quickly get all the clay out so that I can remove it. 34 minutes well we'll do the work on this tower in the next episode and I'll work on the rest of the base in the meantime because it's currently not safe to work on i just did it again see that bit fell off jeez this thing is a nightmare <laughs> i could probably reinforce it if nothing else though now let's see did i get a powered door here i haven't got the power to i guess power it yet but it's uh, i can't i can't see if that's right yeah that looks right oh no 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 i don't want to pick it up i want to open it okay so we'll power that up later in the meantime i still have this door here so i'm, I'm good that reminds me, I've got a bunch of iron doors. There we go. I'm going to use those. I don't want to go full vault doors because they're kind of ugly, but iron doors look fine, I think. I'm mostly fine with how this room looks. I just want to fill in any bits of the floor that are broken. So I've also replaced the barrier thing here. It's going to be permanently in an up position. There used to be one here. I broke it. Uh, it's there. It's just it's in cobblestone right now, so you can barely see it. Another thing I should definitely do is come to these roofs and fix up these little broken bits. I think... Oh, no, wait, there's another piece of the roof here. There. I think now the entire roof has been repaired. It'll just be a case of painting all this cobblestone the right colour uh, once I decide what colour I want the roof to be, because I'm not particularly happy with the paint that comes on this base to begin with. Uh, but I do like the shapes of things, which is good, because I suck at making new ones. There's also a bunch of glass to repair. And there's even more windows to replace in this other building, so I'm going to do that as well. If I run out of cobblestone, that's fine, because I don't really care if the windows are made out of wood. They're all going to be painted anyway. So in terms of repairs, aside from the tower, which is going to need some special attention, um, we're mostly repaired. It would just be a, a case of uh, painting much for the most part, and doing some minor decorations. The next thing I need is just a bunch of furniture to actually populate the place with. And, of course, I need to actually repair the tower and add power. Those rhymed. Now, I'm going to put my workbenches inside one of these rooms for now. Shouldn't really have to worry about screamers too much. I don't produce that much heat anyway. So they shouldn't, like, wander in here. If they do, I mean, I don't need them for that much longer anyway, so it's fine. And of course my forges are still upstairs doing their thing. But that is going to do it for this episode. In between episodes I'm going to do some more base work. Uh, I think it's just going to be pretty tedious so I'm not going to put through the rest of that. But um, I'll do that and then we'll do some POIs. We'll do the Horde Night, day 49. And then we will finish off this place. And then we'll be done with the series. And we'll move on to the next series that I have planned. Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. Let me walk you through what I did during the night. So, some of you may notice that the tower is different and that's because I've had to remove a great deal of very, very weak pieces from the tower. You see, the crossbeams that it has do not provide any actual structural support in this game, uh, which means that they were kind of just dead weight pulling the tower down, so I took them out. There was also another sort of staircase wrapped around, I completely removed that in favour of just a ladder, uh, because the stability is really shaky on this. I also replaced the roof with actual blocks instead of floor trap blocks, which are obviously really annoying. I also got a solar bank set up with a battery bank if I need to set up some power, and I have some light bulbs crafting so I can put some lighting in here. I'm going to have to gather a decent amount of materials today to make any kind of decorations, but one thing I also want to do is paint, and I do have a lot of paint as it is. Let me go grab it all. I've got 12,000-ish paint. If I need more, it is actually quite easy to obtain. Now, the big thing I need to think about is what colours do I want to remove? And I think I don't really like the green and white and black combination here on these buildings. This burnt wood is kind of ugly. So if I just do this and just take it all off, uh, some things are stuck because they're actually part of the block, like this black thing here. But I'm just going to remove a lot of the texture from this so that I can add my own, of course. I'm not just doing this so that it looks like a wooden hut. 
Oh, and I've missed some windows here as well. I need to go grab some of the cobblestone blocks I made one second. There we go. These windows I forgot are now cleared. Okay. That should be most of this building. Completely removed of its unnatural paint. So now I need to decide what colour I actually want it all to be. I think for the roof, I should check shingles because those always look good. Uh, let's see, we've got black asphalt diamond shingles. Let's use those. Maybe just do paint roll of them rather than doing the entire roof yeah i mean i think that's pretty good it's it's a roof i don't think it needs to be particularly complicated i'd say that looks pretty much fine from above oh i missed a rooftop of course and then this roof is also probably going to be the same okay all right roof replaced now i need to figure out what kind of wall texture i want this looks kind of nice i would maybe put that on the side of the walls here let's see uh, maybe I would need to do sort of a similar thing as what they did before. Let's see, what kind of woods do we have? Alternatively, I could just do the entire place in wood siding as well. Let's see, um, wood fence? That works. I think this would be painted very similarly to the one I did in the original Desert Ranger series, which is appropriate considering this is like a sequel to that series. So the build should be similar, I guess. The paints haven't changed since then, so why would the build style change? Okay, there's that. Let's see here. Uh, what was the siding? We've got green, and we've got blue. Green siding looks like that. Very army. And then you've got blue siding. For some reason these two blocks don't listen to. I kind of like the blue. Or just as a rough paint job, I do actually think I like this blue quite a bit. So I'm going to apply this blue to all of the outside of the... Whatever you would call these little buildings here. And I'll get back to you. I'll also apply this wooden siding to the underside here. Okay, so the outside of this building is now painted blue with the little orangey wood colour. I've also started painting the walls on the outside. Like the wall walls. This sort of concrete white. That looks horrible, but there's not much I can do about it. Um, I think I do like this white though. It's very concrete looking. Which works for me. It is going to eat a lot of my paint though to do this because it is just a large wall. Okay, so I've painted the do collector area here with some metal colours because I think they just look the most normal next to the do collector colours. There's still a decent amount of painting to be done but I'm thinking, oh I missed a wall spot here, hello. But I'm thinking about this sort of uh, metal building here. And ironically enough, I think this one should be made out of the green that all the other roofs were made out of, because that made the most sense to me. So let's have a look for that. I'm not sure what they would have called it. Metal rusty green, is that it? Certainly an option. What else do we have? Green metal roof? That may be the one, because that sort of looks like army base green. And while I'm not going for the full army base look, this is the part of the place that looks the most army base, if that makes sense. Can I do that? Like, it's a metal green shelter, so it should look like this i think anyway rust black that does fit with the other stuff that'll do it's kind of ugly but you only have so many paints that you can really use in seven days to die the vast majority of them looking completely out of place for the setting as well so that's something to consider this to the other side as well at some point i forgot to repair the windows back here so I'll do that as well let me get some of that green oh and i need to replace the broken railings here as well have I got those blocks on me? I do. There we go. I'll paint those in a bit. Okay, I repainted the inside here as well. Oh, I missed a little bit of an area here, but that should be relatively quick to fix. Just a quick green here. Not much work to be done in there in paint anyway. Just fill in these doors. Okay, so the outer wall's painted. The blue stuff is painted. The wood is painted. The do collector area is painted. The little garage area here is mostly painted. I haven't done the inside yet, but it should be fine. What remains is to paint the interiors of the little houses there and to paint the tower. But I actually need to do a horde night really quickly, so I'm going to put all my decorative stuff away and get a bunch of bullets. Because surviving the horde night is quite important. And since this is the last episode of Desert Ranger, I don't have to save any of this ammo. We're going to use as much as I can. Okay, I have all my stuff I think. Probably make some extra frames just to make sure I can jump around if I need to. Let's go and find somewhere to do the horde. Over by the other trader Hugh would make sense. Now, I've landed here for horde night, but this is actually the Judy Witch POI, which means there is 
some spare chrysanthemum. Do I have a skill point? No, I don't. Well, I'm going to be getting one pair. That's fine. Chrysanthemum is kind of hard to find in the desert. A bit of free chrysanthemum while I'm here so I can get some paint is welcome. There's a bit more over here as well. I think that's all of the chrysanthemum you're going to find on the outside, at least. There might be some more inside I'm not aware of, but I don't really have to care. I think this house over here might have a little bit as well in the little pot there. See if there's any more. That nah, doesn't look like it. Right, well, we got some spare chrysanthemum, so if I do end up needing more paint, I've got 28 chrysanthemums worth of it. Queue up some mega crushes. Queue up some beers. Queue up some vitamins. Load the correct ammo. The bow already knew, that's fine. And shoot this guy in the head. Ah, I one-shot him. I wonder if that's normal for this gun. It does 100 damage, so you would think so. I've not really had a chance to test it, so maybe we'll give it a trial by fire tonight. In fact, while I wait, let's just... There's cotton there. Uh, let's just do a quick run of this house, assuming it's... Yeah. I mean, it's respawn is what I was going to say. That's pretty effective. Is it a one-shot body shot, I wonder? That's what I need to check. Anyone home? Oh, these are ferals and radiated, so that's not going to work. <laughs> oh, he fell through the floor. Gun's so weird. I like it. Let's see if I can find a normal zombie and shoot them in the chest. Another POI here would work. He didn't die in one shot. Neither did he. Oh, he's a fell, he wasn't going to anyway. They're dying very quickly though, that's good. For a weapon with a 30 round magazine, being able to two shot normal zombies in the chest is pretty solid. Hi there. Not bad. Anything good in here? I highly doubt it, but it's worth a check. Yeah, no. Okay, this is really good. Let's go properly get ready for the horde. Most of my beers wore off already. You gotta love that. Fine, I brought like 10 and I only have to do one more horde night now anyway, so. Hey, that got me a skill point. Let's put that in. Who gives a shit? And come on, horde, I'm bored. Ah, the horde's beginning good. I think they spawned over here. Oh, that's just so many radiated zombies. I should have brought recog. Still, I'll be able to do enough damage, I think. They can't even keep up with me. <laughs> My beer's gonna run out again. Let me jump on top of this truck. Quickly do that up again. There go. Since some of you are here now, let's use some of these explosive bolts. Or, if you would prefer, we can do explosive arrows. Or just good old-fashioned grenades. Ow. Hey, okay, there's a hospital here. See, it's working against you, game, because most of the zombies you're spawning on me are just big, chunky zombies, which can't keep up with me whatsoever. And half of them aren't even being controlled by the AI half the time. Where's that? Well, there it is. Hi there. Oh, the frame rate does not like this.
I'm gonna have to like double my sensitivity to make up for the frame rate right now. I hear another vulture. And oh, no, I was just a regular guy. Kind of midnight at least. Survived two hours so far. Gear's about to run out again. Stack up another two. Somewhat annoyingly, the frame rate being so low makes it quite hard for me to play with the revolver. It's hard to snap onto anything when you're playing at half the frame rate you usually are, and I'm not quite sure why the frame rate's so bad right now. There must be a big PY nearby. Oh, did I turn my mesh distance up to silly levels again? Eh, not silly levels, but it's definitely up. That may help a bit. Oh yeah, we're seeing 60 already! Here a demo? Hello. Hey, hold still. Gonna activate your button. Did I just pop his head? Good. Where's that vulture? I hear it. There's one. I heard it more over there. Ah, there he is. Another one? Ah, they can't compete with this gun though. Ah, well, it broke. That would be a problem, but, you know, repair kits are easy, so... Ow. And the vultures are out in force today. Stack up some more beers. We get hit in the back of the head. Hi, guy. How was your day? But yeah, back to the horde night. <laughs> oh no, the police car blew up. We're gonna loot that. I might have explosive crossbow bolts, but that's fine. I have a lot more arrows anyway. It's 2 a.m. We're gonna survive another two hours. That should be pretty easy, all things considered. Please hold still, guy. I'm just dodging those doors very effectively. I leveled up. Really, this is the way you're gonna go. What a very normal thing for zombies to do. This is so strange. How am I actually short on 9mm? Oh, my gun broke. One moment. And let me open up some more 9mm. Fortnite's almost over. Ow. Where's my helicopter anyway? Oh, it's over here. And Horde Night is over. Right, let's head back to my base and see if I can finish up building it, basically. It's the last thing I need to do in the series. Okay, so I'm back at my base. I've done a little bit more painting, but not too much. The next thing I need to do is probably go out and get a load of materials. Hey, I missed the spot. For furniture items inside the house. Uh, I'm not really sure what I would need, but the main thing is probably forged iron. Like, I might not even have to go anywhere for it. If I just tell my forges to do their thing, there's 400 forged iron. I have like a stack of forged steel as it is, so I shouldn't have to worry too much about that if I need any. So I'm going to continue doing this, and I'm pretty much... Oh, that. So I'm going to continue doing this, and I'm not sure when I'll be back to you, but I'll check in in a bit, and we'll see how this little conversion project's going. Okay, I was going to fill this place with a bunch of furniture, but I really just don't feel like doing that when I'm not actually going to be here to see it. 
after the playthrough is done, right? It doesn't make sense, but I have painted it all, and I think it looks a lot better. There is a couple of missed spots that I can't really do much about, but... Oh, well, let me let me do this. This this will annoy me if I don't. Hang on. I forgot about this barricade thing. Let's see here. Uh, red and white. Is that on both sides? Yeah, cool. That looks better. We got the walls set up. There is no longer a fence. It is an actual wall. It's only cobblestone. It's also not a base that I'm going to actually defend, so it didn't make sense to spend like four hours making the concrete for it. The wall goes all the way around the back. I wish I could make my own version of uh, that barbed wire that spirals, but it's a creative item, so can't really use it unless I do something smart like I did over there. Uh, the paint has been applied. The red on the inside here is spilling to the outside, and that just comes from the fact that I'm using centered windows. Uh, if you wanted to avoid that, just use windows that come out right to here. I don't really care that much, so it didn't really matter. It's mostly very similar to the base game version. Oh, my sensitivity must have bumped up there, must have nudged the button. It's mostly the same as the base game version, but I've taken the medical taste away from this room and made it just like workshoppy, right? Like concrete on the floor and stuff. This room has been cleaned up. I'm not sure what I would... Oh, I didn't do the ceiling. Well, let me fix that. Oh, and I missed... <laughs> I don't have any tools on me, do I? I'm going to have to shoot this away. <laughs> That's how we do decoration around here. Just to make that a bit more consistent there. I'm not sure what I would even decorate these rooms with. I'm just not feeling that creative today uh we come in here i've decorated this with some carpet and some like fake wooden logs to make it feel like a cabin kind of which it essentially is and then there's this weird room here i forget what they're called like the kitchen dining pool area mess hall thing went for red i've never used red on the interiors before it's very bright isn't it i don't hate it the tower is mostly the same color it was originally because i wanted to make it white anyway uh, and the metal colors are all pretty much what i would like to do there aren't enough colours in Seven Days to Die, in my opinion, to go around changing every colour you see, because it'll start to look really weird, because certain colours are very obviously for certain things. Also, I hate how this window is off-centre, but I am not fixing it now. I didn't put it off-centre, that is the developers of the game, sue them, not me. And this is pretty standard in here as well, and no, this button does not work. <laughs> it was connected to the old door. But yeah, I'm pretty okay with this base. It doesn't have as much to decorate as the old ranger station in the other series, so it's kind of like a bit boring, but it's also got a lot more rooms to fill that I just do not feel like filling. It's one of the worst things in Seven Days to Die for me, is just making all the furniture blocks and then just placing them and then never ever looking at them again. So yeah. So, what I want to do now to finish off the series is go and do a tier 6 infestation. I've got a bunch of gear on me, I have everything I should need to do a quest like that. So let's head over to Trader Wrecked and see if he has any today. Ooh, he even has an infested speed clear, right? So we've got Ostrich Hotel again, which is a bit boring, or the last sunset nursing home. Um, I think I'm going to take the Ostrich Hotel because uh, I do not like that other one. <laughs> In fact, you know what? That's boring. Let's do the last sunset nursing home. As shit as the POI is, let's do it. Okay, here we are at the POI. This, I don't know how much time you get for a tier 6 annihilation speed quest, but we're about to find out. I don't know if I'm going to have the luxury of stealth, but I'm going to try as we go in here. 230 seconds, are you on drugs?
My frame rate is absolute ass in here, which is not unusual to be honest. Why is there a zombie over there? Is that wolf part of this POI? Oh. This is not going to work. Where the f Random ass dire wolf is part of the POI. Love that. I am not entirely convinced that it is scientifically possible to actually get that in a gold medal, but I'm going to keep trying. Now oh, there goes the gold. I'm honestly not convinced you can get bronze. A big POI. Uh, and I'm lost again as well, that also doesn't help. This one spawns zombies behind you, doesn't it? Run back upstairs. Oh, the framey goodness. There goes the silver. Oh, there's a lot of bad things happening out there. Yeah, I'm probably not even going to get a bronze. I'm just going to break this door and start killing these. Of these damn screamers. They're being very annoying. Entirely too many zombies around here. This one screamer piss off. She's really annoying. I can't find her. I think she's in the elevator somehow. Whatever she was, she's dead now. Right. Yeah, no medals for this one. 240 seconds for a tier 5 like this. Plus, is actually a tier 6. Not likely. Doable, I think. But also, in a way, very much not doable. How the hell do I get back outside? Right, I think we're mostly clear outside. Let's break in here, because I don't want to go down the annoying hatchway. Right, so if you've never seen me do this room before, basically you can break into wherever you want here. You can go and check behind all these flames, you can break open all these doors, you can look for the zombies, they do not spawn until you turn off that, and you get kind of trapped in here because that is your way out there. You climb up this, it's kind of hard to do. I think it's only actually doable with parkour, and then you can climb back up. Easier to just break this door before you do it, run in and then run out. So let me get a mega crush. Let me even get a vitamin. Let me make sure to avoid the bodies or they'll slow me down, turn it on and run away. And we're clear. That was a mess. Right, let's get some loot. Tier 5 infested cash here. Or tier 6 infested cash, I suppose. Food bundle. Some tuna fish gravy toast. A shotgun turret bundle. A level 6 auger. That's pretty nice. Not that I'm going to use it, but it's nice to see. Let me go put this stuff in my helicopter really quickly. God damn it, not again. 
I think one of them was technically inside and that causes that to happen. I probably didn't really miss out on much if we're being honest though. Let's go see what the quest reward is. Alright, here we are the next day at Trader Rex. Let's see what he wants to give us for this. Yep, that seems about right for just the hardest quest in the game. Take some forged steel. But it doesn't really matter because this is the end of the Desert Ranger series. We will be starting a new series after the supercut of this one comes out. I'm not going to tell you what that is yet because I'm not fully decided between two ideas that I have. So you'll see it when you see it. This has been a very interesting series. We've played with a lot of mods. The next one probably isn't going to have any mods and that's going to be very interesting to go back to. But we got all the goals I think I wanted to achieve here. The base is like 90% done. I didn't add furniture, but who cares really? But all the weapons that I wanted to try, I think, got my armor, did everything I needed to. There's very little else to do in the game, even with all the mods I have. So, that is going to be the end of the Desert Ranger series. If you want to help me hit my 50,000 subscriber goal, now would be a fantastic time to do it because there's a new series coming soon. Let me know if you enjoyed the series. And in the meantime... A special thank you to my members and patrons. If you want to become one of those, you can find the links down in the description. If you've watched this video, you'll probably be interested in another one. I would recommend the one on the top right right now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.